A string of white lightning shoots out of the portal and kind of explodes in a ball of light. Gandalf! <laughs> a, a small creature appears at that point where the ball explodes and kind of comes crashing to the ground. Cool. Um, Oh, it's it's kind of falls down there. Oh, that's so small. Good. It's a lame little guy. Good land. <laughs> He's back. Yeah, so he comes crashing down to the ground. You see the bare arms of, of what would appear to be a human. It's kind of flesh or flesh color. Uh, there's some sort of design on it, whether it's tattoo or painting, you don't really know. Uh, he has a, or it has a mask, kind of large feathery protrusions coming off the back of it. Here's a sword that's in an ornate little uh, carved uh, sheath uh, on his hip. Kind of gathers itself, spins around, and move, tries to move at Banos. So moves around the portal. That's the creature they're um, trying to. Mm. I don't know. No, no. He, he and he he yells out, "Stupid creatures! Have you any idea what you've done? <gasps> oh, You're playing with forces way beyond your reach, mortals." He holds his sword up and ready, and says, "Cease this dark work before it cannot be undone." You guys didn't ask his name, but whatever. His name's Koozie. <laughs> uh, What's your name? We are not going to stop you from going through this magic portal. We Sounds good. You weren't really going to do it anyway. And he takes another step in. <laughs> uh, I think he's done. What's going on with these two, though? They're fighting. What? I mean, that's like an angel fighting a demon, and we're just like, okay, he's best dying. of luck. <laughs> yeah, it's like Gandalf in the Balrog. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. we're, but we're like in a third party. Yeah, <laughs> he was watching them. Yeah, yeah, the theater watching. They they this okay. movie's great. All right. All right, so uh, like we got a new friend. Koozie. Okay. We'll he's, he's just like, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> you say, guys are great. Man, was, it, will someone ditch him into the portal real quick? Yeah. All right. So he's in the portal. So he, he actually takes a dive into the portal. Damn. <laughs> And kind of like with with a crack and a, and a just a little tiny poof, oh, the shit. the thing disappears. Right. We're in big trouble. And uh, the kid Uzi goes, "Son of a bee sting! They closed it." Uh, he, he he then pulls out a whistle and blows it real loud, and then takes off running. Uh, jumps off the cliff there. Kills himself. It was time cop. But uh, say the 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 ground starts to rumble and shake. Uh, the, a giant bright white light uh, fills the sky, and a giant mass comes like crashing into the ground. Sh you all go flying off. You're all ah. prone. Ah. This guy, fuck you. <laughs> Laying down in pain, S smoke is filling. Basically, uh, some some object hit right here, <gasps> created you know a giant crater in the earth, uh, and sm the smoke is clearing. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Uh, and I think that's a great time to stop. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Cliffhanger. Oh my fucking god. So none of y'all wanted wow. to go through that portal. Alright, we did it. Uh, back for season two of Twits and Crits, right? Hey! Oh. I have to ask you to keep the excitement level. <laughs> yeah, bring it back down, down alright? Oh boy. I mean, yeah, this is a lost. Yeah. I mean, Close. Talk about talk for yourself. Yeah, may I say shuttercock? You want me to stand up? Yeah, you're looking mighty like fine then. That's really hard to move. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Check it out. Oh, oh you can't what? see it, but my tail is curling underneath between what? my legs. Shuttercock is the hottest in the land. I think I could smell it. Dear God. She's God. something. <laughs> oh, God. It smells like somebody wrapped a steak in a garbage bag. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, so uh, this is episode one, season two. Uh, I think we should just start with going back around real quick and introducing our characters and your names, uh, mm -hmm. starting with Grimo down there. They call me Grimo Rufello, G-Spot to my friends. Uh, I'm a guy from the Gyre. You all know the Gyre, where that's from. And uh, I got caught up with this band of Bafooks, and uh, we've been fighting together ever since. Uh, brother to brother, tit to tit. As you would say. You don't have any tits. Oh, uh, well, you know, I got two of, two of yours. My name's Shattercock. I'm a tiefling sorcerer. And yes, I am the hottest one of the group. That's it. No one's <laughs> going to argue there. Hey, you're right. pretty hot. Good backstory. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> My name is uh, Derek Benslord. I am a weapon for hire. Um, I got into this mess. Um, when uh, Miri hired me to perform some services for him, um, be kind of his muscle. Not that he doesn't have any, but come on, look at me. Um, <laughs> yeah, look at me too. Uh, so, but then, you know, we've kind of gotten all out of sorts, and I don't even know what's going on. I know you're probably thinking he's got leather armor on. It's because I'm a barbarian. That's that's what. We all look like things Liberace fucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Raxon Bartooth. I am a human fighter. Uh, I wear a wolf upon my head. I guess it should be a helmet and or orc, but this is all they had on Amazon. Mm-hmm. 
That is a place. I was gonna in say, yeah, land. you mean the Amazon? <laughs> yes. You also run afoul of a bit of a demon man. Oh yeah, there is a, a demon curse in my family, but I'm. We have no time to explain that. But thanks. No worries. <laughs> gotta, gotta catch people up, man. It's after a break. Uh, I'm Decker Rootkit. Uh, a cool dude from 1994 who, in the middle of a tragic lightning storm, was transported into the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. So I use my 1994 era tech to uh, to explore the world, and maybe I have a bit of a gamer complex in my head. Remember, which, yes, is exactly like every other fucking show. Thank you for pointing it out. Remember, remember when uh, Decker was so was so like coy about yeah. his backstory, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it finally. Lightning storm transformed me into Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> the year was 1994. <laughs> See, I think that's funny. No one else does. So. <laughs> I'm Myriadis Oprobles. I'm a dwarf from the mountains. You need to read the page. Dwarf <laughs> 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 from the mountains. Got all my details. I'm a paladin, and I am the uh, chosen but somewhat reluctant leader of this ragtag group of folks. I, I believe. Here, here. I believe Mary has the heaviest of all. Armor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all dead. Yeah, you were bitching about the wolf, but that thing was awful. Miri would fall asleep, but it, no. Uh, his, his neck his is just, just going to have yeah. a problem. I, I think that thing weighs about 20 pounds, so yeah. best of luck. Well, right on. Uh, yeah, my name's Dan. I'm the DM. Uh, What's that some... stand for? What? Sure for What's that stand for? Oh, Dungeon Master. Oh, oh, Dan Alonius. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the Danthology. I, like, I like that you dressed up. Yeah, in my costume. It's Halloween. <laughs> Sweet Halloween today. shirt. What? Oh yeah, we're doing this because this, yeah. this episode is supposed to come out on Halloween. Everyone's dressed up. We should, Pretty sure, awesome. If, if they didn't notice. That's that's right. Right. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, does someone want to kind of uh, recap what we've done? Does anyone remember yeah, where the, we came the, from? Yeah. Nah, I like remember? it when you guys summarize. Oh, it what? makes it fun. Okay. I, I, Dan I, I mean, I remember what happened, but do you? A dark and stormy night when a general. It was a day. Freed us from the prison, right? Well, well I was free us. He freed me or something. I don't oh, remember. I didn't know yeah, that. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Spoiler I, alert. Yeah. From Long story that, short, we tracked down the dreaded Moondog brothers. There you go. Killed them, but there were bigger fish to fry because we soon realized that at the top of this temple, some, some crazy general and his cronies were opening a portal to, a, to some other world, for all mm-hmm. we know. So yeah. our world as we know it is in, is in flux. We could be facing the end of times. It's basically the point in a JRPG when it goes from small to big. Yeah. Uh-huh. You get to the second world. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Also, opening this portal has also created some sort of roaming monstrosity. That's right. That we will very soon have to deal with. We're not sure exactly what it is. It's probably a hot chick in a battle bikini. Just throwing that out there in oh, case it's right here. We already got one. You already got one. Well, then we have battle of the bikinis, don't we? <laughs> you bet. Scratch each other. Stay tuned for episode three. <laughs> Dan, you hearing me? And yeah, dude, I'm, I'm taking notes. Good. And uh, <laughs> let, let us not forget the... Uh, the harrowing tale of Saite. Oh, uh, oh, Saite. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a ditch somewhere dying of gangrene. Oh, we'll, we'll find him. <laughs> Our brother, comrade, human cum receptacle. Oh, Saite. No. <laughs> you need a hole. You got one arm Saite. and you're going to need to use yeah. it. Uh. So last we left, we were all at the top of the spire. Having yeah. just seen a portal open and close. Some sort of apocalyptic event had just occurred and, and we all really just kind of stand there. And really general yeah. was talking down to us the That's whole right. time. A real attitude problem. All right, and that right. he wasn't as evil as he should have been. Is that correct? Yeah, pretty much there. Right. You got it. Did we see what, what transported and teleported in? Did we see that? No, no. They jumped in. And then yeah, closed, the, right? the bad yeah, guys we, went through the portal. Something was, came out, something maybe. Came out. Yeah, but we weren't sure. Um, was like there, was that, there was that crazy kid in the battle dress. Oh, right. Uh, the, the battle mask that was trying to stop them. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. um, let's see. We've got some... Some sweet you Napoleon got spider art. Powers. Whoa! I definitely got spider powers. Oh man, I don't remember. I'm, calling, I'm calling myself Spider Cock from now on. By the way. <laughs> sweet. So yeah, Koozie popped out of the portal, trying oh, yeah. to stop the bad guys. Didn't really seem to do that. Wow. Cool. Um, and then just as the portal disappeared, when Banos jumped through it, uh, there was kind of this giant flash, this white light in the mm-hmm. sky that blinded you all. I remember that. Uh, so uh, you're, you're all blinded. There was a massive impact to the earth, and you all kind of went flying through the air. Uh, hit the ground hard. You're all in fucking pain. You're you're you know grabbing yourself, moaning, uh, whatnot. Ooh. Um, Ooh. So the the, the smoke's kind of clearing around you, and uh, pull up a little. All right. Oh shit. So I don't know. You guys kind of flew around over here. Oh, yeah. And you should all be ah. laid down prone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Grimo, Grimo stood through the whole thing. <laughs> <situation. laughs> yeah. Landed right on our legs. His legs, damn. Should Shattercock be on top of Grimo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are all reeling in pain. You actually only have one health point now. Oh, wow. Uh, that impact, whatever it was, sent you flying. 
Boy, um, oh boy. Koozie, Koozie, the kid that had uh, run up to the edge of the cliff, uh, has run back. He blew a whistle uh, right before you saw that big flash. Um, he's kind of giggling and laughing. There's a giant spoon kind of swirling around him, giving him nuzzles like it was a puppy or something like that, flying around him. He's like giggling. A spoon? <laughs> giant wooden spoon. Okay. The end of the spoon is metal, though, and it's got these kind of little prongs at the end, like a fork. Okay. Um, some people call those sporks, but we'll call this one a spoon. <laughs> Not I. <laughs> so he goes, hey, Bojo, Bojo, you're such a silly guy. You have a really weird form in this realm. Um, and he just, you know, like as, as if he met his puppy, Which it's been a couple of really? weeks. He's going to be this little orange guy. Okay. He's, the, he's the one standing after the impact. So you guys are all on the ground, smoke's clearing. You hear him kind of giggling and playing with his, his giant spoon. Okay. Um, don't know what you guys want to do. You're, uh-huh. you're all on the ground. Maybe you start to collect yourselves and stand yeah. up. Yeah, I'm going to crawl over to Miri because he's next to me. Dude, are you, are you okay? I, I think so. I feel... Pretty wiped out from whatever the heck that was. Ugh. Are you okay, Decker? I don't know. Did it? You're, we're still here, I guess. Yeah. All right. You see that? I'm motioning towards the spoon man. Spoon yeah. man. <laughs> what do you make of that? I don't know. Is, are we really seeing that? Because I don't know what to make of that. <sighs> Shit. It's last a spoon, time this happened. Right? Last time this happened, I teleported. So maybe it happened again, or? No, this looks like the same building. Fuck. Wig. It's great. <laughs> I, love that, I love that wig. Uh, we should hold on. We should go. We should go help these guys. Yeah, let's see. Everyone yeah. else is all right. And then, uh, tell you what, I'll go check on them. You check on Shattercock. Okay. Grimo, they look like they're having a good time. <laughs> Shattercock, get out of my mouth! Oh man, what happened, Grimo? Oh, I don't know, but this old spoon kid's dancing around. It's like the end of the earth as we know it, Shattercock. Hey, you spoon kid, what's the big idea here? Oh, shoot, guys, I'm sorry. It looks like you, you got a little hurt there. I'm sorry, my buddy uh, Bojo came in a little hot, um, landed a little hard there. Uh, hope you're not too hurt or anything. Well, I can't, I can't I'm fine, but the lady here, she's uh, a little under the weather after that. No, no, I'm doing just fine. I feel a little hurt, but uh, I feel like, yep, yep, my top came off. It came right off. Grimo, can you, I, I, do you see that anywhere? Oh, Miri, I just a little help. I, I'm trying not to look, but it's it's kind of hard. And I'm like, uh, oh, based man. on your height, yeah. <laughs> Let's just find the top. Maybe it's here somewhere. You just, if you just find it, like, I, I it was uh, it was really, really small, kind of purple. Uh, if you find it, you know, otherwise, it's okay. Can you, no big deal. Can you cover yourself in the meantime with your arms, maybe? I don't really have anything. All I've got is underwear. Just hug Such. yourself. All I've got is underwear. Okay. Sorry, Mary. I'm trying not to look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go over to Raxan. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, dude, are you okay? Uh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my my headache's gone. I mean, I'm still laying down. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes. You don't control <laughs> me. Don't mean to assume. <laughs> yeah. How are you Yeah, I want to say. Uh, to be honest, this is the most rest I've gotten in the last week. <laughs> this actually feels pretty good down here. Um, I think we we should move here. Sure. All right. All right. Are you taking a nap? Good yeah. looking out. Go check oh. on Deer. Sure. And I go back to bed. <laughs> uh, d- d- does he get up and like moving? Yeah, just in the midst of what you're doing, those guys are standing up and gathering themselves. They were knights, if you don't remember. They were uh, also kind hurt. of bodyguards. They were hurt. Yeah, they're, they're, they're also at, at one health point. One you would assume it. Let's tie them. They're not. They're not moving aggressively or anything. Nope. All right. Yeah, I'll move on. I mean, they're they're all. You're all pretty fucked up from getting thrown. Yeah. From whatever that meteor hit. The spoon. Yeah. Uh, but so so Kusi goes. Oh oh shoot! I'm sorry, you guys. I, I I'm really sorry. Uh, you're kind of hurt. Let me uh, let me help out there. Can I like cracks his knuckles? Um, and he, he does a little verbal phrase and motions his arms and uh, kind of a a huge gust of, of power sweeps out from him up underneath you all and heals you all. So you're all back up at Including full health. Including the bad guys. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. So yeah, you guys look pretty sweet. How come you didn't help out in that last battle? Uh, you know, you look like you could kick ass, but you just kind of stood there when I was fighting those bad guys. We really weren't sure what to do, I and mean, we seemed outmatched. That's not true. I threw a javelin at some of them. I tossed a javelin at the general guy who went in the portal. I threw we were fighting. Axe. I threw an axe and just stuck in his armor, and it didn't even hurt him. Okay, you okay, jumped okay. off sure. down the mountain. How do we know you're not the bad guy? What's on the other side of that portal? Oh, it's uh, the the other side of the portal is a world or a plane called uh, Lorida. 
uh, kind of a dark place, an evil place, full of sinister beings, demons, devils, well, what, how, bad, what bad stuff. That? What were you doing there? That's where I'm from. You're from the sinister place of evil, bad, bad stuff. Correct. But Sounds I'm, like so, we're fucked up So I'm kind of a, a patrolman. I keep the doors closed, shut, make sure no one's uh, opening spaces between them. Uh, just like those bad guys, or whoever they were, uh, did just a couple minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, I was just going to say, you did an outstanding job with this one. Yeah, you know, sometimes I screw stuff up. I'm kind of new to this. Uh, trying to do better. Um, do you know anything about those dudes or what they were doing? Because I should probably go and stop them. Uh, one of them was military. I know that much. Mm-hmm. The other one was a drummer. Maybe they were in a band. <laughs> they, yeah, he might have been a band. <laughs> we'll just assume He's that we've just all like, kind of gathered. He kept, he kept asking for help. Like, he wanted help bringing in a you being know, or whatever it was. You should talk to these guys. They like were uh, they were the ones who were part of this, so you might want to give them a little shaky your patrolman's wand or whatever that is. Shake a spoon at those guys. Yeah, we were just we were to be honest, we were here kind of on a I guess you could call it an assassination contract, and I guess we oh did boy. it. So we can just go, yeah, and go get paid, and you can deal with all this because you got that spoon yes. there. That's my job. Yeah, yeah. Bojo and I will probably take care of it. Great. Uh, well, I want to find out what's going on. What are you doing here? I, I'm trying to stop whatever is going on, what this guy's doing. You guys apparently don't know what he was doing. Well, you guys um, traded places, so now he's in Florida and you're here? Yeah, he stepped through that door. I don't know where he is now, but I certainly got to go find him. Or, or, or and, you know, I could report back and uh, let everyone know what's going on. Well, how do we But get I don't there? know what I should do. Why would, why why would, would we, we ever go to the I wanna go. place full of I wanna bad go. stuff? I want to go. Just for fun? You heard about the demons, right? The demons yeah, in the... We've, Grimo and I tried to go through, but an unseen forest wasn't wasn't sure if we were going to make it through or not. But I wanted to find out what was on the other side. What was on the other side? It was it was the the plane that I'm from. Well, how, you, how are you going to get back? The evil one. Oh evil. man, there's there's doors, portals uh, everywhere in this world. Uh, so I'm going to go and try and find the closest node. Uh, I really don't know where it is. I have this little watch thing. He pulls it out. Little little watch thing. This this kind of points me in the right direction. Um, yeah, this is kind of a big deal. Um, so what would happen to beings like to us do. if we went over there? Oh boy, well, if you could fight your way out, you'd probably be okay. Uh, but you'd be inundated with, with horrible monsters, probably trying to kill you, steal your soul, suck your blood, um, you know. What possible reason would someone have for wanting to open a hole to that place? Her name is Shattercock. <laughs> <laughs> My guess, uh, sir, is probably power. People, people that do this are looking for an advantage, dark magic, powers to control monsters, something like that. That's, that's usually the case with these situations. If my beady too close together eyes do not deceive me, but there was a being unleashed upon our world as well, correct? I honestly have no idea. You know, when those do- doors open, a uh, few people can control go- what goes between one way or the other way, comes out, goes in. So who knows what came out of there? I, I honestly couldn't tell you. The way Grimo sees it, there's some dastardly force that may be roaming the countryside, coming upon Jaya, trying to attack his mother and sister. Trying to... What was that? Nothing. Okay. But the way Grimo sees it, there might be some danger in our world right. that could be upon us. Hey, you two. Yo, 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 yeah. Where do you guys think you're going? <laughs> Uh, we were just, uh, you know, uh, Spoon Boy, get over here. These oh, guys have, have answers. Spoon Boy. <laughs> oh, so, so you guys know what's up? They um, were a part of this. Yeah, so so we're just bodyguards. We, we came along to protect everybody, uh, to keep the general safe. Uh, have no idea what the fuck just happened with uh, this, this you, you and your spoon and all these people. We, we were really here to, to just uh, keep keep down safe, make sure Banos made it. Say, I'm really fucking confused, honestly, uh, right now. I say, uh, language, there's a child, I think. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying, Spoon Boy. I know what it's like to be a bodyguard. And bodyguards don't just have headphones on and then sit there and ignore everything. No, we're they soldiers. They can hear things that go on. They've spent any amount of time with these people, whether or not they know what their plan is, they know what they were trying to no, do. Really have no idea. I say you what were you trying to do? them. What were you trying to do? <laughs> I was I just, keeping my. I can shirt. I can try. I was keeping my general, my general safe. You want? Do you want me to? Uh, I'll, I'll roll an intimidation check. Do it. Yeah. 
18. That's very Flash, intimidating. Flashing your boobs out. Uh, 18 plus 6. <laughs> yeah, you still don't have a top on it. Uh, you bet. That makes me even more intimidating. Oh, the areola is so big. Yeah. <laughs> they get bigger when she gets angry. Oh. So he has 18 plus 6. So it's, it's like uh, the whole 24. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Really ball me down there. Mm. Yeah. Oh. All right, you intimidate him. Yeah. What was going on? Why were they trying to open the door? <laughs> a when, glass in the background right. shatters. Yeah, yeah. So all, all I really know is we escorted that drummer guy, the big red guy with the horns. The he's, he's, he's the one, yeah. So there was a prison break, right? There was a prison break. Uh, it was all a big cover to get that guy here and open that door so he and Down could go through it. What they were planning to do after this, I really, really, I, I have no idea. I'm telling you the truth here. Uh, our job was to keep everybody safe. All I know is they were going through that door. I know Down is some sort of revolutionary. Um, he's trying to cause trouble in the capital. But m much more than that, I, I couldn't tell you. I, like I don't like to ask questions. I'm a soldier. I do what I'm told. All this confusion, it looks like we're caught in some sort of Down syndrome. <laughs> Nice. Can I get inspiration? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna motion to Spoon Boy, kind of. Uh, I'll just talk to him, kind of kind of hush tones. Be like, so you know, you know about other dimensions, right? Oh yeah. You know about moving between dimensions, yeah? Some. You're if way were... over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know about moving. Yeah. No, he's still whispering. <laughs> so if I were to describe to you a dimension, mm -hmm. do you think you'd be able to find it and send somebody there? Pretty much me. I, it would certainly take some resource uh, management, some research, uh, some books. I don't know. I'd have to go do some reading. Uh, but certainly, if if you know where you're from, where you're trying to go, you can generally find a door there or some sort of uh, magical practice that could open a door to to that place. Some of these some of these magics are forbidden, uh, long lost you know shit. But generally, if, if you're, <laughs> I think we can work out a trade here. <laughs> Uh, a trade. Um, I don't really have much to trade. You can use your, your weird spoon power, figure out where I'm from, spoon and figure power. a way. Whatever that shit is, man. I don't know. Well, my 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 buddy Bojo here. Yeah. And the spoon flies up and it's kind of like hanging out next to him. Whatever, man. Anything at this point, Bojo. Sure. You you know about this stuff. I don't. I'm trying to figure it out. But you're a lot. F Clearly, you got a flying spoon. So you're in on the you're in on the note yeah, here. Bojo's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I figure. What do you want in exchange for you helping me get back to where I want to go? Oh boy, see, I need to go and find out what these guys are up to, uh, and then report back all of this stuff to, uh, to the chief. Um, I really don't have time to help you out, sir. What if I helped you and then you helped me a little bit? How are you going to help me out? I don't know. I, I got all this cool stuff. <laughs> Some of that's probably going to... Where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are these things you have over your eyes? Oh, oh, those are... Uh, that's just, I guess, fashion, you know. I like the look. Decker, Decker. Look cool, what's up? Sh show, them, show them what they do. Oh, oh, sure. I mean, do. Decker, do it, do it. I don't, I don't do like Decker. to just do this for anybody, what but check it? this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cool! Oh. How do you do that? These are sweet. You can create fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm a bit of a master of the arcane myself, but, uh, and, and I, I wield some pretty terrible power, that is true. Uh, but I don't know how to get back to my home, and that's what I would like your help with. But Boy. maybe I can give you some of this right here, help you out. The weird goggles. Oh, this things? is just the start of Do it. Do those protect your eyes from a blade or axe? Uh, no. What but... about a mace or a stone? Uh. Hold on a minute. <laughs> no. What about a fist? <laughs> you have to check. Fist, maybe. Uh -oh. Maybe. You want to try? Uh, you, you you wouldn't want to test me. All on right, that. all right. So I, I approach one of these guys with my arm around my my new little brother, uh, and I go. You mentioned a node earlier. Uh, clearly, uh, we need to uh, we need to go to this dimension, which we failed to run through. Uh, in retrospect, I think we probably should have done it. Sorry, um, <laughs> but uh, how do we get to said node, and will you take us? So I'm probably gonna set course west of here. I'm gonna jump on my, my spoon bojo buddy. Um, and ask about your vacation plans. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the nearest giant city. Uh, a lot of times big cities will have uh, connection points, d dimensional doors, you know, magical planes. <laughs> mm. They'll have access to all this stuff. So that's probably 
Uh, my little watch gizmo here is pointing west, so that's the direction I'm going to go and try and find the closest node. Okay. He, he turns to these guys, he goes, what, what is the name of that general guy that you work for? And they go, I'm in down. Um, and he's he just kind of like writing little things on his hands. He goes, all right, thanks a lot. Um, goes, he hops up on Bojo, the giant flying spoon. He goes, thanks a lot, friends. Good luck. And he takes off into the sky. Hey, Miri. Shit. Yeah. I, I'm having a little aside with Miri. These yeah. guys were working for a revolutionary general. That means there's probably a bounty on their heads. They're probably wanted men. Which means that wanted men can fetch a price. Do yeah. they still only have one hit point? Another healed, right? Yeah, all everybody's healed. all healed up. Oh, fuck. Sounds like we're in the midst of a big government conspiracy. We got hired <laughs> yeah. for something that was a cover. <laughs> I don't. It sounds like the people we're working for may not even know about these guys. But I don't know. You want to take them down? <laughs> you want to take them down? You're the boss. Well, Push them down the mountain. <laughs> they look pretty strong, but it would be six v two. Uh. I don't know, you just want to go right now, or should we try and rally the troops if we're going to do this? Uh, there, there's no need to fight. There's no need to fight. You guys want to come with us? Oh, no, you know, we should probably go catch up with our regiment. I know they were headed east when we came up here with down. Um, Wrong choice. Oh, come on. So, uh, How big are her areolas right now? <laughs> oh, man, it's so huge. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. It sounds like it's a basically water the entire thing. Moves. Well, if we, if there's we, like one stripe of boob, and the rest is just If we just go areola. with these guys, will they fight alongside us? I mean, there doesn't really, I mean, why would They're we? They're criminals. Are they? They're I mean, aren't we? They helped a fugitive So did we. Escape. We were worried. We were no, working. We, it was our job, job to catch the fugitive. I mean, it just sounds like wait, wait. justifying it. Was it? Yeah, our we job is to catch the, catch the, Moondog Brothers. We yeah. killed them. We killed them. We killed them. So but we it failed. turns out the Moondog Brothers were there to help escort another escaped criminal who loves to play the drums, who came here and then went through a portal. Right, so why guys, were they helping an, a known escaped No, they came, through, they came through the portal, didn't they? They were no. trying to stop him? They were no, here. they came I'm with lost the general. On the story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm lost too. I'm confused. He, well, was, he, he was can glad. this down really simple. We were sent here to kill two people and we killed them. We should go get paid. I do like that idea, though. And also, if we can sure. kill these guys and get paid more, we should do that, too. New adventure. <laughs> I'm going to investigate and see. I think something came out of the portal, right? I don't remember what happened. What, like, came out of the portal? Well, the little kid saw. came out of the portal. Yeah. And, then um, there was and, like an... and Down was referring to some some creature that was unleashed upon this realm. Oh, okay. Uh, and he was pretty vague about it. So it could have been that kid, or there could be something else so, out there that's been unleashed onto the world. If I, like, investigate, do I see any indication of anything that came through that portal where it may have gone? Uh, roll. They investigate. Um, so nine plus three for investigation. Okay, so you, you aren't able to tell if anything came out of the door necessarily, but you do notice uh, right where Banos was doing uh, the, the ritual that created the door, he had two wands that were kind of floating and creating the door, and they're laying on the ground, uh, well, let's see, right about here. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up one of those wands. Pick up one? So oh. one was greenish, one was bluish. Pick up the bluish one. All right. Oh. Cut the blue one. Oh, do my eyes deceive me? They're too close together, but that's a, that's a physical thing. Uh, you teleport wand. This looks like a teleport wand, you guys. I heard about these in one of my books at the Shire. If I use this wand, I can use an action and expend one charge to instantly transport myself to a designated space within 100 feet of my current location. It's only got three charges, though, so. <laughs> It sounds kind of like Jar Jar. I can't like put my <laughs> finger on it. It's definitely racist. Yeah. Like, I, I know I, I should be offended, but I'm not. Shadowcock, you want me to give you my wand? Ew. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the wand of vibration. Wand. I'll pick up the other wand and see what that one is. Yeah, that wand can go. extend uh, one or two times Wait, a We already have one of those. This is the wand of boost. Apparently if I wield this wand, I can use a bonus action to enhance a known spell. You're able to ca I'm able to cast at one spell slot level higher. Wow. Gaining any benefits that entails. That explains the shadow cock. Ever since we've been close to this portal, I had this weird feeling like I'm powerful. Like I got this newfound magic. I thought it was because I'm hanging out with Decker so much and he's such a cool guy and being a wizard and all. But maybe I'm a fucking wizard too. Hey, Decker. Mm -hmm. Catch. 
I got magic though, is what I'm saying. <laughs> that was really out of character, <laughs> by the way, catching it. it. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's cool now. I <laughs> think I'm an two, octane cool trickster. <laughs> So, so one of the soldiers goes, uh, would, would you mind returning the property of our friends? Uh, we should probably confiscate that and return it to the military. Now I believe it belongs to the property of yeah. uh, our military. Yeah. <laughs> Only we may steal. If you want it, you can come in here and get it, you big bafook. Oh, I really don't want to fight you, little man. Well, I guess then uh, we'll see you later. Um, so they just kind of look at each other and lock eyes, maybe trying to communicate without talking, trying to figure no, out what My top is still off. So, and, uh, yeah, and so, I was project. And yeah, both of their things. eyes kind of cut, cut <laughs> back to the giant nipples. I'm uh, So when, when he's doing that, I'm going to cast friends on him. So, yeah, it's all charisma oh. checks directed towards your choice that isn't hostile towards you. Uh, so, yeah, basically you get an advantage in all charisma checks. That isn't hostile? What was that? Yeah, provided they're not already hostile. Okay. Uh, Are they hostile yet? No, no. no. probably not. And they're, close. they're They're both like they're going to defend themselves. They're both ready to go, but yeah. not not really trying to start a fight because they're heavily outgunned. Uh, and then it also says when the spell ends, the creature realizes it used magic to influence its mood and becomes hostile towards you. So just so you're aware. And okay. I dropped my one. Uh, hold on, I think I can get her up. Well, he's feet. not. So he's yeah, not wearing pants. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Movie magic. Oh, yeah, that's just straight up underwear down there. <laughs> it's a very big coat. Dan, <laughs> so should I surmise from the fact that that guy used this wand to transport that if I use the wand, it's going to stay in the place where I transported from? I'm sorry. So that guy used the wand to like open the portal and go. Yeah, he through. used a combination of magics and okay. those wands. So when he went through, he left the wand behind. Yeah, that was part so, of his magic. So sh- I should assume then that if I use this wand, it gets left. Well, he went through a dimensional door. I see. Um, since you're only going to be teleporting, what is it? Say like a hundred feet. 100 feet. Yeah. You, you'll take that with I take you. Take it with you, yeah. or I can like choose, or it just goes with me automatically. I mean, if you want to leave it, maybe you could, but I would say yeah. it just goes with you. Okay. Um, and since that's you know a new wand to you, you don't exactly have you know expertise works. over it. Maybe you know Banos has practiced with it, probably has greater skill with okay. it than you, and it does a few different things. Sorry, I'm just curious about that. I'll uh, I'll talk to the dude. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll talk to the dude. And I'll I'll walking like, away. Yeah, the guy I casted friends on. I trip. <laughs> I'll say like, look, let's be honest here. We outnumber you. We also just went through some horrible cataclysmic event. No one's gonna miss this shit. And if it wants to come down to a fight, you pretty much know how this is going to turn out. So let's just do the harmonious thing and walk away. So which one did you cast friends on? Um, the, the last one who was talking. Okay. So the other one walks up and shoves you. Is this you? Yeah. <laughs> and, sh- and shoves you. Nerd. Um, I use the one to teleport over there. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. So yeah, his shove's completely ineffective, but he, he's screaming at his buddy. All right, the, the weird guy with the hair is starting to use magic. We got to make a decision to go at this or not. Uh, I'm ready to die. Are you? I thought you were just a bodyguard. Why do you know so much about these wands? I, w- I was just trying to recover the property of uh, my general. Um, You're his bodyguard. Uh, just, I'm just not his property guard. It's, it's true. I'm just trying to, you know, stay in the good graces. So, like I said, I use the wand to teleport to the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Does the so wand come you, with me? You guys actually can't go all the way through the temple. Uh, quite yet. I know that's funny. Oh. I, know, I know you guys are being funny. Stupid God. Yeah, what are you guys doing? I was going to have you guys jump out. You were just going to jump me? and I was going to catch you. Yeah. Oh yeah, take that up Why since you guys fight That was just a marker okay. for me to... Okay, so... They want to fight these guys? Uh, they, they don't do. want to fight. Yeah, they don't want to fight. Oh, we don't need what are, yeah. what are we going to get out of them besides a couple... Swords? <laughs> gold? I'm going to cast Charm Person on the dude who shoved me. Oh boy, here we go. Do you have any of these spell slots left? That, friends is a cantrip. Okay. Um, so I'm just making sure it's ru- you're not so, willy nilly. No. So when I leveled up, I got spell slots. Yeah, but I'm adding have, that. No to one. Me. Just to be uh, technically clear, you guys have not leveled yeah. up yet because you have. Oh shit! Yeah, we have rested. Um, All right, never mind then. I don't. Never mind. You have full so health. So he's over there just going. Eh. Well, eh. friends. And then the guy goes. I actually don't remember how many level one slots I had used. Yeah. I'm gonna. I guess I can go ahead and assume that I used them all. Come on, Decker. Let's go. Sure. Here we go. I'm gonna. Maybe we should have been a little bit more subtle right. than that. Well, <laughs> see you later. Miriam is still good. All right. Yeah, I'm just kind of sidestepping over. If you can move me, I'm like, all right. I guess we're leaving. 
Six versus two. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for the one. It's been cool. Yeah. So what do they do? Where did you, you guys we're go? Just, we're making a break for it. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. Oh, they, they, I guess they turn their. They're kind of walking this direction, oh, geez. staring at you. Okay. I mean, because th this would be the one to exit, so they're gonna have to go the same way. <laughs> this is gonna be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oof. Yeah. yeah. We just said goodbye. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Take the elevator down together. So I guess we're all moving they... towards the stairs. So yep. Okay. What you guys happens? are just trying to leave. Yep. We're trying to walk away. All right. That a good time? Yeah, yeah, you, guys, you guys all go downstairs? Yep. I can never tell what Dan wants I know, us to I'm do. I know, I'm really worried. I want you guys to do what you want to do. No. <laughs> um, no. I really kind of had no idea where you guys were going to take this. You want to put him over so. here? Okay. Um, no, no, no. No, he said, he said okay. you have to go through the dungeon again. You have to again. go through the dungeon again, yeah. Which is, that's part of the map, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Did we ever loot the Moondog minutes. Bros? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We killed yeah. them both. We looted everything. I got okay. the sword from him. Everything gets looted. The super mooper moon dark bros. Are sword. they going down the same stairs, Dan? Uh, they're just kind of keeping a safe distance behind you. Um, you know, for goodbyes. <laughs> yeah, you're going to say goodbye like 13 times. Ah, whatever. That, that happens. Yeah. All right, Bye. so you guys are all going down the stairs. See you outside yep. when you're waiting for a lift. Oh, hey again. Yeah. Yeah. Wait for a lift. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to look down at Bye, my I'll see spell you. book. Uh, wait, were we just in so, here already? So, so yeah, wait. The, uh, the impact of uh, oh, shit, Bojo sorry. hitting the ground has kind of changed the layout of the ground down here. And all the light that used to be in this room is gone. God damn it. Fuck. Um, so it's dark. So it's dark. Uh, you do you do smell this the same stale air, except there's just dust everywhere in the in the air. Um, kind of get the smell of blood too, because there was a blood bath in this room That's true. about dark vision. ten minutes ago. Want to lead the way. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna go up front and peer into the dark and see what I can see with my dark vision. Um, with Shad, I'm like, come on, Shattercock, let's look up there. Yeah, I'll go with you. I'm still trying not to look at her boobs. I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, yeah, my top's still off. Um, yes, we're, we're carefully going through, by the way. We're not, yeah, we're yeah. not like, just willy-nilly walking through. Are there any candles or anything around? No. All right. So all the light that was in this room was extinguished uh, since you've been in here last? Kind of. I think we like, can assume that we're all following the them, right? Move uh, us up yeah. to them. Um, it's, it's still dark for them, though, right? Because we use dark vision? Um, yeah, the dark vision people can see, unless anyone's lit a torch, uh, the humans can't see shit. Mm. Uh, they're just kind of blundering around in the dark. I'm, uh, I'm holding on no to Shattercock's G-string <laughs> as we go through. And if anybody wants to hold on to G uh, Grimo's G-string, feel free. No, no really. Nah, I don't. I'll, uh, I'll, I guess I'm I'll listening. Tuck, I'll tuck on to Grimo's uh, collar. Just hold it. So you're just wandering in the dark behind him? Basically, Pretty yeah. Much. And, I, and I, I can see, so I'm like... That's okay. I have 25 feet of rope I can tie around someone's waist. Oh, he uses a leash. I can walk you. <laughs> <laughs> As Decker holds on to Grimo's collar, Grimo thinks this must be what the comforting touch of a father feels like. Oh, my God. And as Grimo feels, uh, or as Shadowcock feels Grimo grabbing onto his thong, her thong, uh, <laughs> she thinks, uh, man, this thong is tight. <laughs> All right. We're still, we're still walking through? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to, Miri, come back to us. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna put, I, I'm gonna tie a rope around your waist. We'll All hold right. on to the rope, and then you can guide us through. If you tighten around, hold neck, it with my hand. That's less <laughs> diameter, uh, and then that's more. It's good yeah. length so, we can get. Yeah. No, we're gonna do the tying uh, thing. Uh, uh, Raxan really nah. wants to tie it around your neck. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe both his ankles. Well, fine, we'll compromise. Go ahead, tie it around my waist. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll, I'll hold my shield. Right. I guess. Nick, anyway. So which way are you going? So I'm I'm fall, I'm kind of trying to catch right. back up. I'm you just going yeah. parallel. Yeah. Um, Shattercock obviously has dark vision, so she can see. Obviously. Here. Razor, okay, razor yeah. in here. Okay. Yeah. Um, Where to go? So. So everybody's grabbing onto me. I'm going through. Let me take a look in here. Oh. So really, it's just. A, Is that light over there? Hey. hey. Yeah, and I'm kind of <laughs> tracking. I'm like parallel or. What are you not parallel? Uh, side by side on the other side of the hallway. Um, so I made it in here. Is this light? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, right, it's bright down here. Come on in. We live here now. <laughs> uh, I, you guys want to come or no? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. Why not? All right. So we all make it in here. Mm -hmm. Seven minutes of heaven, or mm -hmm. uh, no, no, who wants to make out? <laughs> um, so I'll keep going ahead, very carefully up here. Oh yeah, secret. Here, you still want? Grabbing on my phone here. Still grabbing, right, unfortunately. And then Decker's still on the. Mm -hmm. right. I'm just gonna watch our back in case those guys are coming after us. Good just call. in case. Good call. 
Using my, that dark, rope using my dark vision. Yeah. You still have that rope around yeah. you. We can pull him if there's, <laughs> if there's any trouble, yeah. we'll pull him you back. You go explore. You tug three times if you see anything. Heal, 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 Mary. Tug two times if everything's okay. Oh, yeah, so tug once, just tug three it's times. It's just kind of good, not yeah. bad. Five if you're indifferent. Um, uh, when you're kind of going down this river, you actually see one of the orc heads uh, for, of Gron is kind of floating in the river at your feet. Uh oh. Um, I just I kick it, and move on. Right. Yeah. We should grab that, right? That's our payment. You want it? I don't want it, but we need it. I'll grab it. Okay, so you guys are gonna you're gonna yeah, we're me. we're behind. I, oh, I guess Mary, are you still behind? Or are you just no? I up I, our rear. I kind of came back up and then kept going out. Still gonna rope around him. Yeah. So <laughs> who, who, grab, who grab the head? I'll grab the head. Okay. Just the one? Well, there's only one head, right? Yeah, I mean, well, there were two heads. Yeah. Where's the other head? No, he was wearing it, I thought. I thought Raxan was wearing it. He actually took it. both heads off, set them next to each other so that the brothers could be together. Oh, yeah. oh, and then put yeah, his battle helmet on. Right. Nice. I think I played them like bongos, you you but I don't remember. Head? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> probably in the cave still. Oh, and, uh, damn it. Do you have to go back and get that head? If you want to get paid fully, right? Well, then who left it? Grimo didn't leave it. Grimo knows Grimo didn't leave it. <laughs> All right. Do you do you Jeez, three I really want to place three, the blame? Like, are do you guys want to go back in and try and find this head? Oh, How much was it worth? How much were we supposed to get paid? We shouldn't get hundred. Split each, up those I guys think. might ambush us. Hundred gold yeah. pieces each. They're pretty pissed off. Hundred gold pieces. Oh man! All right. Hundred gold pieces. Let's do it. I'll go. I'll go back. Yeah. Well, we should all go. Yeah. I mean, all right, come yeah. on. We got a couple of dudes. I'll use the dark vision. Put Miri at us. Just put him in the front. For dark Sing vision. the river song. Let's go. Let's see. <laughs> Remember, there were two dudes who seemed pretty motivated to kill us. Are you coming with us? We're all going. Yeah, we're yeah, all yeah. up there. Right, I speak for the group. I'm in here. I'm the leader what? now. So where where is this head supposedly? Where was it? All right. So Wait, someone with dark vision should probably roll uh, an investigation check. Mary, you Mary's got the rope around him. Use him like a dog. Yeah. All right. If he doesn't see, yank him back. Sixteen. Ooh. Sixteen. Right, yeah. So you plus one. Oh. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so you notice over by the corner of the pool, uh, the head of an orc. It's missing its jaw, but you see one uh, cropped ear, the other one's kind of crushed it's in. the but head. That's looks the like one. the head Grab of it. There uh, it is, run. I see it. All right, pull uh, them in, boys. I over there picking up. Like poultry guys. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. All right, let's go All back. Right, let's run, go. run, run, run. All right. Cheese it, gang. <laughs> okay, so when you get to the <laughs> end <laughs> of the, the little underground uh, crick, you see a ladder uh, going straight up, maybe about two or three stories, and some faint light kind of flickering in from light. up there. Um, I shove past everyone and climb out. Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Right, right. Next goes up. Uh, what happens? So, so you're climbing I, I, up the ladder? Yeah, I'm climbing the ladder. I'm trying to leave. So you reach the top and you, you feel this uh, wall kind of give when you're trying to push on it. Uh, so roll a strength check for me. Okay. See That's if a you 20. Can, you can push this thing, yeah. And then plus whatever your strength 19. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So your modifiers. You, that's 22. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm a big boy. Yeah. You uh, you give it just a little little hunk and it goes flying over, it does, uh, yes. crumbles into pieces. It's basically that uh, the other side of that statue oh, is where okay. you are. Uh-huh. So you shove that thing. It goes flying into pieces. Cool. Um, and I, I yell, "Later, suckers!" and run. Do we no, all I'm, bail out? Yeah, we're all bailing out. out. Okay, we, tumble, yeah. we all tumble out. I thought that was your one liner. You just say that to the statue. Yeah. Later, suckers. Later, suckers. <laughs> we can't hear you. It's, it's a, a statue. statue. Yeah. What? Oh. Give us the treasure, Dan. Oh. I rolled the wheel, Dan. Oh. Let's see what he's doing. Cool. So we're still back here. This is we're getting floating. way too we're interactive. We're floating. You're holding shift, right? There yeah. you go. I well, wasn't at first. That a boy. No, I am. All right, yeah, so you guys come uh, tumbling out, climbing up out of the ladder, the Whoa. secret tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, what are you doing? So I'm going to kind of like go over this cluster. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleep. I'm going to rest. It's still low. Oh, well, you yeah. don't want to get out of here? Nah. I'll follow Grimo over. <laughs> okay. uh, Should we all watch? Or? Time for a rest. There's a couple knights uh, behind I'm us. I'm way over there. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, she's asleep. They might so. not find us. Over to Grimo. They might but, not find you because you're small. I'll go with them. They're gonna find me because I'm large and covered in muscles. Grimo's gonna. He's gonna do a full rest. He's gonna flop down. On the full rest. You couldn't yeah. wait till we got back to. T- Never mind. You're asleep. How are we doing? Right? So you're like putting a little campfire yeah, together, I'm or you just hit the ground asleep? I'm, my little uh, like backpack under my under my head. And uh, I'm holding the necklace. I'm gonna get to my mother when I see. I mean, uh, what? can I pick Grimo up and then carry Grimo to another place where we can like do a baby? Yeah, do an actual rest. That's right. Like I forgot. She's the smallest of all. He's the smallest. I mean, of all he of can. Yeah. So I'm gonna talk to Grimo. Say, look, Grimo, I know Grimo's asleep. Can I? Right? 
Never mind. Can I kick him Get him crook. Get him. Let's get him. Oh, okay. okay. Is there anything? Up. Is there? Can we look around and see if there's anything that maybe will maybe had fallen off the top of the roof down to the mountain valley below? Yeah. Do do a perception check for me. And don't tell me again what you're trying to look for. Um, anything. Stuff. Uh, objects that may have fallen from above. I got. Uh, 16. Okay, uh, yeah, you look around, maybe there's a few rocks uh, and things, but nothing really of importance. Take two. Um, I mean, this seems so out of character for all you guys, but typically don't you want to get paid? And we have two work heads that yeah. we yes, need let's to go. desperately also, get back. Let us go back. You guys yeah. keep forgetting. There were two dudes who were about ready to kill us. Exactly. I didn't keep forgetting. I, I'm ready to go. That's Great. why I was, did you see me scurrying through that water? Pick yeah. up I pushed that fucking rock. Yeah, let go. Just pick, pick him I, here, I pick up Just Grimo. Pick him up, yeah. oh. Can I roll, do I have to roll strength to pick mm-hmm. up this tiny thing? Yeah, just move me over there. 20. Wow. Oh, jeez. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Effortlessly yeah, lift him up. And he's still asleep. Yep, like, that's he didn't fine. notice a single I, thing. Much like Yoda before him, I throw him on my back and I carry him. Sure. Yeah. Grimo, right. Grimo kind of like hugs around your front. Clutching your Aww. chest in his sleep. Totally it's, fine. I feel like yeah. looking for a nipple. Yeah. 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 Oh. Mouthing around. Um, and I, I look to the, the group and I'm Let's like, go. we gotta get these orc heads are rotting Let's now. Do it. And as much Let's as go. I want to play with them, we gotta go. Okay. <laughs> so we all start moving, I guess, that way towards the so path. So where, where are you guys going? Towards that way. Towards We're going down there. the path. All right. Well, there's no get... more map. It's not scrolling yeah, anymore. Okay. Right? Oh. So yeah, what way are you headed? Where, like, have you guys decided what you're doing? Well, yeah, right? where did we get our contract in the first place? We I don't know. Way back. Where's the map? We'll get. Get that map out. Hold on, Miri, check the map. I don't have it. It's right oh. you. Here. There it is. So we were there. Well, we yeah. were there, and then we stopped at Jayen, but we started at Holdfast. Yeah, so you started at that Holdfast over so there. So that's multi-day journey. Yeah, yeah so, so uh, what's, what's Yaba? Oh, that's where you met that old witch. Oh. Mm-hmm. So should we We should go back to there, and then we can camp there, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we'll, we'll hole up with the, at Yaba. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. I'll just keep an eye out while we're traveling to see if anybody's following There's us. There's also Ula's crown. Oh, yeah, the crown. I mean, I don't care about helping some little kids. <laughs> yes, you but do. I don't care. Yeah, you really. do. I really don't care. But I mean, I'm just saying it is Everyone's head there ish. So, are we going, Mary? Mary, where are we going? Well, I just know Mary we like, go, loves, like, be doing whatever, but like, as so far as we can go today and then let's get a rest and then decide. We'll just rest. Or can, we, <laughs> can we make it to. It's helping kids. How long is a walk is he the crown? He me. Let's so, see. like, I kind of have to do what he says. So, if Miri's oh, you like, like little boys. Yeah, so, you can Mary's do about like, 25, 30 kids. miles a day. Um, <laughs> Looks like it's maybe Making it to like the ground 15? might be two days. We two. can make it back to Yaba in one day, yeah. Well, yeah, the, the place where you camped when you came across but, that witch. How far away is Jayan? Um, let's sit, call that two and a half, three days. Oh, wow. Okay. So, then I guess we camp. Let's just go to Yaba. Yaba, yeah. Okay, just that place where you guys camped mm-hmm. previously. Yeah. 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 Yep. So that's about a day's journey there, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Grimo's sleeping on Roxanne's carrying, and he's sleeping. Mm-hmm. Wasted so all my good rolls on picking people up or moving <laughs> inanimate, <laughs> inanimate, inanimate objects. That's the best way to roll. I yeah. guess. At least you're rolling. Roll at the campfire, and these guys are gone. Yeah. Or are they? Yeah. Where are they? So we set well, up and rest, yeah? Grimo, Grimo wakes up. He, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I feel great. Uh, hey, you I get first watch. watch. I, can, I throw Grimo on the jar and go, yeah. you got first watch, uh, bro. I feel worse. magical even. You know what, guys? I'll stay up all night. I'll keep watch. You guys, you get your little beauty sleep. Uh, I have some things to think about. Shattercock. Okay. Shattercock goes, yeah. goes right to sleep. <laughs> She's okay. going. Without, without a spoon? Grimo! I need you over here. I oh. need a large spoon. Oh. Shadowcock, I'm putting my foot down. I gotta keep watch. You spoon yourself tonight. Um, Decker? Uh, what? You wanna be with a big spoon? I don't know. I got I got a breathing condition. It's, uh, <laughs> you don't wanna be around me when I sleep. Hi, right, Mary. It's you and I. Nope, I'm good. Putting out my bedroll. What? Wake up now. Uh, uh, I'm already spooning, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, then I'll spoon you. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. That's three Tacking of us right all the spooned end. up together. I was from Derek's area. I thought it would work. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then you scratch my belly and my yeah. leg kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That wasn't your belly. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Grimo's watch. We're all asleep. Yep. Yeah. All right, yeah. Um, so no, no lost well, stories wait, or anything more. has got something. Never mind. I was going to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ask. So catch me up, guys, that Iman Down seemed a little... So he's playing the government of the hired us, right? You can't trust any government, you hear me? Well, I know that. You can't I get, trust I get government, that. you can't trust magic. Miriam, you've been 
of a conspiracy theorist? No, but he was a general for in the same army of the guys that hired us. Whatever, man. Clearly Con being... Authority just generates power, which generates corruption. You can just... It's all predictable. It's all bullshit. If you just look at... I got some resources if you want. You can look into this stuff. Government's corrupt. Every every organization transferred corruptness is what I'm saying. You gotta tear it down to build it back up, and that's, that's all I'm trying to do. So do you think he was an offshoot, or do the guys that hired us directly are in on this, too? What's What do you guys You can think? only look out for yourself, Miri. That's why, if you're tired, you just go to sleep. Shut up! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess that works. Here he sits quietly, <laughs> staring at these people he hates. <laughs> All right, so yeah, night passes. You guys wake up. Um, Is it a long rest for us? You had a long rest, so you get yeah. uh, health. You Woo get your uh, some spell slots back. Yep. Um, we level up. You guys kind of know. Right, yeah, and you level, level up. up. Oh, yeah. Hey. So hey. after all your experiences up to this point, um, all the things you've gone through, the skills you've practiced, uh, you've kind of, you've all gotten to this next level of combat. You oh, all kind of have new my, skills, my new boobs, powers. My boobs are bigger! Is that Files. possible? I guess it works that way, yeah, The sure. nipples are almost even. And there they go. <laughs> um, yeah, do you guys want to talk about what you did with uh, your level three level ups I mean, or anything? I had, a, I had a, some an cool epiphany stuff. of a dream last night, and uh, a, a Viking spirit, he, uh, he showed up to me as a barbarian warrior. He took the shape of an eagle and then I took him into me as my totem spirit, Whoa. Um, which makes me even a, an even better fighter than I was before. Wow. Yeah. I can take you into me. Nope. Okay. No, thank you. Okay. That's good power. Grimo mentioned this earlier, but after he got near that portal, he started feeling different. Like there was something magical about him. And then after he slept, he woke up and he found that he had this giant wand. Like the teleport wand. Oh. 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 But he felt like he'd be able to use its magic even better because he just he just has this feeling now. He's magical. And almost like a wizard, like his hero, Decker. That makes sense. <laughs> Maybe because of the time he's been spending with Decker. Maybe. 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 I, I got I got two more spells. Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently level three is really awesome for a lot of people. For, you had your yeah. cool thing in level two. Shut yeah. got new spells got too. Easy. Yeah, I mean I, I got a shitload of hit points and I'm now a, a I changed my martial. Well, maybe archetype. you observed the fighting technique of some of the people that we faced along the way. And yeah. Managed, okay, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a, I, have, I have different fighting styles and stuff. I'm cool. I can't wait to see where this will take us on our next Adventuros. <laughs> <laughs> what about Mary? Yeah, you. <laughs> and Mary, too. That's a good out. I, yeah. Oh, oh no, Mary, again. It's okay. I no, want to hear what about Mary. Yeah, what happened with Mary? Oh, I don't know. I took an oath. There are a couple O's before me in this paladin order of sorts. Celibacy. And uh, <laughs> he doesn't know I took one called the Oath of the Ancients, which is about nature and preserving nation, na nature, and having a love for the things that grow on Earth. And that has to do with my past. <gasps> the orcs. Ooh. The orcs destroyed a lot of the things I love. And I love the land. So there you go. <laughs> Gotta get ensnared. Sounds good. Now you know the rest of the <laughs> Ensnared strike. I can use vines. <laughs> you saw the best of it. <laughs> just, <now>. just, <laughs> can you just stand there for 10 years? Yeah, hold up. I want those vines to grow on you. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> right on. So, okay, so uh, you wake up from our rest. Yeah, yeah. The sun's up. You guys Ooh, start to uh, flicker awake. Um, Grim Grimo's up first because he'd had a nice nap uh, the day before. Grimo got nothing to report. But I'm wondering where we should head now. Should we head east to that town where those Bafooks were heading? Is your sleep schedule off? Are they heading okay? east? <laughs> yeah, which, I thought which they ones were you talking west. about here? All right. Yeah, we got a we got a map here. So Ooh. we got we got to head back to town to where? No. No. What? No. What? East well, would be really yeah, you, guys, you guys are over here. I thought west. Uh, uh, the, yeah. the camp where you met the, the good witch. We're trying to go get paid. We did yeah. the work. Let's go get paid. Well, the thing is, like, you know, Miri, he feels so responsible for other people that he's, like, been really be pushing me to go to U Ula's crown. Digger, no. Digger. He wants to rescue because the little girl. The, the children he that were missing. Doesn't missing matter who children. wants to. He should be responsible to me. Make sure I get paid for the work I've already done. Well, see, the thing is, Mi Miri and I have an arrangement. I'm supposed to kind of do what he says because, you he know, he paid girls. me, so. Who doesn't? Well, I've heard about that, actually. I, I mean, Miri, regardless, you were the leader, and our objective was to kill the Moondog Brothers. We did it. Let's just finish this out. Then we can decide 
what dumbass witch thing you want to go do. You him, can go do it. Him pulling the map out right now is the equivalent of someone pulling out their cell phone and just disengaging the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, boy. I hear them kind of talking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are we going to do? He's just gazing deeply at the Where are we going? Well, Dear leader. Where are we going? Again, I always instinctually want to help, but if my group that I am... See, so he wants to help. Help me get paid. God damn it. I'll go with Derek, or I'll go get paid. I, I don't it's care. not with me. I just have to go where he goes. If you guys, if my kids want to go get paid, then I'm then I'm all for it. Kids. I'm not gonna... Yeah, that was weird. Thing. That Perhaps was a weird we should put it to a vote. I feel like you're my kids. You want to put it to a vote? Well, Who weird. wants to go rescue these sad little girls? Don't remind nobody of nobody's sisters. Uh, pathetic. It's a weird thing to say. <laughs> also, we don't know if they're there, but I want to go. Well, I mean, he's voting. For, I, what can I do? What can I do? I'm holding up one of the Moondog uh, brothers' heads. I go, I'm in. <laughs> Decker, are you going to come with us or not? I kind of like, that one. give Decker. Remember when I gave you that one? Up and like, give Decker a gold piece. Like, <laughs> you know, just take it. Um, pocket it. All right, well, <laughs> here's the problem. You guys have the heads. I love that he's taking down one gold from his amount. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please, please, please do it. Aren't I supposed to keep track? Yes, yeah, no one else cares. I'm glad you're I have yeah. mine right here. I didn't keep track right here. here. I, it's, I think it says 40. Yeah. Oh, boy. 235 or something. Out. 23 silver. Oh, that's what it was. Thank Why you. Why don't you <laughs> use the thing on your sheet that's designed yeah, there's to house a silver. the money? Go on, Decker. Decker, please. please. Decker, please. Decker, please. Oh, sorry. Oh, look at that. You guys have the heads. Ah. I could try and take him while you're sleeping. That's true, you could. But we'd probably But he didn't stop you. already, which means he has a heart of gold. Decker, we know you have a heart of gold. And that new gold piece from Miri, we saw we all saw that. We saw that too. Yeah, Please exactly. come with yeah, us, Decker. I mean, I'll go, but I want Are we gonna get paid extra for this? Or are we just doing it because we're nice? Possibly. Whatever, man. This Grimo, is, well, Grimo this will give, give you give you ten gold. Ten? Ten. Ten gold, Ten gold. Or, or friendship, or friendship. Friendship's a better... Ten gold no. or friendship, you decide. And so in his head right now, he's kind of running running the plot of this, because he's an idiot that way. So he'll be like, yeah, friendship, whatever. That's always how these things come down, isn't it? Uh, All right, fine, let's go be a fantasy I, party. I put the orc head next to him and goes, friendship is the most important thing in life. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just look and go, mm. Decker, <laughs> Decker's going to throw up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are maggots coming out of its Yeah, no, it's, it's rotting. It smells terrible. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> so just, he'll you know, wipe his mouth like, yeah. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> All right, fine, fine, let's go, fine. All right, to Yulis Crown! Yulis Crown! It's a euphemism for a vagina. All right, so we're, now we're walking to Yulis Crown. So yeah, you guys packed up your gear. I guess you finally decided you're going to head <laughs> yeah. that direction in hopes of finding uh, those lost children, the witch or, the children or, or yeah. whatever's going on there. Yep. Uh, Side pick, quest. Pick out a marching order for me. So you, you guys are going, you're walking, you, got, you need to be going in some sort of order. would be in the very back. Yeah. Usually. Hey, did it work out? No, it didn't. All right. Uh, I'm usually in the middle. Mary's usually. Mary, That's where I do my best leading. philosophizing. Sure. Oh, boy, you guys are real locked together. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it's under the. Oh, Grimo, you're there. with me. There we go. Ah, <laughs> okay. oh, damn it. I just wanted to be careful. I don't know. I just sort of. That's fine. That's fine. Right. So, so Rax in for everybody? Rax in the front. I guess I'm in the front. Oh, wait. Well, no, we're brave. A brave well, I'm not the leader. Our real leader is right here. <laughs> Mr. Moondog. <laughs> Show us how to get to Eula's Crown. You got it! All right. All aboard the All right, cool. so you guys are marching along. Uh, you decide to kind of try and follow that river. Mm-hmm. Um, Hold on. This is daytime, by Hold the way. On, stop oh, talking. Okay. I even even though the map. There. Now it's okay. Um, oh wait. Okay. <laughs> wait. Okay. All right. So that that you know you're gonna follow the river. Um, <laughs> he trips and falls and dies. <laughs> and Decker died and was never heard of again. <laughs> he went to his home planet. Passing us on the river. <laughs> there, he's home now. Just a bloated corpse. <laughs> We're so happy for him. <laughs> Check his pockets. So yeah, you're, you're marching along for a few hours. Um, not a lot's going on. The sun's getting higher in the sky. It's getting hotter <sighs> and, and sweatier. Um, you do. You notice uh, a family of deer up ahead, kind of feeding out of the river. Um, at so one point, so beautiful. Um, sure. yeah. Pretty sight. Something to see along the way. Okay. Cracks um, that takes off his clothes and jumps on one. <laughs> starts biting it. <laughs> I don't take my clothes off. You rolled them more. This is. That was good. Now we're in the water. All right. So, do do do. Can you put yourselves in order right down here? Sure. Are we gonna fight a troll? <laughs> he's gonna have. He's gonna have riddles. 
That depends on whether or not Decker turns on us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're marching along. Who's first here? Is that you, Raxon? Yeah, it's me. Mm-hmm. Alright, you guys will make it about halfway through the bridge before something something goes on. I hope it's a wish. Hail adventurer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You are now level 15. Goodbye. One free wish. <laughs> you and only right. you, James. I, uh, I mean, roll a d20 it. for me, Adam. Uh, sure. Ooh, that's a three. Oh, dang it. Boy. Any inspo? That means I'll have to fight three trolls. Oh, <laughs> right? Hello? So, actually, before you, uh, you see this phantasmal, kind of blue glowing figure that starts to make itself more clearly looking like your father. Oh. Um, he, he starts talking to you, and you're, you're completely, completely convinced that your father uh-huh. is standing a few feet in front of you. Yeah. Um, Raxon, son, what have you done? What are you doing here? I, I, I am. I am. I, I know. Look, I'm going to school. I promise. Um, I was just taking some time off. These. These are. Um, what are you? What are you doing here, Dad? All right. Now roll another d20 for oh, me. Oh fuck. Actually, I'm sorry. What's your AC? Uh, I'm. Uh, yeah. Bad question. Shit. <laughs> Dad's gonna hit me. <laughs> right. How big is this belt? It's goofy time. <laughs> so a huge force slams into your chest. As dads do. Um, <laughs> and actually sent you flying backwards. I know he loves me! Yeah. Uh, so Miri, will you roll a strength uh, 20 for me? Add your strength modifier. Uh, 18. Shit. All right. <laughs> so he, he pushes back just a little bit and holds, but uh, Raxon goes flying back several feet. Oh, wow. Damn it. Um, Probably shit himself, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, roll for that. Uh, my daddy, my daddy. <laughs> it was unrelated to the punch. So, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, Bargu, uh, this giant fucking gorilla with blue skin, bright red hair, cool. its, it's right. fists are as big as your torso, appears kind of as its fist was right into your chest. Jesus. Man, my dad was cool looking. Yeah. <laughs> so he's sitting there, he screams at you with his gorilla, <laughs> um, and jumps forward and swings at Mary. So he appeared to Raxan as his greatest fear, his father, and now he appears to Miri as his greatest fear, a large gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> with sweet lip piercings. Yeah, with lip piercing. <laughs> so he swings, at, he swings at Miri. What does Miri do? What's your AC, Miri? Um, well, it depends on if I was walking with my shield on my back or not. I don't know. 18. Whatever. So you probably had your shield stowed, I'm guessing, since so you were 16, just walking. then. 16? Yeah. All right. So um, his first blow kind of comes at you and misses, but then he comes at you with a huge bite to the head. Oh, oh boy. Um, head biter. <laughs> You've lost three quarters of your head? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you forgot math. You can get it back after a long rest. <laughs> Bless your eyes. You can't sleep without your eyes. All right. So nine damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, oh boy. So you know, the, the grill is just, you know, fucking ready to go. It's or Bulgura. Oh. Um, let's roll for... Uh, Guess initiative. we got us a random encounter, uh, boys. Do, do I roll too? Oh yeah, my, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me too, guys! Oh! Yeah. We both got fours. <laughs> All right. You got a four, Bust Bruce? Bust out that sweet yeah, magic. So did, uh, so did Decker. Uh, ten. Am I the highest? Grimo? Fourteen. Or unless would Derek get? Oh, I don't actually oh, we'll don't need those anymore. Oh, Derek got four. Derek got six. One. Oh, oh. holy oh, fuck! I always right. roll horrible for initiative. Not that it matters, but it does. Matter. I have a really bad roll. Oh, actually, it just yeah, matters I'm, what I'm order nine. You're going, I forgot. Right? Yeah. I have oh, negative what? proficiency. What does it really matter? Right. After the first turn, just a second. I know what I'm gonna do though. You gonna stab him? Nope. You gonna stab him with your sword? Nope. Actually, uh, I'm not. Remo, can you roll again? So sixteen. Uh, did you guys re-roll the ones with fours? Not yet. We can. Ready? Uh, well, isn't it? It's plus initiative, right? So I have a six. Oh, so you actually okay? Right. That oh, makes not, it easier. It's not a tie when you put in your modifier. Oh, these are nice. Look at you! Wow. Season two. <laughs> Everything's so different. Did you order these online? Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, printers go online. <laughs> You print it online? Go online. It goes. If you had to print it over the internet, right, it still there's counts. our initiative you, order. You All right, uh, Derek, you're up first. This huge grill just showed up, busted up Raxon, and took a, a bite out of your buddy Mary. Okay. Also, um, I shit myself. I'm going to go for a reckless attack. Whoa. All right. Um, so I'll have advantage, and I'm going to take my two axes. One's an orc ripper, but I'm guessing he's not an orc. He's not an orc. He is a demon, though, so I don't know if anyone has special abilities. I'm gonna try and that. get behind him and uh, take two swings at him. All right. Uh, eleven. 
It doesn't hit. No? Sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. That was good. <laughs> you can roll for your second swing, though. All right. Ten. Mm. All right. So yeah, both both of your swings go wild. He okay. he brushes off. That's why they call it reckless. <laughs> oh wait, I guess they well, had, had advantage. Yeah. So you can roll both of those again, actually. Ooh. Nine. Nineteen. There you go. So you got one hit there. Got one. Yeah. Alrighty. Um. Three plus what are you on strength? Yeah, six. So six yeah. damage. All right, he doesn't really seem to be too phased by that. All right, uh, you know, still heaving, screaming at you. Uh, so is it the monster's turn? Or is it Grievous? Yeah, it's the monster's turn now. Again? All right, oh, it's a big monster. So he uh, he takes another bite at Miri. Oh no! Heal yourself. You'll be all right, Miri. You'll be all right. Ikuba. You'll be all right. You'll be I just leveled up. I'm good. Mountains of HP. Nine though. Yeah, first one hurt. That's okay. Second one's gonna be easier. You know what to expect now. <laughs> All right. So he, he his uh, his jaws go right into your shoulder, take oh, a huge that chunk out. Painful. You got eleven damage. Long rest. Oh, eleven. Good. Long God. rest. You're good. Long rest. God. Um, and then he swings backwards uh, and takes a fist right at uh, Derek's head. Oh, I get it. Dan hates us. <laughs> Dan's the gorilla. <laughs> Episode two, dog. There's got to be some action. Yeah. Does fourteen hit? No. All right. So yeah, his swing goes a little too wild. Um, oh, except that you get to roll again because I was reckless. Uh, I'm fifteen. Armor class fifteen. All right. No. All right. Yeah. So uh, he swings wildly, uh, misses you a bit. You know, you're dodging around. Sounds like me. Uh, Green. Oh, yeah, Derek. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm gonna cast Tasha's hideous laughter. It's page 280 of the player's handbook. If you want to follow along at home. Uh, <laughs> so it's got a casting <laughs> uh, casting time of uh, up to or concentration of up to one minute. And uh, I, if I target it at him, he will perceive everything as hilariously funny and fall into fits of laughter. Uh, should should I succeed? Yeah, I think and, he's uh, already doing that. He needs to make a saving throw. Otherwise, he'll he'll be able to stand and he's just laughing uh, for that minute. And uh, only it won't work if he has an intelligence score of four or less. Okay. He's above a four. Okay, so I'm gonna oh, smart monkey. I'm gonna roll for it, I suppose. <laughs> like, uh, what's your Tom what's your attack? attack? <laughs> Tasha's hideous laughter. Okay, you should have like a standard it, spell attack, right? That's the spell attack. It doesn't it doesn't indicate to roll for it or not. Sounds like it's just a check, like a constitution. So yeah, you should have like a standard. Uh, so you can check it in the book. It's page two eighty. Um, I have it like verbatim. Um, Derek. Do you know what your spell, general spell so DC he, save is? He just needs to succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be eight it plus. What's your magic thingamabobber? My my spell save DC? Yeah. 13. Oh, there we go. So he's got to beat a 13. And you said it was wisdom or intelligence? It's a wisdom savings throw for that. And he's got to be a 13? Yeah. All right, he does. Aww. Sorry. Oh, no. How you feel my I wanted pain? to see uh, <laughs> his, his monkey <laughs> chuckles. <laughs> monkey chuckles. So many, so many plans. Unless you have a bonus action or want to move. Um, you've got the things out of order. Yeah. Do uh, I do have cunning action, well, which allows also. me to take a bonus action oh, on oh, each of my turns in combat. So I'll probably just uh, dash okay. from there. Mm. To um, where do you want to go? I'll, I will dash just to the back. And I Away. can only move five spaces. You can do an action and then dash? Mm -hmm. So I have, I have a thing called cunning action. Let's take a. Oh! You can do an action and then move. Hmm. Okay. Or break it up if you want to do like two spaces, do an action and Seriously? then move. Seriously? Sure, I didn't know that. Okay. All okay. right, Rexon. Um, You're on your ass. Okay. <laughs> and so we, and we, to use our bracers of pound, we have to both say damage or attack at yeah. the same time. Or if you guys want to come up with a better shorthand than that, or some, you know, some court sort it's of like fine. shake and bake or whatever. I mean, at this point, well, we, but it has to be specific, right? Because one of us gets one and one yeah, gets the yeah. other. Okay. Oh, we say which one we want. Yeah. Okay, so we can't both get the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want damage. You, want. you might need to move no, up. Can't say that before. Yeah, you got to. I mean, why not? I we're, I mean, can't I don't agree. Think we're on? To discuss it, right? Yep. Well, 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 I have to. You got to get. I got to get out. I do the sweetest combat roll you have ever seen. Into a. Fist, spikes another which one, like, a I say and gets back up. damage. <laughs> nice, uh, but I also did like kind of a. I did kind of a cool Power Rangers thing when they do, but it doesn't really do uh -huh. anything. But I just do the fist. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so the yeah, brr, bracer of attack. Um, All right. So you, you got the damage. You got yep. the attack. And nice. I I have my my great axe, and I want to swing at this motherfucking monkey. Uh, so I just roll for attack. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That is a five. And I would say you actually have advantage uh, yeah. since you've got this guy surrounded. Okay. 
To, that's another roll? Yeah, yeah so oh, roll, roll that again. Pick the higher one. Oh, Ooh, boy. Right. boy. Jesus, <laughs> what is wrong with you? You wasted it picking up Grimo so last good. time. Yeah. So even though he's this giant hulking gorilla, you're just swinging wildly and not coming close to him. <laughs> and I'm watching him swing. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at my bracer. Increase <laughs> my accuracy. It's almost like you're you're two feet away from where you needed to be to, it's to a connect big axe. That. It's a big gorilla. I don't get the math. <laughs> so Decker? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And remember... Season two, my character's cool now. <laughs> so, what? Just, just what, what Decker says about himself. Yeah, yeah. It's All it is is Lord's just saying, like, my cool jacket, my cool sunglasses, yeah. I'm cool, I'm cool. <laughs> That's what makes you cool, saying you it over and over and over and telling people. <laughs> so he opens up his laptop, he's like, I've been working on a new subroutine. Oh, yeah. Types up scorchingray.exe, hits enter. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> three fireballs fly out of the laptop and he directs them right towards the monkey. Okay, so that's like a target one. It's not a line or a cone or. No, it's so it's uh, a rain. Uh, you can, it's basically like a magic missile. You create three rays of fire and hurl them at targets within range. You can hurl them at one target or several. So it's All awesome. Right, so you're going to basically three rays. Them. I'm going to arc them around, hit them cool. from the side. Uh, and then let's see here. It's ranged, uh, ranged spell attack for each ray. So I roll against spell save? Yeah. Okay. My well, 13. no, you don't roll. He rolls. Yeah. And so, yours is thirteen. Yeah. For three. Mm-hmm. So three times. All right. Uh, two of those hit. Cool. Each one is two d six. So can I borrow another d six just to speed this up? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So for the first one, three. Great. <laughs> Second one, uh, seven. So ten total. That's the lower one. Nice. That was a big hit. It kind of he reacts to it a little bit. Uh, you know, these fireballs are are blasting him. His the kind of red hair on his back is singeing up and crisping up. You kind of smell that gross, burning hair it smell. Like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to move or anything, or have a bonus action? I mean, I'm already at the edge of the map, so <laughs> the direction I you want to move. Any yeah, <laughs> I'm good. I mean, you know, for the sake of, of the RP, we can. Pretend there's more map there if you're trying to back out of it. I would be, let's see here, what's the range of this spell? 120 feet, that's a lot. Wow, that is really. So, we'll just. We'll just I mean, looking cool doing it, but running away. <laughs> Walking backwards, real cool. Moonwalk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the first time you guys have ever seen Shattercock excited in battle? I've seen her excited. You've seen her excited, but not in battle. Oh boy. Uh, quick, quick question though. Uh, yeah. You have no top on still. Absolutely, I have no top. Okay, cool. Off. Yeah, that's. I right, just want to make sure. That's how you can tell. Sure. That's the, how you the, the areolas that are normally the size of plates are sharpening they, down. Oh, really? <laughs> I was going to say they're crawling over her shoulder, yeah. dropping around her back. And you see, no, and you I, see think they, I think they, they get they, tighter. Yeah. She's becoming the all areolas. Skin is tensing. They're inverted. Yeah, everything's tensing up. You okay, see, okay. you see her hands come up, and you see fire start bursting from her hands. Whoa. She's super fucking pumped. So I go, look out! Like that. She tells the gorilla. So basically, I need you guys to just move to the sides. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically clear the path. It's they not, my, it's 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 not my turn really. at the same time. But you, if you turn. took like a step over this way, you'd probably get a direct. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, you all right, sort sure, of... I'll do that. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> um, yeah, because it's just—it's basically just a line. There we it's go. Just a straight line, and then she casts. Oh. Uh, hit through. I, I, yeah, it's yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, it's probably going to go through. So it's uh, it's called Agonar's Agon, Agonazars. I think it's Agonazars Scorcher, and uh, it's thirty feet long, five feet wide. That's 3d8 fire damage. So that's why, that's why I'm saying you got to back up a little bit. Why can't they back up a little bit this when I say well, turn. Turn. It's all at the same turn. time? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're essentially casting exactly that's while they're I, That's total bullshit. Uh, <laughs> that's how the that game works. That doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, regardless, I'll this, cast this it. 40-year-old game. <laughs> <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Um, I need three d8s. So somebody else can give me a d8 and a d8. I think that's a and 10. It, is, this, is this auto damage? I think you've got a 10 here. Or Which does he get to save against it? What? Uh, he, no, yeah, no, he can save. Okay, what's the spell save? For me, it's 14. It's just one, one it, attack. It's uh, charisma? All right, no. You get, you, okay. What's up? So, spell save DC. Two, no six. No idea what mine is. So it's eight. Yeah, that's like so nine. nine. Yeah. Unless you're casting, you won't need to know it. Nine right. damage. Yeah, but I'm going to um, And it's going to singe them a little bit. Yeah, Derek, I would, I would say, can you do a uh, yeah. dexterity save for me? So you see, you see you dodging out of the way. And uh, 13. Do you have any extra? I mean, that was my dexterity saving throw bonus. Okay. What was it? 13. All right, yeah, that's good enough. So you, so you take a little tiny step that way. All right. Is there anybody else? All right, yeah, that was nine total. 
Not yeah. Well, I would Sweet. have also had an advantage on that too, because my danger sense. Oh. <laughs> Didn't need it though. <laughs> but I was ready to go. Is that is that your turn? <laughs> Chad. Mm-hmm. Miri. Alright. Bring up the back. Um You might want to run. <laughs> well, yeah. I want to cast a spell, but I don't know my my DC. Whatever. Spell it save is. DC. Spell save DC. Sorry. It's, uh, it's like eight plus. Where do I find it? Spell attack bonus, which is your proficiency plus yeah. intelligence. So eight plus your proficiency, which is two. Which is two. two. And then intelligence. So ten plus your spell cast. Well, his his yeah, mine's paladin charisma. might not be intelligence. Yeah, mine's oh, charisma. Really? So plus oh. charisma. Okay. Yeah. So ten plus your charisma, which is eleven. One. Or no, what's the bonus? Oh, zero. Oh. So yeah, just ten. So ten. Okay. Yeah, I want to. Well, I don't know. It's my channel divinity. I don't know if that counts as a spell. No, you get to use that once right. every time between rests. It's so. not a spell slot. No. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna because I'm hurt and this thing looks big. I want to get it away from me and everyone else. So I use turn the faithless, which is. Uh, I'm uttering ancient words, and I'm uh, like flashing my holy symbol, which is on my shield. It's a fancy word for run. Yeah. <laughs> Monkey pulls out his rosary. He's got and a, he's, on you. He's got to <laughs> make. Mass. He's got to make a wisdom saving throw to not get turned. And I got to beat eleven. Yeah, my thing is. No. Oh. He rolled a twenty. Oh. Well done. This I'm monkey sorry, is. Mary. We need to recruit okay. this monkey. Yeah. He's Someone great. Him. He got oh, stronger. If you give me so, ten minutes, I can speak with animals. <laughs> <laughs> so he just kind of does like a grill. He just goes <laughs> like laughing at your face. So you're trying to turn him around with your might and your, you know, divine oh sense or whatever. Oh boy, yeah. Um, and he just laughed at you. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a demon gorilla. And I guess you're, he doesn't fear your god at all. <laughs> oh, sorry. Not my die roll, anyway. <laughs> or my DC, whatever it is. Dwarven god is a punk. All right, uh, Derek. All right, I'm going to rage. What? Ten. Oh. Yeah. I'm I raging. Take well, I don't have, have the right sheet for it. Um, okay, we're, we're, we're angling up then. Yeah. I'm just level three. Um, and then I'm going to try and strike him with my sword. All right, so you stow your axes, pull out a sword. Yeah. That, would, that would be your bonus action. Eight plus two is ten plus one from mm-hmm. Bracers of Pound mm-hmm. is eleven. Sorry, man. Alright. Fuck. This, this fucking monkey. Yeah, yeah. All he's right. he's a tough bastard. Know, right? it's it's monkey's monkey. turn. Yeah, it's the monkey's turn. <laughs> Alright. Um The monkey kills all of you and the game's over. <laughs> Good season. <laughs> so uh he takes uh two fists right at Dirk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hounds you through the just like into the ground. Yeah, and you, well, you can, like fall into the river. Uh, he's at disadvantage because I have totem warrior eagle. All right, so it's Idiot. just it's a it's a flurry that all of them miss. But I see all of them coming, and my eyes turn into hawk eyes. And you go like this. You, go, ah! you hear it in my in the head as I dodge his attacks. Trip on one of your shoelaces, fall in yeah. the river. <laughs> oh, dang it. Yeah, I'd say each one of them is just missing by a couple, yeah. you know, maybe an inch. Yeah. Oh, and it looks real movement. sweet, but then you cut cool. to Shattercock's perspective, and it's like me <laughs> flapping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's an eagle dance. Yeah. His feathers exploding yeah. everywhere for no reason. Was like, uh. dude. All right, so his, his flurry of fists miss, and he turned to Rax and, and goes damn. after with a bite. Oh. Um, okay, you don't taste it. going to give you AIDS. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a regular patient zero right here. So that definitely connects. Cool. Um, oh, AIDS. I like how you didn't have to roll yeah. anything. You just die. <laughs> What's well, his AC? Flap. Yeah. All right. <laughs> ah! Eagle, remember. It's like, what? always sunny. Stomp. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go, so ah! eight, <laughs> eight damage That's with that, not, that giant I, bite. I can handle that. Um, all right, yeah, Grimo. Shoot my bow at him. A magic bow, right? Oh, so yeah. 20. 20. Oh. Thank the Lord. Yeah, that one hits. And then 1d6. Yeah, no, should it hit? <laughs> so it's six. Six damage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't you get your sneak attack there? I, I mean, he knew I was there, so I'm not sneaking. Okay. I think when he's kind of engaged in combat, you can technically get the sneak attack. Um, if you think so. Because uh, you would imagine like the, the gorilla's in battle with these three mm, Yeah, if you want cool me to guys. roll for it, I just can. Roll another I'm, just, I'm just saying. So six plus three, nine. All right. Better. He doesn't want us to die here. <laughs> it's okay. 
He's trying to kill us. He's been trying to kill us since the yeah. beginning of this game. We're fighting. We're fighting Raxan's dad. This yeah. Very oh, right. How do you Mom imagine how hard it is for me? <laughs> <laughs> dad, no. Uh, anything else you're gonna do, Green Mile? No, that's it. Okay. Correct. Um, how old is this bridge? Um, it's, it's not looking great. I was thinking it's not looking great. Explosives. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not—it's not, it's not going to collapse under your weight just standing there. But if I were to roll under the bridge and try to cut the floor out from beneath him to trap him laterally. within oh. the bridge, just imagine going and it just sticks. Would I be able to do that <laughs> uh, if I roll for it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a cut with uh, your sword. Like once that. again, I do the <laughs> I do the second coolest combat roll you've ever oh seen. My God. So here, here we go. Technically, to disengage from combat with him, oh you have to take an action called disengage. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. Other, he otherwise he'll take a swing at you. Really? I, I can't. I mean, this is. I, I still want to be in combat, but you I'm can just dodge the swing. Okay. You'll dodge it. Okay. Oh, no. You won't pass combat roll. this bridge because I'll cut it. I'll, I'll take that. Like that movie. Right. James' uh, sword. Uh, <laughs> oh, and it's, oh, it's stuck. All right. So he gets you. Ooh, ah, dang it. Almost, oh, almost. Wow, wait, so wait. Close. But you said. I thought that. <laughs> you, well, I thought you were going to roll first. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think that you were going to gently push him away from you. <laughs> Six damage. Hey, fuck her. I uh, thought you were going to roll. Yeah, plenty of HP. But, but you, you did. Do. So we roll in there and we pulled it. Roll a 20 for me. Sure, man. Whatever you say. Five. You're definitely Ooh, dead. That's a five. Oh, I so love that laugh. You're, you're attempting your cool battle roll, which which fails, but you do end up, you know, like under wherever you're going. Go you the get river. There, you hang yourself. Yeah. But you, <laughs> you kind of trip and fall backwards. Yeah. Oh, the the okay. <laughs> Can I now try to cut the bridge? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank God. All right. So you, you're going <laughs> up under him. Yeah. You. So <laughs> I, I guess you got here's the door. whole thing. I was trying to make it look like an accident, oh. so the gorilla oh, forgets nice. about me. Oh, that's why so you're bleeding. Smart. <laughs> that's why he bit your arm. So you're that. trying to like hack a I hole to, through I'm the bottom of that. I want I, my goal is to hack underneath so that he plops down because I know he's got a big chest. Gorillas mm. are big. You want him to and get then, stuck? And this way he can't move. Just I want him. Down I want him to be stuck. Like measuring him. <laughs> Grab no, I just want to. I want to cut the floor up from beneath him. Either have him like a circle, or do you have a weapon that can do that? An axe. Yeah, axes don't cut circles. <laughs> if I hit it hard enough. Chop. No, if I hit it hard hey, enough. That's I why say I try. I say try. Yeah, yeah, this is why I asked if it was an old bridge, because then it's just going to shatter. Can Grill swim? <laughs> no. Derek is going to be like, <laughs> the final blow. And he'll just go, boosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adam, so, let's do it. Yeah, roll right. a 20. All right, I'm going to cut the bridge from right, beneath him. It. Roll a 20. Sweet. 12. All right, plus. Yeah. So, uh, that's plus my plus your strength. Bridge, bridge destruction modifier. Uh, also, so like how 15. This so is going to do destroy your damage roll. For every damage roll. Okay. Uh, which is a 10 well, with a great axe. I've got an idea. It's a 12. I, I still and then you have your strength. This is, yeah, this is my 12. Okay. I love that I couldn't tell people to move out of the way three feet, but he can but, uh, go underneath the bridge. Yes, he can. Well, he, he got bit for it, if that what? helps. A six? That's a 6. That's a 6 plus my what? My strength. Strong. Oh, it's negative. All. Plus three slashing, so three nine. Um, slashing, that'll three. help. All right, so yeah, bridge. your your X goes up into the bridge, takes kind of a huge chunk, and one you kind of see it give a little bit. It's, <gasps> it's not it's Perfect. not quite broken. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm saving the day. Grew thinks it's So so a timber kind of comes out. A few yeah. things splinter. Like, it didn't help. collapse yet, just right? But it looks like whatever you're really. after there could. <laughs> You know, okay. we'll see. Serious face falls All through right. the hole. Yeah. Um, see, the Decker. monkey's gonna go. Decker rolls keep into killing the bridge. people. Yeah. All right, Decker, uh, burn the bridge. <laughs> like you burned like those that. other bridges. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'll turn back to my laptop. A little smirk on cool, cool smirk on my face. Cool, you keep cool saying smirk. These things that sound cool. objective, Doesn't but make they're it not. Cooler. Ray of sickness. Dot bat. Hit enter. Bang. Um, laptop glows. A uh, a green ray shoots out of it. In a straight line? A ray of sickening, a sickening greenish energy lashes out towards a creature within range. Malware. Can, I don't know if that can right. bend or target it. Take or, a step that way. Sure, there we go. There we go. Just right. leave. Everyone just fucking blast Yeah, so it's range spell attack. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to uh, freeze the entire forest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's frozen. <laughs> so it's, Why is uh, no one moving? So you got a, an attack there? Range spell attack, yeah. All right, so yeah, a 20, roll d20. Plus, oh, I roll? Yeah, oh. plus your intelligence, plus your proficiency bonus. So spell casting or spell yeah. attack bonus? Hacha! Oh, ooh! So that's twenty-three. Yeah, you've, you. Whatever you're the doing there. Okay, uh, so I roll two d eight, but he must also make a Constitution saving throw, and if he fails it, he gets poisoned until the end of my next turn. Fifteen. What? What is he rolling against? That twenty-three. Yeah, you. You hit. 
Well, sure, but so on hit, uh, the target takes 2d8 poison damage and must make a constitution saving throw. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that constitution saving throw is 15 Did against he... your spell save? Is that what it is? is, I, is thought, that, I thought it's either that or your attack. Either one, I think he gets it. Yeah, my spell so. save is thirteen. He doesn't roll against his own constitution. I oh no, he did. Oh okay, okay. And he, he That's got where it. he got fifteen. Oh. But that would be either against your spell save DC or the attack you just made. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. Either. Based on the reading there, if you can tell. I thought constitution checks were against your own stat, and that was it. Yeah. Oh. oh he. I mean, I I did the roll. So did he? Did he see, succeed or fail that roll? He got a fifteen. So we got to base that fifteen off of either your attack. I the, thought it was off of his something. constitution. No. Oh, never mind. I, I don't. I, I mean, his constitution created that roll, which was a twelve plus a three. So he got fifteen, and that's got to measure against something of yours. Oh. Um, hmm. What's the spell called? Uh, Ray of sickness. We need to look up how saving throws work. At least we got that app, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I have all the description right there. I'll, let me just. I like to imagine quick. all this happening in real time. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what? guys. Hold, Hold on. on. Hold on. Once Hold we do on, this once. See. We'll have it. We'll know, and then you change your spell slots, mm-hmm. and then yeah. you don't know anymore. So two hundred five. Is... Ray of happiness. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy or not? Oh yeah. gosh, dang it! I don't know. Mainly spell. It sounds like so he I'll, would I'll use actually his make that against against the attack that you did. The so we'll just specifies... say it hits, man. The s- so constitution. He gets the, he gets yeah. the two d eight and the poison. Just keep saying. We'll call this episode <laughs> "Monkey Trouble." <laughs> <laughs> so roll the two d eight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One more d eight, please. Yeah, I'll just take it. Just snap. Uh, seven. Seven damage plus poison? Also don't know what po- how poison works. So. <laughs> I'll look that up it's on the phone. We got the app, um, don't worry. We got the app. Here. Did it say what the damage die on that the was? On the, the poison? Saving. Most wow. of the app is just question marks. It just says, it is poison. <laughs> it, says, it just says page 52. All right, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that. People can't move at the same okay. time. Do you want me to go? I yeah, go. yeah, go. Okay. Uh, do something more complex. I'm, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to do that. Magic missile. Uh, yeah. 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 Magic Old faithful. Um, do you want me to do you want me to roll to cast or how do you want? No, the magic no, magic so missile just hits. Right? So you yeah. just so roll so the damage. One more uh, one d four. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, big oh. One. that's a big missile. One big, so this is one d four plus one force damage. Okay. What is, it? is that? I think that's per dart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now it's all over the place. Five, four, four, five. and two. So eight, nice. ten, plus. One through three, right? Thirteen. Ooh. So, yeah. Thanks. Uh, real quick, a poison creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Thank you. That's it. No damage. Those were some huge attacks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Yeah. Uh, good old catch you fire them out of your breast. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like Austin awesome Powers. Boop boop. Boop boop. Vagina. <laughs> 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 I'll help it out. All right, is that the end of your turn, Chatter? That's the end of my turn. Nice damage. Yeah. So how's Mary, he looking, sorry. by the way? Uh, he's really actually starting to look a little, a little rough. A little what rough? if he got a little oh, bit rough? Rough. You know, he's a gorilla. He doesn't show his pain as much. Yeah. Decker. I got him. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Uh, I don't know what I should Excuse do. Excuse me, that I don't punch everything to death. Or roll out. All right. So he's, with the DM he's about starting to fade. So I think I'm just gonna attack him. I have maybe bonus action. I have my shield out now, so I have a little bit more armor, and I'm just gonna slash him. Do, try and do as much damage to like his knee area as I can. Always with, the knees. Die. With my long sword. Please don't die. Good idea. Always the knees. Good. Yeah, with my long sword, which <laughs> one, whatever. One d8. It's a d8. I just imagine. Rack. Wait. You gotta, can you roll attack for me first? Hang on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dang it! I He's forgot about that. Drops right. for three feet. He gets his boots wet. <laughs> Fuck me for being nine. Creative. No, no, I like it. Plus. We can be creative, but we What's can that also do make I fun add? of you. Oh, no, that's it's fine. not going to hit. Right? It's, yeah, it's your strength okay, and your proficiency. So two plus your strength. Yeah, yeah, so be I did not make fun 14. of you for casting 14. spell. I made fun of the amount of time it took to cast that spell. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't don't, we, don't worry, we got it. Oh, shit. All right, I'm coming at him again. Sword time. That's okay. Don't worry. I'm raging. <laughs> I'm raging. raging. There we go. Now we're talking. Look at that. Now we're talking. 19 plus 5. 24. Hits. Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I hear these things. Uh, this is a six. Keep bouncing Ooh, off me. Six. Both See? times. That's I told you. Shot. I was pissed. Six damage? Uh, do I add strength or anything to my damage? Or yeah. Just, uh, then nine damage. Holy fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Kill him already. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. All right. So yeah, the, the gorilla falls to a knee. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
still has some life left in him, but your your sword slash right to his, you know, it took a chunk right out of his shoulder. Oh, nice. Um, Get that. That's good meat. <laughs> <laughs> gorilla meat. Yeah. It's, like, it's a gorilla's turn. Yeah. All right. Um, he has a name. <laughs> it's dinner. I don't remember. <laughs> nice. <laughs> gorilla mask. <laughs> That's when all you right, come on Derek. a girl's face and then put pubes all oh, over Oh, I just realized I got raged in. Who has this time? Oh, yeah. One more. We would have gotten two more. Oh, and also, would have been 11. Oof. Hold on a minute. So, uh, Belgura kind of freaks out at your huge attack against mm-hmm. it uh, and just comes at you with full force. Oh. Let him try. Um, yeah. I have the totem of the eagle inside me. <laughs> 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 One of your arms is off. <laughs> your wings busted. Ah. Uh, eagles never die. What's your AC? Uh, 15. Oh god, eagles are extinct. <laughs> right. So one of his fists connects right with your head. Is that um, a disadvantage? Good looking out, Jerry. Right. One of them still connects. But, ah! but it, it, ah! <laughs> <laughs> he, he did roll a 20 and had to do disadvantage. Yeah! So he, he would have, he would have you. Um, he was worth looking at. Nine. Okay. He only lost one eyeball. <laughs> so he tried to punch, and then I laughed about him. I turned to Shattercock, and I went, "He missed!" And then I got nailed. <laughs> As you're going back, when you got nailed, he comes after you with his his giant jaws. All right. Oh, jeez. A disadvantage. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. All right. Yeah. He just he's he's snapping your you know using yeah. your eagle. Ah! Using ah! Your ah! Bob and weave. Bob and weave. He's actually oh. going to. Fall through the, the bridge, bridge? No. and wash oh, away I and trip. About the bridge, take a step back. Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I want the stays. I want the bridge to a hole to fall, but it's like not anywhere close. <laughs> Damn it! It's like over here. Yeah. Anyway, he crawls all right. up through Did it. Did he fall through? Sneak attack. Grimo. Uh, Grimo runs uh, <laughs> five or twenty-five feet to the left, if you will. And he's sh- he fires a short bow, so nineteen hits. And uh, I'm roll for damage. So seven. Come on, how much HP does this dude have? He's a giant beast. Well, I haven't, I haven't hit yeah. him at all, so. Oh, no, but still, we put. waiting for Matt to get I a piece I put like of almost 20 damage alone on Yeah, him. and he tired himself out biting your pieces <laughs> or whatever. I don't know about that. You can go find him in his mouth after. Stick him back on. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the hole from the arrow wound is just gushing blood. It's, he's, you know, he's got red fur and blue skin, and all the blue skin is starting to turn red with blood. He's... He's pretty fucked up. Here comes the Grimo bridge. And he says, King Kong, more like King Wrong. Nice. So he doesn't like this good. monkey. The reference is lost on us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a thing from the gyre. He, he only references Peter Jackson. Uh, <laughs> I continue, uh, so I continue to hack ben- directly beneath under his feet, which I assume are his feet because they're the only blue feet on the whole thing. Did he, he moved a little though, right? He, you no. Know, okay. he, was, he was going to. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Realized he was going to take a bunch of hits. So roll a 20. <sighs> roll a 20. Damn it. What is it? It's a six. Plus, yeah. it might plus be a nine. Let's see. You have, Here, you have proficiency with the axe, so that's two. Plus three for slashing, so, so that's, that's nine. Eight. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I, you I, want you some inspiration? I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rolling like shit because I. Wait, how do you inspire them? Him though? You know he's hacking this hole. Did you say something I, to him? I uh, I see through the small thing that he's kind of carved for himself, and I'm like. Just one more, and then it'll totally work. <laughs> He's trying so hard. Uh, uh, there's a lot of blood in my eyes too, so I'm not sure who said it. And I think yeah. it's the gorilla talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, God, do this one again. It. Come on, have to be so condescending, gorilla. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. That's good enough. To, uh, oh, to, thank you're, God. Hit, you're, you're hitting a bridge. I know. Uh, all right, so uh, I see. <laughs> yeah, so roll damage on the right. bridge. Uh, <laughs> roll damage on the bridge. <laughs> Which is my 12. He's gonna get attacked by and the you have bracer of pound. <laughs> I have bracer of pound. That's a reaction. <laughs> Somehow he got hurt by the. Fuck! Oh man. <laughs> so warm. Oh, Plus one. Adam, Adam, Adam. 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 God damn it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Roxanne. Show that bridge, Rose Boss. <laughs> like, this gorilla is talkative. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for damage. Yeah, 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 it's seven. seven. Right, oh, no, no. Ten. What? Yeah. Yeah, ten. I mean, it's a bridge. It doesn't have a lot of life. Oh, I know so, you're so your your second chunk came up right in in the correct place. A bunch of the pillar, the whatever the wood things, wood. they they collapse in. The gorilla goes down. I guess I'd say the bridge is maybe three, four feet up. Oh, okay. So he's kind of stuck right at his midsection. Yes. Is, Amazing. Is, um, I can't believe that worked. Huh? <laughs> well, now I can attack his feet. We all knew it was going to work. He does take yeah, a hacking Well, I just want monkey stew. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> so tickling him. <laughs> <laughs> he takes some damage. His feet look like hands. 
<laughs> and then it grabs him. Ah! Yeah. Fuck! Just crushes his wrist. He can punch with his feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Decker. Uh, what now? I'll, I'll just see him sink into the bridge and lean back a bit. Uh, fuck it, man. Is Not he gonna... poisoned? Doesn't he have to? Is he still poisoned? No, it was until it's, the it was until my next turn. The end of this turn. And if I wanted to cast up on him again, I guess I could. So he is he is looking very bad and also stuck in a bridge. Yeah, <laughs> he's not in a good place. Great. All right. Well, I'll just cast fireballs on him. Weird dad. Yeah, that's a weird dad. We could just leave him. Yeah. Uh, range spell attack. He's so. not going to give us any info. Here we are. Ha. He's a demon well. though. Do I? I oh. Wow. <laughs> Good shot. I have to beat my spell save to, to magic hit. missile. No, he's he would go against your spell save. Oh, what, what magic are you doing? Uh, firebolt range spell attack. Okay, so range spell attack 20 plus your mod plus your proficiency. So, did you roll a 20? I did. He did. And it was something? 12? 12 plus your yeah. mod plus your proficiency. Plus, oh, my spell attack bonus would be 17. Okay, there we go. Hits. Yeah. Three mm. damage. It's like, you're not worth it, bud. Yeah. Were you aiming anywhere in particular on his body? It's right in his face, right in his big stupid monkey face. All right, so, you know all the hair on his head. Even though it's already red, it's now it's up. I wanted to look like Daffy on... Duck, like getting shot in the face with. That was all black, and it's yeah. the hair. Oh, I want his, his head to be around. Yeah, it on spins around. His... No, he, so his hair is all charred up. There's little patches of yeah. you know one chunk's actually Aww. still on fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you know he's doing like a gorilla <laughs> scream. Yeah. Can he not move? Is he? He's stuck he's in wedged. there in that he's stuck bridge in right now. You're I mean, welcome. Can he can he attack from there? Yeah, yeah. Well, his his fists are still there. He'll be swinging a little low, or maybe he's just leaving. maybe he'll try and get maybe out. He can survive on bugs. Gorillas eat bugs. <laughs> James. Well, I don't know if we should let him survive. He might kill other travelers. <laughs> it is a demon. It's just gonna walk away. Yeah, it's, it's a, a demon? gorilla demon. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. What I'm, I'm okay. Um, I'm gonna cast Ray of Frost on him. Uh, and do I need to roll? I always forget. Do I need to roll a twenty to forget just to how cast Ray this? Of- Frost Warrior. Frost is just a 1d8 cold damage. I'm pretty sure it's ranged. ranged. It's a ranged spell, yeah. yeah 60 so, feet. Yeah, so. Yeah. so yeah, roll 20. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, well, uh, there's, I think it's like 6. Oh, no, wait, no. Yeah, with uh, your... it's, it's 10. It's 10 total. Whoa. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That That's not going to hit. I'm sorry. Oh. It's fine. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, no, I know. We got all day. <laughs> exactly. Miri? Miri. All right. So I'm... Here we go, Miri. <laughs> so I'm really angry that I've been hurt and that I've been missing. Oh. So... Mary's about to rage out. He's a, he's, a, he's a motionless target. Yeah, so now I'm thinking, okay, I'm not really thinking that much, actually. I just want to kill him, so... And he's fallen on the bridge, so his head is almost at my height, so... <laughs> yeah, I'd say yeah, you're eye-to-eye eye now, actually. Yeah. 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 So I drop my shield to do a two-handed attack with my long sword. Cool. Nice. Uh, 1d10, I had to roll... Wait, you gotta roll the attack yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Nine plus attack bonus. Uh, same thing as last time. Fourteen doesn't hit. Oh, does no, anyone want to inspire? I, I wish I could. I gave it away to Rex. Anything left? We've all given every bit of inspiration we can. All of us have contributed <laughs> the inspiration to this party to better improve Dick all of Dicker our odds together. Done that. No, can Dicker. I just miss and like fall into the river? <laughs> oh. Goodbye, cruel world. I just imagine him. Ah, and it just comes down next to the motion. Eye to eye with this. He get, maybe he's got his his hands over his head and a bird poops in his face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, Miri's always been there for Decker. Always. Yeah. No, it's yeah. fine. I'm not rolling good. Let's go. All right, Derek. Lawrence <laughs> <Lord, laughs> <All right. laughs> is hoarding the I'm inspiration. Gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> there hasn't been another blow. I'm say just anything. Come at him with my sword. All right. Also, I tried to give one to Adam, but like usual, everybody uh, else was 18. belly sliding into that opportunity first. So, so 18 hits. plus five. It hits. Okay. Uh, six. Six damage. Kills him. You, take his head off. Oh, take right. his head off? Yeah. I just, nice. Well, he's swinging, but then I just come at him and I just chop his head right off. Wow. Oh, nice. Clean through. Clean yeah, head through. goes spinning Hooray in the air. Hooray for Derek, yeah. the hero of our entire party. <laughs> yeah. so he should be our leader. <laughs> so the head lands right there. Cool. Starts, to, starts to float away. Oh, no. Oh, I get on my back. He's trying to catch it. <laughs> like he's in his <laughs> uh, And then I like just like Take one of my javelins out and I yeah, stab the head and I have it on oh. like a pike. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not getting away from me, gorilla yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I killed him. Yeah, because now I have a new head. Shattercock goes and checks the body. Is there anything on the body? No, it's, sorry. Oh. Balls. That's uh, enough to get. So can I. It's got muscles. You can maybe get off on it. Oh, can yeah. I roll Arcana or whatever to try to figure out what that is or where it came from? 
Yeah. Okay. Do we look in the woods and see three like really sad gorilla babies? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's no. pretty good. That we was their mother. mother. So that's twenty three. And then we cut off the head yeah. of the babies. <laughs> well, um, the baby bears. You know, <laughs> as your character, you know a shit bunch more about this demon than I do. Even yeah, um, you know, it's it's a demon gorilla. It clearly isn't from this realm. You know that. Like it doesn't belong here. Uh, you, I don't know if you can place exactly where it's from. Um, but you probably know a few more things than I'm even able to tell you right now. I'll just make it up. <laughs> Are you, yeah. will, you, will you tell us a little bit about that guy? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, well, the pr- <laughs> problem is the stuff I make up may conflict with your story. We'll roll with it. We'll see. So uh, Decker is quizzically typing into his laptop furiously, and then he snaps it. <laughs> cool. Like. <laughs> Keep saying that. Uh, so he walks up and says, oh, so this is going to be obvious. This thing isn't from around here, but this is this is some bad shit. This is not this is not supposed to be in this world at all. This is from a separate campaign, a separate world, whatever. Uh, this stuff's all breaking down, and that's probably not good. Specifically because the area we're in is supposed to have a certain kind of monsters. This is way out of our league. I mean, we killed it, but it's going to get worse. You mean he should be in a jungle? Well, y- yeah, more like a demon jungle. That's this whole other book you have to buy. There aren't any jungles around here, not for at least. Several hundred miles. Mm. You think this monster came from a hundred miles away from one of the jungles to the south? More like hundred thousand. Decker, wait! Did it come through the portal? Uh, so maybe not. It didn't come through the portal because that's a different area. There's other shit there. This is something entirely different, which means a lot of stuff is coming through. Pardon me, Decker. Yeah. But there are multiple portals. Maybe when that portal opened up, some other portals were getting opened up too. That's the problem. I think. Oh, I think so too. <laughs> so there's portals to jungles. Sort of. I don't know if it's necessarily Jungle portals pearls. anymore. I think I, <laughs> I think because they went to Demon Land or whatever, that kind of broke everything down, and now all sorts of shit's getting mixed up, which is really bad uh, for us because we live here or er- everywhere. I don't know. Like that game you were telling me about, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, that one that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> oh, Please, sorry. Please, Cannon. Please. <laughs> so you, you think that we should burn down the jungles? No. It's more. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, what? Hunt gorillas for their tusks. <laughs> it's more like we used to be able to predict what we'd run into, and this means we might run into a dragon. Just fucking there, astral dragon shit. So we got to kind of be on our toes. Wanted to kill a dragon. <laughs> this might be fun. Or ride one. I have a lot of hit points. I wouldn't. Oh, <sighs> not yet anyway. What the, what's a what's a hit point? That wasn't so bad. I mean, it was bad. Don't get me wrong. You guys, you okay? Hmm? Sort of. <laughs> Jinky's Decca, you have a cool I'm guy. I'm in the bushes over here with my new say. head. I'm, a cool guy. I'm, I'm putting on I'm my new head. <laughs> yeah. I have been cool for the last session and a half. You're right. <laughs> oh, um, boy. Yeah, I've placed the demon gorilla head upon my head, and at this point I realized, this isn't my dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, is, there any, uh, is there any demonic energy still in the area? Can I sense it? Uh, honestly, when you slayed that thing, no. it's, it seems like it's gone. Okay. Um, <laughs> The, the area seems clear. Okay. Um, and you all got 300 experience. Whoa, wow. That's Do you guys want to rest here so we're rested for our so, next yeah. session? I want to rest in the bridge hole. You guys going to do a short or a long? <laughs> it's about uh, midday, so if you... We can do a short rest and yeah. keep traveling by night. That's fine. Let's cool. do yeah, it. Sounds short good. rest. That works yeah. for me. Yeah. Time for me to look up what arcane recovery is again. All right, so uh, yeah, you guys were finishing up a short rest. I, we took care of the healing and stuff uh, mm-hmm. off camera. Um, so you guys set out and march generally in the direction yeah. of the tower. You guys are going to stay on, on that quest. Yeah, let's go to the Eagle's Crown. Yeah, we're going to keep getting continue. Yeah. All right. I know we had this argument last valley. time. Playing the Twits and Crits theme song in MIDI yeah. on my laptop as we go. So yeah, I think generally you guys have a day where not a lot happens. You know, okay. you're hiking along the trail. Oh, a whole day, um, you say. That sounds nice. A wow. whole day mm. of straight hiking. If only some character had something that they had to do every single day. That they can do now. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, does anyone have any good conversation topics for the hike? I uh, I really like Shattercock's breasts. Uh, Whoa! No. Uh-huh. Where did that come Why from? Why would Mary? you say that out loud? That's not news at all. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of run like I go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, okay, I'm really. Oh, that's two things. I'm really embarrassed. You, you can't stack him up. <laughs> it doesn't smell like he's urinating. <laughs> Grimo uh, goes to the to the little makeshift like shanty 
Mariatis has constructed as his bathroom. It's kind of like a couple, wow. yeah, it's like a couple bathroom. like big giant That's branches that he's uh, put, and he like he leaves like a little thing of like lotion there. Because oh, nice. Grimo understands, he gets it. What he gets it. What ingredients are lotion made out of? Oh, lots of you know avocado. Oh, semen, oh and, yeah. Uh, Grimo semen. Okay. <laughs> semen. Sand. Grimo semen. Oh, Grimo sand. masturbates with Grimo semen. Well, small. Mariatis doesn't know Mariatis yeah. masturbates. Yeah. It's it's good for the. Environment. Fine grit sand. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't smell oh, like boy. lotion. Don't put it in your beard, Mary. I actually had to pee. I wasn't masturbating. <laughs> you say that? True. <laughs> Something he wouldn't normally say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we continue on. Good episode. Yeah. 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 And that's it. Thanks for watching. Wow. So what happens now? All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm curious. It's just, it's just a regular day. You guys yeah. have another little campfire or okay. sleep for the night. Is that a long Maybe, rest? Yeah, yeah, I guess you do a long rest. Oh, long rest. If, you want, if you want. Beach I mean, it is yeah, nighttime. Yeah. I don't know if you are the kind of guys to just power through. I need my rage oh, back. He, he no, walk through days. no, no, no. You're just doing a long rest to wake up the next day and make me say something else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're right. Sun? You're absolutely right. Well, you're not making you do anything. It's a seven day journey. The whole episode is us walking. Immortality doesn't staring. come without a price, and that's embarrassing yourself. No, I don't have basis. immortality. I have uh, reincarnation. reincarnation. Just the one. Well, wait, twice. twice. Back, though, twice. Right? Oh, okay. This is a separate thing, though, from the reincarnation. Right? It's all tied together. You grab it's that all stone, good and, and bad. you get a good and a bad. I just thing. wanted to climb on walls. You chose to do it. Oh, right. You're also a Spider Man. No, 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 I'm not. I am. What was the what was about my spider? Your eyes turn. Yeah, you, you get like a demon eye, which is also that's cool. That's so fucking cool. So there's basically no drama. Yeah, that's there. awesome. Yeah, I know. And I don't even know when you're masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> demon eye, my. Pop She'll up. let you know. <laughs> she likes jacking off on the ceiling. Yeah. Ceiling. Yeah. Sorry. Hang it, shattercock. Yeah. I <laughs> thought it was raining. I don't want any lotion. So is it a new day? Yeah, new day. All right. New dawn. He's oh, got all day. Like he doesn't have to do it when the oh, sun comes up. Oh damn it! That was neat. Miriana said to say it again. It's right in the morning. Well, he does. <laughs> I mean, that's something. Yeah, you should yeah. silently just wake up in the middle of the night and just do it. So yeah, can do hear people it. have to hear for it to be for it to count? See, you're asking questions. Pete should ask. Oh. But well, just go ahead. Just yeah, yeah. It. You I have mean, to do it in the company of others. That's, you know, that makes it a little more fun, right? Okay. okay. I agree. <laughs> On top of a milk crate. Yeah. <laughs> I like we're all so he's still two to, feet like, set underneath up a you. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. We can charge tickets. Yeah. You got to get a hype man. Here you, here you. See a dwarf embarrass himself to the delight of many. Five gold. Yeah, yeah it's by you deductions. How squirrel. close are we to Eula's crown? Um, Check the map. Well, <laughs> it's because it's always upside down. <laughs> Hold on, you got that. Let me fix that for you. I don't know. A you day, maybe? Down. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I'd say you're, that's pretty close. You're a little, little bit over a day away. About a day. Mm, just one more day, you say. All right. <laughs> Perhaps we should rest again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. So, um, uh, second day of your journey, the day uh, starts to end as you crest a mountain peak. You start okay. to follow the ridge line southwest as uh, you know your map is leading you towards Ula's crown. As the sun, sun starts to set, you finally see what you believe must be Ula's crown. A bald, rocky mountaintop about 10 miles away, uh, you can faintly make out a silhouette of these large stones coming out of the top of the, the peak, giving the crown to Ula's crown. Mm-hmm. Basically these giant rocks coming out of the ground. Um, looks about 10, 10 miles away or so uh, in the distance, uh, but the sun is going down. Uh, a dark grouping of storm clouds swirl in the sky above that mountain peak. Jeez. Um, but yeah, it is the end of yet another day. I don't know what you guys want to do. How but- close is that peak? Hey, I'm here, Alice. Well, it's... Is there a comma? <laughs> <laughs> looks about 10 miles or so, right? Do you think we can make Something it tonight? Like or that? should we stop? Um, that is a boss layer if I've ever seen one. Are we we're sure we're up for this, yeah? A what? The witch, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. Very powerful, probably at the top, cackling and scheming all the time. You mean the storm? The clouds? Yeah, the magical storm. I, I wonder if that I mean, witch is lonely like and can use some company. Uh, oh, that, oh that, was his, that was his thing. Okay, all right. All right. Are they all going to end with doll? I'm really going to need some more of that yeah. Grimo can't believe what he's hearing. He's never related to another human being in their loneliness in such a way before. <laughs> he's just... Yeah. I'm just sitting there like twiddling my thumbs really embarrassed. So, what, like, what are we doing? We have to climb a mountain? Well, it sounds we, like we have to go towards that storm. Towards the storm. Yeah. yeah. The question is, do we want to do it tonight? I mean, we rested last night. Yeah, I'm good to go. I got two go. days worth of yeah. sleep. I, I feel it. like I feel like I'm ready for a fight. All right, 
We're not gonna fight the storm. Okay, let's press on then. Decker, you look <laughs> perturbed by this news. I feel like an evil witch is probably gonna be stronger at night. I don't know why I know that. Just seems like it would be the case. Stronger sounds like it's gonna be more fun. You're right. We should wait two more days. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maybe we can we go for it. Then. <laughs> well, Decker's, uh, Decker's kind of right. I think I kind of side with him on I mean, that. We can. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, sure. I think we're gonna get our asses whipped either way, so it doesn't really matter when it happens. Well, we don't have Maybe to you charge will. in right when we get there. That's we? true. We can do a little scouting. When have we ever not charged? That's true. Oh, sure. Let's go. I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Dive comp. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so you guys are going through the night. We're going. All right, so I say maybe another four or five hours later, you, you are getting a lot closer. Uh, the skies are, are pitch black uh, as you get closer to the crown. Uh, the ground becomes damp and a bit murky. It takes you a lot longer than you would want to, to continue the hike. Um, it just becomes real tough traveling. Um, you know, uh, I'd say a mile or so away, you're staring at the top of this mountain peak, trying to plot out a path to get to the top. Does anyone out there have like survival or any sort of skills that might go towards tracking or, or finding a trail? I thought somebody did. And I have plus zero to survival. Yeah, same. I can. All right, who I, wants who wants to pick out the trail? I, can, I have investigation. I can, I can do a ritual okay. for beast sense. Ooh. Boy, do you want to do that? Or speak with animals. I don't know what beast sense does. Talk to the birds. What does beast sense do? I don't know. There are no birds around. Hey, fuck. Someone roll a 20. Does anyone have survival? Roll a 20. Or someone that plus, has a lot of I wisdom, maybe. One. I can't I, see I a, plus one as well. I can't see a whole you, lot of my sunglasses. So. It makes no difference. All right, ready? Go for yeah. it. Yeah. Bang. 14. Oh, sweet. All right, yeah. You, you survive. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> so you, you find uh, actually a pretty sweet little switchback trail and uh, get up to the top uh, pretty quickly. Oh, good. Nice job. <laughs> Thank you, really. Experience for everybody. So you reach the summit and finally get a good look at Ula's crown. Uh, gigantic 40-foot white stones that evenly spaced around a circle at the peak, arcing into the air, kind of creating the tines of uh, you know what you imagine a crown. Mm -hmm. Several of the stones are cracked and broken. You can see the rem remnants of several structures, but it's mostly just broken rocks and some foundation stones inside, like between the tines. Um, a mass of pointed, twisted, and gnarled trees and brushes kind of surround and go between uh, the tines to kind of create a circle around mm -hmm. the ground. Cool. All right. Okay, whereabouts are <clears throat> all, all of us? So, yeah, you, you make your way to the northernmost stone of the, of the crown, which is kind of broken and cracked. Oh, There's some... Some carvings. I would say you guys so can kind of approach right. maybe yeah. over here. Um, Look at it doesn't really matter that much. Look at them all. That's cute. Um, yeah, the stone's broken and cracked. There's a bunch of <clears throat> carvings uh, around the stone. Uh, behind the stones are the remnants of a cathedral, uh, once the holiest of holies for some long dead religion. Yeah, it's, it, now it's moss covered. Uh, there's some vines on top of it, uh, you know, looking old and tumbled down. Uh, there's skeletons uh, and bodies of long dead creatures laying around in the clearing, kind of filling. Uh, you guys with a sense of, of death and dread and, and evil or whatnot. Uh, between the ruins and the crown stone lies a small circular pool filled with an inky black liquid. Its surface shines like obsidian. A few Eerie. steps lead up <laughs> towards its rim. In the center of the pool rests a stone relief of an ancient giant's head. Its, feature, its features are large and square and its hair flows around it as if it were alive. Carved above the mouth are a line of symbols. I can show you guys what that looks like. So oh. that's that's just what that looks like. Well, that's it. So you got you guys are here. I don't know what you guys want to do. I I want to look at it because I have I'm a dwarf and I have stone cunning, <clears throat> which which is a proficiency uh, intelligence checks related to origin of stonework considered proficient in the history skill. Oh. Does that give you a bonus to one of your stats? It says add double proficiency bonus proficiency bonus to the check. So like yeah, if you're trying to inspect where the stones might have been cut or come from, yeah, or like what you'd roll uh, uh, wisdom probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And then you can double your proficiency. Okay. Uh, what is that? D twenty then? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Fifteen. Ooh. Uh, so he's here. Is that? Is he looking at this stuff? I think he's looking at this. Looking this thing. At okay. Yeah, I don't know to... which one were you looking at. Well. Probably, yeah, that thing in the middle there. Okay. And then uh, my proficiency is plus two, so okay. 17. So yeah, the, the, the stone work looks extremely professional, but ancient. Uh, you're imagining some sort of uh, maybe ancient dwarven clan probably created this. Hmm. Um, you know, it, it's so old, it's, it's unspecific to you. you don't, there's no real records other than, you know, this is thousands of years old. We're talking about the time 
when giants and gods were roaming the I, earth. Uh, I sense that everyone's a little uneasy, and to lighten the mood, I walk over to the skeleton and I stick my hand up his rib cage, make him like a little puppet. Mm-hmm. And so I'm holding him like this, kind of talking on the side of my mouth, like, hey everyone, it's me, Mr. Skittles. What do you, uh, what would you like to, I'll be your tour guide. Any questions? I'm gonna look at and that. And you're all out of talk. Look <laughs> down in my laptop. <laughs> I feel even more uneasy. Um, oh, well, welcome. I've got history and arcana. I don't know if that applies to either of these or arcana. Yeah, I mean, like, what are you trying to investigate? Uh, what the what the wording is or where it's from, um, what the significance of it all is, uh, but mostly just trying to decipher what the actual writing is. I push the skeleton closer to Decker's face. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, does, does it tell me anything that, about, about what might be up here, like that we're, that's um, around the area? It, or? Some something related to giants, okay. um, ancient gods. Uh, or at least that's where the origins of these structures are. Uh, did you know that this place is run by ancient gods and giants? Ooh. <laughs> A lot of info here. Oh, yeah. How did you know that? Primo love rolled skeleton a 15. humor. You rolled a 15. Primo skeleton um, humor. Um, so yeah, it's like arcana, religion, history. I don't know which one is investigation. I don't know which okay. one is applicable here. So yeah, you, you noticed some some strange magic around the pool. Okay. And the the language. Uh, you recognize matches the one on the giants. Giants. Yeah, yeah, is that same thing? Yeah. Okay. And there, there's actually some other carvings of other languages in the rock. Hmm. Um, last season, before we left uh, Jai Yen, I uh, smelled some of the children's clothes. Hmm. And I'm going to see if I can s- pick up on any of that scent here uh, to see if anyone's been here. You not right here. You don't. Sorry. <laughs> You, there, there's a stench of dead bodies. Nope, nothing. Nothing. General death. I don't okay. smell children from last season. Um, Sh- Shattercock's getting really bored, so she's gonna walk kind of out into the ruins here, and just slowly explore things. Maybe just sort of like around the edges. She doesn't feel like she wants to go to inside, but she's just kind of casing the joint, basically. Okay. You, you also see some other uh, carvings of uh, what looks to be. Uh, this phrase mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all around. Mrs. The, Skittles, the I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> yeah. Why is this place so scary? Tell me a bone it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> You're most loving that. I, I bow, I bow, and I try to throw the skeleton off, but now it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck to your... <laughs> uh, <laughs> so now, I'm, now I have to stay in character. It's very awkward. Remo picks up like a stick on the ground, and he, he kind of puts it inside the black goop. Nice. To okay. See if there's any kind of reaction. So yeah, um... As you're walking up and everyone is is talking, you see the the water bubbling and blurbling a little bit. Blurbling's a word. Um, but as soon as the the stick connects with the liquid, it hardens, just cool. like a rock, immediately yeah. frozen. Awesome. Derek, Quick, kind put of, other stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Derek kind of like takes the skeleton's leg and like quietly pops it off, and then puts it in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> he takes he takes another one and he kind of like. Digs up a hole and drops it in. <laughs> yeah, is it okay if I? Is it okay if I make up uh, origins for this place, or is that? Uh, no, not this, not this time around. All right, uh, Decker is like tapping on his laptop, annoyingly clears his throat, and starts rambling about religion. Like, <laughs> oh, this is an this is obviously a religious site for some ancient culture. It's it's kind of bullshit. They worship the clouds. They thought building on top of a mountain top would get them closer to God. They thought they could walk on clouds and staircase heaven. It's stupid. All religions dumb anyway. Just like keeps ranting about that shit. And everybody I'm, tunes I'm still Shut up, Dicker! Hey. At, at this point, Mr. Skittles' foot fell into the black goo, and he goes, talk about a sticky situation. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I lean over and go, that's not even bone humor, Mr. Skittles. <laughs> so can I be looking at the wall and kind of doing the same sort of stuff, mm. investigating it? I'm actually going to take just a... Because all this stuff is, I'd say, going on at the same time. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, roll your skill the, the minute humor. that stick Get went it. into the liquid, and the liquid hardened... Uh, all the skeletons around you actually start shifting a little Fuck bit. Yes. Um, Skelefight. Sh- cool. Oh, ah. oh family reunion. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks yeah. like we're in trouble. <laughs> actually, stop trying to eat yourself. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> I don't get it. What's the punchline? Uh, so, so they, they start shambling a little bit and and getting up on their feet. Um, oh fuck, we got skeletons. So, yeah. That's said These guys are fucking okay. These guys are coming at you. What? Hey, Can't... what about the bone that I put in my pocket? Uh, I already uh, yeah. added it to my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one won't wake up then. Okay. Oh, it starts shaking in your back pocket. Nice move. Oh no, where's Shadowcock? Oh, oh. She's getting boned. <laughs> uh, roll initiative. Right. Yeah, bud. Right. Oh shit. 
Ooh, 16. Too busy ranting about how religion is the downfall of yeah. society. <laughs> Spill a little bit of your Earl Grey on ah. your yeah. <laughs> Earl Grey. <laughs> Seventeen. Charlie <laughs> Picard drinks that. So if I right. drink it, I'll be smart. Me? Seventeen. Oh, great. Bruce. Yeah. Seventeen. Ooh. You guys re-roll for me. You got it. Elise. Nine. Uh, Nine. Seven. Eight. Eight. Lawrence. Five. Sixteen. 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 That's Mr. Skittles talking. Um, mm. Did they make like can, can two he be my rattly sounds when they get up? Oh, I was gonna say, can he be my ally too? Like, like he—he's the reluctant one, or he's like, I, I have nothing to do with these boys. <laughs> Speak for yourself, <laughs> Bozo. Yeah. At some point, Save these. Raxan needs to be fighting, and he goes like, "On your right." <laughs> <laughs> I might give him a sword. Gosh, that is a lot of skeletons. <laughs> that is a lot. The yeah, Adventures of, of Raxan and me, <laughs> Mr. Skittles. <laughs> my personal hell, a spin-off of this show. I wonder what he was like in life. This. I'm Mr. Skeleton. I was born a skeleton. Yeah. Born a skeleton, <laughs> die a skeleton. I can't die. Yeah, how do you think? All right. Uh, so yeah, these skeletons are coming after you. So I'm way off to the side. There are no skeletons over here. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Um, Shattercock's just going to move kind of through the ruins here and try to get back towards her party. Okay. Um, I think her. Sp- if she's not doing anything, is it double the speed? Is that the way it works? Yeah. Dash. Yeah. yeah so, so you can dash. So if you're not gonna Sixty. Use so what do you think? Where do you think that is here? So sixty. Uh, each one of those is five. Yeah. Um, Hard to Twelve. Do. Twelve. Yeah. I don't know. Like I was here. And are we not moving diagonally? Diagonal. You can count. move diagonally. Oh, if you just well, okay. Zigzag your way. You'll there we go. Make good I'm, time. Now I'm there. Uh, uh, Dirk. All right. Uh, so Dirk goes. All right. Finally. And then takes out his two axes, and then. Charges in here. That wasn't a pun at all, Derek. Derek does can't do puns. He's not a punny guy. No, he's all business, <laughs> and attacks the skeleton. And a dog. A uh, reckless attack, if you will. Okay. So advantage. Ooh. Eighteen. What? Oh, uh, so I assume that hits. Yeah. Um, well, if you had advantage, you can roll it twice. See if you see crit. If you get a crit. So there's that, which was the. Axe, which is two axes, so seven and five, twelve. All right. So uh, yeah, you screw up that skeleton pretty bad. Okay. Uh, it's it's on one knee. Mm-hmm. You know your two axe hits come in, knock off chunks of bone. Um, you know its right arm falls off, and it's using its sword to kind of keep itself balanced and, up. And Derek is noticeably drooling. During this whole thing. <laughs> oh, man. Raxon. Um, so I want to ask Mr. Skittles if the <laughs> if his brothers have any sort of weakness. Uh, I have negative one for initiative. Is there a way I can roll for that and try to like get a little bit of a read on these skeletons? Um, I mean, you could do some sort of uh, investigation or perception. Check. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Is that a twenty? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Fishing pole. That's oh. ten. Uh, yeah. So, so I, do I learn anything? Yeah, you you know here, the, with, the skeletons are actually uh, a little more Which vulnerable to. to. He wants to perform huh. the skeletons. Huh. Oh, don't skeletons. Skeleton. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Yeah. Skittles is in. Uh, oh, so I go, Mr. Skittles, what do we do? And he goes, they're vulnerable to bludgeoning because of the bones. And I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I think we're all laughing He's now. Slaying. He's slaying it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did we all hear that or no? <laughs> we heard. Well, it's no. me he talking to myself, so yes. Okay. So I do probably what I would have done anyway, and I pull out my great axe, move to this gentleman. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Skittles, you're one funny bone. Uh, do I still have an attack? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, well, so it's axe this hand, Mr. Skittles' hand. He's smiling, obviously. Ah, well, the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I roll to attack. It's a 16. Um, and then for damage is my... Sorry. So you get 16 hits. 16 hits, yeah. Oh, wait. And then I roll 12 for damage. Yes. Yep. Which is, well, this is every week. Uh, that's 12. And then okay. don't forget to add the five for the. Yes, three. Or three, yeah. You're right. uh, yeah, I don't know if that leveled up. Uh, seven. All right, yeah, your axe goes <clears throat> into him, busts open some of his bones, but okay. you're doing all right. Okay, Mr. That's Skittles goes, bone you later. <laughs> like, nice. At this point, I give him kind of a half chuckle. Like, like, come, on, ah. come on, Mr. Skittles. No, I mean, I'm... Uh, he, to go a little bit. He's slacking. Come on. Yeah, he, he gave me, you know, that, that info, so... Oh, okay. I, I want to humor him. Give him a little pity, pity chuckle. 
The humor bone? Humorous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Monster's turn. I started this guy way back here. Oh, good. Look out, bigger! Oh, it's fine. Yeah, he's up on you. No, it's not fine. <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> I just picture it moving like the skeleton from the first Nightmare on Elm Street, and they go dig it up, and the skeleton just comes up and like swipes at him. Oh, like, I was thinking slow. Clash of the Titans. Is- Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ah, like a creepy stop motion. Six frames a second. Yeah. Stop motion skeletons. <laughs> they seem to be moving from a different dimension. So, you know, the skeleton's a little shambly. It doesn't have very clean movement, but he, he gets you a huge slash in the back with his sword uh, for seven damage. Oh, man, I don't get to roll anything? No. Dang. Mm. A glancing I, I, I wrote down your AC back here, so I don't have to ask oh, okay. you that gotcha. fucking constantly. Do you have any reaction spells or anything? Uh, I would have to have declared it, and I also don't think I have it prepared. Oh, I got you. All right, never mind. This one. All right, so uh, the one next to Derek, you get to roll twice because I recklessly attack. Oh fuck! All right, so yeah, he swings his sword at you, uh, takes a chunk out of your midsection for six damage. He's probably attracted to me because of the skull, the skull on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this guy comes up to you. Swings at you with his sword. Gets you for five. You didn't ask my armor class. I got it written down. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, it is 15, right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes. It's Mr. Skittle's armor class. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a. What's his bone density? Uh, 2.4 kneecap. I don't know. Yeah. So <laughs> the skeleton comes shambling after uh, Grimo and takes a big swing with the sword, but misses and kind of chunks down on the side of the steps right next to you. <laughs> Maybe next Patella, fella. Ooh, wow, nice. nice. Doesn't even. Yeah, just no, wow. that's good. Uh, that, that worked. Like, it's sorry, a, it's I a don't stretch. have a tendency to be aggressive. It's just parts of the human body. I know, but he doesn't <laughs> have a tendency. <laughs> I can't stomach all these puns because I ain't got one. Hey. Go. Wah, 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 wah. So uh, these two skeletons with bow, bows uh, both take shots at Grimo uh, and they go wide. Kind of good job, Grimo. Prison packet past his head. <laughs> Those arrows went wider than Shadow Carp. Careful with skips. that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna stand up. He's got a ghetto link. Mr. Skinner goes, quit still in my bit. <laughs> <laughs> I will fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you sharp piece of shit! As a comedian. <laughs> Mr. Skittles is racist. <laughs> that's, that's our go-to humor. You halfling bastard! <laughs> Mr. Skittles has nothing to do with it. Shorty still everything. <laughs> fucking mud feet, God. <laughs> do you fuck your mother in the gyre with that mouth? Mr. Skittles! Whoa! Primo's mother! Running blue here. <laughs> that's his one bit. It's the only thing he's got. <laughs> He's got to protect <laughs> Nobody's laughing at his jokes anymore. <laughs> White power! <laughs> he's Mr. Because he's all bones. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. He's just becoming Kramer. He's just yelling things. <laughs> our bones are all white. He's so. not even Kramer. It's the ultimate insult. Our yeah. skin might be. So oh, this no. uh, spear guy comes running up to Rax and jabs him, jabs and him right in the gut with a spear. Uh, and five damage. Dead. Ooh, what? Yeah. Can Dead. you use Mr. Skittles? Yeah, yeah I was going to say. Mr. Skittles didn't want to dive in the way or anything? <laughs> you could, so you should let him have it so that way either Mr. Skittles gets killed or he takes the damage and let him decide. Oh shit, that reminds me. I got two inspiration I've never used or given anybody. Yeah, no, that, I, I have right. that. Right. Oh, okay. yeah, Alright, so I take five damage. You're old, you're old. <laughs> no, I don't think you want Mr. Skittles. I like, I like the event of like, the guy's charging with a spear right at Mr. Skittles. You're like, ah! <gasps> <laughs> moves another, ah! And he turns and goes, ah! <laughs> That was a close one. It was. Yeah. He's like, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Go on without me. I'm I feeling, got stabbed. He's like, I'm feeling lightheaded. Uh, he's he's like, Does he stop and no explain brain. all the jokes? That was? <laughs> it's well, he's no just, laughing. He, well, he, just, like he, has, he yeah. just waits. Oh, oh, it's a blank stare. He's like, can I give you a hand? And he's taking his hand off. Oh, yeah. nice. Like, oh, oh, can I give you a skeleton's hand? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I'm a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, halfling bastard. Matt Peaks, got to wrap. We got to wrap this up. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did anyone else <laughs> have inspiration? Just kidding. No. I, I, I gave mine to yeah. Adam, I think, last time when he wanted so, to knock down that. Also, I wanted to give one to uh, Miri for the last episode yeah, for Miri. noting down when he gave one gold to Decker. Oh. Um, that was nice. So that's serious RP. You, so. you mock my bridge hackery, but right now there is a traveling salesman who can't cross that thing. Dang it. <laughs> Stay in there with a suitcase. Yeah. Well, I've got healing potions. I need inspiration for myself. If only I'm adventure. I've given only. every single one away. I think he used Fool. one. Come no, on, she, audience. Let us because know. Because every time she rolls bad, <laughs> bring up that every pole. time she rolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, world. 
What just die is that? I may, I may have used one. <laughs> no, no, every time you roll bad, you get to re-roll. Uh, Generally. Uh, if I roll so, one, I yeah. get to re-roll. The oh, other guy with a spear right next to Rax and uh, gets you for five. Ouch. What? Yeah, you're surrounded by two spear guys. You're getting dang good. Yeah. I, I, there's something I think that's attracting them to me. Yeah. I can't put my... <laughs> Over here! He's here! <laughs> Shut up! He's <laughs> Uh, oh, he'll out die us all. Yeah, we're going up Sternum Creek. Just what the mm. fuck is he talking mm. about? Man, I'm just getting stabbed. Tell me. <laughs> okay. He, all right, he always uh, uses his best material Grimo. in the first thirty seconds. So uh, Grimo is going to ignore that skeleton. And uh, first of all, do any of you know like any ancient uh, languages, or can you read any weird like ancient? Squ- Amusingly, squ- yeah, I, I speak infernal. I have comprehend languages, but it's not prepared. So we'd have to like camp uh, here for me to prepare the spell. I see. So maybe and I probably said that in my long anti anti religion rant. Maybe something. if we killed the skeletons, we could rest, and then you could prepare that and read those. I don't know. But Grimo's gonna slit his hand and make and see what the blood does when he drops it in the oh, black stuff. Shit. Well, still to, that's that's a dark shit to experiment with. Grimo's, he's, Grimo always wants to solve the puzzle in the middle of combat. Yeah. He does. Grimo, Grimo, Grimo loves, loves puzzles. puzzles. He loves skeleton humor. He loves <laughs> puzzles. These are just things people know about Grimo. Yeah. So he's gonna. Shut sure, that hand. Damn brambles. <laughs> she's gonna take care of that skeleton for Grimo. So yeah, he's gonna cut his hand. He's gonna drop some blood into that black yeah. Do you say stuff. anything, or are you, like, are you being silent? Are going to be all torn? Uh, That's what I just said. You guys say, uh, Mr. Skittles, you're fighting like shittles. So Grimo got to solve the puzzles. Nice, that's but good. I don't it's know that this run. is going to work. Yeah. I just I just like trying things like this. Yeah. I, I like this more than the... didn't react to the blood, but it did react right to the run. To I like the puzzles more than the fighting you're, you're, aspect. Lawrence is actually... Sorry, Decker's actually right. Uh, Saying your, your clever uh, phrase there, you see the water undulating a little bit, but as soon as your blood hits it, it hardens again. Oh, so this, is, this is a word puzzle. There's a, there's a spell in there somewhere. Mm. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Break it! Perhaps Mr. Skittles knows the right incantation to recite. You stole my bait, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Anything okay. else? And then uh, Grimo gets like a... Uh, dis- he gets a cutting action where he can take a bonus action on his turns in combat, and it can be to dash, disengage, or hide. That's page 192 if you're following at home. No, um, so Grimo is going to uh, disengage as cool. his cutting action. Not in the D&D book, in the Grimo manual. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So so if you di- take the disengage action, your movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks for the rest of the turn. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just going to disengage. disengage. Kind of back off? Like, yeah, back, back away from the Skeletor. <laughs> Right on, ah. Miri. <laughs> so again, this is all kind of happening within like five to ten seconds, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so all, okay. all of your yeah, actions yeah. are kind of going on at the same right. time. So okay, what I want to do is I was reading, looking at the wall. I s- I'm kind of see these skeletons come alive. I see that uh, Decker's gonna get hit from behind, and I go, uh, oh, uh, and I, I, I I turned. Around. Well, it all happens kind of simultaneously. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry. So it's whatever. So I turn around, and I kind of reach out to Derek because he's too far away and I see that he's getting attacked and then I cast aid to my three guys that are closest to me so that'd be Raxan, Decker Mr. Skittles. and Grimo <laughs> and Mr. Hail me! <laughs> which, that, which that bolsters them for 5 HP thank god uh, wow, look at that sweet excellent and then how, how does that work is, again? Because uh, it increases say, your like, HP he max for a while. He's right? not healed. It's yeah, like, if you like if shield. Yeah, it'll ah. it'll increase your yeah, max. Once you over lose your max. five, it's I, gone. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You're still, so it, it would inc- Does it work? So it increases your max. So like I think Decker is at full health. No, no, no. he got hit. Oh, that's right. Or he's about to, or he's about to get hit. Uh, your spell bolsters your allies with toughness, page 211, by the way, and resolve. Choose up to three creatures within range. Each target's hit point maximum and current hit points increase by five for the duration. The duration is eight hours within 30 feet. I can do this. Too. Okay, so it, it's still there even if I lose five health. I can still heal up to that. Now. For oh. eight hours. Yeah, for eight hours. For the rest of the day. Oh, yeah. I didn't even catch that part. Anyway, so I do that, and then I kind of move toward... Rack sand to help him out over there. And Mr. Skittles. Get all the way up in there. Uh, can I move that far after I did all that? Yeah, yeah, you can okay. move your all six yes. or five. So I, I'm up there. I can't do like a attack after that, right? No. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. that would have been your action. Right, okay. Unless you have an ability to do an attack with a bonus action, but I don't, I don't think, think so. Can. All right, Decker. All right. I'm very hurt, although the wound on my back is closed up a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm like typing, and then when I get hit, it's serious time. So my laptop starts levitating, 
start typing with both hands, and then a skeleton appears on the monitor, and a little cute lightning bolt zap it, and then I cast Thunder Wave. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I agree. He is cool. <laughs> <laughs> you! Yeah. Uh, so, uh, each creature in a 15 foot cube, which is just that one skeleton, uh, must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away. On successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and isn't pushed. So, okay. constitution but, saving throw. So that's going to be 13, okay. which is your spell save DC. So if he can beat 13 on constitution. Gotcha. And he does. Damn. Okay, Sorry. so just 1d8. Unsecured objects that are completely within the area of effect are automatically pushed 10 feet away from you by the spell's effect. It emits a thunderous boom. Okay, so six damage. And then I guess bones and rocks just fly out. And then I'm so like, he, Shit! he takes half of that because he made the save? No, uh, it was 2d8. Oh, okay. And then since he took half, I rolled one. And then uh, I was really hoping he'd get knocked back a little bit. So he gets knocked back 10 feet, right? No, because he saved. Oh. Yeah. So he just takes half damage. Uh, so I can move after casting, right? Yeah. But if you move away from him, oh, fuck, he's going to um, attack me. He's right. going to attack you. Forgot about that. Shuttercock. Oh. Um, so. <laughs> Cover in branches. So yeah, I was going to say, Shadowcock, she's kind of stumbling out of, the, out of the brambles, and all the brambles have kind of ripped, out, ripped off her clothes a little bit. Uh, you know, sort of like uh, a heavy metal fact, too. Yeah, she's battle damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, and of course, the first person she notices out of the brambles is Grimo. And she's Grimo! I need your help! My clothes are coming off again! How are you going to help? Well, Shadowcock, it's just we got this whole problem here with the skeletons coming alive and trying to fight us, and maybe you got just tear off some more clothes. He's oh, got a God. boner! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I stepped on Mr. Skill's joke. Fuck, stop it in my bed! <laughs> <laughs> you short bastard! Shadowcock, the only way is to cut off your panties. <laughs> oh, jeez, is she topless at this your point? Life. Yes. She was topless, Yeah, right? your life depends on okay. it. Oh, okay. She snips off her panties, and basically at this point she's totally naked, but also very, very scary because mm. she's really tall, got those huge hips, and she's conjuring magic missiles. Is there so, like any twisted black rose or something in the brambles that she can cover her? Vagina? Oh yeah, um, her purity. Yes, her mirror. There is. She, very pure. She, she reaches back and grabs a branch, and then uh, I don't know how she would hold it. How would she I mean, put it on her? Kind of have to. You jam it up and underneath. No. It would just be like Adam and Eve. Right? It'd just be there. It'd just, just be, be there. Just be like just every rose? time you looked over at okay, her, right. there'd be some sort of like winding branch. Then, to... then just one, yeah, just one little rose. Yeah. Right on top of her. Uh, oh. Little black rose. Her modesty. Her modesty. How beautiful. <laughs> the, modesty. The thing is, this, this is a bad idea. <laughs> As I'm fighting off, I'm like, this is a bad idea. They hate flesh more than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> You've got more than all of us. Uh, no, she, she conjures magic missile. Um, and then she's going <laughs> to she's gonna shoot at these two and that one. Um, but I have meta magic. So I'm going to do an empowered spell, and what that is is when you roll damage for a spell, you can spend one sorcery point. I have, I have three uh, to re-roll a number of the damage dice up to your charisma modifier. Um, my charisma modifier is four, so I can basically just re-roll all three. However, I have to use the new rolls. So if I okay. if I if I roll you them and they're worse. bad, I'll do it again, but I have to use them. Ah. So um, so I cast it. Do I need to roll a check for the cast or no? Oh, no, it just connects. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then I need, uh, I think they're three 1d4s, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Can I have... Thank you. I just need one more. Oh. No. Thank you. Fine. I appreciate it. Take your uh, trash. I <laughs> Keep it. Okay, so she rolls. Ooh. Ooh. Three, one, and three. Nice. Um, that's not bad. Reroll the one. I was going to say, I think I can just reroll the one. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Let's yeah. do that. Why don't you Just go? put down whatever you want. And I have to. I have to. It has to be this. Thing. Oh. Can't no, possibly okay. get worse. Better than one. Yeah, yeah. true. Um, okay, yeah. So that's, that could be a four, though. So <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to re-roll? I'll re-roll. I'll do it. I don't care. It's already above average. Right you can though, right? Uh, yeah, I can if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Um, so I, how should I should I choose where the damage is dealt? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> let's do the two threes here and the two here. All right, so your magic missile, you know, flings around, whizzes right at the back of the skeleton, and pops its head off. Yeah. Nice. nice. Looks like you lost your head. Yeah, yeah clever. Yeah, it's not, it's not clever at all. I mean, <laughs> just, just, Hitler, he's bored out of his skull. Right, right now, right now, Mr. Skittles is just shooting daggers. <laughs> like, like, it's not even a pun. Just, I never miss. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Mr. Skittles is writing that one down. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Derek. Oh, I, was, I, have, I started a quick question. No. Did you uh, cross the panties off your character sheet, or did you pick them up so Grimo can repair them? 
Yeah, when, uh, when truly time. the important she, she picked them up and uh, she hooked them like a towel. How? So it took them when they, they landed. Oh yeah, no, I'm sorry, they landed on her face. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, what? Oh, my <laughs> Um. What was that? I'm sorry, was that the end of your turn? Did you have that is the end of my turn. Right um, Derek, he rages out because he just got slashed that last time. Nice. So he goes into a rage and his eyes turn into hawk eyes. <laughs> his, cool. And his fur goes up because he has the totem of the eagle. Oh, oh. yeah. Um, so he's turning into some sort of weird wolf bird thing. Um, and then he just, with both axes, comes down hard on this guy. Sweet. Well, that's okay. Rage gives advantage. Six plus three, nine. Yeah, so both your little axe attacks whiff him. Damn oh. eyes! It's the damn eyes! They saw beyond him. There's <laughs> 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 a mouse over here. He's whiffed. You're right um, as a bo- I do have a bonus action, though, which I can use to dash. Okay. Um, so I'm going to. I do think if you move away from him, you'll take a hit. He has disadvantage if he tries okay. to do it. So, right. does he want to try? And yeah, then... if you're going to move, he'll swing at you. Okay. So, fifteen hits, right? Fifteen is what I have. All right. So he swings his sword at you for does two damage. Be better than fifteen? Or no, does... he'll, he tied. He wins. Okay. Or he actually has a plus what one. What is disadvantage again? They have to roll twice. And then oh. take the lower one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was two two slashing. So You're I got hit. Dash. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. a little hit as nicked you a little bit. And so I dash over to this and then just scoop up as much as I can. <laughs> so, start burying. <laughs> start burying. <Yeah. laughs> and just start covering him with dirt. <laughs> it was. All right, we've got a bunch of skeletons to do. Uh, yeah. See, it's a busy day. Yeah. Oh, this guy follows you. You just got away from him. Yeah. Uh, so he comes up on you as you you're you over your pile of bones, your your treasure hoard, <laughs> and uh, brings a slash right down into your back for five damage. Oh, okay. Geez. Let me make sure that see if he has disadvantage on that. Uh, oh, I actually did the disadvantage thing. Oh, I don't think it, you had it, to. Oh, okay. Thought, okay, that's fine. I don't think I don't think I get it necessarily with the, raging out. Okay. So, I thought that was the eagle totem thing. Uh, opportunity attack rolls. Okay. So I does that count as an opportunity attack no. roll? Yeah. No, that was his action. Okay. All right. This guy. How much damage? Sorry. Uh, five. This guy turns and runs back after the short man. Mm-hmm. Nope. He fell. Oh, yep. He's Burp. a clumsy skeleton. All right. So uh, swings right over your head, Grimo. Uh, yeah. He can't seem to connect. Yeah. He really can. That's good. Wow. Yeah. That's a good time. Grimo spry. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh, and he didn't quite get there. So uh, this guy takes a few steps forward and uh, pulls back his bow, uh, shoots and connects uh, right on Grimo's uh, shoulder. Did the monsters go ahead of me? What? Oh, I did skip you. Yeah, I, I was. I was Uh-oh. like, I was like, did I miss Raxan oh, going? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I have a plan. It's all happening simultaneously. <laughs> For yeah. five damage. Funny, Joe. Um, I can interrupt their turn right now if you want to go. Oh, that's and we fine. We can finish their turn. I guess none just because you're over here yeah, did anything. The guys yeah. right next to you haven't gone yet. Oh, okay. Um, I need to save Decker, so I'll I take fine. my great axe and I hand it to Mr. Skittles. He grabs it. Does his right hand have to roll for that, or does he just <laughs> roll it me? Okay. Come on, Skittles. Fifteen. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So Mr. Skittles catches it. So I. I, uh, I take out my javelin and spin so that Mr. Skittles slashes, does like a slashing Ooh, attack across boy. so that I can throw my javelin as Mr. Skittles goes, see a tomorrow. And then I'm <laughs> I'm staring and then I, it takes me a second and I go, oh, because of the bones. And I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. So I throw a javelin at him while the great, a- well, well now Mr. Skittles is swinging the axe. So I guess that's a different. Yeah, Mr. Skittles would have to roll. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, you, and Mr. Mr. Skittles gets inspiration. Mr. Skittles. He's like, I call that the spine um, <laughs> <laughs> So w- let's do Mr. Skittles' axe. Okay. Uh, roll a 20. Yeah. Four. Ooh, that's four. A, that's about Mr. right for a skeleton. <laughs> I have a weak wrist. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, axe goes, the, axe, <laughs> <laughs> the axe goes right over his head. Right, I don't know if he's got a clever retort to that. Uh, he goes, 
Curse you, you buffooks! And he stares at Grimo. Oh! <laughs> Stealing wow. his material. And he's like, That's how it feels. And then he hits his other. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, You started this war! Yeah. He doesn't even know that Grimo says that yet. <laughs> Grimo goes, That Mr. Skills, he better not be a puzzle master, too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't right. believe Mr. Skittles has everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you throw your javelin. Throw my javelin at the other. Yeah. Uh, I like that you to... inadvertently got two actions because of this. Mr. Skittles is worth it. Yeah, I mean, I, I did a pretty awesome roll for him to catch absolutely. that. Absolutely. We, we would all agree. I said I like it. That's a six. Oh, oh boy. It's his brain being pulled in too many different directions. <laughs> they call that a Skittle six. Ooh. Oh, no. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the javelin flies over and just kind of uh, clinks off the, the stone right there. Damn. Neat. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, where's your Skittles now? <laughs> he's, right now, right Mr. Here. Skittles is feeling kind of bad. I feel like he's on my back. <laughs> he's biting yeah. me. He's biting me. <laughs> so uh, this other skeleton with a bow uh, shoots at Miri and misses. Uh, the one with the sword right here uh, swings, slashes right into Miri for six damage. Oh, Ow. Uh, spear guy goes after Rex and nice. misses. Miserably, actually, uh, somehow loses his spear. Uh, <laughs> it goes flying a few feet away from him. Okay. Uh, and this guy tries to spear you too, uh, and misses miserably as well. Um, did this guy go? Not yet. I don't think so. I mean, yes. <laughs> so uh, you do some sort of uh, sweet spin. I do. Your your trench coat. Yeah, it's uh, cool. Kind of flickers mm-hmm. in front of the skeleton and ties up his sword, and uh, the attack misses. Just mm-hmm. as I planned. <laughs> So Grimo. False face versus the Try again. <laughs> Grimo. Grimo, Grimo, Grimo. I'll tell you what's going through Grimo's head right now. He's thinking about this the, the incantation card. Stop thinking about these stones. Stones. <laughs> Just run back and people are screaming and coughing up blood. I have, <laughs> I have thieves can't knowledge of thieves can't which is a mix of dialect and jargon and code, but I think these messages <laughs> might be too ancient that that won't wouldn't find that. I've got a cool a spell where I can like write text and it changes, but I think I need to know the language for it to work. These Don't are all you want to help out your party? Well, no. Grim was more about the puzzle. This is uh, like in Jurassic Park. That when, is help when Lex is trying to solve the thing yeah. and Grant's yeah, yeah, trying like, to hold the door oh, shut. Fuck. Fuck. I guess like the puzzle's gonna have to wait. Grimo's <laughs> gonna take a, a swipe with his short sword at that uh, relative of Mr. Skittles. Look up skeleton puns. So, oh no. Oh, no. Skeleton. Skeleton. So that oh. would be none of them, none of them are good. These are Only all from Undertale. Eight eight. For Grimo's sword. Uh, so yeah, your your sword stab goes up between all of the ribs. Oh no. And comes out, and you you got absolutely nothing there. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> Mr. Skittle and then Grimo's got a rival in Mr. Skittles. Things are not going on for Grimo. Is it Mary's turn? Yeah. Oh, unless uh, you had something else you wanted to do, Grimo. Um. Uh, you can do your whole disengage and run away. I might just like try to shout another, so just words at the okay. thing. I might say uh, like, like banish these skeletons back to death, and open your secrets to us. Okay, so you see the water kind of ripple water. and move just a little bit. Okay. Uh, and it does nothing. <laughs> Mm. Okay, so that's not what that says, guys. <laughs> All right, Mary, what are you doing, buddy? So you know. Which one hit me of those three guys? Oh boy, uh, this one. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, and this guy might. No, he missed too. Yeah, he missed. I'm gonna try and just yeah retaliate, hit him back as I kind of sideways glance at Rax and like, what is he doing? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Mr. I'm gonna try and hit shrugs. him with my. With what my, fuck am I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bludgeon him with skeleton. my mace right in the chest. Hit him as Sweet. hard as I can. So, so bludgeoning damage fuck. will actually double. Oh, because he's vulnerable to bludgeoning. Yeah, I heard Raxan shout something earlier. So. That was Mr. Skulls. Oh yeah. So I had a yeah. <laughs> Thank 20, him. Thirteen, plus uh, plus the attack bonus, right? Hits. Yeah, hits. Okay. And a, a D six. Hey, four times two, right? And, but you also add your strength to the four. Do I? Yep. Okay, so that's seven. Okay, yeah. Um, you come come down with your mace, and it you know goes from maybe the shoulder down to the pelvis, just exploding the skeleton. Cool. Yes. All right. Eight. How much was that? How much damage did you do? Oh. 
14, seven. Fourteen. But then 14. plus the bludgeoning is times oh. two, I guess. Wow. Mr. Skittle says, no guts, no glory. Oh, nice. <laughs> he holds for applause. <laughs> Primo glares at Mr. Skittles. He He's staring back. <laughs> <laughs> he can't wait to see that I happen to Mr. Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mary, do you want to move or anything? <laughs> um, no, there's a couple other dudes right there. I'll just turn towards the guy that's closest to me, next closest to me. Gotcha. Decker. Mm. I wanted to put him all to sleep, and then I read it doesn't count on undead. Uh oh. Because they're already oh, asleep. That's, that's, yeah, I'm really I'm running out of tools here. Sorry, real quick. Can I, for my next turn in advance, can I use my fighting style, which is protection? Like, I anticipate those guys are still going to hit Raxan, so I want to mm. defend him and put them at disadvantage, or one of them. Okay, that's what protection does. It puts, yeah. puts disadvantage on an enemy. When a creature I can see attacks someone other than me within five feet of me, I can impose disadvantage on that attack. I okay. must I must have a shield, which I pick, do. Pick one of those two skeletons. Uh, the one closest to Raxon. Okay, cool. Mr. Right. Skittles goes, that's a great pick. He fucked my wife. Nice. <laughs> now it's just sad. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to type on my laptop again. And this time, the Thunderbolts hitting the skeleton are bigger on the screen. Oh, nice. So I'm going to... I'm going to cast Thunder Wave... See, colon, slash. ...with an extra slide um, and use the charge from the wand. That okay. So that effectively makes it a third level spell. I think I can do that. Oh, really? Wait, wait. So I understand the wand gives you an extra level. Yeah, I'm casting cool. it at level two and then I'm using the wand to give it an extra Okay, wand. yeah, sure. Awesome. Level three. And then, so it's, it's the same spell. But it says, for each spell slot of second level or higher, increases damage by 1d8. So it essentially adds 2d8 to the damage. Sweet. Uh, so it has to roll Constitution again. It's got to be a 13, I think. I guess so. Fuck. Sorry, buddy. One again? All right. So that's... Uh, so it says... Takes half. Failed save... Or, sorry. A successful save tree just takes half as much damage as it pushed. Okay, so... You still roll your 3d8. Actually, three wait. Eight. Yeah, half isn't... Should I roll and then half it, or just half the dice? Because I, I think you should it. roll and half it. Yeah, I think you're right. All right, so I need. Because uh, I don't think you I did roll it wrong the first half time. Half the dice. Nice. Fourteen, twenty. So ten. All right. Yeah, the, your thunder wave uh, evaporates that skeleton. If you want to describe it. Uh, well, since it's a forceful spell, just like a lightning bolt hits it, and just every individual bone bursts apart and explodes out like a like a fucking <laughs> shotgun. Ooh. So. Rad. Just look at him and smirk. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, so Shattercock's going to move up here and try her hand at her magic stick. Mm. Uh, as she runs, she's bouncing the entire time. But what she do to the skeleton? Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> and she yells, and Stefan! And it says here, 1d6 bludgeoning, versatile 1d8. What's versatile? Versatile is you grab with two hands. Oh, so yeah. So you yeah. get a roll d8 for the damage. Um, yeah, I can, I can definitely do that. Uh, however, she nestles so it in her I, chest. I never do melee, so should I check again or no? So yeah, roll, roll 20. twenty. Got it. Mm. Uh, Anybody inspiration? Oh uh, yeah, fuck it, I'll use it. <laughs> because she she just can't make this work. <sighs> Oof. See, there you go. All, All right, right. That's I got inspiration for you. Yeah. All right. Oh more. Oh wow. What? Well, making it exciting. Wait, 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 wait. Deck, how do you inspire him, Decker? You I look at them titties. Yeah, I, I see. <laughs> I see a slightly battle damaged, greased up. Sweaty, battle-ready, naked whiffing, hot chick. Whiffing a skeleton. Mm -hmm. And it is it is exactly exactly everything I've wanted. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I type out extremely bad poetry and save it to love.txt on my on my desktop. Oh, <laughs> nice. Right. And somehow and somehow she knows that that she happens. Does, yeah. She just oh, knows. She's aware. Sweet. There you go. Right, what is it? The odds are nineteen. <laughs> oh, shit. Minus. My, it's minus two. Well, sure. I don't know if that if you if you add strength to that or not. But. So you would, you would add your strength. And your proficiency, uh, oh, so, so those cancel out. Cancels out. Okay. So yeah, you will up that guy. Uh, roll your eight, and since it's bludgeoning, we'll double it. So that's eight. Eight. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, with with your your rod, you knock off its uh, shield hand, like its whole arm oh, that was cool. holding a shield falls off. Okay. Need a hand. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Need a shield? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh bones. At, at this point, I'm getting lightheaded because of the blood loss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, Derek. Okay. I, I'm just going to turn around because he hit me in the back last time and then growl at it and then just come back. You think he's coming time. after your bones? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from my bones! Uh, 15 Hits. plus. Okay, 18. Uh, so. Ooh, six plus 
strength. Oh, I'm in a rage. Shit. I got a lot. Um, six plus two is eight. Plus strength, eleven. Nice. With one axe. All right. Well, you might as well yeah. just stop he's, there. He's got to be uh, good. Yeah, no, dude. absolutely. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and then another five. Yeah, you finish that guy off. Okay. If you want to describe that. So basically, Shattercock comes up and knocks the shield away right as I'm turning back, and then I just come in with both axes, and one takes its takes its rib cage off of its spine, and the other one separates the head from the from the upper torso. Sweet. It goes into the ground, and as the bones are falling, I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> going for them. Um, and then I can also bonus action dash. So this guy gets blasted. And he goes, bonus action. Mm. <laughs> well, my tail goes between my legs. The higher like and green um, Shaking, he's so mad. <laughs> so I, I quickly kick some dirt over this one and then dash to here. Raxon. Uh, at this point I go, Mr. Skittles, what do we do? We seem to be in a bind. And he looks at me because he's trying to figure out the pun. And he goes, he just goes, throw me. I go, what? Throw me! I'm like, if you say so, Mr. Skittles. So I move back and I throw him so that he goes into like a swinging axe motion because he needs both hands. Oh, you're a good puppeteer. <laughs> yeah. I just imagine like this is what he sees in his head, but what's actually happening is just like this thing's caught on his ankle and he's dragging it around. So uh, you took a few steps back. The skeleton did swing its spear at you, uh, but missed completely. Okay. Um, so you're throwing. Skittles at him yeah. with his axe move. Uh, yeah. Roll a 20. Yeah. I mean, in right. our in our heads, we think this looks cool. All right. So roll <laughs> Just our keep that in mind. We'll call this one yeah. you throwing Skittles. Five. Oh, that was, that was well. not a 20. Oh, my bad. Oh, there you go. Sorry. They look the same. Yeah. 19. Hey, yes. there you go. All right. So, yeah, you throw Mr. Skittles perfectly. Yep. Uh, if you'll roll another 20. All right. Uh, 17. Sweet. All right. What does he shout? Uh, <laughs> he's got to say something. For bone and ire. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. We're all confused. We all do that. Sure, sure. Yeah. Bad to the bone. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. Uh, yeah, that's I much roll better. for some damage. Yeah, nice job, Green. Uh, yeah, that's my. Where am I? It's a 12. 12. Which one's 12? This one? This one's 12. Yes. Yeah. 12. And then that's a plus three slashing. So. Four plus three. Sweet. So, yeah, you end him if you want to let us well, know. Mr. Skittles ends him. Um, so I think the way I imagine it is that he, Mr. Skittles like looks awesome up in the air and he slashes uh, and does like a cool spin move, but really just, it's a skeleton going. <laughs> it's just just falls on skeleton. I think the axe just sort of like <laughs> brisk the side of the other skeleton. And I think because the axe is so heavy, it just kind of cracks the bone a little bit and like uh, kind of just cracks the, the head, yeah. Okay. That's it. So yeah, that sort of caved in. <laughs> falls down to dust. Yeah. Uh, are, are these skeletons ever going to come back? I don't know. Okay, because I want this to become Mr. Skittles, so now he's like on him. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got another one. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Because he's going to stick around. There's Mr. Skittles. All right. What monsters do we have left here? Um, There's five skillies. Yeah. It's like... So uh, the one that Decker, I mean, Derek just ran up behind. Uh, sees him coming, turns around and swings, does five damage. Uh, the one next to it uh, takes his little step forward. So he uh, he's all, he's still swinging over your head. For some reason, he can't quite get that you're a really small creature, uh, and he needs to adjust his swing. He's just. Going straight at you. Grimo almost feels bad for the <laughs> swing its sword at you. Like little hops, catch it. Gr- Grimo, as you know, Grimo, he's he's actually two foot eleven, but he tells people he's three feet tall because mm. he's a little self-conscious <laughs> about it. So like this is the first time in his life though that Grimo has felt like felt good about being shorter. He's, it's it worked his advantage. So is Grimo short for a halfling? That's the, yeah, that's the thing. Is oh, wow. He he's really that's like, most halflings are like three foot. Two. Yeah, I Grimo would find a jacket that fit. It's a lady's jacket. Oh, <laughs> so one of his, his sisters, actually. <laughs> Where did this inspiration sisters? come from? Uh, I gave it to you for Mr. Skittles. Oh, okay. Um, inspired so uh, the the bowman over there uh, reaffirms your your happiness and how small you are because he shoots right over your head. Oh wow. boy. So this bowman shoots at Miri and the, all of the bolts 
stick right into your shield. All right. Um, and through into old, your forearm. Good old shield. <laughs> yeah. And that leaves the spearman guy who's going to charge up to Mary. With a little run, he's charging at you with his spear. Um, and, you know, with your, your shield sweet move, you, you knock him away, sends him back. Oh, shield dash. Fight. Cool. All right. Wait, wait, was that my protection thing or no? My fighting style or no? Uh, that was just me. He just missed. Given, yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he missed mm-hmm. badly. Okay. Um, so, Grimo. So, Grimo's gonna. Puzzle. I know, Grimo's so interested in that puzzle. He keeps hearing it in the back of his head. There's uh, two skeletons are cling, cling, cling. Try a rhyme, Grimo. Try a rhyme. Use the skeleton uh, key. The information needs to, has, it has to be here for us. It has to be here for us to decipher. The riddle. We're just not seeing it. Or one of us has one of us has to have something that can decipher this. Well, it's a dwarven dwarven language, right? Yeah. I was... it's, a, it's a dwarven language, like because so uh, you said the dwarven car- like. So yeah, there, there's language. carvings all over the place. So this one has. Uh, we could get to this after battle. Or right. We can do yeah. it now. But there, there's there's <laughs> a language you don't recognize at all on here. That's kind of the big one up top. And then there, there's a similar carving of a kind of the same character size in a couple of other languages, including Dwarven, uh, Draconic, and Elvish. Oh, but you can read Dwarven. Yeah. And I, I can read Draconic. So, there you go. Hey, you befooks. What are you holding the agreement for? Tell me what that says. You know, I'm the puzzle master, but I can't be the puzzle master of everything. I can read Elvish. Hey, you tried to solve it, and all these skeletons yeah. came out and attacked us, and we couldn't Just investigate Just tell me what it anymore. says. We're getting killed. Uh, <laughs> So, well, Shadowcock is free. I mean, I don't know if she can read from there, though. Um, it's kind of far I mean, away. Yeah. Well, five skeletons alive. You can move closer if you want to try and, and, try and like, sit and decode it. And that, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, fine, with, right I'm now. fine with that, but the... Uh, Are you sure you want to do that? Everyone wants to know! <sighs> All right. So, I guess she'll move up a little closer. You guys uh, have strange priorities. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to help out Grimo. <laughs> um, and she can only read Draconic. So that, the only thing I can read on, on there is the dragon. Got some handouts. Cool, homework. I can speak, read, and write. I like how all this is happening in the span of about three seconds. Yeah. 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 So we'll call that your turn. You're trying to look at, oh, at the I gotta do this thing. puzzles, oh, bro. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, excellent. Derek. Uh, that was Grimo's turn. Oh, okay. So, so, that's so, all right. Did you so, so I, I can go back if so, you want me to. Oh, no, no, it's cool. I'm, it's cool. I'm going to like attack as well. Oh, boy. All right. Um, uh, Man. So like I'm yeah, I'm gonna use my short sword on this guy right here. You're you sure you want to attack during combat? Uh, That's a little unorthodox. <laughs> so, uh, so I, I miss him anyway. I only I only got nine. Yeah. You, whiffed, you whipped him a little bit. Oh thank you. Uh, I don't know, all, for some reason all of your attacks seem to keep going into his rib cage and just getting nothing. Who wants um, to go for spare ribs? Who was that? That was Grimo? Yeah. So, I heard that. <laughs> so I don't know if it Laugh. counts as I was gonna try and Anticipate an attack on Raxan, but then he killed it. So I don't know if that counts as my oh, turn. Mr. Skill. No, no, that would it. just be a bonus action or something. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> or you could cancel it since the thing died. So okay. We'll, we won't worry about it. So yeah, I was anticipating it, and he just killed it, and I'm like, oh, okay, and I just <laughs> resume with my mace to try and kill that last spearman right. right by me. Yeah. Twelve plus, plus attack and all that is seventeen. You got him. Okay. Uh. D6. Two. Plus your strength. Uh, and then doubled for bludgeoning. Right? Okay, so plus strength, three, that's five, times two is ten. All right. Sheesh. Nice. Thanks for the tip, Roxanne. With the bludgeoning. Yeah, yeah. Really helped me bone up on combat. <laughs> nice. You're still my bit. One more time, yeah. I will fucking murder you in your sleep. <laughs> There's gotta be something with the, the fibula. Yeah. I don't feel pain. <laughs> he wasn't telling a fibula. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> Attitude era. Yeah, this is er, that's Skittles looking at You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> On the ground. How's he moving? <laughs> Decker. Oh, okay. He was alive at one <clears throat> point. So here's here's the intention. And you tell me what rolls that's gonna require. Oh boy. Decker's gonna jump up here, hop to this stone. Alright, do like a hop uh, over here. Cast uh-huh. a spell in midair and land with a cool thunder strike. Whoa. So. Okay, roll uh, like an <laughs> athletics. <laughs> ah, I broke my laptop. No. <laughs> oh, my nose is green. <laughs> I can't stop crying. Mom. Did I kill that guy, Dan? Just the altitude I, difference almost. of him jumping. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, what so, do we uh, do? Yeah, to do all your cool jump moves, uh, do an acrobatics or an athletics. Yeah, I'm oh, gonna pull that's got a oh, really high number for, for you. Decker? Yeah. yeah. Acrobatics. It's like, and out of breath. Yeah. Somehow I have plus two in dex. I don't know where that came from. Uh, that's right. Oh, yeah, I was trying to assign scores and so, never mind. Uh, so acrobatics is plus two, athletics is minus one. Ooh. I feel like that would be a little more appropriate. Well, do, do the one that you're better at. Oh, that's very nice. Acrobatics is normally performed in a desk chair with wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Air conditioning. Oh, that's about right. What is that? Three, <laughs> Three plus two is five. Yeah. All right. So the first, the, the first part of the move you make is actually pretty successful. All right. Uh, but then you step on your duster jacket. <laughs> oh, oh, backwards. Oh, dang it! As soon as your head connects with the water, it solidifies <gasps> and uh, yeah. you crack your head. Cool concussion. Uh, for six dead. damage. <laughs> oh, that's how Decker died. <laughs> We're all staring at the pool. I wonder what his story was. <laughs> I tripped on a jacket. Um, you, you, <laughs> you can use the rest of your movement to kind of sit up and do a spell if you want. Oh, wow. Okay. Don't go to sleep. Whatever you do, yeah, do not yeah, go to no, sleep. Seriously, you got a concussion, bro. <laughs> a long rest for you. And I'm also standing in the demon pool. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Fuck. No problem. Now I can't read this thing because you're standing in the fucking pool. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm you afraid. I, I'm just a. F- well, what if it opens something? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll be fine. Uh, he oh, was a hero. Geez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, let's see. This is. Wave sickness only work on biological. Come on a minute. No. I wasn't expecting skeletons. No. No one ever is. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna cast ray of sickness on. What type of guy. damage is that? It's a uh, 2d8 poison damage. Okay. There is no. As far as I know, there's no spell that does bludgeoning. <laughs> That'd be great if it were. All right. Uh, let's see. It says. It says do range spell attack against the target. Which, so that's a 20. Do I, yeah, do I roll my 20 against my spell save? So No, no, you would roll a 20, add your modifier, and okay. your proficiency. Okay. That's uh, just spell attack, right? Which is both yeah. already. So yeah, yeah. 23. Okay. So the, uh, And what's it called again? The Ray of Sickness. Ray of Sickness. Your Ray of poison. Sickness. Uh, which guy are you targeting? This one over here? Yeah, this one right here. So it looks like everything r- r- runs perfect. You know, the cloud of sickness runs right at the skeleton, but it seems to have no effect on Great. it. Great. Sorry. Uh, so you would then assume that uh, skeletons are immune to poison damage. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Hmm. That was a good turn. That was a good turn for me. <laughs> Sick <laughs> move. <laughs> Narratively, it was perfect. <laughs> Mr. Skill still talking from the ground. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. All right, Shattercock. Um, so she's able to read one of the lines on that thing, and it says, uh, "Look, Thor, Ula, or Ula, okay. like Ula's crown." Um, so she reads it out loud. She goes, "Look, Thor, Ula," and what happened? Um, so the the pool nice. uh, undulates a little bit. Uh, your feet start to stick in, and then it hardens immediately oh. again oh, because no. of his touch. Okay. Oh no! So I'm stuck in the pool now. Yeah. So, well, no, no. I, he's just, on top. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're on oh, top. Oh, I thought I said it starts bit. to move, and you're going down, but then it, it solidifies because okay. you're connected to um, it. Do I have enough time for another action? Can I cast or? Um, yeah. Can... All you did was shout something. Yeah. So yeah, you can do uh, whatever you want. I'm just gonna turn on these two, um, and I have meta magic again. But I have twin spell, and what twin spell does is basically whatever spell I'm casting doubles it. So, and it has to be That's cool. uh, it casts a spell that targets only one creature and doesn't have a range of self. You can spend a number of sorcery points equal to the spell's level to target a second creature in range with the same spell. So, um, basically, I'm going to use the two uh, the two sorcery points I have left, and I'm going to cast it's Agonar's, Agonazar's Scorcher on these two. There's nobody in the in the way, so I can just. Sweet. Shoot, shoot two rays at him. Um, I'm gonna get you it's three d eight fire damage. Do I need to do the, do the check again, or do I just cast? Um, do you have that written down anywhere? How that one works? Uh, I only have it. I, I wrote it down here. Okay. Thirty foot long, five foot wide, three d eight fire damage. Oh yeah, it's half damage on a saving throw. Okay. Do you know what the so. saving throw is? Oh no, that that would be your fourteen. Yeah. Okay, so one of them connects, the other one gets the half damage. Gotcha. Okay, so I need 3d8 then. Uh, Let's see, this guy back here will take half. Okay. So this will be, I guess this will be the full damage here. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's impossible. I never could have done that if I tried. Mm. <laughs> that's three. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, gosh. Man. Nope. Sure to use that magic that sorcerer, uh, what was the thing you did last time? There. Better. Better. Okay, so that's, and that's half, so it's five. So three and five. Nice. More like twits and twits. Yeah, right. Um, Dear dude. Yeah, so I'm going to. Maybe you can meet somebody. Continue request. to rage out. That comes out of and attack this guy. 
That's a nine. Eighteen. Wow. Next. All right. Four for one of them, and then four for the other, plus my strength, right? Yeah. Eight plus, so that's eleven. <laughs> so one of your oh, axes uh, connects yeah, with well, damage, right. the other one actually takes off like his knee, mm -hmm. so he, he falls to the ground. Not, um, not quite dead, but yeah. he's, he's on the ground. This guy wants to die, look at him. He's leaning over. <laughs> ah. He's resting on the other one. Yeah. And oh. me! Raxan. <clears throat> Remember me! Rexan. Okay, um, so I move over and pick up Mr. Skittles. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> he's, well, he's got my axe. He's back. Uh, let's see how can this work. Just like the fan art, I'll show it. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> together at last. Uh, so I move over for another attack on this skeleton. Um, right, and I go, Mr. Skittles, we need a, a war cry. And he just stares back at me blankly because he's a skeleton and he can't talk. <laughs> I picture it like in that scene in Braveheart when the Scottish and the Irish run up to each other and then they just they all know each other so they say hi. Is that when Mr. Skittles encounters every skeleton? He knows them. He's like, oh, Bob, it's me, Skittles. <laughs> no, he he's an outcast skeleton. Oh, oh wow. wow, that's yeah, sad. He's, he, okay. he's, he's like, eat shit, Jerry. He like, <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely doesn't like them. Keep stealing my newspaper. <laughs> so weird, all these weird backstories. So yeah, I'm, I'm just doing a a, a Skittle swing. Um, <laughs> as we call it in Sweet. the community. Roll a 20. Uh, at this guy. Yeah, I'll shut up now. I'll write it for this. 16. All right, that one, that one connects. Okay, for damage, two plus three, five. All right, yeah, you finished that guy off. Yeah. You want to tell us about it. Uh, so Skittles jams the axe and slowly into him while whispering in his ear going, I know what you did. I know what you did. And he kills him. <laughs> oh my God. Because yeah. he slept with his wife. Yeah. Oh, and, and the other right. skeleton's just going, <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's all hitting him at once. So his mouth opens up and he has uh, this, like, surprised look on his face. Um, Dan, I also don't know if it matters, but I, again, forgot to add my rage damage, which would have been another plus two. Yeah, you would have you would have gotten him. Mm. <laughs> mm. Does he faint? Mm. Like he just remembers, like, oh shit, I should have died. Two axes come down, take his arms off, and then I use my foot to kick him out in the center. Oh, that's so pretty it's a cool. Spinning head, oh, spinning oh, arms, wow. legs fall down. Oh, and that guy fell on that guy. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's okay. still looking at you. <laughs> that was a close one. The problem with rage, you get all blinded by it. Then you have to crunch numbers. All right, got a couple of skeletons left. Uh, these guys will take a few steps back and let fling at. Uh, that guy they just saw kill a skeleton friend of theirs. <laughs> so those bowmen let loose at you. Uh, yeah. One whizzes over your shoulder. Uh, the other uh, goes right into any sort of armor you've got. Is on that your chest. piercing? Uh, yes. I have resistance to that. Ooh, because of rage. That, so that's a half of the damage <clears throat> okay. that you would get. I probably should have been getting that for a while, but I didn't, I didn't see. It's a rage. My hawk eyes. And <laughs> yeah, I'm ah! doing hawk eyes. <laughs> Looking through your character sheet. <laughs> so that's four damage. You just All see right. the little filaments of wood. That oh, was gonna be eight damage? Good God. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, the one that still hasn't connected with Grimo is gonna try again. <laughs> Keep believing in that. It's just two two things <laughs> <laughs> missing each other over and over again. He's reaching for that rainbow. Come on. Okay, yeah. He, oh! he, he, he oh. finally compensates a little bit. Oh, good. Uh, and good and for him. <laughs> connects with you. Uh, Good for you, Skelly. Yeah. Oh. Rooting for you. Five damage. Uh, this makes Grimo, he makes him feel taller. Oh. <laughs> and miss me. All right. What you gonna do, Grimo? Uh, so I'm gonna attack that skeleton that just attacked me. Oh. So it's only 12. Sorry. Oh. Is it no, no inspiration left? I, I never have, like, very rarely. Oh, oh! Whoa. Wait, did this come from you or from Mr. Skittles? Uh, Skittles Try again, just... you short bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles goes, I hate that guy, I hate you, but I hate that other guy more. Ooh, oh, I wow. want to see you fail did. again. Yeah. Yeah, does just... he know that skeleton's name? Yeah, his name's also Jerry. Oh, okay. oh they're all Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, but with a G. Oh. I knew you couldn't do it, you yeah. stupid asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's worse, it's 11. Yeah. Nice fuck up, short stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mr. Skittles, Jeez. I think you should settle down. He's like, I know, I know. Outside of the street. My bone pressure's through the roof. Nice bone, <laughs> bone pressure. Because <laughs> uh, it's in a blood, because he has not yeah, have it. We get it. He get it? blood, he's a bone skeleton. Myriad. Please save us. Finish off the skeleton. Yeah, so I just run to that nearest bowman nearest me. I try and 
Hit him with, hit him, oh, yeah. hit him with my mace. I'm kind of ah, go away. Um, <laughs> ah, you guys, something like that. Uh, oh, never mind. Twelve. I miss. Wait, no. Twelve plus what? No, no it's seven plus 12. plus attack and proficiency is twelve. Uh, Decker. Damn it! I wish you hadn't done that. Did he get in your way? A little bit. It's all right. Just hit. So me. you guys got to communicate. Yeah, we do. Well, so like us before our I characters comp. turn, like kind of yeah. Thing? Okay. The problem was. I I can't communicate, but then if I slip and bash my head, people will stay out of my way for no reason. So right now you're talking to a squirrel. Decker will get up and there's like blood coming out of his ears and just like nothing happens. <laughs> Put his glasses back on. Uh, and then he'll very carefully step on <laughs> and walk over it. And then try and take an exaggerated step. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when it says three f- or fifteen foot cube. Mm-hmm. How exactly does that measure out? So if I'm here and I cast one, two, three, that's 15 feet. That wouldn't hit him, right? Where are you casting it at? So I'd be here. If you were ca- you're casting the spell there, yeah. Um, but diagonal 15 foot cube. Yeah, then that'd be five and so three. So yeah, that'd be that'd be a square that's three by three. Yeah. So from wherever you want it to one, hit. One, two, three. Well, it's from me. Oh, it's from you. Yeah. Just angle it. We'll say it, you angle in it. Also, right. Mariatus is short, so you can duck. I can take. Duck I can take some damage. It's yeah, fine. <laughs> I can take some. It comes yeah. from the sky. Down. Well, you're just you're just saying you're just damage. You're just saying you're aiming to do for five. Lightning resistant. Yeah, right. I think right. you can do it. All right, just damage me and chastise his, me. His for getting antlers are made of metal, and then they they oh, go down his wrong. leg. Yeah, and it's oh. going into the. He's grounded. Yeah, he's good. All right, I'm gonna cast. Stopped. He's dead. He's dead. Don't take any damage, but his heart's not beating. All right, casting this at second level. So that would be 3d8. Good but Lord. Constitution saving throw on both of them. And I got to be 13. Yeah. So. Both hit. All right. Nice. Oh, okay. Come on, baby. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. 11. And then they both get knocked back 10 feet, I think. So, so yeah, as, as they're knocking back 10 feet, they die, if you oh, want to okay. describe oh, that. Fuck uh, you. Um, similar but not as impressive as, as the other guy. Uh, I just type, hit enter, little lightning bolts hit two skeletons on my monitor. And then as that happens, two giant lightning bolts come from the sky and just explode these dudes like they're party favors. And I smirk, fuck yeah. <laughs> With blood down yeah. your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> can, I get, can I get knocked back too, like the other way? If you really want to. Uh, yeah. Oh, how far does it knock you back? 10 feet. Yeah. 10 feet. And how much was the damage? Eight? Uh, you're opting into the damage? No, it was I'm 11. Just kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. I'll take some. I'll take a little damage. Man, that's <laughs> blood. Oh boy. Uh, Shattercock. All right, well, she's going to go in and try and finish this last skeleton off. Um, problem is that, let's see, I can't really make it to them. So I'll just do. You have range attacks, all right? I do, but there are more spells. I, they, they take more bludgeoning damage. So uh, I'll do Acid Splash. Which I don't really remember, hmm. exactly remember how that works. Yep, your your attack hits. Oh, it does! Fantastic. Okay, four. Cool. And she just casts a little acid, drops right on. Oh, bones are so they corrosive. Start, they start mm-hmm. smoking up. Smell terrible. They start smoking up. So yeah, his his left arm starts to dissolve and falls uh, off. Cool. So he's only got one arm for his sword now. All right. Hmm. Need okay. a hand? Yes. What? So I'm just gonna run in there, and then come around behind with both axes. Cool. So you've got serious advantage. Six. Come on, baby. Oh, one. Jeez. Oh, boy. So it would be six, 11. That doesn't do it. Okay, so maybe I tripped on one of these bones. <laughs> going in. You were distracted by all the bones in the ground. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you were swinging at the arm that dissolved away. Ah, the timing is <laughs> Can, I, can I throw my inspiration? Or, yeah, yes or no? Too. It's okay. <laughs> I want this battle to be over. <laughs> it's almost over. Raxon. Boy, uh, I guess I, I move up. What the Skittles, Skittles doing? Those Skittles, we move together. We laugh. <laughs> He's full of humor. Oh I got gosh. my javelin that I can throw up to 30 feet or 120 feet with disadvantage. You can get him. I get him the javelin. Okay, so I throw my second to last yep. javelin. And I'll, I'll say he's actually, you have advantage as well since okay. the dude's surrounded completely. I also want this to be over. Uh, uh, I mean 30. One more. Fuck, you throw one more. Yeah, yeah you have advantage. advantage. Oh, two, three. Oh, Fuck. Jesus. Boy, these rolls are bad. 18, there. there. Oh, man. Fuck. No. God. So, yeah, your javelin, you're uh, back. Uh, 
hurl it, and it kind of just dribbles. Oh. Uh, nice toss, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> nice toss, John. Fucking loser. Boneway. All right, it's the monster's turn. <laughs> All right, he, he, uh, he's he's <laughs> lost you. his perspective <laughs> on Grimo and just swings right across his head again. God damn it. Oh. Misses the him. skeleton's oh. invincible. It comes in Grimo like liquid hot fire. Whoa! Oh. A halfling, so I reroll on one. Good. I'm not lucky, natural reroll. One day. Oh, so right. ten plus five. Got him. Oh, thank oh, God. Right. And then for damage, it's uh, maybe six. Just, you don't need to roll. He's dead. Please. So it's five. <sighs> yep. You want to tell us how you get him? Uh, I picture. <laughs> I look at the skeleton with just anger in my heart, and I picture Mr. Skittles. Mm-hmm. So not they look exactly the yeah, same. Yeah. But it's still <laughs> but it's still, and they're still yeah. like a, And then I, I just just. Just ram through with my my short sword, uh-huh. but then after I hit him, it changes again, and I see it was the innocent skeleton. But the, it's the same face skills. again, though. It's it's the same face yeah. again, <laughs> and I can't believe what I've done. The yeah. horror. He's and surprised I, too. And I whisper, "The horror, the horror." Wait, <laughs> it doesn't fall back into me. Yeah, my mouth open. Uh, well, he falls back, in, uh, falls back in my arms. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Skittles, yeah. I was, Hope you die in a pit of fire, Jerry. Oh, <laughs> Again. Yeah. Hope you just see blackness when you die. There's nothing there for you. <laughs> well, we beat all the skeletons. No thanks to Mr. Skittles. What? He took out. He got one of them. Yeah. He, yeah, took he, him out. he did right. more than you did. Yeah. Well, well, got, the thing is, too, same. he entertained us while he fought. So Grimo does every single time. <laughs> he provided the murder. <laughs> right on. So yeah, uh, you know, the giant stone has some writing on it. The the head in the middle of the pool has a little bit of writing. Um, I don't know if you guys want to start doing some. So there was a little around. elvish on there. So this was the stone, correct? That so I, yeah, that's what's on this big so stone up here. Okay. And um, uh, you decoded that, and I decoded the third line, which is, this is here, and that's uh, look Thor Ula. Um, so I'll try shouting it again. Right. So also, like when you say that, Decker, uh, a few things click in your head, um, and you actually have heard of the giant god Lu Kathur Ula. Um, you've heard down. of that. <laughs> Um, it, just, it, it clicks a little bit, and yeah. Did you want to? Oh no, I was just. Yeah, I'll try and shout it out again. See what happens to the pool. Uh, Look, there, Ula. Yeah. So as you shout, the it bubbles a little bit, but nothing, nothing, nothing other than yeah. that. Can I make up a backstory about Luke Cthulhu Ula, or will that no, be no. a problem? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's a problem. Sorry, no um, problem. Grim is just gonna run to the temple and then investigate and see if he sees any anything in here, any markings, altars, mm. or anything that would give any kind of clue. As to the rest of these writings, uh, Your Skittles actually, keeps an eye on Grimo. I'm gonna pass a few more of these out. So this uh, this is the saying that's written on the the head. Oh, um, and if anyone else wants, we've got a bunch more copies. Uh, of, Dirk uh, is this one as well. Is slowly walking around, gathering all of the bones, <laughs> and yeah. just like digging just a huge pit and just yeah. throwing them all in. Uh, Mr. Skittles is spitting on all the other. <laughs> Fuck you. Go. Fuck what? you. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, there's nothing coming out. <laughs> I've never appreciated um, so me. I, so, so when you're over there, you actually um, you find a little book, uh, or actually, like, um, I'm sorry, uh, you find a skeleton hand that just has this scrap of parchment in it. Okay, I take, I let's rip it from the skeleton. I'm so tired. You're of these so excited skeletons. about puzzles, skills. Okay, I'm like, got collected myself. I'm looking at the wall over there. So you speak Dwarvish, right? Sure. Yeah. Compared to the other pieces I'm trying of to. Anyone else speak Dwarvish? Read what I can. No, sir. Elvish. Elvish here. Dwarvish. Yeah. I never met her. Nice. That's good. Ah, yeah, that's a good one. Ah, Save that. Ah, Woo! <laughs> no skeleton, not ghost. Yeah. No. <laughs> Wait. Well, he, he just he just hisses back at you. Goes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm also there. I've been I've basically been prattling about Luca Thirula in a very in very canon ways uh, <laughs> since the since the combat has ended. Still, like, I've, I've got like two wads of toilet paper stuck in my ears to prevent the bleeding from the intense concussion that I suffered at the hands of my own clumsiness. This is the head. So I'll be like, I'll be like running my hands over the stone and be like, well, this is Elvish. I can translate that. But the stuff on the top here, I've, I've never seen this before. Turn around. I'm going to turn around again because I looked in the wrong direction. Say, so I can. I can translate this, but it's going to take a while. I'll have to write a text analysis program, have that crunch over all the letters. I don't know. Do you guys do you guys recognize? Um, I'm assuming lettering on the top. I don't really recognize as any existing language or yeah, any common language. None of you actually recognize that. Okay, Grima and I are, are puzzle solving over here. We're reverse yeah, engineering. You guys are, you're the, uh, some puzzles because we are here. assuming we're assuming that the uh, what I read is also the same in all those other languages. 
Yeah, well, you could have someone confirm with the Elvish or the Dwarvish. I think, doesn't Mariatus? Yes, don't you speak Dwarvish? You're a dwarf! Yeah, the little book I have here doesn't match up to anything. I must be on some other dialect. So at this so, point, Derek has gathered all of the bones into a pile. Pats, wait, wait, wait. Pats the, the top down? of the pile <laughs> and then sits down. Oh, never mind. Oh, I had so it upside cute. down. I had it upside down, guys. Hang on. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Um, and then also, Derek remembers that he has the muffins Ooh. that that witch gave him. Oh, yeah, you have me muffins. And so then he takes a bite out of one of the muffins. Oh. So, yeah, uh, each one of those has three, so you kind of pull off one of the, the yeah. sections, start chewing on it. Um, as you're sitting on top of, of your pile of bones, uh, actually recollections of your childhood and, and your, I don't, I actually don't know <laughs> if you, you know, balls on it's top your of those bones. mother or father or, you know, father probably. You, you had a father? Yes. I okay. Did. Uh, good He's relationship high. with him? Yes. Okay. Actually. So yeah, you're, you're just flooded with great memories of uh, your father and you get inspiration. Oh, oh cool. cool. He goes, get down from there, hippie. <laughs> Ticked off one of those. Yeah, I, I made a note. Cool. Uh, I'm at the stone, and I'm, I've been typing away. I say, well, I've translated my line. It's just Luke Thula again. So I think what we're looking at here is a Rosetta Stone type deal. And yeah, we got to see this. Yeah, that'll help us. I guess we got to figure out what's written on this other stone over here. She's she's got about half of it. Oh, you're working on it? Uh, yeah. yeah. So Can it's it's Ra space U K space. I I don't know what the second character at the top there is, and I don't know what the last character. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I might. There. I'll, I'll just. I'll start working on it. I'll sit down and start tap, oh, tap, actually, tapping away. So that is that is actually going to require me to take a long rest to prepare a new spell, which is okay. uh, comp- comprehend languages. <clears throat> That's going to take eight hours. Yeah. Uh, so I'll say that. I'll, Do we have uh, time for that? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess. Is there anything else we can investigate here? I mean, yeah, you guys can look around. I'll. I'll just get to work. Is this real uh, time? Screamo's really a. Going at it I over know. here. She loves puzzles. He loves puzzles. He loves puzzles. He loves those puzzles. And I don't know if Grimo's gonna let us leave until uh, we decode this. Yeah. Did you say there was any writing on the center statue guy there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that would. Did you get? That's that. That's, that's this one. the slightly darker one. No. It's that's what's one. written on. One okay. Two lines. It's not that's dwarvish. written over the mouth of the statue there. Do you right. know what language this is? Does anybody know what language this is? I don't think anybody knows. Okay. Um, someone can maybe roll. History or, or my, I've got history. My intelligence history check didn't tell me anything about that, other than it might be giants or something from the last you, episode. You were like investigating the stones themselves. Uh, if someone wants to roll to try and figure out what oh, yeah, that language, I got history and it's tagged, so I can I can roll history Just on it. Roll twenty. Yeah, uh, seventeen. Okay, so yeah, the the more and more you stare at it, it appears, or you're you're assuming that this is probably a giant language, um, which does should connect in ways to languages you know. Hmm. Um, you know, it was it's a phonetic language, character based. Grimm goes ah. up to Decker and he says, Decker, I trust you with this because we're the only smart guys here. I found this by the ruins over there. Okay. I think it could be the key to all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how skills <laughs> doing over there? Oh, he he overheard Grimm I was like, mm. Actually, how's Dwarkar doing? Is that guy talking to you much anymore? He's basically transferred into yeah. the Skittles. He's become Skittles. <laughs> yes. The alphabet? There are 26 icons here. I'm only, I can only assume they're written. Well, so hold on. We can decode what she has with, order. with that. A, B, C, yeah, D, E, F, G? Yeah. <laughs> but I, do, well, I was going to say, do we know that they're from A to Z? Well, let's decode it and try to figure order? out. Well, uh, let's, let's yeah. just go with that and read it out loud and see if this thing blows up. Are there any animals around? Make sure we it's not upside down. Dead. We also don't <laughs> um, have to be dead, so but you can, are you going to try and do your ritual? I'm saying you'll, you'll, you'll be able to basically decipher. I know. What is the B sense? That's not I know. Oh, it's not an order. That's what I'm saying. It's not in the alphabet. How long does that take? Oh, it's ten minutes. All right. How can you tell? Oh, because the is there like a distance on there? I don't think so. I mean, it would have to be in the area. Well, it may be upside down. Okay. So. You do your it's beast yeah, sense. We'll know from this way. Yeah, yeah. we know yes. what A is. So, right. but so you, you do your like beast this. sense, and you you actually you get a visual that's kind of broken up. Um, you get I guess as you're looking through a spider's eyes, you know, so you have okay. a, like so, a, you know a hundred pictures or so. That's you A. Get okay. Of each little thing. That's um, just yeah. kind of blinking yeah, the in the darkness and looking at some of his other friends. Yeah, that's A. Because I. Uh, they're definitely. picking. They're picking at a dead body. So are they there and see if it goes All right. Starting to spin one up in its web and pull it up onto the wall. Can I we'll see if, um, let's try see. and, as the spider, climb to see where I am okay. to try and find myself? Like, uh, yeah, well, you, 
I guess you're looking around and you see yourself so in like a pitch, pretty much pitch it. black cave. A pitch you know, your, your spider sense you're allowed to like see go, a little go bit. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. able to see some directions. in the darkness. See okay. which one of those is. Um, oh, but it seems pretty pitch and it seems like a cave. Okay. I can't find any entrance or light to that cave. Well, yeah, there, there would be in maybe so. 50 feet in the distance, you mm-hmm. see a so little source that's light. Okay. okay, can I walk towards it? Oh, Are right. you able to control yes. the beast? Yes. Also, okay. you know, I basically you know it's this side it, up. So I, I'm, that's I'm on the other way with this reading. Okay, you yeah, so you so, start following okay. the light. The problem is okay. still this. Is um, still not matching up? Let's like, see. It's K's right next to A. Yeah, you actually you see a bunch of supplies, a little bed. Okay. Uh, some barrels. Wait, now we're talking. Uh, and, and the cave continues in either direction from dot. there. Go, one goes left, one goes right. Okay. Can I just stare at, at walk up and stare at Derek like mesmerized by? I, I, I am. My doing? eyes are right, right. back that's in my head, head, and I'm just kind of you. sitting there. Okay. Right. Um, are you all right, Derek? That's not okay. I imagine he just like, doesn't reply. I'm deaf to your. Yeah, yeah. I can't hear you. Okay, I'm in one okay. spider. One swoop of the dot. Okay. That's okay. Bruce, can you move me over by thought. the foot okay. of Derek, yeah. just staring at him? Yeah, uh, where are you? I'm at the stone oh. thing up there. I'm just looking at Derek. No, oh, oh, skills. Okay, I'm just kind of just, just write in all the letters now. and okay. see if we can figure out some kind of pattern. <sighs> Boy, somewhere around here there are some. There's a cave and some supplies. I don't know, and a dead body. That's what you saw in your vision? Not a vision. I think I was in some sort of insect. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? I, I'm getting stronger, okay, and I'm oh. starting to acquire some new powers. And since I'm very attuned to the animal world, uh, I can kind of hone in on that and take it over. Have you seen my top? I don't think anyone has. Okay. Right. Yeah, some of the skeletons have little scraps of of clothing if you need to cover up. Try and get to one of them. Sure. Skeletons. Yeah. And I growl yeah. at him. I just want their clothes. I just want their clothes, not the bones. Not the bones. All right. Touch the bone. Touch the bone. Touch the bone. <laughs> she takes, she takes a, just a few strips of clothing, fashions a very small bra. Sweet. Puts it over. And then I immediately clean up like the little patch. <laughs> the, that, yeah, the, the little patch, cover it with more dirt to just cover like it back up again. Pencil. So yeah. you yeah. Like can't star, see what I'm Do you need a pen? Uh, if, if we had a marker. So, it's just hard to write on these this ones. Is, and this see is it. A, right? That's, that, a. that's a. Yeah, I can also give you yeah. another one to just use as a scrap. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know how Sorry. Help, but I don't know if that helps. We're helping. Here. There's a better marker is this, too. Is this a short Please. rest or a oh, long oh, rest? Yeah, is any you. of this happening during a rest or are we just. I'm not know. sure. You, you can be it's resting on top of your pile of bones. Can I? I just want to sharpen my. Now I'm sharpening my war gripper. So that was L. I've been using that more. So I'm sharpening that and I'm going to take a little rest. You think you're out of hit die though, right? You L. I should be all rested. Yeah, you're right. So you got a D12. I have three D12 plus one. Put that from there. Can I be seeing if the skeletons had anything on them besides weapons? Yeah, so, well, besides what? There's probably rusted weapons and armor, some scraps of clothing. Um, you also find this children's book. All right. There's oh. like fairy tales and, and oh, drawings and that might be it. We got more K. letters. Did you so start from the K? I th- hold on, I think, no. if, I think I might have figured it out. A, B, so. C, D, E, F, G. But the problem is H, I, J, K it would be up there. It's not there. That's well, supposed to make sense. We got more letters to correspond. I think if we add it all up, they may not be in any order on that. Children's once stories. We, once we compile all of our oh. stuff. What are those? Oh. So I can't so read it. Derek is short resting. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anyone else wants to take the opportunity to get some Let me know if I can help. I'll take a rest. They didn't have any money. That's all I found. You want to roll some of those? Yeah. (laughs) Is it 10s? Oops. Um, So, Dan, is that... Yeah, I think you get 10s. Does that say children's story? Is that what those letters mean or no? That's just a sort of... Is that 10? Yeah. It corresponds. I guess I wouldn't know. I don't want to say I wouldn't know that. It does because of the apostrophe. The the S's are the same. I meant to erase that apostrophe. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not a 10. Sweet. So you get 10 life back? Yeah. And now you only have two D10 hit dice. I only have two. Because you 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 have three. You have three. And you can roll it up to three times, but you don't have to because you're not going to get those back. And so you long rest again. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll wait. What's the hit dice for short rest? Uh, for you, I think it's a six. yeah one d six. I think. Aha! How's it going? We're getting there. Well. I was kind of curious how this would turn out. It might not be the the nah. best TV here, but oh, it's great. I think Elise is pretty engaged. <laughs> yeah, I really, really like this. You guys just do the show without me. So arcane recovery <laughs> is half rounded up, and that's the spell slots you mm-hmm. get back. Yeah, that okay. did help a lot, Matt. So you can hey, get Rax two back. Who's your friend? Yeah. Uh, wait, that's all you got out of it. <laughs> 
Well, yeah. But, but you're talking about Mr. Oh. Uh, but we know I mean, who you I, is. We know what you've been introduced. It's Mr. Scott. It's Mr. No, Scott. I, I didn't meet him. You is. You you picked um, him up over there, and I was down here. This is a a local around these parts. Uh-huh. He um. He was the oh, wait, uh, the local like a... tourist uh, mm-hmm. tourist guide out here, yeah. and um, I guess we did a we did him a solid. You did me a solid by taking out all those jerks. They were scaring away my customers. Mm-hmm. But now that everyone's dead. I figured I'd just join you guys as your new bard. Do you see a lot of customers come around here? Not for a millennia. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a long time. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, to skeletons, it's not really a long time. It doesn't bother it doesn't really him. So we didn't use our bracers of pound at all. We didn't have to. During that whole... I mean, obviously we didn't have to. <laughs> I look over and Mr. Skittles has my bracers of power on already. <laughs> so, Mr. Skittles, <laughs> yeah. the bracers of pound, we should probably come up with some sort of... Phrase uh, other than whatever that else we weird said. language was. Yeah. yeah, it didn't mean anything. Yeah, not really. So we could come up right. with some sort of phraseology that Absolutely. we can use so that way when we want to use it. Tell you what, uh, what, what's your name there, buddy? Name's Derek. I'll forget that. Um, tell you what, when I wink twice, nope. that means. That's a bad idea. <laughs> when I wink three times. I think we're supposed <laughs> to say something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, and then I take uh, Mr. This. Skittles' arm and I snap it off. That's yep. And I hand it to Raxin and go, here's your bracer back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. He's no been problem. a bit of a terror. He's like, you've been a terror! <laughs> <laughs> does Derek get a little upset that he doesn't have all the bones? Um, Raxin's holding out on I feel like he's bit. got enough. It's like, well, it's like when Blade is around someone whose blood he wants to drink, he's fighting the urge. Starts. Okay. <laughs> so there's noticeable drool. But he's being a good boy. Oh. Um, so he's sitting there. Mm. And uh, do you want another one of these? Oh. Would that help? Sure. Why not? I don't know if it just helped if you're rewriting over yourself a bunch. It just seems really lame that we say attack and damage. Yeah. Um, yeah, you need to bond with those things. Can you think of, I don't know, what's a cooler, maybe like. Um, um, Decker, if you look at the characters that have stars beside them, can you determine at all what those might clash, be? Clash. Clash and slammage. Clash and slammage. I like have. it. So if we say <laughs> slammage, that's when you that's okay, that means so you get three, plus right? one tier yep. or so okay. you get you get more hit to your that's force. It, yeah. And if then, you say clash, it encourages you to get out there and clash. Yeah, with yeah. So clash is the attack and slammage is the damage. So those are your words. Yep. But yes. <laughs> Voice in the sky. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yes. What was it again? Clash and Clash. slammage. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. I that is write way that better. Down too. I I can't say slammage well, so <laughs> I think I'll mostly say clash. We'll see. You can kind of make assumptions. Situational. Yeah. Um, so Shattercock's getting kind of frustrated. She's going to start <laughs> going, wandering around, investigating further to see if there's anything else. Because how, how did he have the children's stories book? I'm going to guess oh, he found it in one of those skeletons. Oh. That was dead. Okay. Yeah. So. So she's gonna kind of go over here and check out the skeleton, see if there's anything more. Nothing. Else. I mean, how how are you guys doing? I got some the theories for you guys. We're three letters away. Uh, two. Letters. I'm gonna guess. What do you have there? So we might have to we might have to trial and error this a bit, but I think this one's M, because it's in sequence with an N and O. Those symbols are. Oh, okay. Are changing. Uh, let's see here. That one looks like it's gonna be around E. Yeah. Let's see your D, E. No F or G, that'd be nice. Does anything happen when Grimo just kind of starts to sound out the letters that are there? See, the Stop, pool of liquid uh, kind of bubbles and, and waves and kind of does its normal thing. So nothing. So yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've got, I've got. Why one... don't you uh, cut your hand open again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You're bleeding. Is that you saying that or Skittles? <laughs> So, um, yeah, nothing on the skeletons. Um, I mean, she'll, then she'll go dive in here and see if there's anything more. I know that we already looked at it, but okay. is there anything? So, yeah, maybe uh, you, you clear away some vines. Um, are you having any, any luck there? I mean, a little bit. I, some of these I can, I can take educated guesses on. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's M. The rest of them, Cam. rest of them I can take broader guesses at. Cam. I know what sequence they're in, but Chur. not exactly which. Cam Chur is what we know so far. So if I'm that's gonna, an M. I'm gonna, yeah, maybe. It, it's either an M in, or an... And if we've been translating all these correctly. I was going to say, yeah. If it, it might be a P. I only see one wrong. Oh, great. Oh, one's already wrong on there? Oh, damn it. Uh, um, 
Yeah, let me let me double check here. Then. Uh, can I roll for a hint so we can get through this? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, if you're, we'll just take care of it. Uh, right, Shatter, yeah. sorry. Shatter Cock was over there um, and found uh, more carvings all over these these floor stones. Aha. Okay, so then we can I can do this with the. Uh, it just looks more confusing. Yeah. Uh, this thing. I'm I'm surprised with the, with the sophistication of the puzzles. Yeah, right. Dan is is really like stupid. stupid. Yeah. No, 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 no. What are you gonna say? No, no, no. Kind of Dan, a Dan, Dan, is, Dan is overestimating <laughs> our intellect. Oh yeah. Is what I'm. I kind of thought saying. the puzzle master what it over is. here well, would have had it done in a minute. Well, and you can barely tell it's shoes. plus one. When you got or a camera slippers. pointing at you, the puzzles aren't as. Yeah, no, it gets really. Easy. <laughs> we were we were filling the, we were filling. Yeah, we we got we got some a vamp. Thing going Rapture on. Rapture below. Yeah. Rapture below. Okay, I, so now you can use that all right. to decode the rest of it. If you know. That's what it is, I think, right? Well, look, here, look, Rapture right. below. I just realized too. Oh, you're right. Oh, so we, K was wrong. Oh, yeah. K. Okay, so then. Uh, oh, okay. She knows Draconic, so she tries saying it. Here, I'm sure you watch back. And she says, uh, Rapture below and Draconic, which I don't know what that is. Right there's the blue! <laughs> I don't know how it goes. That's a dragon sound. <laughs> so, yeah, as, as, when you say Rapture below, the. The the bubbles the the waves start the water starts flying up in the air and swirling around uh, you know it starts rumbling a little bit you kind of hear creepy little voices and then the the water starts to uh, slowly slowly drip down Bravo, what's going on? and, and oh, God, reveal God. a little staircase oh, oh. <laughs> oh even Marriott is getting into it. <laughs> So cool. why did you try blood? Because role playing games is the sort of thing you do. <laughs> gotcha. I didn't know if there was like a hint about that earlier that I missed or something. That was just just went for it. Wow. Just went for it. Just blood sacrifices. You, gotcha. So you could have just done any liquid. Could've pissed on it. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the spiral staircase leads down in the darkness. You do see a faint glow of some light down there. Oh, no, I know. boy. All right, well, who wants to go? <laughs> All of it. Let's go. Because I'm going. Guess this That's is just where the go. is. Yeah, goes, as your tour guide, I'll lead the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can somebody you please get rid of Mr. Skittles, please? Oh, wait, I think he, I I, I'm pretty sure Mr. Skittles is here to stay. Uh, do you guys need me to watch up here to make sure no one comes here? Like he? from above? Uh, Maybe well, I should guard the... If you want well, we to be need a the pussy. Bra- we need the braces of power to make this thing work, so... Uh, but hold on. Um... I just don't. I think maybe to make sure no one comes up behind us, it's probably a good idea to not just Derek, like. Derek, don't worry about it. The bones will be there when we come back. There's some dirt on Nobody it. Nobody wants them. Uh, uh, someone could make them invisible or something. Hold on. Wait. Just wait. Wait. And I run back and I put just a little more handfuls of dirt <laughs> on it. And pat it. And I go, okay, okay, okay. Right. But as we're walking down the stairs, I'm just like Aww. staring Aww. at it. Human bones. Sweet. So yeah, um, you guys start going down the stairs. You're all going. Yeah. Yep. Right on. Um, as as the last person gets, I don't know, 20, 30 stairs down, yeah. uh, they hear some uh, rustling, rubbling, you know, water kind of filling up. So you kind of assume that it's going to turn into a slide. That it, that it, <laughs> did uh, yeah, it close on top of you? In the span uh, of us fighting the skeletons to now, did we pass midnight? I'm only asking because that's when my little my magic staff recharges. Um, I would actually assume you were already past midnight when you okay. got here, since you were traveling through the night. Um, yeah, oh, that's fine. I'm not. I'm not upset about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just have a whole day. No problem. <laughs> just a whole day to wait. Oh wait. So if we pass midnight, doesn't that mean Marietta's has sometime, to Sometimes it doesn't mean at the stroke of midnight. <laughs> he just has to do it sometime today. Yeah, I'm just. But that doesn't yeah. mean he didn't do it yesterday. I no, Dan I did. He did it yesterday. Midnight. But if it passed another into a new okay. day. Okay. Just want, mm. Okay. Just make it sure. You say yeah. If, if you if you go a day without doing it and you start farting constantly. Oh, oh so no! I don't have to role play for that. <laughs> <laughs> so as you descend the staircase, you you catch a whiff of rank and rot. Uh, the carved stone walls of the spiral staircase Mary, start did to you give say way. A word? <laughs> <laughs> the the stone walls of the staircase start to give way to the rougher surfaces of a of a rock wall. Uh, brazier is lit at the bottom of the steps, uh, allowing you to see the surrounding cave walls. Uh, there's a silence in the air and it's you start through the tunnel, and the only noticeable sound is crackling fire. So it looks like I'm trying to figure out what this is. Is this shrouded? So this would, yeah, this would be the the way the tunnel goes. You just can't see around corners. Gotcha. Um, okay. Okay. I'll go ahead. Uh, do you want to come with me? Yeah. You come, come on. Dark vision, sure. Yeah, because we got the dark vision. All right. So, so Shattercock and we got to very carefully slowly creep around. Oh. Uh, Slowly creep around the corner here, and then take a look with our dark vision. Okay. Oh, what Jeez. the fuck? Is what is that? Or something? What it is looks that? like a bloody altar. 
So yeah, as, as you're around the corner, uh, you see this giant uh, wooden table just covered in a mess of blood and, and grossness. Uh, looks like the innards and little pieces of bodies of animals you can't really put together. There's some chains on it as well. Uh, a little glyph is carved into the floor. Can I... I want to cast my divine sense, detect divine forces within 60 feet and see if I see anything because this is freaking me out. Or detect anything. So what does it detect? Detect divine forces within sixty feet. Okay, yeah, there, there's there's no divine anything around. around no, you. not um, even evil divine stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, you maybe, maybe you do get the sense it's so opposite of divine <laughs> that that you are getting into evil territory. So divine is like good. That's what, how I'm reading it. Or holy. Oh, all right, all right. I'll look, in, I'll look into this. I thought it was just typically gods. So yeah, yeah. I like got spiritual uh, stuff. Religion. Can I roll out on that? Sure. Or Arcana. I don't, yeah, I don't do Arcana. Know. All right. Uh, 16. Yeah, uh, so you look at it, and it appears to be a place where maybe a sacrifice uh, would happen, but it, it honestly looks a little fake, like almost staged. Hmm. Okay. I'll be, I'll be poking around and, like, lifting up chains and stuff. Can I? Can yeah, I make... just the, the more you look into it, the more it just seems like no one has actually done any magics here recently. It looks... As if it was made up to appear that way. Greenmill notices the glyph on the floor. What can he just dis- decipher what it is? Um, roll twenty. Uh, for history or um, to yeah, religion. I, I, I didn't evil. make it. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like a drawing. That's what I thought. I should have read it earlier. Yeah, Sorry. You got bombed right it doesn't now. matter. We'll uh, do it when we have time. What does it say? The presence of strong evil evil registers on your senses like a noxious odor and powerful okay. and powerful good rings like heavenly music in your ears. And it's with, for something within sixty feet. Within sixty so feet. So yeah, you do. You, I guess you get a queasy, nauseous feeling that there's definitely something rotten down in this cave. I can detect what it is unless it's, you know, I know the type celestial fiend or undead of any being whose presence I sense. Okay, you don't when, sense any any presence of of creature or person around. Okay. Grandma, what's this on the floor? There's some dumb kids drawing. Something like my sister could it? What is it? I it's, mean, uh, so I'll, just I'll, some drawing. I'll check to see if I can read it. Uh, 11 plus what? What are we, what are we blessing on this? Um, <laughs> you have arcana or history or religion? Uh, I have history. They're both plus one, history or religion. Okay, so 12? Yeah. Uh, you can't quite make it out. Gotcha. Did I detect any objects? I'm sorry. I can detect objects also that are... Never mind, let's just go. No, no, no. Objects that are what? Within radius, you can also detect the presence of any place or object that has been consecrated or desecrated. Okay, so yeah, long ago, this place was uh, desecrated. Um, you know, nasty stuff took place, but it, it seems like it was so long ago that anyone that would have done that would be long gone or magically old. In All right. Some way. Sorry, guys, I just um, got excited. I haven't used that. <laughs> can, I, can I sniff for any sort of familiar sense? <laughs> yeah. All right. Five, oh, six. Geez, damn it. No, no, you smell uh, the blood that's right next to you okay. on that Mary table. Maybe is farts. <laughs> <laughs> no. If only you say his phrase, maybe I can get a clear... I'm still I'll, I'll with it, well within the range of my 24 hours. As, as the tour guide, he gets a little impatient. Looks around and goes, Fighting it back. goes, hold on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he knocks stuff over. <laughs> so as he does. Yeah. And he goes, do you guys see what I see on this table? It's bone dry. Hold on, he rolls his seat for laughter. No, no, Yeah. You let you let me know if that one's working. He says. I still can't shake it about this kid's drawn on the floor. Maybe those little girls were here. Is uh, why would so, there be a child drawn on the floor here? Decker, child. Decker, yeah. give it a look. Give it a look, Decker. All right. Well, well this just isn't adding up. Something's weird here. Not, I think, every, not everything's a joke. I think this is like a like scarecrow or something. They're embarrassing me. I think they're just trying to scare us off. Whoever they is, I don't know. Uh, Who of day is? What would, <laughs> what would that be? Investigation or it's all the same thing. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's pick, the same pick a bonus skill. you got. That's oh, all five, yeah. So eleven. Yeah, it looks like a cool drawing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll stoop down over the the drawing, and this is just it's fake. This is this doesn't add up. This isn't any kind of sacrificial symbol or glyph or anything. This has all just been dressed up. It seems like somebody found what I guess was a sacrificial altar. And then decided to make it look like it'd been used recently, but it hasn't. No, there's no, there's nothing going on. Yeah. Haunted house. Um, so, so that means Shattercock's going to walk up and put a finger in the blood, taste it. What does it taste like? A bird. 
Oh, oh, oh I love birds. Oh. <laughs> period <laughs> blood from the bird. Birds have periods. Yeah, they that's do. What do. British they woman. They do. So, so it's called eggs. So it's oh. bird blood, huh? Sure, Maybe yeah. somebody sure. tried to make it look as if those two little girls were sacrificed here to throw us off their trail. But those are that's just bird blood. That's what I'm saying. They switched the kid blood with the bird blood. Well, let's keep moving. I've seen kid blood, and that's definitely not it. Kid blood is a rapper. Mr. Skittles looks down at you and goes, "Not the time." Not the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's got blood envy. All right, so Shattercock's going to keep moving up forward then. All right. Uh, kind of slow. But. Use your dark vision. Yeah. You, you, what you, do you see? Using dark vision. I'll go. I'll go with because I have danger. I still feel like I wish, I wish somebody knew what that glyph uh, was. Skittles is the tour guy. <laughs> it's killing me. He definitely wants a anything. tip, so he moves ahead. Oh, he moves in front of us. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, he's so what brave. He's a uh, tour guy. And then Decker and then trips on. Oh. Uh, <laughs> man, man, Breaks the deal. Yeah, yeah ah. sure. I'm, I'm. I help Decker up. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I meant to do that. Stay on there, buddy. Okay, so it like, falls out of his ears and it starts bleeding again. <laughs> uh, the, the tunnel you're following continues to curve around mm-hmm. uh, to the left. Uh, your way's lit by a brazier. Um, yeah, you keep going. My favorite football team. The braziers. The, uh, the fighting braziers. Not like it's a razor. <laughs> like the group. So uh, the the tunnel opens yeah. up a bit and to, <laughs> appears to be what may, might have been someone's home or something. Maybe Ooh. in a part, little apartment. Yeah. There's a bed, a little kitchen, some clothes, uh, storage barrels, boxes, Skittles. stacks of supplies. Saw. Um, a shelf on the far wall oh, yeah. has an odd collection of little materials and components. That's where Skittles lived when he was alive. <laughs> so uh, Shattercock's going to kind of walk in quickly and check out the uh, the shelf here. Yeah. See what she's she can find. Anything she can find. Okay. Uh, roll twenty. Ooh, Nineteen. There we bang. go. So yeah, you you start seeing. Uh, things that click in your head. You see, like you know, some some old uh, pickled toads, some eyeballs, some feathers and scales. This uh, is definitely a witch's broom. There you go. Mm. Yeah, you nailed it. Like it's the stuff that you put in your head. There's got to be a witch somewhere. Right? Yep. Guys, I think there's a witch around. That's what we're looking for. Oh yeah, yep. you're right. <laughs> That's probably where she was. Shadowcock. Very um, <laughs> I, I guess I'll explore over, okay. kind of like in the. Corner over there. Cool. I was, I'll also say with with the nineteen, you you spot a little vial of uh, what you know to be like really really awesome booze. Mm. Like it gets you really jacked up, like real fucked up. Oh, so she definitely takes that. Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. Uh, is it just a one time booze? Yeah, yeah. Tucks it in her one little like ne- super one booze. inch cloth. Super, yeah, super, super booze. booze. Mm-hmm. Uber booze. Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry. What'd you do? I'll just check up there in the top part okay. of the cave. <laughs> this? No. Oh, this top. one. Top. Oh. Towards you is I so yeah, there's some, for you, but, there's yeah. some empty uh, vessels, urns, and stuff. Mm-hmm. A couple of boxes that don't seem to contain. Much I'm being of very, very um, like casual about it. Just like kind of like moving things away with my sword. Things uh, are falling. It's knocking it, like, it over, yeah, and breaking yeah, things. Kind of a yeah. move. <laughs> <laughs> is this a witch? A dead end, or is it? Maybe it's. Oh, not you go? It's go definitely look. a path. Give it a check. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Grimo runs, sprints into the hallway. <laughs> it's a blind. dead end. <laughs> no, so uh, hey. it looks like what might be like a cupboard or, or a food store room. There's some some water, flour, dried, my stuff. dried meats, <laughs> uh, a few rotten fruits. What's that? I don't know. It's some a box. Sort of it's, a, oh, it's a wooden box like with like an ornate like carving on it. Like okay, okay, so just if I open that box, is there anything special? In it? Uh, some treasure. old burlap clothes. You guys, uh, I found old burlap clothes in here. <laughs> and uh, three, three boots. <gasps> three boots. <laughs> we got a three-legged witch. <laughs> <laughs> two, two lefts and a right. Mystery solved. Let's go home. <laughs> two lefts and a right. Oh, sprinkles. Hey, sprinkles. A skeleton. What do you want, short stuff? <laughs> I mean. Me lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for addressing me as such. Uh, you know these parts around here. You're kind of a puzzle guy too. Why do you think there might be three boots in here? Oh yeah, there are lots of parties here. Big, big deal in the uh, skeleton community. Sprinkles, you seen any children coming through here with the witches? I never touch no kids. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think you did. I thought maybe you just saw them come through yeah. here, like uh, a child trafficking uh, trafficking ring. Um, Maybe if you throw a couple shekels my way, I can shekels. Oh, <laughs> my, jog my skele memory. He nice. gives, he gives sprinkles two silver pieces. It seems okay. skittles. What? <laughs> <laughs> you call them sprinkles? Well, that was on purpose. I did too. Yeah, you're you're not doing well. that intentionally. I thought that was on purpose. Oh. I thought that was on purpose as well. I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were like along with it. <laughs> wow. 
Does he, yeah, does he take the, the money course. and put it in a breast pocket that isn't there? It and just, just falls all the way down to the ground. <laughs> Thanks, you buddy. Well, he puts it in his broken hand that you rubbed off. <laughs> all right. Uh, so Presence I roll, changed. So I, I roll to see if he knows anything. Uh, I rolled a 19. Oh, shit. Um, this is boring you? I'm but what sorry. what is Skittles roll? <laughs> yeah. That was a Skittles oh, roll. Oh, wow. Um, I, I, I guess, unfortunately, uh, the skeletons, when not animated and alive, gotcha. have no perception whatsoever. Aww. Aww. Well, thanks for your time. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. He can't walk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, he does this motion to make I it look like he's oh, walking. Okay. That was a bust. <laughs> Oh yeah, well all these dumbasses are doing uh, this. I'm gonna check the other stuff in the room. Oh, uh, I go to my you inventory and add oh, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go up here and peer down there and nice. see what I can yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. Plus two oh. shekels. That way. Oh no. But I stop right there. I don't, I don't go in, I just see what I can see with my Those shekels dark around. vision. They become shekels, all right. Mr. Skill Token. <laughs> Mr. Sparkles. Um, very good. He just goes, a sucker is okay. born every second. And what were you doing? <laughs> you were looking at the rest of the stuff? You just I was just looking off the ground and pocketed. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it just looks like yeah. someone might have lived here at some no point. Whoa. So, all right. Um, Look at this uh, the tunnel path continues off to your left uh, into deep darkness. Directly before you are a few stairs leading up into a large marble floor. Huge 10 by 10 perfectly carved dark blue stone blocks form the floor, walls, and ceiling in this room. <laughs> Each wall has a set of stairs leading up to an, an ornately carved door decorated with all kinds of assorted grotesqueries. None of them have visible knobs or hinges. The space is well lit by sconces on either side of each door, and the walls are adorned with murals depicting some of the old gods and giants' more disgusting acts of cruelty. A desiccated dwarf corpse splays across the steps leading up to the door on the far side of the room. So Shattercock sees that, uh, just wants to do quickly a check over here with the dark vision, so she kind of slowly walks that way just to see. Okay. Is there anything that way or no? So from whereabout you are, you just see more darkness, gotcha. more tunnel. Okay. Uh, but it continues to go. All right. Um, uh, I'll, I'll walk back and be like, hey! Anyone want to check this out? Yo, yeah, come in. Come in hot. Come in. Oh, it's yeah, hard for well. me to keep up with all these so extra we shekels. Can, we, can nice. the <laughs> we can see into the room because it's lit. Yes, yeah, it's lit with sconces. Grimo, Grimo don't know about those those tiles that have skulls on them, that's very suspicious. So I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm gonna use my spider ability mm -hmm. and crawl up on the ceiling. I'll kind of like slowly go out there, look around, see if anything happens. And then I'll come back, hopefully safe and totally fine. So she goes out, her eye turns a demon, right? One eye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one eye turns demon Is eye. it right or your left eye? We should. Uh, it's definitely my yeah, left eye. Activating demon power in here is probably, it's probably a good idea. It's definitely my left eye and I, I go, I got check it out, Digger! Digger! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! What the, what the fuck? Look! Oh, that's cool! Man, it's so fucking cool! It's like cable. And then she goes up onto the ceiling. Um, so she's not on the ground here. She's on the ceiling. Oh yeah, okay. she's also half naked. Man, Decker's in love. Well, I was gonna say her oh, boobs she... are like hanging oh, down yeah, from yeah. her face. <laughs> <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> Everything she says is muffled. Oh, 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 oh. Just to hold them up. <laughs> Um, gotta go up for air. <laughs> yeah, does does she see anything, or is there is there anything going on other than like like? I mean, you, you see the the three sealed doors. Yeah. Um, you're walking on the ceiling. Uh, you th thought you might have stepped on a pressure trap, but everything seems to be okay. Yeah. So what I was gonna say, oh, a pressure trap on the ceiling? I mean, you, you thought it for a second. So what I was gonna try right was while I'm up there on the ceiling is dropping something, sort of into the middle of the room, mm -hmm. just to see if anything goes. Um, it looks like Any shackles. I don't I can use mage hands to push Hey, Mr. Sprinkles or whatever your name is, throw me a shackle so I can try it. Nice try, toots. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. Um, I have little darts uh, that I can, uh, that I have like, you know, like basically that you'd be like a blowgun I or can something. use mage hand to push on one of them if you want to. The oh. giant mage I mean, hand. Can I just wander yeah. up there? Uh -oh. Just like, yes. while you guys oh, are no. doing all kinds of stuff, can I just be like tapping my thing and just kind of wander up? Oh, yeah. No. How this, far do you want to go? Just just walk under that first tile there. I don't trust those skulls. I, uh, I just kind of detect traps automatically while I'm moving. Uh, not that that's applicable here, but just... Uh, well, you haven't moved in yet. That's true. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what the boundaries of it are. But so I so just, you're, I you're perfectly wonder. fine. You're like, you're walking up. Yeah, yeah. I don't see what the big deal is. Okay. What's the big deal? All right, I was just making sure. It's just a couple skulls on the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm like stomping on it. And like, I'll be up <laughs> here. Exactly. And can I roll history on the murals and stuff to see if it sheds any light on what this place is for? Sure. Would it would it reveal anything? Uh, no, I mean, I don't really have anything there. Uh, you know, it, it's horrible acts of cruelty sure. from the past. You know, Vitality. you see giants driving, you know, slaves to build statues. Uh, you erotic know, ripping art. babies apart. And, oh, geez. And driving women into <laughs> their rooms or whatever. Yeah. 
lots of lots of horrible shit. Top of the murals, <laughs> just crude drawings of naked women in crayon. <laughs> lots of big penises mm-hmm. on, yeah, on all yeah, the giants. Ones. Nancy's so, both hands. So Shattercock, Shattercock drops from the ceiling near the skeleton, and sort of investigates the skeleton just slowly. Not doesn't move it, just just sort of like looks in and around it to see if there's anything on the skeleton. Barcode on the back. <laughs> Made in China. <laughs> What is China? Do I, do I find um, Yeah, so you're, you're looking around on the, on the dead yeah. dwarf. Um, he actually doesn't appear to have been dead that long. No. Um, it's, it's, you know, the skeleton is what I have on the map. It's actually, you see a dwarf with his skin and his, oh, his okay. clothes and dwarf armor corpse. and everything. Yeah. Harvest that dwarf it's a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything um, I can pull you, from You him? see, on, actually, you, like when you're looking at his hands, um, well, roll a 20 for me. You got it. Mm, what is that? Eight. Oh, Do you have, oh you have investigation or perception to add to that? Um, plus one. Yeah, it's both are plus one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a dead dwarf. All right. Can uh, I can I go over and sniff those bones? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's a corpse, not bones, but you can oh, sniff them still. Oh. Not interested yet. Okay. Are we talking about Shattercock or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much skin is left on his face? Most of it. Okay, I want to. No. I want to take that skin and put it on Mr. Mr. Sprinkles. <laughs> you know, skull's not going to match. I want to do the same thing <laughs> yeah. that I was kind of doing. I was like using my sword yeah. to like Actually, poke around so, no, no. his body all, and stuff like All that. I do is scalp him, and take the hair and just place it upon Mr. Skittles. <laughs> uh, so he has hair. He wanted hair. Oh, yeah, is there good. a maze under that dwarf's scalp? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, dang it. <laughs> Did um, you find anything? I don't know. Do I have to roll um, for scalping? Do you want me to... Yeah, roll for the scalping. It works. Okay, yeah, you scalping. <laughs> Grandma's going to check up uh, on this stairway. For... Yeah, so that, that dwarf actually had long curly hair similar yeah. to Decker's. Gotcha. Oh, he looks amazing. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, how do you like my yeah. locks? I don't care for your opinion. And then he just counts his shekels. <laughs> Fuck you. So you One, want to two. investigate the dwarf? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, can you roll a 20? Doing sure. pretty well. Come on, Derek. 20. There we go. Oh, uh, shit. Um, 20? And I'm doing it real casual, like so, like whereas Shattercock was like, like doing this, I'm just kind of like banging Louis, Louis stuff with my sword, just kind like clumsily. Too. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. clumsily. So yeah, you, when you you jab him with a sword and he kind of falls over and his palms come up and you see uh, a bunch of uh, prick points, mm. like holes in his hands. There's actually six of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, from what you can tell with your sweet roll there, uh, he has not been dead. Maybe a couple weeks um, at the most. Hey, did you guys see these prick marks on his hands? No. There's six of them. It looks like he's only been dead for a couple of weeks. He also has a most. head wound. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, and someone still stole his hat. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's on sprinkles yeah. or whatever his name so, is. So, I'm actually, I'm sorry, uh, Decker. You were going to roll to investigate the room a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there is there is some more stuff to reveal, and I'm sorry I shut you down on that. Ooh. It's okay. Do it, Decker. Rolling invest twenty uh, with with the uh, it's not a nap. But all right, so yeah, uh, not necessarily the murals uh, don't depict anything different, but you do see little indentations next to each door hmm. with a little hole and what looks maybe like a palm print. God damn it! So yeah, two and two get added very quickly. I'm like, oh, it's a blood activated door switch thing. God damn it! <sighs> well, out of blood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm out. So Grima, Grima <laughs> goes, <laughs> and he's cutting off the dwarf's hand. So I retain to roll anything. I just cut it off. Monster. Um, yeah, roll a twenty. So eighteen. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Pops right yeah off. So I cut like off his layout. his hand. that's still got a little flesh on it, and I'm gonna. So each door has the handprint. And so yeah, next to each door on either side yeah. is a little hole that has a, a palm print inside of it, oh, kind so of recessed into it. Okay. On each side of every door. Okay. So uh, You're gonna I'm going to stick that hand on top of my dagger. And uh, which door do you think I, I should go well, to? You already tr- it looks like he tried all the doors <laughs> already, right? That's why Maybe he had not. six pricks. Oh, you said it's I a dwarf see. laying there? Mm-hmm. Did I? All right, go ahead. Well, I'll try it in this door. Want to warn him? Or? I no, have I just want to see if I know Actually, who he is. Or try it up here. Okay. Try it up there. Stick that hand. Okay, in, in one of the holes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you... Since it's on the end of your dagger, you kind of feel um, a sharp point come out, jab it, and recess a little bit, um, and trying to feed some liquid back down into itself. But it doesn't change the room at all. I think we need to do them all at the same time. He went door to door, palm print to palm print, Mm -hmm. and all he did was just waste all his blood. How many are there? There's there's six total, right? Two on each door. Oh, two on each. Three doors, two on each door. Yeah, one oh, on each okay. side of every door. So. so if we 
each took one. All right. Yeah, okay. we'll... Did you want to do something though, Matt? Before? I was just going to investigate the dwarf. Do uh, I know, do I know anything about him Roll since 20. I'm a dwarf? Go back to investigate yeah. the kitchen. Or like where he's from. Two. Oh. 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 Nope, that's a dwarf. You go blind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grima, what did you do with that hand? You saw he waves at. <laughs> Mr. Sorry, I want to put it on Mr. Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> Why should Grima? Real boy. Is a, you know, Mr. Skittles, you want your that hand is going to be two shekels. Ooh. Mm. You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, your money grabbing half like. <laughs> you control the banks. <laughs> oh, oh, oh nice. wow. Uh, will you roll a twenty, uh, Grima? Man, Mr. Skittles is great. So, 11. Um, so, something else you notice when you tested the hand, uh, the body had very little blood. Like, there was no blood that came out of it uh, because it's kind of so old. He's blood poor. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Typical to work. Hey, who wants to come put the hand in this weird uh, hole by this door with me? Oh, I guess I will. Becker's doing the thing is, that people it? in the kitchen do where he's just kind of like moving things and trying yeah. to look busy. <laughs> pick that up, move it over there, pick it up and move it Decker, back. Decker, bring that sweet little blood of yours over here. You don't even know I'm not there. We're low on M&M's. We saw you leave. We know you were there. Left. Oh man, I was so quiet. You Stealthy. were whistling. <laughs> yeah. uh, is, it, is it possible to, nope. like, for one person to put both hands up or not? No. Because no. okay. I, I, I'd say you, you would be ha- need like a 12 foot yep. wingspan to make it. It's like when they launch the nukes. Yeah, everybody's got to turn the key. All right, so. All right, Grimo and I are ready. Who else is doing this? Are we going to do all the doors at the same time? All at the same time. All right, I'll all take right. the door. I'll go with Miri, sure. Yeah, and I'll, I guess I'm by my, it's me and Skittles. Actually, you and I should stick together just in case we need a pound. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mute so, Skittles, Skittles ain't so, got no blood. So we, I'll go to the other one, sorry. The, the other one closest to you guys. All, all right, right, so Miri needs Decker's help. Uh, Decker. Decker! Decker! Trips on the stairs a little bit, <laughs> grumbling. Of course there's a fucking puzzle that requires everybody goddamn. We're gonna have to take those <laughs> finger gloves off. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't want to ruin these. Oh, the smell. The smell. Very slowly, yes. Yeah, just, <laughs> just a cloud and dead skin. Almost, you never watched it. Well, is it like all tanned? <laughs> oh, yeah. and then it's all tanned? It's all tanned. Tan it's all tanned. It's all tanned. All right, so should we do it on three? Sure. Wait, on th- one, two, three, go, or one, two, on three. three. One, two, three. On three. Then we go. Three. On three. One, one two, time. three, and we're going. Okay. So, so one, one, two, two three. three. Not right. one, two, three. Right. Okay. On three. Okay. okay. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got punctured once. Oh. I'm just kidding. Get everybody ready? Uh, yeah, let me roll to see if I was kidding. Get your hands up. I was kidding. Oh, oh wait, that was a one or something. <laughs> that means we you gotta do. We gotta do it for okay. real. <laughs> and, and sing. Right, ready? Everybody ready? Yeah, yeah okay. sure. All right, how are we doing? One, two, two three. three. Oh, all right. Oh, that was. Trips on his jacket, head into the wall, and it shoots into his forehead. Oh. Ah. Ah. So you hear this large kerchunk, and you all feel uh, a, a kind of a spire prick up right into your palm. Um, it's actually pretty painful, uh, and pulls back a bunch of blood with it. Guys, I solved the puzzle. I did that. <laughs> he did it. And I'm the guy that just cuts off heads. Uh, you each lose four health points from that, but the. Two doors um, on kind of the north and south side here uh, pop open. You said four. Yeah. Yeah. So we, so not the main door. Correct. So oh baby, we got more puzzles. I'm curious. So the the doors kind of slide open into pockets in the cave walls. Hmm. Oh, the giant's head. Yeah. Come on, people, let's go. So close. Yep. Oh, no. Let us go with reckless abandon. So I go I go straight to the giant's head and take and take a look. All right. Is anyone else going in there? Uh, I'm gonna go into one of those coffins or whatever. So you're going into that. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. Our Halloween themed episode. Uh, <laughs> so just Four send me to the one closest to you guys. It's on. Oh, yeah. This one. Yeah, yeah. I'm in a bad mood. I'm just gonna sit in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> My hand hurts. <laughs> Trips again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so I'll just, just I'll inv- investigate that top right. sarcophagus. So we moved into this one first. Okay. Um. Ooh, sorry. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Back there. <laughs> oh wow! Look at that creepy face. Ooh. It's a giant's head. Okay, so yeah, so I take a look at the giant's head um, and just start investigating it, see what's going on. Okay, around. so yeah, as, as you enter this room, uh, your eyes are drawn to a small oaken table. 
uh, on which rests a cleanly severed head. Its mouth and eyes are closed, its skin dried and drawn over its sharp features. Um, across from the head sits three urns. And you, you walk up to the giant's head? Yeah, just checking it out. Okay. The the head's eyes open, so it's blinking oh, open as if it's coming gross. awake. Holy shit! And uh, the door slams shut. Oh, oh no. no. Sorry, Grimo. Oh no, Fine. you got us into a pickle of trouble getting Shadowcock, but I can't be mad because you're so cute! <laughs> so, <laughs> just real quick, if I see that door sh- shut and this one's still open, I'll probably just toddle inside over here. Oh, okay. Oops. Surprisingly, yeah, you toddled that yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so, so the head starts to cough. <clears throat> Some dust goes flying. Uh, starts to speak in kind of a, a painful old, old whisper. Um, ah, visitors, wonderful! Thank you for disturbing my slumber. You guys look great. Uh, I hope you're not stupid. Well, I guess let's get on with it. <coughs> <clears throat> um, all right. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like the idea of your head going, um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How are you guys right. doing? <laughs> so, so, sorry. You t- t- tired? Yeah. So as you see, I guard three urns. They contain riches, but each is labeled incorrectly. If you wish to leave with the bounty, you must label each properly, but you only may reach into one and retrieve its contents. Please fail quickly so that I may resume my rest. Uh, so, so they're labeled silver, silver and copper, and copper. All right, Grimo, which one are we doing? Before we we do this, Grimo's going to take a little look over here. Oh, okay. And investigate what's going on over here, because he sees like a sword and a skeleton, some little like bo- like bobbles and stuff. 20. So mm. 14 plus investigation, I guess. So well, six. I mean, you see a skeleton and swords and some oh. bobbles. That, nothing? Yeah, it's, it's nothing Grimo's really... going to pick up that sword. Cool. It's a little old and rusted. Just like my shattercock. <laughs> hey, giant head, what's your story? He, it just it just kind of coughs and, <laughs> and starts to repeat. As you see, I guard three urns. They contain riches, but each is labeled incorrectly. If you wish to leave with the bounty and your lives, you must label each right, properly. But you only, may only reach into one I'll and try, retrieve its contents. Okay. So what's it? What should I do, Grimo? Silver, so, copper, or copper? So you also see some chalk. Kind of laying around the urns so you can relabel them. Well, Shattercock, this is clearly a puzzle. Was yeah. I a puzzle master? I'm you aware. Are, you were a puzzle master. <sighs> yeah, okay, all right. You, you, go, have, you, you, said, you go ahead, you Shattercock. You, wait, you said it's silver, gold, and what? Uh, silver, it's, copper, and then silver and copper. So right. That, that would imply silver and copper because yeah. it's split and then copper. So that's really just for you guys mm-hmm. so you could tell them apart. Yeah. Which one's labeled which? Sorry, yeah. right. which so, one? But they, you... they are actually like written with chalk on top of them. Which one do you want to reach into? Uh, I'll try the copper one. Copper. You only get to try one of them though. Right? Yeah, you yeah. can only you can only reach into one. Oh. Okay. You don't want the gold? Well, there's no gold. There's no gold. Yeah, there's no gold. No, it's it's silver or copper. There might be. But regardless, I'll, I'll reach into the copper. True. Okay. They're all labeled wrong. So there's a silver in there. Um. So I get one silver. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. What? So we have to label them. Yeah, you gotta correctly. you gotta figure out how to label them. Them. What do you mean? So, that so there's some chalk. You need to re- label the urn with what's inside. So okay, so so the copper re- re- so re- you're only able silver. to okay, you were only able to reach into one. Yeah, we so somehow you, deduce what the others have in them. Yes, you got it. Okay, yeah. well, well that's easy. Okay, it's so one or the other. Yeah. So then we know the copper is silver. We know the copper is silver, so we relabel that silver. The silver copper, though, we have no idea if that's what's in there and, and or not. I feel like so can Grimo also reach? No. Oh, okay. So just me. So. Mm-hmm. What do I have to do now? <laughs> <laughs> you have to solve the puzzle. Yeah, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta label the no urns way. with what you should. We don't be know in this them. is happening. I know, I know. No, I know, but I, I'm trying to figure out how to, not even how to solve it. I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do. Right, so, so just so write it on some, the thing. There's yeah, some so, chalk on the ground, so you should pick that up and write copper on okay, one, right. silver on one, and copper so and silver on one. I wrote silver on the copper one since we found silver inside of it. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, how, how do we know? Can you pick them up? Can I. Uh, you like can to test the weight. I don't know. So I can't. I can't reach in. But Shake I'm gonna. Up. I'm gonna try to use mage hand to reach okay. in. Oh. Um, and and grab what's in the silver copper one. So uh, a bug inside there. You can. Warp so you're inside. using mage hand. Yeah, because I can use that to retrieve an item from an so open container. So the head container. goes. <laughs> no magic. <laughs> Uh, now resetting you're the puzzle, oh, and, and, and he he's kind of you see a bunch of swirls of magic in the puzzle resets. He said no magic though. Right. I can do resets. magic. Yeah. Okay, well, the puzzle resets, so we'll reach into the copper again and see what's in it. So you reach into which one? Copper, the copper. again. Okay. Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you want that. So puzzle. yeah, you you pull out a silver. 
Same thing. Boom. Okay. Use magic again. Reset it. <laughs> so. And I know what's. We about. know that's silver. So like. So then I use the mage hand again. <sighs> well, we already know that that's going to reset it. <laughs> no magic. Yeah, we already know that. Okay. No, this is smart. So then, let's reach into the silver one. No, it's all right. <laughs> Going about this a weird way. Let me think about it. I feel like they're still breaking the rules of this puzzle. So yeah. Well, they're just not getting it right. Um, <laughs> so you reach into the silver one. Mm-hmm. Uh, you pull out a silver. Hmm. Use mage hand again. <laughs> No. Well, they switched it. it. It didn't. Yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, that's what I was hoping it would say. He wants to do the, the puzzle a certain way. <laughs> well, I just had to think about it. Well, here, we let's, just... uh We can need to cut over to this other room. Oh, oh you, guys, some... you guys, you guys, still it over. We're, we're, yeah, we're still figuring it out. Nice. We're back. Oh, all right. Oh Wait. shit. So you were still out here, right? I, I went in. I just. Oh, you did. I didn't so we can't. Say it. We can't okay. reach into the pot, but maybe we can like pick it up and pour the contents out. Well, that's what that's what Adam. Was oh, saying. did he? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Did I was picking up that. to test the weight. Oh. Yeah. And I was laughed at, but whatever. Oh, I, you weren't laughed at. I like that. I like that. Idea. No, let's pick it up and pour it out. So I'm just looking at this skeleton. All right. I want to try and move the sarcophagus. Right. So you guys jog up the steps. You're in, you're in a small room. There's there's an altar at the entryway. On the far side hangs a red velvet curtain. Along its edges are a thick golden braided drawstring. The corpse of a halfling lies near the altar, and the contorted body of an elf rests at the a lot closer to the curtain. Uh, they are recently dead, and mock you with grinning faces. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck you, guys. fuck you. Okay. I'm gonna I'm just do a jolly old investigation around the altar area. Do, uh, do I need to roll? Yep. Okay. I don't know what my d20 is. There it is. Uh, 23? Holy fuck. Um, I mean, immediately you realize there's really nothing here that you need to look at. There's that halfling corpse is smiling at you. Yeah. Um, you could root through that a little bit more, but there's just little pots and bowls and, and candles and stuff on the altar. All right. I want to try and push the lid of the... It's a sarcophagus, I'm okay. assuming. I want to try and push the lid off right. one of Roll them. Roll 20. Five, eight, I okay, guess. Okay, so you're, you're struggling against that All right. sarcophagus. Uh, I, I try to also push the same one with our bracers of power. Four oh, fucks. Oh, oh. Yeah, you guys are struggling. I guess I trip and hit my head on something. <laughs> it's just really so, heavy. I guess one other thing you do see, Lawrence, are, are these uh, kind of carved faces in the wall. Uh, lots of grins and smiles, some kind of uh, you know, pleasured faces. Like everyone looks really happy. Mm. Um, all these creatures carved into the wall. If, De- if Decker has to smile to solve a puzzle, it's not going to No. Miri, why don't you pull the curtain? Yeah, I was thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, pull it. Decker, do you see anything that maybe tells me I shouldn't do this? Uh, no. I do. I, I'm getting the feeling that there's going to be some kind of like blissfully ironic death trap here. But I guess we'll have to poke around a bit more to see what exactly what that means. All right. So I pull it. All right. So the, uh, as you pull the curtain apart, uh, the drawstring pulls the the curtains back. Uh, you see a beautiful immaculate mirror running the width of the far end of the wall. Uh, you stare deeply into the crystal cure. Clear mirror and see a reflection of your group. Um, with the four of you in that room, uh, roll initiative for me. Oh fuck! We gotta fight ourselves, don't we? <laughs> That's gonna be impossible. Uh, yeah, when you're ready. Boom, yeah, y'all. Nineteen. I'm fucking killing. Uh, I guess that plus twenty-two. Eleven. What'd you get? Eleven. Will you both roll again? Ten. Thirteen. All right. Decker. Uh, if Decker could be anywhere right now, where would he be? Oh my god. Uh, he'd be in his bedroom in Iowa hacking the FBI to expose all of their terrible, corrupt government secrets. <laughs> <laughs> like Neil Brain. <laughs> yeah. So um, out, of, out of the mirror and kind of this phantasmal force, a uh, table with the best rig you've ever seen kind of walks out and sits in front of it's you. Got a table, megahertz. <laughs> a, a chair kind of scoots out and you sit down Sweet. and just move back to the place oh, where yeah. you're super comfortable. Listen into a KMFDM album. Cool. Um, so you, you, you're completely convinced that that's real and you're back home in Iowa. Nice. Uh, Derek. Uh, if you were any place doing anything, Right now, what would it be? Uh, okay, so it's like the Roman Colosseum, right? And there's crowds of people cheering, and he's in the middle of it, and he's standing over like a bunch of people that he's just dominated in huge gladiatorial awesome. combat. 
And everybody in the stands just yeah. clapping and yeah. hollering your name. Yeah, your telling tail's me he's a good boy. Basically. Yeah, my tail's going You're a good crazy. Boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're just going good. Boy, They're throwing good bones. Boy. Oh yeah, <laughs> catching them in yeah. your teeth. Yeah, right on. Uh, Miri, who would you be with? What would you be doing? Where would you be if you could be anywhere right now? I'll say my peace near my in my peaceful mountain, awesome dwarf village. Helping bring in the harvest. That's cool. what he. That's what he says. But what actually is is being on the other side of the wall with uh, Shattercock, like moaning and groaning. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Back saying his prayers. My yeah, subconscious. So, so you, um, you actually imagine that you walk into this mirror and into the field of uh, you know wheat or whatever your dwarf clan grows. I don't know. Oh. But you're out there chopping them down, grinding them up, pulling them in, sweating. You know, yeah. you're sore and hurt from a long day, but super happy about it. Yeah, that sounds sweet. Similar cool. question for you, Rex. Uh, 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 what, what is your greatest desire right now? I am now? at a theater uh, where the, there's a huge audience and they're all watching uh, Mr. Skittles perform. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> of course, it's Mr. Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's slaying it. He's doing God, something. Wait, no, everyone's here for him. When you and Raxon is off to the side, being yeah. like, I'm so <laughs> glad he invited me. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the side of the stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got yeah. backstage access. But, uh, but like not too close. Okay. Yeah. Not too close to the town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. Uh, I, I got this. I got a glimpse of the green room, but that's Jeez. about it. Oh boy. A tear. Drops from my eyes. I'm just so happy that he's, oh, he's, he's, he's doing so he's well up there. He's so free. So I think last that we looked at these, we saw that silver was silver. Silver was silver. So do you want to just dump the other, or one of the other yeah, two let's, out? Yeah, let's try dumping the other one out. Okay, we're going to pick up and dump out the silver copper one. You can't dump it out. You can reach into it and retrieve what's in it. We one, can't because we already hold, reached into one. Can I, can well, I, didn't it reset? Oh, hold on. Can I, can I pick it up and then just do this and then put it back down? Yeah. Okay. So I'll weigh the silver one. Kind of okay. just like generally speaking, be like, and then I'll weigh it to one of my boobs. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Uh. It's about one and a half tits worth. Mm-hmm. I put that down. So now I know what silver feels like. Okay, silver <laughs> copper. And my boob. And boob. Uh, and then she picks up the uh, silver copper one, the one that's labeled silver copper. And picks that up. And how does it feel? Uh, roughly the same. Roughly the same. Okay. There we have it. Well, Case closed. I think it's probably a silver. Well, this silver one's silver. Right. I know. So you think that's silver copper? It could be a silver copper because, well, no, it would be more than that, wouldn't it? Just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. It would be heavier, right? If it were silver copper, yes. Yes. <laughs> is, that, is that the case? Grimo lift. Oh, wait, wait. You need to lift the other one because you you wouldn't yeah, really I'll lift know. I'll lift the other I was gonna say Grimo lifts up the so other she, one, but then we'd have no idea. Yeah, no, no. So she lifts the other one. Does this thing? Lifts up the copper. And then where's the other boom? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Feels a lump. Uh oh. <laughs> That's okay for draconians. They love lumps. How does that one feel? About the same. So no. they all weigh the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we. I'm gonna look into the pots. Okay. So Grimo looks into the copper pot. Do you uh, see it's anything? Kind of a pit of darkness. Okay. So I have dark vision. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm gonna look. What do I see? It's still just jet darkness. Man. The magic. I mean, it's magic 50, 50, right? If you just. We just we just have to guess. Yeah, I mean, so that, like one, at that, that one. At that we, point. we know it's silver. Silver. Mm-hmm. Do we think this giant would switch the other ones? Mm-hmm. This is a Princess Bride Vicini situation. <laughs> All right. Well, what do you want to do, Grimo? I trust you implicitly. Grimo, uh, Grimo takes a piece of silver and he puts it into the copper pot. So boom. now he knows there is silver in that pot. All right. So Wasn't then, there already silver in that one? We know silver has silver in it. Okay, yeah. But so, didn't, didn't you reset the trap? Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I was just trying to remember where we were. So the, you checked the silver one. That's the one you stuck your hand in, and there's a silver in it. After it got reset the first cool. time. Okay. Yeah, so now we I'm know with you. silver is silver. We know yeah. that. So you, you threw sure. a silver into the copper one? That's what you did? Yeah. Okay. So then she picks it up, weighs it. Huh? <laughs> This is the way to solve it. It's the same. It's just an excuse for <laughs> the also gonna say, yeah. So the silver flies back out of the, the oh. urn and lands on the ground. It's in the so this is a trick. They all have silver in them. They all weigh the same. All right, let's do it. Silver, silver, silver. Oh. Stop looking at each other. Sorry. That's okay. I actually had an idea that has been invalidated, so I, I'm, I'm as lost as you are. Well, the, the weighing idea was a good idea, I thought. He, uh, stabbed the giant's head. <laughs> 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 it was a really good idea, but so they be, thought about that and made them all weigh the same. Got it. There has to be a 
Well, do you want to just try that, labeling all all silver? What do you want to try? But they all weigh the same. They you do. should read the riddle again. Yeah. Can you please read the, the riddle again? Yeah, let me... <laughs> <clears throat> As you can see, I guard three urns. They contain riches, but each is labeled incorrectly. If you wish to leave with ah. the bounty, you must label each properly, but you may only reach into one and retrieve its contents. Okay. So if they're labeled incorrectly, that's it. Then, but the, the right now though, the silver is in the silver pot. So that means we have to label it incorrectly. Well, it's you just write the word incorrectly on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, Lord of the Rings. I'm confused since the reset. Oh, I yeah, get it. I'm especially Actually, confused. I get it. So, well, I think you guys made it more difficult for yourself. Oops. Mm, well, it still adds up. You see what I'm saying? Okay. What if you put a gold in there? I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it'll shoot it right yeah. back. Put a P in there. <laughs> so you want to well, label... Puzzle. Well, well, we would have to... He said they're labeled incorrectly, but that's not true right now. Because silver is silver. Mm. But what's it labeled mm. as? Is there silver another kind? Hold on. You, you, the chalk is written on the more to say too much here. Well, yeah, there is another I'm... way that a silver coin could come out of a pot, and that still be not accurate. I don't know what you're talking about. So, so for the clarification, this is James Will speaking. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's filled with coins, right? Yeah, where there's not, one not like coin. to the brim. There, there's some coins in it. There's you know a couple dozens of coins. So, oh, 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 okay. There's a lot of coins, and you pulled out one that was silver. So they all have both. So you're playing, James? Um, no, no, no. I'm sorry. No. Just muffles from behind the door. Yeah, I mean, like, because I still don't know what, exactly what, what you're talking about. So I think the wording is also very strange because they're not labeled incorrectly. Because I mean, some of them are silver. Well, nope. let's let's nope. presume that it is incorrect. It's not. Let's presume that it is incorrect. You well, pulled a pull silver out of one that is labeled silver. What other possible scenario could you pull a silver out and have that label still be incorrect? Other possible scenario? Could I pull it out? Of? Yeah. yeah. There was one other. You pulled one coin. Mm-hmm. So one coin be, out. There could be copper in the other one. You see what I'm saying? Or, no. or, or that one. Or it could too. be in that one. Could be both. The bl- one no, labeled no, silver no, could be silver and copper. copper. As well. I, well, I know. Yes, that's true. So we know that that's silver copper. We don't. But then you know the other labels are incorrect as well. So if I pulled a silver out of silver, this has to be silver copper. So the other two that are sort of yeah. So you know that for sure. Are sort of. And guesses. you know the other two are wrong. Right. And you only have two more to assign. So at that point, it's a it's a fifty. When you oh, said you can pull only out of one, does that mean oh, you only pull out of okay. one time? When they were sa- oh, when okay. I said I was labeled incorrectly, I interpreted it as like yeah, copper could be in copper, but then the other two might be incorrect. I, I assume that. Oh, that. okay. So then that we, so, we know that one is silver. Copper. Okay, so, so if they're all if they're all incorrect, then yeah, that's silver copper, mm-hmm. and that's copper, and that and that's silver. It, let's fuck it. Let's it, do it. That's the only solution yeah, that satisfies ha- all the criteria. Yeah, that's huh. it. Have to be. Okay. All right. Shadowcock, you want to do the honors, or should I? You go ahead. Giant, speak. Silver, <laughs> copper. Copper, silver. All right, I think you guys got it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you I, think I, I, you I, 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 I saw it slightly differently than I, I think, but it works. It works. Oh, it like it works. Everybody's confused. So, um, <laughs> so. No, you just went about it a different way. Um, How dare you. <laughs> which is fine, but I, I what you, the logic works, so you guys got it. Sure. Okay. Thank you, um, Greg Giant. So, so the, <laughs> the head goes, <laughs> <laughs> and the door slides back open. Oh, oh so that. Yeah. Uh, and you can take all of the money with you if okay. you want. Oh. Take the money. Um, say there's a hundred and ten gold. No, no. Oh. Sorry, sorry. hundred and ten copper and eighty three silvers. Jeez, not bad. Good haul. I mean, it seemed we'll like... Split a Dutch? Yeah. Okay. So, so what did? Oh, yeah, go ahead. It's 110. They, they reached into the copper one copper? and pulled out a silver, so. right? So I'll take 55 copper. So then that meant that that one could have either been silver and copper or silver. All silver, right? Take 43. But then if that one's labeled silver and copper, then it would have had to be copper. Well, this one ha- would have had to be both, just kind of the way it was solved, right? This one had to be both, and that would have had to be silver. It's the only way it would have worked, mm-hmm. right? So when you reset it, it didn't really change anything? Not much, no. Yeah. It, just, it just allowed them to reach in again. Yeah. Yeah. Swaggering from all that way. Yeah. Yeah. Just done that three times. And then basically figured, figured out. It out. Right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Just kick that guy. Well, I, was, I think ideally you would have reached into the one labeled both and figured out what's in it. And then you can label that one for sure. Oh, and then but would, then you would deduce. still wouldn't know. Yeah, I was going to say, it's still mm-hmm. kind of there really one would, that has both. It would be wrong. Oh, yeah, you'd have to cross-reference it with what The thing is, it's wrong. That's true. And then you're like, okay. 
Yeah. I think establishing that they all had to be incorrect was the did most helpful point that? because you did. You no, no, did, you did. But, you interpreted it but my brain went like, oh, well, one might be, be copper, yeah, copper, yeah. and the other might be just switch. We can't switched. have like a riddle be like no, a page long. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I, thought, I, I got it. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, quality riddle. I, yeah, I think that was, uh, let's check back in on the other guys. For We're quick. having a great time. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah, the puzzles. Doing the puzzles are great. Skittles is killing it on stage. We're just in a, hold on, let me arrange this. You're there. Puzzles are great. You're there. <laughs> I'm. Can I be standing on top like of that? Are you guys doing a human centipede of sex? He's in there. <laughs> Sarcophagus cheering. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I want to check back in on on Decker's little uh, daydream there. Yeah. Uh, that he's completely certain is real. What's That's going right. on? Uh, I just made a major breakthrough. Wrote a new way to crack uh, like eight bit AES encryption. It's the hottest shit. No one's seen it before. Just published it on GitHub, which I think existed back then. Uh, <laughs> comments rolling in. You're the best hacker around. No one's done this. Comments on what? On, on the uh, post on I just the made. Board. Okay. Jeez, yeah. man. <laughs> BBS. Yeah. Uh, also, just hit max level on the mud I'm playing. Uh, everybody's telling me I'm so good. I killed the boss all by myself. Uh, I'm doing this at the same time, by the way. So, you know, I got two monitors. Is it like Swordfish? Board. Yeah, a bit. I got a, like three a half three. tome of monitors. Yeah. Every single monitor, something incredible is happening. Uh, <laughs> so and much weight. Everybody's mm-hmm. telling me how cool I am. Cool. Yeah. Reassuring. He doesn't, he doesn't have any kind of self-esteem issues that needs validation. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, how's the Coliseum? Uh, so the gates opened at the Coliseum, and then he grabbed his awesome, sweet, huge sword, and he got ready for it, but then he saw that it was soldiers pulling in a giant statue of him fighting <laughs> off monsters, and they're bringing it out to the center of it, and he kind of like, like feels real good about it, and everyone's going crazy, throwing bones at it and everything, and yeah. Good boy, good boy, yeah. good. <laughs> Dale Wagon. <laughs> Miri, what, what are you up to? That's great. We're pulling in the harvest. It's a really good harvest. Yeah. Are you going home to a wife, it's a good Miri? Year? Uh, a beardly you know, dwarven one? Oh, looks really, like Shattercock. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he sees a very thick, Mary, hearty woman through the wheat stalks and she smiles at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mary has a thing for other other races, tall, Ooh, taller women. Oh, kinky. Oh, wait a minute. He likes oh. to climb mountains. <laughs> but he doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, so super excited for a long, plentiful winter where he can stay warm and have plenty mm-hmm. through the winter. Oh, yeah, yeah, have plenty. Yeah, plenty. Yeah. <laughs> Mario so, Proppel's more like plenty of fucking. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, how's Skittles set? Uh, Skittles is killing it. So right now, he just dropped a bunch of halfling bombs. Uh, it's like, it's like a, it's a is border. Is it racist? It's overly racist, and people are cheering <laughs> like crazy. They're eating it up. And now he segued into, like, I want to po- get a political message out there, and no one's leaving. Mm. It's just. <laughs> they're it, staying for the political staying, commentary. Everyone, everyone's eyes are glued. They are, they are hanging on every word, and uh, Raxon could not be happier for him. Shattercock and Grimo had just we walked out of the yep. little riddle room. Oh, did we make Everybody it out? Everybody else yeah, is. Yeah, you made it out. Yeah. Um, we're trapped in here. Yeah. yeah. But we want to be. Were you in here, Decker? Yeah. Yep. Oh, you bet he was. Oh, yes. What was your vision? He was hacking the FBI. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you, you were hacking the FBI? Hacking the FBI and winning an online video game. And then, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. I basically had like a dome of monitors, each of yeah. which had some kind of di- amazing digital accomplishment that I was being celebrated for. Wasn't it like Swordfish? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, so but earlier and cooler. <laughs> if, if time doesn't work the same in your, your visions, say you skip ahead a couple days in your your weird world, what's going on? Oh shit, okay. Are you, are you hacking something cooler than the FBI now? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've already hacked the FBI, so the don't super be Super FBI. Yeah, I brought down the corrupt government. Uh, it's now it's now a new <laughs> post-government utopian society where all information is free. <laughs> wow. And, yeah. I love yeah, that. It is cool, I agree. It's really neat. Or rather Decker agrees. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know Decker? Created the society? Are you like a hero? I mean, yes, but it's more his online persona, which one one could argue that's more him than his real birth name. Um, <laughs> Do you have a hacker name? Well, birth? Decker is his, is his hacker. Birth name's now. Gregory. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, wait, I have it written down. Oh, no. no, he has a he has a real name, but okay. it's, not, it's not that. You're close though. Okay. Uh, but so yeah, but also he's banging some hot chick uh, who is attracted so, to him for his hacking skills while hacking. Uh, you know, he could body. do both, but he, he he doesn't, I mean, he's already hacked the biggest hack. Now he's just, he's just enjoying, uh, enjoying the society he helped create. All right. <laughs> uh, how's the harvest going, Mary? It's great. 
Yeah. It's bountiful. bountiful. <laughs> <laughs> we asked about the harvest, not the <laughs> the other harvest. <laughs> the poor of this. Yeah. I mean, I'm just kidding. James uses that. She's a, lot. a very nice lady, I'm sure. Yeah. I think you guys added that part in. <laughs> we did. Are you sure about that? Are you sure you didn't so. fall in love? Out so there? there's no lady out there. Uh, Come on, there's got to be somebody. Not, there, I, I'm looking lady around. Oh, yeah. There's got to be fields. somebody. Yeah. You're She's <laughs> into butt stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looking for who I'm gonna cozy up. Next two in the winter oh. with all this yeah, bountiful so, so, harvest. So you sk- skip ahead. The harvest is done in this winter. Zone. What's going on? Uh, we're all restaurant. drinking. You're all drinking? Yeah. So you telling a good story? Sure. <laughs> What's it about? Sorry, I'm so smart. <laughs> it's early. I have a lot of energy in the mornings. So oh, that's good. I've been up for three hours. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I know. So have I. No, I'm listening to a story. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's that story about? Uh, I can't remember. His, oh. his perfect <laughs> fantasy is literally a world where he never has to speak yeah, and everything just, is said for him. all said to him. Can't and he has a lot of corn. Gab, gab, gab. Yeah. <laughs> so you were at last in a gladiatorial, gladiatorial champion. Arena. They were Sorry. wheeling in a big statue. They were of wheeling you? in a big st- statue. So c- what's going on a couple well, days now, later? Well, now it's probably several, maybe a decade or, or so later. Okay. And so uh, Derek is older. And and still very much successful. The statue is, is he still now ripped? still shredded. Oh, absolutely okay. shredded. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. Bigger. Uh, he's going to get more and more shredded as he grows older because the skin gets thinner. Oh, that makes and sense. And he stays right. in shape. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but uh, he's uh, now uh, got the statue is now in the town square. Okay. And it's you know there's birds on it and stuff. And there's also children. There's children. Fighting with swords in front of it to try and be like. Do they have fake they, ears on. They, they, and they're wearing like little cardboard <laughs> ears and stuff like that. And he's watching from his his, whatever, whatever they give gladiators. What do they got? Apartments. <laughs> Skybox. <His> studio apartment. <laughs> One bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's wa- looking down on them, and then he's also he also there's a flyer for a school where he teaches. Oh, he teaches he teach? how to fight. Oh, okay. Nah. <laughs> no, how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> and how's Skittles concert doing? Oh, I forgot about Skittles. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was trying to remember what the fuck I was doing. Yeah, you, were, you were watching Skittles. I was before. like, was I cheering for Derek? Doesn't sound right. That's right. Yeah, I'm in the odd, or I'm backstage now. Oh, and wow. yeah, wow. I think uh, Skittles is on his third world tour. Oh, wow. He, uh, oh. Wow. like, of the third world? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Or- but he always. <laughs> He had a relapse. So. Oh, no. oh no! Yeah, I've been helping him with whatever. That's that, surely that's helped with ticket sales. Well, we, well, kind of. Yeah, I mean, you're helping him bone up. It's like when. Yeah. What? What's like the equivalent of heroin? Like marrow. He's yeah. Got a marrow. Out he's, of it. he's hooked on marrow. <laughs> and like, I peek in and go, Skittles, everything. He's like, Get out! <laughs> you can throw the marrow at you. Yeah, I can quit any time. Skittles and so marrow. we have now gone through rehab. Okay. He he's gone on a press tour. He's clean now. He's good. He looks younger than ever oh, because the marrow. Is he still yeah. funny after cleaning up? He he, he like got it's funnier. A, maybe. Yeah, he's, he's funny. It's not as funny as it used to be, but he always has like kind of a message, and yeah. it, it's kind of. It's it's endearing mm-hmm. to people, mm-hmm. and they really like it. It's a little preachy, mm-hmm. but he still sells out. This is your fantasy, keep in mind. You yeah. can do whatever you want. It's like that he's just, <laughs> everything is just all about skills. And then just the camera pans over, like, like rack focuses to Adam, who's like 20 yards away. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm Rack's kind of in this room is convulsing and pissing himself on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Skittles is doing great. That's awesome. Sweet. <laughs> Good check in, guys. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Shadrakak and Grimo made it out of their room. Well, what are we doing? Yeah. Um, the, and this door is locked. No, no. There's, oh, it's still open. Yeah, it's good. Oh. You, could, you guys could go in if you want. Oh, okay. Well, Shadrakak definitely walks in there. I mean, like, she's going to, because she sees everybody. What are they doing in real life? They're just kind of frozen there. I'd say, so, you know, he's, who, whatever they're doing, they're kind of pantomiming a little bit. <laughs> okay. Just, yeah. just a little bit. Skittles. You know, he's humping the air. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> typing it up. Um, <laughs> Matt's just, or, uh, Mary Addis just sitting there listening to a story. Yeah, so Shattercock walks in and, and sees uh, Decker <laughs> m- miming humping. <laughs> and she goes, Decker! <laughs> Decker! And, and taps Decker on the shoulder. What, it, what happens? Nothing's happening. He's, Nothing. He's, really? He's m- maybe humping harder. Yeah, probably. frowning a little right. more. Um, then Shattercock goes to Derek. Is, what's Grimo doing? Grimo also will enter the room. Is Grimo mm-hmm. just kind of casing the joint? Yeah. So, Grimo. Uh, I mean, he sees everybody generally frozen and, and does he make contact with the mirror at all? So yeah, as you're looking around the room, uh, you make eye contact with the mirror and forms start to emerge from it. And uh, whatever is in your mind, where, where would you be? What would you want to be doing? Who would you want to be with? 
So Grimer, 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 Grimer is back in a gyre. Grimo is back in the gyre, yeah. mm-hmm. and the he's, song of birds. And- song of birds is his mother and sisters are having a picnic in the grass, and they're looking on and clapping. Grimo and Grimo, sisters. he's playing, <laughs> he's playing a game of, a, of a, of it's, it's bag shot, and uh, that's where da- that's actually the name of bag shot came from. Is from the sport bag shot. Mm. Now we know. Um, what? So bag shot is like Almost a game where like you have a bag that's kind of like a glove, and you have a, a ball, and you, you throw it, and you catch it in like the bag. Oh. Sounds like catch. Why is it called bag shot? Bag shot. It's because, well, that's the name of it, because of the bag, and you shot you shoot you it. You shot it into the bag. Um, bag so he's playing bag shot with a man. And oh, is it the great wizard Randolph the Ray? Well, <laughs> that would be great, except it's kind of, it is another wizard, maybe. Oh. And you can you can sort of see that it's a man, and, and there's a relationship between Grimo and this man. Is that man a halfling? He is a halfling. Whoa. But then as it, 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 it's Grimo's father, actually, whoa, whoa. who left uh, when Grimo was very young. He embarked on a military tour and never returned. Mm. Uh, but this face sort of looks like someone we know, Decker Root Kid. <sighs> Uh, so Grimo, they're playing catch. Does he have the long hair? Uh, yeah, he's got uh, the long hair. Grimo, uh, Grimo actually has the long hair oh. as well, <laughs> and the the wraparound shades because it's Can bright. Can he have a receding hairline though? <laughs> he does. He's just really holding on to what once acne was there, kind of flaring up too. It oh, yeah. is surprisingly like because Grimo's a really realistic dude. Yeah. You know, he knows. You know, things can't be entirely perfect, but this is as close to an image of perfection as he's mm. going to get. What's the name of the local bag shot team? Um, the, the bag... The baggers. bag shot baggers, yeah. yeah. Baggers. The bag tea shot, baggers. The bag shot tea baggers. <laughs> <laughs> so, There's only one team. So I feel like Shattercock wouldn't be affected by well, so, this. Yeah, yeah, so wait. Uh, the, she's uh, completely convinced, you know, everyone is in their, in their world. You look at the mirror... Where would Shattercock be? What would Shattercock be doing? Fucking some dude. Immediate no, desires. She wouldn't be. Uh, I think you know. I, I think Shattercock would be. Because uh, in the hallway. By the way, so, like I, I'm going to imagine. An orphan. She noticed. She kind of starts to figure out what's going on with mm-hmm. everybody. But the mirror starts having an effect on her a little bit. Um, and uh, we basically get we show the outside of a of a house with a like a white picket fence around it. And, uh, and and kind of we like slowly zoom into the front door and the front door opens and Shattercock's in the kitchen. Oh. She's cooking and she's oh. cleaning and like there's a bunch of like th- maybe two or three uh, little what are they, tieflings running around. Um, little cocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little cocks. They're all running around. They're playing in the living room. The TV's on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there, Decker and uh, Shattercock's visions are kind of, you know, mess, mess sure. up. Is there Mr. Shattercock? Uh, hold on a second. Second. Okay, I'm just curious. I'm there. Just curious. Um, and then the little kids, and then all of a sudden uh, you hear a, you hear, Shattercock! And, and you see this this man come down the come down the stairs, and the man looks a lot, a lot like Miri. Oh. A lot oh. like Miri. And, short uh, dwarfish. I thought you were going to so, say yeah, very Jared short. Leto from uh, Suicide Squad. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> How could you tell? Yeah, either one. Um, and Miri comes down and uh, hugs Shattercock from behind. And he oh. goes, oh, I love get around you, that Shattercock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the face is between her butt cheeks. And yeah. <laughs> this, this is about the time Arcana. she shakes herself out of this vision. Yeah, yeah. So, so that, it starts to form in your head. But none of that actually coalesces. Right. Like, it's not real to you. Yes, you correct. are unaffected by this. You yeah. see everybody in their days, but you're still in that room. Right, okay. Um, so what I want to do is I want to try and get, because I noticed Grimo. I watched. I actually watched Grimo transition uh, from being Grimo to that vision, sort of like, you know, like dazed. So I want to get her out of it. Or get him out of it. Grimo's so, throwing gold pieces because <laughs> he's thinking they're bag shot. <laughs> well, hold on now. Let's let Grimo do his thing. Um, just like pick so it he's, up. he's thrown like, well, Zachary, like you're, four you're gold yeah, pieces oh, no. just out onto a... Did he get them in the bag? Or is uh, he a I'm bad, sorry, copper pieces. Shot? Let's say copper pieces. This is dad. He's not made of that. Uh, so, yeah, he, his dad's catching him. Oh, oh, man, he can't believe what an athlete Grimo is. <laughs> Throw more, son. <laughs> so, so Shattercock, she goes, oh, oh, What's going on? No, no! Grimo, Grimo, wake up, wake up! And so it starts shaking Grimo. Should I roll for this? To hey, try hey, hey, roll, roll a 20. All right, now. Add your strength. 12. And my strength? Yeah. Oh, oh that's, Ooh, that's minus ten. two. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, because I'm more of a sorcerer, but okay, sure. Uh, so you're, <laughs> you're shaking vigor- vigorously. Um, Grimo's still throwing the bags at the bag shot, or I don't know the terminology. <laughs> two more copper pieces. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm not the, it's not, uh, doesn't seem to shake him from, okay. from the vision. Um, I want to try like other things. Uh, all right, I'll try shaking Decker, see what happens. <laughs> 
these in the middle of my humps. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're shaking Decker. He's humping harder. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, humping harder. Hacking even harder. Uh, so, it doesn't like seem to be the old hump and hack. Like it's a weird like half hump. Like if you were an actual woman there, probably wouldn't be penetrated. <laughs> At all? Yeah. It's just like he he's imagined what humping is. Mm, now okay. he's doing it. See? So, all right, so, so then Shattercock... A little bit. I've like seen dogs do it. So she's like, like, this isn't working. She takes one of her daggers. She has a dagger. Um, <laughs> and she does. It's, it, and sh- she throws a dagger at the mirror. Tweet. Uh, and shatters the mirror. So, what? Roll, roll, roll a 20. Roll a 20. Let's give me a break. All right, so <laughs> six. I'll do it again. I'll have another. <laughs> Pick up that dagger and throw it again. <laughs> 13. <laughs> Um, so okay, yeah. uh, so that hits. If you'll, uh, <laughs> you have the stats on the dagger. I think it's a D four. Um, yeah, it's 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 a one D four. Okay, so roll the D four. Do you have better s- an unmoving object? Do you have better mm. de- dex stats or strength stat? Because you can add either. Oh, well, dex is plus zero. No, okay. Strength is negative two. So I have to break something. <laughs> there you go. Excuse me. So that's a negative something. Oh boy. Um, so yeah, the, the mirror, where where you hit it with the dagger, it just cracks just a bit. Mm-hmm. Like a little piece falls out. Um, but nothing seems to change yet. Okay, I mean, I might as well just cast on it then. Uh, oh, shit. It, it did seem us. like the Shoot dagger laser, had right? some effect on the mirror. It did? I take out or it gun. didn't? All right, I'll just throw it again. <laughs> um, I'll pick up the dagger and throw it again. And and, bite the mirror. And see what happens. Do you have a stronger weapon? Yeah, no, I got the stick. I can jam the stick into it if you want. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't want to. I didn't want to do this and then shatter all over my face. So. Okay, yeah, I'll use the stick. But then uh, you get like cool battle scars. Yeah. I'll make you even more attractive. Will it? Yeah. You got uh, the right one. What kind of clothes are you wearing now? At some point you were naked recently. No, I like no. I think I think somebody gave me a top. Okay. Right? Yeah, Still bottom. Somebody, somebody got sewed one together or something. In the thorns. It doesn't but really then, matter. Then you pulled the clothes off something else. <laughs> the best part about Shattercock is it doesn't matter what she's wearing. Um, I think Reek Grimo may have held on to something so he could repair it in the future. That's right, yes. yes. <laughs> also, Shattercock's Real quick, does stress. anyone have anything great going on in their vision? Um, I think I'm at Skittles. Um, Second marriage. He's at his, his second <laughs> wedding, and he's like, "I know it didn't really work in the past, but I'm going to make it, make this one happen." But his ex-wife is actually in the audience with the kids. It's Ooh. awkward. Yeah, it's real awkward. It's not a it's not a great time. Um, I wasn't invited. <laughs> oh, oh no. Did you guys have a falling out? No, no, no. He just <laughs> forgot uh, <laughs> to add me. So uh, I, sn- I, I snuck in as a waiter. So I'm off oh. to the side. <laughs> His eyes, and I'm crying a little bit because it's just so beautiful. Same proud smile. <laughs> yeah. Decker has invented uh, two generations of virtual reality, and now wow. he is spending all of his time in the second one, which is better than the first one. Okay. So high resolution, better frame rate, yeah. all that stuff. So yeah. even in his own vision, he's just sitting comatose in a chair uh, <laughs> in another world that he invented. Grimo <laughs> is on the shoulders of his Decker-looking father, and they're cheering. But because they're only both about three feet tall, they are the height of a one regular man. <laughs> Combined. You, put on a large you become a ling. Yeah. Yeah. That's how they get into movies and only buy one ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Derek now is much older, still totally jacked, um, <laughs> and, but his school is really popular. So it's a lot of young, like young people training. Mm-hmm. And then there's this very like promising student who's kind of come up. Uh-oh. Um, but e- even when he goes at Derek, Derek like bats him away really simply to show how strong you can become. And then, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> and then the kid tries to get up and he pushes him back and <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This poor ego. Yeah. I wanna know what Miri's doing. All right. Uh Miriatis is still drinking, but he's not really listening to the story anymore. He's staring at the Tallest dwarf like woman in the room. Minutes. Oh, oh. The tallest, tallest dwarf, dwarf, dwarf woman. Tallest dwarf woman you can see. Whoa. Three foot two. Yeah. She's just staring. <laughs> Long legs. She <laughs> thinks he's giving her better eyes, but yeah. he's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Cox, <laughs> she's jamming All the right. stick. Let's roll a, a 1d6 to see what happens. Two. <laughs> Great. All right, so yeah, the, the cracks start to go even further okay. down the edges. All right, I'll keep jamming. Use your it. beautiful singing voice, Shadow Cox. <laughs> Oh, there it is. There you go. So the mirror goes shattering. Everyone's visions just uh, kind of start to disappear, fall back, oh. uh, vanish, and are, everyone's kind of shaken awake uh, with kind of vague recollections of what was just going on. Oh, uh, Papa Decker! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Papa 
no, 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 no. <laughs> that girl be very upset, scrambling all around, like trying to find his... Scooping up mirror pieces yeah. and putting them back. Yeah, basically he's trying to like put it back. Um, Skittles he's cutting up goes, his hands. Skittles says, I do, where are we? Uh, <laughs> Skittles is having a dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Maybe yeah, this what happened? I don't know. I I like put my hand on the wall. Man. Am I drunk? <laughs> Again? I'm just confused. Yeah. Shadika, do you know what's happened in here and why Deck uh why Decker and I were like best friends hanging out for a minute? I don't know what you're talking about, but that mirror was showing me what I wanted. So it must have been showing you guys what you wanted. That's what you guys were all doing. You're all like hypnotized. Oh. But maybe if that's what I want. It could be happening. But it's not real, Grimo. It's not real. You would have died. Yeah. <laughs> Grimo, uh, he kind of like moves closer to Decker. <laughs> oh, like, no, no, no. Decker, what happened? Did you get transfixed yeah. by that mirror? This is bullshit. This is Clear a bill. Clear a bill. <laughs> I, uh, I noticed there's copper on the floor everywhere. <laughs> like, wow, treasure. <laughs> It'll just be ranting like, I got stuck in this fucking stupid um, fantasy. I finally had a good one and it's over. What the fuck? I'm like running around kicking stuff. Uh, 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 uh. Decker stubs over. his toe. Ah! <laughs> Every time he falls over. Uh. Decker, did you have a fantasy that you were maybe, maybe hanging out with a cool friend or possible familial relation? Whatever, this is stupid. <laughs> Swirling over and staring at the wall. <laughs> Child. <laughs> He's like, her implants are so big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's with her eyes. <laughs> Sweet daddy, you can barely see the scars. Uh, awesome. Is there any sort of investigation that I can do? Yeah. Over here? Should I just roll for it? Sure. 14 plus uh, 1, 15. Cool. So yeah, you see the shattered mirror. Um, you also remember that there's two bodies laying on the ground. Uh-huh. Um, One of them's Decker. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a little halfling. <laughs> Halfling over near the altar, yeah. and like an elf a that's a lot closer to the curtain. But they're yeah. they're long dead. Uh, can I examine the elf? Can I check uh, them. Yeah, yeah. They're um. What do we got here? You find uh, between the two of them, you find eighteen gold, <laughs> uh, forty four silver, some lock picking tools, Ooh, nice. a longbow, some arrows, a uh, short sword, and some rope. Oh, a short sword, you say. <clears throat> so on the map, we can see that there's a skeleton behind the mirror. Now that the mirror is destroyed, can we see Oh, acid? so yeah, that's uh, just a, a giant skeleton. It's about, maybe looks 10 feet tall. Oh, wow. Um, okay, I'm going to investigate the body, see if there's anything on okay. it. Let's roll ever. So <laughs> that would be 10. Okay, you, you do find a, a giant golden bracelet with oh. uh, some jewels on it that's worth about uh, 37 gold. Cool. Cool. I, I see what <clears throat> Grimo and Derek uh, found in their treasures, and then I, I desperately look at the, uh, what was the other one? It's like a halfling? Yeah. I look at the halfling. Uh, seven. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Where's it, the halfling? <laughs> you, you find the, the, the same yeah, stuff. I, that, I think that, I found that... the stuff across all of them. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I look for scraps. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of scraps. I, what, what scraps do I find? Uh, there's uh, some sweet cloth. Mm. Um, okay. Nice. There's a pouch, but it's like empty. Made of leather. Ooh. There's a hole in the bottom, too. Pouch. Um, yeah, okay. You can make a wardrobe for Skittles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me just add this. Gar I'll pick up plus a one garbage. And investigate it. <laughs> Oh, so I only got seven. So if anybody else wants to investigate those mirror shards. Sure, three. I'll do it, yeah. Fuck it. Oof. Right, now there's well. seven. Eight. I mean, it, it looks like a regular mirror, the shards. Uh, you know it was once magical, but it seems to have no energy oh. left in it now that it's been shattered by Shattercock. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping somebody would get that. Um, all right, well, I'm going to I'm gonna go out back into the lobby here and... Uh... Yeah, let's go Shattercock. Yeah, let's, let's do it. There's still so there's as, tombs as you... on either side, right? Yeah, we, we never came up this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, should we all do. go that way? Uh, it's up to you. I, mean, just, just be, I think we're done in this room, oh, yeah, right? Well, there's the tombs inside. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing yeah. really there. Sarcophagus That's, that's for decoration. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, so just to speed things up, should we all So we have a bunch of gold and stuff that we can distribute. There's 18 gold. 44 silver, lock Three picking each. tools. It's up to you. Three gold each. It's up to you. Cool. I'm okay with that. <coughs> How much silver? 44. So oh, far, boy. gold has only been used in this game for us to give it to each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to throw some. Yeah. There was a little bit of gambling. Um, 44 silver. That's you should always make the numbers divisible by yeah, six. Should I? <laughs> make it a little bit seven, easier for you. Seven and seven then you keep the, the other two. Yeah. Okay. 
Neat. Math is fun. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to throw this uh, in a dream. There's a longbow. Longbow and some arrows. Mm. A lock pick set. And a short sword. And some rope. Grimo uses a short bow. Would he be able to use a longbow or is he too small? Might be too small for it. It's a little it. tiny. Okay. Yeah. Longbow is probably about as tall as Because you're proficient in archery then. What? Whereas I just throw a jab one. The short sword <laughs> is. It's like is there an throwing an arrow. Is there an equivalent weapon? What did you got? I mean, I don't know. Because there's, there's great swords. And. Dude, it's hard to read upside down. There's no, I don't think there is a short sword. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. That's so different. I don't need it. All right. So yeah, when you guys start walking down the steps, you see the the door at the top of the steps on the far wall start to lower into the ground. Deckard like took a shard of the mirror with him, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Unintentionally, it's just jammed yeah. in his yeah. left leg. Yeah. Uh, I'm rolling around. Yeah. Clarabelle. Um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll go first. She was so I'll, hot. Shattercock will walk out that door that, that just lowered. Big gross Sweet. lips. Kind of kind of slowly though, just to check it out. Okay. I, I don't know how dark it is. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in my inventory. Shard of magic mirror. Um, I guess it's just shard of mirror. Careful out there. Well, I'm just gonna take my time. I have dark vision, so I can see. Like see the, the the giant stone door lowers into the ground. Ooh. So the oh, the wow. room is dark and rank with a foul odor of decomposing flesh. I know those PNGs. Dracula. Twisted layers of bone, sinew, and molded roots line the massive, expertly cut red stones forming the floor, walls, and ceiling of the room. The ceiling is about twenty feet tall. The room is about forty feet deep and twenty five feet across at its widest. On the far wall, there's an altar to Lu Kathur Ula. Depictions of his acts are carved into the stone walls. He's shown ro raising great mountains from the ground, leading an army into battle and resurrecting the dead. Statues and candles and carvings, an odd sort assortment of offerings are at the end of the altar. Arms, legs, hands, and all sorts of body parts and dead flesh are strewn across the room. Two hulking masses of flesh lay atop the stone sarcophagi in the center of the room. Body parts from many different creatures are sewn together in a crude fashion to create these humanoid-shaped monstrosities. Oh, the man. bodies are covered in vines, clay, and mold. A few pieces of shining treasure can be seen around the base of the sarcophagi. Uh, recessed into the left wall <clears throat> is a small wooden door. Oh, this one? Yeah. Mm. Uh, so where did you say those bodies were? Yeah, there's just big hulking flesh mounds like on, on top of the sarcophagi, yeah. Um, you can eat if uh, someone would put some or an orange guy on top of each. <clears throat> they will probably not wake up. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, so I'm gonna just slowly walk in. Uh, how dark is this place, by the way? It's lit up. There's uh, oh, okay, okay, torches. torches on the wall. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of put my back to the wall because I see that these I see these bodies here, and uh, just sort of you know do this, go along the wall, and check out the door. Okay, so um, as you pass through the door, the room starts to come to life. There's, there are skulls carved into the floor. They are, their jaws open, and you hear shrieking noises. Cool. Hey, well, the cries are joined with a symphony of wet, snapping noises as bones, vines, and assorted muck slither and writhe across the floor. Mm. The mass of filth and roots crawls on top of the bodies. The limbs begin to connect, and the two monsters lurch to life. Oh. They, they rise and groan. Oh. Oh. It's all just leave. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Kaboom. Sadakak, why are you groaning in there? You got them period cramps again? <laughs> Classic. The, the no monstrosity closest to you only seems half finished. It, it doesn't have any hands. It's only got one arm. It actually starts to move towards the door slowly. What, which door? The one that you're standing next oh, to. Oh, okay, great. Uh, does it see me? Uh, it's just going, All right, yeah, so, so Shattercock's just going to back off. <laughs> Shattercock can walk on the ceiling, by the way. Oh, I know. Okay. Um, did, so I activated that. It's still still good, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. You can okay. do whatever you want, dude. Um, yeah, I was going to. All right, so I'll, I'll back off and see where this body goes first. All right, so it's st starting to slowly make its way to the door. The other one. I'm going to come, come up forward and investigate. Oh, thank God you're here, Derek. <laughs> Gosh, it's terrible. <laughs> so the other one starts going, muh, muh, uh, and it starts moving towards everybody. Oh. Okay. Oh man, how far? Look at it go. Yeah, it's it's about moving that speed. Okay. Maxim moves forward and sticks his puppet skittles to the hand. Goes, you having a party? There? What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going, what do you see, Mr. Skittles? Tell me. So then Shattercock jumps up to the ceiling. Uh oh, sweet. Um, and you just have to hold it like that the whole time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, okay. And then uh, <laughs> and she just she just stays there and she's like, hey, does anybody else see this? Does anybody else see what's going on? Yeah, so, we see uh, the giant, huge mounds of flesh. <laughs> yeah. 
What so should we do? The one closest to you goes, oh, and it kind of swipes at you as it moves closer to the door <clears> and stands in front of it. So it misses me, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'll just kind of I'll back off a little bit and let it go towards the door and just be like, oh, oh my gosh, what the fuck? Uh, it takes Skittles way too long to play off a of Derek setup for the two mounds of flesh joke and goes, there's also two zombies down here. Nice. Because <laughs> he's talking about her tits. Yeah. <laughs> and then everyone's like, it's been way too long. Yeah. <laughs> we don't get it. Yeah. And Skittles just, <laughs> he's looking at Grimo now. Um, so I'm going to stay up here. Does anybody else want to help? I, I don't know what we're helping yet. Yeah. Grimo's uh, going to run in or to the side to try to distract. Hey, over here, you big mound of muscle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not Dirk. you, dog brains. <laughs> the zombie guys. Yeah. Uh, Green, or, uh, yeah, Shattercock. Shattercock fucks. Uh, Skittles is upset that Derek's now stepping on his turf. <laughs> 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 Jeez. So, uh, so uh, the one guy. that you yelled yeah. at actually goes, oh, oh, and, and moves uh, towards you. You, uh -oh. It takes a swing at you. So oh let's, uh, boy. let's roll for initiative. Derek over here crying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just staring at my mirror shard. Hoping oh. I can see boobs in Shout there. them out when you got them. Five. 19. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Wow. 15. One. Five. Ooh. Bruce? Oh. Uh, 14. Yeah, reroll, Decker. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. So nine. Four. So we tied and I lost. You add initiative, right? For that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have, left, I have negative initiative. Ooh, oh boy. Yeah. Skittles on the other hand roll like yeah. perfect 20. <laughs> Usually, just like that, Skittles is always late. Yeah. Gotta, get, gotta land those punchlines when they need to land. Skittles. Who said that? <laughs> he doesn't have ears. You, you can oh, tell man, me how to be funny. Oh punchline. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. <laughs> I was telling jokes when you were sperm, <laughs> asshole. I'll cut you open like a fish. I'll, I'll fucking fuck fish. You. I will fuck you. I will fuck everything you've ever I will fuck you in your face. such an asshole. I will watch you raise a family and I'll fucking kill them too. Your fat fucking ass. He's like becoming Michael Jones. <laughs> fat fucking ass. Don't fat, forget that God battlefield. Fat video. white bastard. <laughs> he's so strangely racist. Yeah, but, he, <laughs> well, he's, but only he gets white people. Yeah, yeah. He's race free. You can be racist to everybody. It's like you kunk. What does that yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> Added letters. It sounds flesh nice. having cocksucker. Skunk. <laughs> skunk. Hey. <laughs> Dirty bread eating skunk. Yeah. <laughs> fucking bad <bed> plants. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles just goes loves Harry Potter. Yeah. So uh, that monster swings its uh, its giant fists, connects with Grimo oh for uh, nine damage. A oh, oh, monster! Oh, wow. Grimo's dead. Oh. Like unconscious. Grimo's dead. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's prone. And he's, Grimo just he's got Jesus, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, boy. Someone use a phoenix down or something. Grimo only had seven hit points. Uh oh. This may be the death of Grimo. No. Finally. Finally, finally get back to editing. <laughs> All right, come true. that's not what we do here. <laughs> All right, who's next? Um, is that it? That's Mary's up. Okay. Mary's dead. Oh. Uh, yeah, so I'm like freaked out of this. I kind of run in there and I shove these guys out of the way. Do it for the harvest. And I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna like flash my shield at them and do my, what is it? Turn the unholy. Nice. As an action, flash my holy shield at them. Right, and sure. whatever, I speak a prayer, censuring fiends and undead using my channel divinity. You probably hear that prayer. Each fiend or undead they can see or hear within 30 feet of you must blah, blah. Should I read all that? Or yeah, no? yeah. I mean, what, what, how does it affect them? I basically am like saying it. Yeah, they don't like my words. Each fiend or undead they can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes damage. A creature must spend its turn trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. For its action, it can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. So wisdom saving throw? Yeah. And what is your spell save? Spell save. Yeah, that I always forget. Where do I it's find on the last that? sheet? I don't, uh, yeah, I don't have one of those. You don't those. have a spell sheet? No. They both rolled extremely well. Okay. Um, Twice so it used that and hasn't plus done your spell casting modifier plus your proficiency. So let's see your spell casting ability is your intelligence modifier. Not for charisma. Him. No, no it's, oh, it's charisma. So Never it's mind. eight. What's your charisma mod? Zero. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, so that would it would be ten. They both saved from it. Uh, but uh, we need to hear your prayer, where whatever it is that you say <laughs> to them, it didn't work. Your shield, it your shield out. <laughs> Trip over like every Twice other I've word. used this thing and it hasn't worked at all. <laughs> Just keep at it. Uh, no, I have my shield out, and I'm like, by the power of Morda, and get away, whatever you are, foul things. Why isn't it work. working? He is pretty good. It's pretty good. Work. Work. Yeah, yeah, work. Work. Very liberal with the language. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I'm not sure whatever. I would have gotten away from that. I'm just saying. Recited for centuries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Derek. 
All right, Derek sees Grimo get knocked back and then immediately goes into rage mode. All right, we'll do, um, we'll do the bracers real Nobody quick. beats up Grimo. Oh Derek. yeah, good good call. Let's <laughs> go bracers. What do you need? You need Hold that? on, we've yeah, you called it something new. Okay, Slash. yeah, it's clash Slash. and slamage. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, ready? All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's uh, the bracer, All by right. the way, is on Skittle. So yeah. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Just keeps so, falling so off. All right, ready? Yeah. Slamage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well yeah. done. Yeah. And then my bracer glows and my eyes go into like eagle eyes and then my hair gets all, my hair gets all whatever crazy. Um, and then I sprint in and basically charge this thing. Just charge at that guy and then I swing him with my two hand axes. Score. Yep. Ooh. That's a 19. Um, that definitely hits. Okay, and then so I have two attacks of six. It's not an orc related. Doesn't have orc pieces in it, does it? Yeah, yeah. It's got a. It's got an orc shoulder. Okay, it's got an orc shoulder. So I or testicles. I go. I smell the orc shoulder, and so I aim the orc ripper at it. This is at his shoulder specifically. I'm going to roll two at his shoulder specifically. Six. Big hit. To eight plus, because I actually remember this time. Sexy rolls. Another two, so 10 damage to his shoulder. And then this one is just for the other axe, which is, let's say, aiming for his hip or body. Four plus two. I think you only add that one, the damage ones. The rage damage? Yeah, okay. I think so. All right. Do so I add anything? Four? Yeah, yeah, it's just I don't add strength or anything, right? Yeah, you do. I do? Mm-hmm. Okay, well then it would be another three. Oh four. boy. So it was 10 plus, plus four. four, 14, 17 so, total. Okay, sweet. So yeah, all, all your hits land. You mm-hmm. see the chunks of flesh flying, flying off of his shoulder. The arm looks like it goes a little useless for a second. Okay. Um, anything else you want to do on your turn? Um, I shout to Grimo. Grimo, are you okay? I'm motionless. Oh, Grimo. Teeth just gone. Okay, so then I just kind of defensively. All right, Sherry Cart. How could this fan favorite be on death's door? <laughs> so ratings were dropped. We, we didn't really take any rest or anything, so I'm kind of out of I'm out of everything. So oh boy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna back off um, and probably go towards Grimo because I I caught that that happened. So I'm just gonna still on the ceiling. Oh okay. yeah. Walk over. What are your breasts doing with that gravity? Mm. Um, You're magical. They can stay up. Whatever. T- that's true. Whatever top I had on is still there, but it's not holding anything in. So they're definitely they're drooping. Like oh, I don't really know how that would work. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 I'm gonna go. You should mess up your vision. You gotta a reach bit. up and spread them apart. See, I imagine Chattercock as breasts that just don't move. They're mm. just so Ooh, they're so pert. They're so yeah, just I like to yeah. implants before yeah. implants. Well, well so yeah, they're perky kinda. when gravity asserts itself. When she's upside down, somehow they get even perkier. They reverse. <laughs> I feel like they reverse. They reverse. Perk. Okay. They're, so it, it appears as though they're fighting gravity, but they're actually just fighting any and all. Wow. Uh, resistance from anywhere. Yeah. This, this is my character. But I like what you're saying. So you're absolutely right. Okay, the, yeah. the, the moves are perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody's hands were to go in, it would like push back a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like a force field. Basically, like magic. Like Jennifer. Aniston and Friends. Very sexy. <laughs> so she I, didn't wear a bra and nothing happened. I kind of like lean down and, and poke Grimo. And like, Grimo, Grimo, you okay, Grimo? Even though unconscious, Grimo can sense that Shattercock's breasts are not yeah. in, in uh-huh. uh, something, something's up. Something's, uh, <laughs> something's amiss. <laughs> something's, yeah. Actually, they're not up. Yeah, it's the opposite. <laughs> so uh, he's concerned, but yeah, he's still... His brow furrows a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Shattercock have like a... Healing potion or anything? I I, I do not. I might have a. Oof, I don't think I have a healing. I potion. I have a healing potion. I, says, I, I wrote two potions. Grimo has two. That's, good. That's yeah, the only kind of potion right, so, we got. So I'll I'll drop one of those on Grimo though. Oh, are you hanging oh. upside down? Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm dro- pouring it right into nice. Grimo's. I, I have potions, but I'm just not. I can't. You're unconscious. Yeah. No, I, I need know. somebody to. to yeah, no, yeah. So I'll definitely give one. So you like pour it in his I mouth. Pour, I, pour, I pour it in Grimo's mouth. He kind of gets all over his face though too. You should be scrambling for it and then accidentally opens, but then it goes right over your breasts and right into Grimo's mouth. Wow. <laughs> like a little bit of tit sweat. Yeah. Like Shattercock, you squirting again? <laughs> <laughs> Grimo, you're back! Oh my god, I'm so worried! <gasps> I'm still weak. How much, how much do I restore? What is it? Uh, 2d4 plus 2, I think. Okay. It's not d4. Nope. 
So one, mm. five, so six. Yeah, that, yeah, that was the. We'll give you another extra one because the potion went down Shattercox. Uh, oh. You got a little bit of extra wow. sauce there. Healing properties. It started glowing a little bit. But I'm still kind of weak. Went through the Happy Valley. So I. Weak in the knees. Shattercox. <laughs> oh, great. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're back. Take it easy. Back off. <laughs> Perf. <laughs> All right, monster's Perf. turn. Uh, oh so the one that's next to Derek uh, takes a good swing at him. Okay, yeah. So uh, both both swings go wide. Okay. Uh, Derek, you know, you've got super dodge moves. Nice. Well, I got the Hawkeyes. And, oh, yeah, yeah. cool! <laughs> Are you doing your cool chicken yeah, dance? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, it's it, it's not intentional, but it's a, a swipe low that causes this arm to go up and then swipe <laughs> high. <laughs> so it's kind of like a for some reason you're like on one a, foot. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and so the uh, the other monster actually just stays next to that door, just going. Mmm, uh, uh, uh. They want their mom. Oh. Uh, so green moves up. So uh, green moves up and going. I'm gonna run. A, the uh, the monster is it wearing any kind of armor or anything, or nope. is it just a blob? It's just of, a b- mounds of nasty flesh that are swollen and red and pussy. Okay. Like Frankenstein. So I'm gonna monster. run up and and do shocking grasp to it. In which, if you're following at home, uh, <laughs> it's on uh, page 275. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. so lightning springs forth from my hand to this creature as I touch it, and I'm going to deliver oh. to it damage that way. So, um, Are you sure you should be attacking again, <laughs> Say bad touch. Yeah. Um, you just shuffled across the carpet in your socks. So, <laughs> <laughs> two damage. So, three, three lightning damage. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. because because I have my <laughs> cunning my cunning action, uh, I'm going to use that to disengage. And so I like disengage and run. One, one, two, three, four, five. How much damage was that? So it's three lightning. I like that you just like and then run away. So uh, the lightning actually seems to affect the creature even more. Oh, wow. Uh, and the, the damage is actually doubled. Like a falcon oh, chain. Wow. <gasps> lightning, my axe. I don't know. Axe strike. Right. Yeah, lightning we should, we axe should do that. Decker. <laughs> All right. Uh, Who's I'll, 50 feet away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still staring at my mirror. <laughs> uh, he comes back and heard all the screams, room. and I sigh, very gingerly pack the mirror shard away. Please trip, please trip. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> oh. Stab himself in the chest. <laughs> he kills himself. With the mirror shard? I'm so happy. <laughs> I was happy. All right. And then from here, <clears throat> I'll boot up the old laptop. Takes a while. And then, uh, yeah. you hear a little clicking in the hard drive. Yeah. Just wait. My, app, I have a lot of apps that are yeah. loading. <laughs> a lot of startup commits. So uh, he's he's still muttering about how he, he was getting laid and how this is so bullshit and uh, all that stuff. But <laughs> he loads up Scorching Ray and casts it on this guy right here, which is three rays of fire. Hold them at targets in range. All three for this this little fella. Uh, range spell attack for each ray. Okay. Uh, so, so that's you roll a twenty, and then. I just have to go higher then, than my spell save? No, no. You roll the 20 and then add the plus 5. All right. And then I've got to beat that. So that's 16 for one ray. 12. <coughs> nope. 17. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then 6. <clears throat> okay. Nah. Okay, two of those hit. Cool. And then I it is... which one did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 2d6 fire damage for each ray. So. Nice. One. And six. So seven fire. Did you say 2d6 fire damage for each ray? Did I say that? I thought you did. I did. All right, well, that's seven for one ray then. Yep. Thank you. And then another one and four for the other ray. So yeah, the your your scorching rays hit the the flesh and start crisping it up. Uh, giant chunks of it cool. fall out onto the floor. Uh, it's still moving uh, and bad. going, but it's all crisped up. You can kind of smell good. burning flesh. Uh, but it's burning like decomposed flesh, so it's extra foul. Oh. Uh, there's a little bit of smoke in the air. Mm. Um, is that your turn? Yeah. Braxton. So at this point, Skittles looks at me and goes, <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned is that we can cover more ground if we split up. Throw me. I go, what? Yes, throw me. <laughs> I'll take the left, you take the right. You finish all. I go, uh, okay. <laughs> and so Skittles just goes, <laughs> <laughs> so he's just flying. He just flopped onto the ground. <laughs> Here. He's still wearing my bracer, though. Uh, oh, that's Skittles. Yeah. Skittles. Uh. So he's just laying there. Uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot to add my damage yeah. to the bracer. Um, 
So then I just kind of like, numbers. it takes me a moment to go. Oh, there you go, there yeah. You go. Yeah. So I, I hope he knows what he's doing. <laughs> he kind of looks at it. I think he's just sort of like trying to stab, but it's only I see it, obviously. Uh, so I move over here. Um, God willing, uh, Shattercock gives me like a little swing boost. Since she's hanging, oh, yeah. we can do this cool move. Yeah, I'm reaching down so and I go. Now that I have a free listen. hand, yeah, yeah I go. Ah! Yeah, and I go. Ah. Roll a twenty for that. Okay, let's, let's see how well it goes. Yeah, uh, four. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. Boy. <laughs> let's see what. Ooh, oh, good. good boy. Wait, the numbers match though. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that, that's, 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 that's even more. The odds of that are pretty high. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can I swing by your nips? The odds of that are pretty high that we both roll the same thing. I'm gonna. Hey. So I, I would say you're both sweaty and you both kind of fall a little bit, okay. but you you do land where you're trying to go. Okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not cool though. It looks yeah. sloppy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do whatever you want. No, uh, there, there's a bunch of hands on uh, Skittles. Comments. He goes, "Nice try, jackass." <laughs> <laughs> it's just laying there. He's still doing this with nothing, uh, and so I swing with my great axe uh, to oh. try to take down this creature uh, that's I guess on fire now. It's just crisped up. It's, it's crisp. not. It's not on oh, fire. Okay, I try to kill crispy creature. Uh, so I roll. My twenty. Fuck oh, this! Oh, I'm rolling like shit. Rolling like me. What, uh, what was this? This is a three. three. Oh yeah. Miss um, wildly. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Because you're all probably sweating. Yeah. Up. All the tick glands, and I'm sure there was some potion on there. You might be a little turned on too. Gotcha. Well, at least it didn't hit Derek. <laughs> yeah. So Shattercock emits uh, some kind of like oil, yeah. or like a pheromones. Yeah, a musk. Like a skunk. Um, yeah. Yeah. Skittles. <laughs> Skittles yells one last. Like, don't fuck this up for me, fuck. <laughs> or what's that? I need another uh, racial slur he would say for white people. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, squib. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> you squib herder, and you're yeah. like, go. like <laughs> I'm offended, but I don't know you're why. Like you're too white, you're a skeleton. <laughs> Chop lobster. <laughs> What were Sounds you? bad. All right. Harry, what you doing, buddy? Well, is is this guy attacking us or is he just hanging out at the door? He's, well, Skittles he's got that, don't worry. Standing in front of the door, yeah. <laughs> he's not coming after us, really? I mean, not right now. Six feet away. Okay. Not that you can tell. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Always <laughs> decisive. This is his actual turn. Why is he attacking or not? Zombies chewing on, no. on Derek's oh. arm. Uh, <laughs> oh, whatever. All right, I'm going to try and hit this guy with my sword and cast Ensnaring Strike at the same time. Ooh. Whoa. That's pretty decisive. That's cool. Because I don't trust the thing. Uh, okay, so 20. I'm on set. Never trust the zombie. Oof. Five. Plus all that proficiency, whatever. Ten. Oh, ten hits. Oh. Oh, wow. Attack plus so strength. Do uh, then do I have to roll for the spell yeah, How does too? the snaring strike work? I don't remember. Well, I mean, it's when I hit it with a... Next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends. So maybe if I'd already casted it. Uh, a writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact and the target must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by magical vines Ooh. until the spell ends. Cool. Neat. A larger, larger creature has advantage You're on like this Spider-Man. saving throw. I don't know if it's a large creature or not. <laughs> but you do. Okay, so yeah, it fails the throw. So <laughs> it, uh, yes. the vines, I guess, w- curl up its legs, up its arms, oh, wow. and hold, hold it still. Cool. Uh, but you need to roll for damage. Yeah. Do like the robot move. Yeah. I'm doing my <laughs> sword. Yeah, we can beat it up like a disabled kid. So 1d8 for my sword. <laughs> Get Four. <laughs> Oh, you can't. And then also, I don't know if the while restrained by the spell, the target takes one d six piercing at cool. the start of each of its turns. Cool. Okay, I'll remember that if you can help remind me. Sure. Very slowly pulling it apart, screaming in terror. Mm. <laughs> and how long does the ensnaring strike last? Does it say? Okay, a creature restrained by the vines or one that can touch the creature can use its action to make oh, make a straight a check. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Wait a minute. Unless he gets whacked or something. Concentration. Yeah, yeah, you got to concentrate. Like okay. Yep. So I'm just staring at it, like, <laughs> stay there. <laughs> he sings. He sings to it. <laughs> Derek. Uh, Shattercock, do you have any lightning spells or anything? Uh, no. Damn it. Okay. Never mind. Then I'm just gonna keep chopping away. I have like keep spell. hammering down on it. You have a lightning spell? It does require people getting out of the way though. As a your turn. Well, I was gonna if if. We could do something where uh, Shattercock imbued one of my weapons with lightning magic. So, yeah, this, this will not make you look cool. Yeah, so. okay. All right. Um, I'm just going to keep chopping away. Yeah, yeah. Let's say it's still got some orc blood All flowing right, through so we'll it. We'll put so the orc ripper over you there. Your, you get your magic. Uh, six. Well, I think it's eight. Ten, actually. Ten with hits. With my rage. And I could roll again, too, for advantage. Ten Let's hits. Do this okay. Um, all right. So, orc ripper. One, 
five plus the bracers of pound this time. Ooh. So that's six. And now the other axe, eleven. Uh, that's eleven total plus rage is two more. So I think that's actually everything this time. Nice. What was that total? Thirteen. Damn, dude. But it's just flailing. It now at this point it's just chopping down into it, trying to hold my breath because it really, really stinks. <laughs> yeah, the, it's a bunch of rank, nasty body yeah. fluids kind of fly up into your face as you're hacking oh. away. Uh, so you're covered in this stuff's insides. Uh, it is it is looking really rough. It's kind of stumbling and it fell to one knee, uh, groaning. Mm. Um, are you going to cast a spell that needs me to get out of the way? I can, but it would require everybody to get out of the way. Oh, like okay, it's in, like an AOE. Yeah. Uh, okay, because I could still do take another turn to dodge out of the way. Oh, Raxon's after me, so if it's important. I would hit him in my turn if I. Well, maybe I might be able to just barely edge it out. But I would push it into Raxan, so that'd be pretty cool. What about you? Is there anything you need to do that I need to get out of the way for? No. All right, then I'll just I'll just hang out. If he gets hit, he gets hit. Right. Yeah, that's fine. He dies. All right, I'm trying to coordinate. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast uh, Acid Splash. Um, just a cantrip. That oh, way, that's gonna smell real good. Yeah. 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 Um, Baked it, fried it. Throw some acid. Yeah, on throw it. some acid on it. I always forget. Do I need to roll to cast acid this thing? splash? I forget how acid. I gotta spell it. Cracks works. an egg on it. Puts it in the sun. Just right? cast it, right? Yeah. yeah that's uh, that's what I figured. So, um, just one d six acid acid damage. Yeah. So. There Got you go. It. One damage. <laughs> <laughs> Got, yeah. Got him. Might as well just spit His on head it. explodes. <laughs> <laughs> He's weak to acid. <laughs> yeah, like so everything. Yeah. <laughs> the smell gets ranker and nastier. Please. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the monster swings at Derek. 19 hits. I have, I have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Jesus. All right. It's basically all damage. Oh, that shit again. <laughs> okay. So uh, it, it swings at you with one fist, connects to your head. Gotcha. Another fist connects to your gut. Okay. You, uh, you get seven damage. Okay. Oh. Way to take him down a peg. Uh, the other monster, oh, it takes damage because it's one, one d six, staring right? strike. Is it one d six damage? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why don't you roll the six? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look boy. At you, Matt. Oh, oh, boy. One d six piercing. Oh, five piercing. <laughs> the little I thorn goes, pass. Pass. and I'm really concentrated, <laughs> just looking at it, like, <laughs> like you're looking at that lady at the bar, stab it, mm. kind of. Yeah. <laughs> nice so it, it's it's night. swinging wildly, trying to get at you, but you're just out of its range, and it's still doing his. There's no way it can get out of it. We've that, never tried to communicate with them. Um, I'm trying to say something. I think if it makes. I don't know if it throws a saving throw on each of its turn. Large, 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 large. Yeah, but it knocked Grimo unconscious. No, that's we gotta hurt it, it now. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe that's it was trying to say hello. Grimo's so tiny. Just got thrown around. Yeah, I like that Grimo basically became Jeff Goldblum. From okay, Jurassic yeah, Park. you can make a strength <laughs> yeah. check. Here, here. Yeah, check. What did we say your spell save was? Ten. Grimo's the, Grimo's the answer. Okay, so yeah, it, it busts out scary. of the vines with its final grasp, trying Aww. to get out of them. Um, but that's its turn. Move it forward like half a space. Should have concentrated harder. Oh. Look at skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although some skills Perfect. is within the monster's range, Grimo's gonna take a shot at this one because us a short guy's gotta stick together. <laughs> so he's firing his bow. Oh no, but he only got twelve. Does that 12 hit? Hits. It's oh, good. Sweet. Oh yeah, because you hit on the ten. So then I'm gonna roll my so six Ooh. plus three Ooh. piercing damage on, wow. nice. on that one. Uh, Skittles thinks he did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take yeah. shot, me! <laughs> you guys are really lucky to have me. Yeah, I'll save all your asses. Grimo says, this one's for you, Mary. Not you, Skittles. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he's la- he lays it out there. Yeah. <laughs> Skittles is glaring scared. at Grimo. <laughs> as much as a skeleton can yeah. do. Doesn't have eyelids, but... Trunk lugger. Primo, Primo doesn't like the look of that eye socket. <laughs> Decker, what you doing, bud? Oh, uh, let's see what spells what I got. Isn't he doing? Yeah, mm-hmm. he's doing a lot. What couldn't I do? So this Standing one's looking as far as way as possible. This <laughs> one's looking real bad. Yeah, I'll just cast a scorching ray on it again. Thank God for arcane recovery. Everybody knows what that means. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it's yeah, I got to roll again three times. Let's see that. Twenty. Ooh. Nice. Uh, ah, Twenty-one. Let's go attack bonus and fifteen. How many of those hit? They all do. Yeah. Boom. But, nice. Uh, I'm gonna borrow your D6 to speed this up. It's a lot of damage. A lot of. I'm rolling to do so. It's five for the first bolt. 
Seven. Seven for the wow. second. And five Jeez. for the third. Ooh. Five, seven, five. All right, yeah, so you, you got him if you want to describe the end of the uh, monster. I target each bolt to make him die in the coolest possible way. So one blasts off like uh, the upper third of his body. The se- it's kind of like just taking him off layer by layer just to like shotgun every piece back towards the wall, towards Grimo and Sedona. So <laughs> Grimo's just getting hit with like cinders of flesh and rotting shit. <laughs> it's kind of like a, it's almost like a carnival where it's some sort of dunk tank except Grimo's just getting Ugh, covered like with viscera. Bath and time with Shattercock. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so if this, if this were the, some kind of canal through which organic matter would flow, Grimo is certainly on the end of that that shotgun effect. And there's a little Grimo cutout in the wall, <laughs> oh, yeah. where all the stuff hit. Uh, this pleases Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> so all that's left is this one monster. Yeah, yeah. And he's behind, in stare. Yeah, in front of a mystery. No, he, he just out. broke, he broke out. out. Just broke out. But what's behind the door? So whose turn is it? Stay uh, tuned. It's Ryzen's, and Ryzen's, Ryzen's go. Ryzen's turn. <laughs> well, um, I guess it would take too long for me to get over to that zombie, so Skittles is there already. It's true. With, uh, I think he had a dagger or something he found. <laughs> How mm-hmm. are you going to control Skittles over here? I don't control Skittles, man. <laughs> Skittles is just a member right. of the family now. Yeah. Right? I mean, who controls y- your. Bruce does. Other people. Yeah, my, yeah. my character. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah. your ambulatory now, skeletons. I, um, I move over and rejoin with Skittles since um, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> and we uh, once again join forces. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's about right. About right. <laughs> um, I'm going to give the uh, the Great Axe swing another go. Sweet. Uh, last time we rolled, it was oh. utter garbage. Is this going to work? It might. Oh, I'm so. it over. You're going to break it. So. Skeleton there. Skittles doubles as a shield, but he doesn't know that yet. Evan's got backups. He just has a bunch of extras lined up to mail out should okay. we need them. No, he oh. doesn't. He doesn't. There are Lego skeletons. I'm looking for that. <laughs> I don't know if they're a sassy. Is. Well, shit, okay, that's, that's awesome. That's nice. great. Okay, uh, so I roll for my great axe damage. 20. Okay, and then I roll for damage, yeah. which is uh, it's a 12, point. right? It's a 12, yeah. Um, that's for slashing. That's plus three. Mm, no pressure, but it's doubled. Yeah. Ooh. Four? Mm. Ooh, that's double. Eight plus, uh, three. plus five. No, plus plus three. three slashing. Plus eleven. The attack bonus is plus five. Uh, no, it'd be your strength. Attack oh, bonus, bonus is, is to take My bad. Strength is plus three. Yeah. Does eleven. Which right? is plus three slashing. Yes. Not bad. Well, Thank you, really, twenty. That's really good. That was a good crit. Yeah. Uh, Skittles cracks a joke about how it could have been better, and then <laughs> says something racist. Twenty? Is that all? <laughs> so yeah, your hacks go right into the midsection of the the flesh thing. Mm. Innards are flopping out onto the ground. That's good. Uh, if it could smell any worse, it's it's getting even no, nasty. Really good. I like it, uh, Miri. Okay, so I'm in, I'm encouraged by this, and I'm gonna by Skittles. Yes. <laughs> uh, swipe with my uh, long sword. Blah blah blah. Try and add to the damage. Seventeen plus blah blah blah. Twenty-two. That hits. Yes. Cool. One D eight. Not two-handed. Yeah. Ooh. For eight. And this is in the lower part of him as I'm short. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah, your long sword connects with its knee, uh, kind of flops its leg out, and yeah. it's down onto, onto its knee. Yeah, uh, aha. Anything else you want to do? Aha. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 uh, I just kind of give a encouraging and teamwork type nod to Raxan and Skittles. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Skittles doesn't need it, but he appreciates it. <laughs> <laughs> Dear. Uh, I want to do a running jump, two-handed strike off this sarcophagus here. All right, roll roll a twenty for yeah. athletics or agility or something. Nine plus if acrobatics or yeah, three, twelve. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll so call that one good. Both hands up, and now these are for my axe strikes. Does it have any orc bits? This one doesn't have no. orc bits. Oh. Nineteen, oh. and I got rage, so I'm gonna. Just Maybe right, see, yeah. I can get a 20 out of this. No, okay. All right. Uh, so 19 plus 2 for, for my attack bonus. 21. Assume yes, that hits. Definitely. All right. So now two blows coming down from above. Four. Five, nine. Plus 2 for my rage. Plus 3 for my strength. So 14. That thing's got to be dead. Well, it already is dead. So I do a running jump and then both... Axes go into its oh. shoulder-ish things, and then they get ripped out like that. All right, so yeah, it's it's blood and innard shit just flies all over everybody. <sighs> mm-hmm. It's got the last, but it's still, still moving good. a little bit. 
But this yeah. thing is real fucked up. Also, right. real quick, as I was jumping, um, it kind of looked like a moon appeared behind it, and you could hear a wolf howl, oh. right. but also oh. an eagle screech. Yeah, so, <laughs> how does that sound together? <laughs> Like kind of like that. Just yeah. all the power of nature. Yeah, <laughs> all it's in called the boat. Boat. Full name. moon strike. Some Native so American snake rattle at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so after, after Not Derek does this, <laughs> he's, you get the shadow cock. He's going like this. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. terrible. Terrible. Yeah. And then we, uh, she walks over and just casts ray of frost on this thing to finish. Not like off. on the ceiling so, the whole yeah. time. Oh, casual, absolutely. Casual saunter. I know. Boom. Five. Wait. You mm-hmm. have to do the attack first. Oh. Okay. Range spell attack. So. Sure. Roll a 20 and then add your modifier. Okay. Uh, 17. Dyslexic. Hits. All right. Yeah. Five. Five damage? Yeah. All right. So it freezes up and it, it's just moving ever so slightly. It's still there, just Man. going the littlest bit left. This thing's just. And stop. Kill me yeah. again. It's fine. Speed, speed is reduced by 10 in the, in the case that that matters. <laughs> okay. I love it. The monster takes a big. Swing with its only arm, its right arm, up at uh, Raxon towards Skittles. So I don't know who it's going to hit. No, um, it's the moment of decision. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's swinging at Skittles. Oh no, he's so weak. He's so is this the end of Skittles? That's the money maker. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles is weak by choice. <laughs> so he he actually takes off the the legs of Skittles. No! So he's, oh, Skittles is just <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, then as it brings its arm back around, it swings at Mary. Oh, oh and misses horribly. Yes. Yes. Nice. Nothing of value was lost. Skittles <laughs> saved you. <laughs> yes. Skittles over here is that. Yeah. All right, Grimo covered in, in muck and, and nastiness. Oh, it's Skittles. Against the wall. What are you up to? Grimo's going to come over here and check out this sword. It's on the skeleton. Hmm. That's All right. a puzzle. Good time for that, yeah. Roll of 20. So 16, do you want me to add anything to it? Uh, it I mean, it's a rusted old sword. Um, it is like huge though. It's like a five foot sword. Um, it must have belonged to some you know, king or royalty of some kind. There's an inscription underneath that says, waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't roll for Primo's this. Primo's gonna get <laughs> this sword and give it as a gift to Decker. Oh. Oh. So can he lift it? Yeah, but, well, roll, roll 20, let's see. Okay. Add that. your strength. So, oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> Three plus uh, his strength is negative, negative one. one. Oh boy. <laughs> so, you, you actually you do get it up for a second, but then you kind of topple backwards. Oh, oh, so I'm trapped under the sword. Yeah. There's muck all over you. Am I stuck <laughs> laying on the ground under the wow. sword? You're, yeah. Oh my God. Grandma goes, help, somebody save me. <laughs> I know I didn't help you, but I need you to help me now. Um, Skittles is the only one who hears this, but chooses to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Grimo can deep me. Skittles, I know you know! Yeah. Yeah. Grimo doesn't know how to sword this out. Uh. Mm. Is Skittles upset when he hears that kind of bullshit? <laughs> and he goes, ha! <laughs> <laughs> Good one! Yeah. So who will help Grimo? Um, well, it's Decker's turn. Yeah, it's Decker's turn. Oh, Grimo, he's peering over at Decker. <laughs> he knows it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, based on where the sarcophagus is, I don't think he can see him because he's being pinned. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You, you you fell down out of my line of sight. <laughs> he can so. hear him though. Oh sure. If he's <laughs> I'm, all, I'm always here. Oh sure. Deca, you're my best friend. I'm always hearing Grimo com- squeal about something. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one little writhing bit of zombie left. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll firebolt that guy. Oh, let me get him to save us again. <laughs> yeah, sure he is. <laughs> but this time with a much less impressive spell. Uh, mm. All right. Firebolt. It's a range, range spell, spell attack, one d hit or one d ten. All right. So. so roll your twenty, sir. Chop. Oh, that's oh, a six. Oh, oh, that's a, a one. Hit. By the way, a or, sorry, one. Critical failure. Yeah. Not one failure. Day. Oh, uh, so fireball. Oh, no. I think it should, should singe There's Decker's a lot of people hair. there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm upside down, anyway. I'm upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shuttercock's on the ceiling, so I guess, uh, yeah, that hits the back of Miri's head. Wow. Oh. Miri, roll, roll a 20. <laughs> It's always Miri. Every time. He's so two. low, you think he'd be okay. out of the way. Oh. <laughs> roll for damage. Oh, two. Oh, what do I roll? Do no, no, Decker. Oh, you get ten. to wait for the me to D10. roll. Oh, right, right. Six. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Uh, it, so the, the flaming bolt hits the back of uh, Miri's head. Uh, luckily, he's got that metal helmet on, but it scorches a little bit of his beard. Oh, no. Oh, that beautiful boy. beard. So I take six damage? Yeah. Oh, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Digger backs out of the room. I should have picked up a rusted sword to try to give it to his It new, was a gift. 
Yeah. There's a lot of people <laughs> doing so work. Dead. And then there's a lot of people that yeah. <laughs> one strapped under a rusted sword, and the other had fire bolted. Remember when Grimo was on the verge of death, and then yeah. Shattercock saved him. I do. And then he said, "Fuck all you." Hey, 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 what's in the sword? I have dad issues. So I want to pick things up. Hit that guy with the lightning, and then he shot that guy with an arrow. Yeah, remember that? That? I remember those things. No, nope. thank nope. you. That's I why Shattercock's Grimo is only true friend and Decker. <laughs> and Decker too. You keep trying to get for Decker, then Decker doesn't give a shit about yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Raxan. Yeah, Raxan is your go, but okay. Um, so okay, yeah. So Skittle says, we need to finish this man. There's some new legs in for me if we do it. And I go, that's a weird deal. <laughs> it's hot. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we just, we try to finish him off. Um, so Skittles and I swing together. Cool. Uh-huh. Um, except Skittles has a, a magical axe that only he can see. Mm, nice. Uh, so mm-hmm. it's just air. Uh, <laughs> for the rest of you. But th- this axe is amazing. It's made of like lightning and fire. Uh, cool. And hawk feathers that we heard earlier. All sorts of Absolutely. cool things. Yeah, he's invisible. just ripping off other characters now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's nothing original about this. So I'm, I'm swinging in my left hand. He's swinging in his right. Together as one. But Skittles wants all the credit. So uh, swing for damage. That's a uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, that it hits. Yay. Okay. And then damage. That's 10 plus 3, 13 damage. All right, yeah, you in that guy if you want to let us know. Uh, yeah, so, Rack, I mean, it just looks like this in Raxan's head, just... Yeah, nothing. It just kind of pops, but in Skittles' mind, it's like... Skittles' mind? Yeah. Well, you know, well it's they kind of... I think he's confused brain. about brain. who's imagining there, what there is just, It's point. like an anime like whirlwind going around, and there's just light flashing behind, mm, cool. and then... Skittles does like kind of a cool spin move yeah. and just comes out and he, like, he grows like 12 feet mm-hmm. and he, his legs are back, <laughs> which is really cool. His penis folks okay. yeah. does, he, does he become a fully fleshed, beautiful man with flowing blonde hair? <laughs> you see Skittles as Skittles. He has the hair, but I don't understand the human part. Oh, okay. He's okay. a skeleton. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> He's always been a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> what, just what, what is this? He doesn't know what the flesh now. is. Yeah. Um, and then the axe, while it's just, it's just covered in lightning and flames and hawk feathers, mm-hmm. just... Just eviscerates it, where he just it does that cool thing in anime, where like when uh, like a Kamehameha thing, where like he oh. just go, he kind of turns into silhouettes. And it's fragment. a silhouette like yeah. Black Ant. He's just fractaling out, but in reality, he just goes, just kind of mm-hmm. bops him in the head, yeah. and the thing falls over. <laughs> Sweet you flops over dead, and then Skills comes, flop him. <laughs> it's, uh, it's bone marrow though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just a powder. Grimo kind of looks over. As much as he hates Skills, he respects his prowess on the battlefield. <laughs> And uh, he yells, fuck you, midget. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Uh, let me do some quick math, sorry. Yeah, yeah give sure. us that experience. Is this related to the show we're doing? Or? <laughs> no. Okay. This is for fun. Taxes are late. Yeah, yeah. Mirror's staring. already out of there. I'm, just, I'm <laughs> staring at, I think Decker hit me, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Decker's kind of behind the corner. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretending very hard like nothing happened. Yeah. Are you like hiding down? No, I'm not hiding. No, oh, that's like, too behind obvious. Behind the stairs like this? And no. I'm like, okay. that, that, that would betray. <laughs> that would betray a guilty conscience. <laughs> So you got all, all got 350 experience Ooh. for that. I am very intentionally not doing anything out of the ordinary, which is itself very suspicious. Uh, are we able to look around now and yeah. do stuff? Mm-hmm. Um, now it's time for puzzles. Well, I need a I need to find some new legs for Skittles. So I go to I guess I just go to these bones and, but they're are the are these are these bones compatible? With these skills? good bones, like sure. Bones. Bones. Roll, bones will work. Roll for it. Yeah. Quality bones. Uh, Solid bones. So I guess they're the legs mm-hmm. of a black guy. Um, yeah. One shorter than the I'm other. Gonna, Oh shit, he's got like rivers and Cuomo I, bones. Can I go over and try and lift the sword off of Grimo? Yeah, yeah. He's squirming like a little baby. <laughs> Roll a 20 for it though. <laughs> I wish my dad would try to help that with you. <laughs> 12. Yeah, you can get it. And then with one hand, I just kind of <laughs> throw it to, <laughs> toss it to the side. Oh, you know, dog brains out. I was going to give that sword to Decker, but I guess you can keep it. I just kick it further away. <laughs> <laughs> I see, yeah, I guess a real uh, warrior, you know, he probably wouldn't use an old junk sword like that, even though it belonged to a king. I'm not sure, I'm not sure he'd know how to use that sword. What are you talking about? That's a royal king's sword! I looked at it myself my own two oh, eyes! <laughs> Does he look like a king to you? No, actually, don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do appreciate when you came up and you attacked that big beastie thing for me to help me out there. So thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. I just wanted to kill something. 
Yeah, De- looked like it deserved a slashing. Decker's over at the wall being like, man, there was a, did you guys see that trap? It got triggered, that fireball <laughs> trap? Boy, that was, <laughs> no, that was I saw you cast Boy. on Miri. No, I didn't, what are you talking about? I'm no, I was staring at him suspiciously. I saw that fireball misfire. Nah. What, are you, what are you saying, Shadowcock? That never Park? happens. Uh, Decker would never attack one of his friends. So anyway, you guys triggered, triggered a fireball trap. To. Sorry about that. You didn't mean to. He probably should have detected that, but the battle was really, you know, it was really fast and I didn't have time to look around, so, so you know, maybe next time it give me some chance to look around the room first. <laughs> uh, Shadowcock's still on the ceiling. Walk away. But <laughs> I don't like she's this. gonna go check out this I'm Lego. This is really staring at him. Um, <laughs> do you want to roll for that? Uh, no. So uh, yeah, you guys. Uh, we'll just say you're all looking around the room trying yeah. to get shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you find four silver rings. Oh. Each one's worth twenty silver pieces. Yeah, not six. Um, and three small sculptures of uh, Lou Cthulhu Ula. Each one's worth about thirteen silver pieces. Got it. Mm. Mm. And then the market. Also, uh, there's an urn there with a bunch of paper in it, like rolled up scrolls, and you pull them out, and they're actually magic scrolls. Oh, shit! Yes. Damn. How many scrolls are there? Four. How do scrolls oh. work? Oh! Um, While we're doing this, I'm still adding more bones to Skittles, and I has like <laughs> popping them off. You know, he has like Goro like arms, so he's got four cool. arms now. Um, quick thing to the party, I'm willing to roll for it. What's that? Whoever gets the four highest rolls gets to pull the scrolls. Okay. I'm pulling them right now. Well, non magic users aren't really going to be able to use the magic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, oh, pulling well. them, I'm pulling them right now. I'll, I'll hand them out. Yeah, she, she got all this shit. She'll handle it. Don't worry. It. I'm not going to take but, all uh, of Dog brain, maybe you can help me push this uh, lid off the sarcophagus. Sure, yeah. It's a little sticky. <laughs> it's never been a problem for you. Are you like drool all over yourself or whatever? <laughs> Hold on. Why don't you push first? Why is Grimo a dick see. all the time? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan, you can, add, you can add scrolls to a spell book, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, that's what I thought. So oh, you, you could read it, add it to your... Yeah. And then there's like some cost and time associated with transcribing, I think. Yeah. Well. I'm in love with you, Derek. I'm not as strong as people think I am, especially with this physical stuff. I think you could do it. Could you just please help me? Yeah, no, and then so let Grimo try. But then I'm gonna, I wanna subtly, like, from one side, oh. use one hand. Okay, Grimo. 11. So 10. Oh, no. <laughs> 10. He rolled a 1. Nice. Oh, boy. Yeah. So Grimo got a 10, though. Yeah, so somehow you're. Almost getting it over, and Derek decides to come and help you, but then pushes it over on top of you, and you're trapped underneath. Oh, it. Again. <laughs> oh foiled again! <laughs> Dog ring! You said he was a strong guy. I did. I just pushed it maybe a little too hard. Well, what do you see in there? And then I look inside. Let's uh, real quick. Let's get these scrolls. I actually got one for each magic user. Oh. Um, so that would be Grimo's. If you're going to hand them out, that would be yours. That would be uh, Deer, uh, Decker's, and this is Miri's. Ooh. You can give one to Skittles. What is this? There you go, go. No, I don't Skittles care about Skittles. is a magic user. Well, he's everything. It's just mostly heroin. Yeah. <laughs> he calls it magic. Marrow. <laughs> Marrow. What do you guys get? Yeah, I yeah. Have a can... familiar, so an animal beast that I can um, direct. That's cool. Um, I got the. Uh, Derek. <laughs> I'm turning into Spider-Man very slowly because now <laughs> I can I can crawl on walls and I can cast web. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, Where does so. it come from? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I got enlarge slash reduce. I can either I can select a creature or an object to grow larger or smaller for the duration of the spell, which is up to a minute. Mm. And then if it's a person, everything they're wearing and have on them also get larger. But the second it leaves them, it returns to normal. So oh, he's Ant-Man. That's Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're Wolverine. Mary, what'd you get? I have. Locate object, which is describe or name an object that is familiar to you. You sense the direction of the object's location as long as that object is within 1,000 feet of you. The object is in motion. You know the direction of its movement. So how would you use that? I'm not sure. The paladin spell list is a little limited. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, like he said, it's an object that's familiar to him. So, how so maybe if something was stolen from oh, you gotcha. or... Okay. or can locate a specific object known to me as long as I have seen it up close within 30 feet at least once. Alternatively, the spell can locate the nearest object of a particular kind, such as a certain kind of apparel, jewelry, furniture, tool, or weapon. Also, I noticed uh, Derek, wanted, when I was digging through the spells and stuff, Derek wanted some of that, so uh, I tossed him a couple of those silver rings. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slide them on my brass knuckles. <laughs> And I think I kept two. There were four, right? Yeah, four of them. They were worth twenty silvers if you're trying to two sell them. Two silver at some rings. Point. <laughs> and then there were the there are three little sculptures as well. If anyone's really worried about it, well, those I've lost so later. much. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you could sell a sculpture them. Sculpture will not to replace this hole in my heart. Uh, Derek looks inside the open tomb and discovers adamantium bones. 
than than he wears, and okay. his hair also now looks like ears. <laughs> <laughs> We're turning into the ice man. <laughs> and he can freeze people yeah. with ice and ride the ice. <laughs> Skittles oh, yeah. somehow found. And he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> Poor Grimo. Uh, oh, no, so he was being crushed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna you know, while Grimo's being crushed. Uh, Derek looks inside the open now. Okay, so sarcophagus. It, for, uh, roll a twenty for me, actually. Step on three. Oh, oh boy, Step there's, bone, the there's bones in there. Bones. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dog what are you seeing there? The most greatest treasure of all. <laughs> and then I, I, I show you. I'm oh, holding the bones for you. Oh, you're as bad as that Skittles guy. Uh, Skittles at this point is in a corner with a with a bandage wrapped around his arm. <laughs> his, yeah, it's cut and arrow. <laughs> but, I don't know how he's got injecting a arrow. Get this quick, quick! You sniffing at your bones? Get this thing off. Okay, of I. I Nervously set down one of the bones that now I have, and then I try and help Grimo okay. get off the thing. Well, you just say so you get it off. I get it off okay. the thing. Grimo's he's gonna look at these bones that, or or maybe I'm gonna double check inside the sarcophagus because I don't trust this. What, what else could there possibly be so to find? Six plus. I don't know if you want me to add like perception or yeah, investigation yeah. or one of whichever one's better. It's uh, a nine. So nine. Okay. No, yeah, you rolled nine. Oh, I'm sorry. So. 12. Okay, so they they look uh, like regular bones, but larger than a, a human. Like I said, they're about probably ten foot tall creatures. Awesome. Oh, I was oh. looking like in the sarcophagus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I oh, so he took them out. No, well, I, just grabbed, I just grabbed one. a bone oh, okay. and excitedly so showed clear. you. But you, you can tell that these bodies were buried with care. There, there's different little bits of treasure or things in there, things that might have been treasure hundreds of years ago, but now they look like dust and, and garbage. It seems like maybe jewelry or anything of value might have already been removed, but you can tell that this was once royalty. Like, this was a king or a queen, um, someone that was once powerful. Mary, do you want to look at the bones, too? <laughs> no, I'm okay. We all get a chance. So I'm going to go look at this door over here. So you're just looking at it? Kind of, maybe investigating it. Touching seeing it, getting cursed or anything? Do it like <laughs> if it was a fire on the other side, we touch it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm seeing if maybe Smell it it. Is, it can be opened or not. Without. Yeah, I mean, looking at anything. it, it just looks like a door. Maybe you know, I maybe I knock on it. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. So when you, as soon as you you hit with the knock, you hear like a crackle, just like in a, and you see a kind of a wave of magic just disappear from the door, and it goes, Whoa. and and just comes whoa, open whoa, whoa, whoa. just a little bit. It cracks open a little bit. You yep. said, uh, guys, this door is magical or something. It opened by itself. Oh well, that's my that's my door. Decker comes back. Decker is Cartman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking yeah. too. The walking doesn't help. Either. I like make sure he's not behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch out for traps. Do you check traps on this door? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So sure. Decker's going in first. Oh no, I'm, I'm checking it for traps. I knew it. I knew Sc- he wasn't scanning it down. I'm just scanning it. Roll twenty. I mean, he has, that, investigation. he has that power that you like can detect traps while you. Yeah, can. while moving, it's like it's nice. basically always on. Uh, I don't know what I add to that. 16. Okay, that's good. Y- you tell that there was once magic on the door and it has just uh, released moments ago. Gotcha. Uh, when mm-hmm. Mary knocked on it. Oh, it's all clear. Uh, you guys should be safe. Uh, it's always good to let me check these things first, though, you know, for traps, in case you get hit with traps anyway. You guys. Uh, Are you going to go in there or not? What? No, I just cleared away for you guys. You guys like uh, You guys like exploring, so. You know, it's clear. It's safe. That's what I'm saying. Hey, everybody. It's all clear over here. It's all safe. We checked it out. It's all good. We can go in. Are Decca. you going to go in there or not? Yeah, Decca and I checked it out. It's all good. Are you going in? I'm going in, Shattercock. Deeper than ever. So I go in, but I'm Grimo looking. Grimo right, Shattercock at, follows Grimo in. I'm, oh, I'm going like, where, uh, are we, where are we going? Where bones? are we going? The bones are right here. <laughs> yeah. King's bones, too. They are probably taste a little bit better. <laughs> right, nice put a bone in your mouth yet? What? I just hold on to it. Oh, okay. Got a good dry rub in there. Uh, Skittles is I do drool heavier though. now. No, yeah, because of all the marrow. He's well, yeah, he's full of marrow and he's got way more bones. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got three legs, uh, four arms. Uh, and one of those ain't a leg. Well, he—that's what he thinks. <laughs> yeah. No. So I think like oh, a human foot is a dick. Grimo, Grimo and I went in there, yeah? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Just got just... one foot on his crotch. <laughs> I followed Grimo in there. Check out my cock. Looking at Derek, Five heads. or not Derek? Uh, Decker. <laughs> Decker. And then I turned around, and followed Grimo. Okay. I went in there. There we go. Ooh. So the dimming torch light casts flickering shadows into the chamber before you. The room reeks of human filth and excrement. In the far corner stands a steel cage. Its doors open. Within it lay two young girls. If you'll put those in there. They appear bewitched, neither awake or asleep. Opposite the cage is a broken old bed, stacks of tattered books. A tiny, wrinkled old woman hurriedly, hurriedly flips through a book, wheezing wetly and laying on the bed. Ooh. Gross. 
We did it, guys. We can kill an old woman. <laughs> the old woman's about, girls. about five feet tall. Her head has been shaved down to the scalp on either side, revealing tattoos of an ancient forgotten symbols of an old language. They extend down beneath her robes, covering her entire body. Oh, no. What's her name? Baga? Yeah. So her, her long gray hair has been woven into a braid that falls sloppily over her. Her teeth have all but rotted away, and her face bears the lines of untold years and many fierce battles. Her smile is forever crooked lending a sense of depravity to every look. Her withered frame is covered in a thin burlap robe, the skin beneath waxy gray and translucent. Around her neck hangs a necklace of bone. Inky blue tears ooze from her eyes forever, marking her face and clothing. I know what that means in the old language. Damaged. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, thank the creator, you have come. I begged and prayed for help and now you're here. Put a cork in your old bag. (laughs) Oh my god. What are you doing with these girls? I promise you the children are in no danger. I seek only their aid, and now yours too. Shove it up your ass. <laughs> you old witch. Take them out of this cage this instant. These are sisters of somebody's. They're, the, the cage is unlocked. They can go. I just need your help. With what? Show your dirty pussy mouth! Oh, oh God. God. Piece of shit, <laughs> bitch. Oh, holy shit. What a foul oh, little these, creature. Uh, these are sisters. These are somebody's daughter, somebody's sister. So, <laughs> while, they're, while they're talking, Shattercock runs over and, try, and again, on the ceiling still, tries to uh, get, the, get the cage open. The cage is open. The cage is totally open. Mm-hmm. So opens the door and then touches ah! to the girls? Yeah, they're... they're uh, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Remo uh, uh, uh. <laughs> takes out a little small, uh, like a little toy that he had. A little, it was like carved in marble that belonged to one of his sisters, toy? and he presents it to one of the little girls. The little, so, like, so toy. She, it's like a little toy she doll carved in reaches marble. up to it and snatches it real quick and, and holds it real close. It's okay. It's okay. Remo, I, I, I think they're, they don't want to leave. I think they want to stay here. Good dog, Shadowcock. You don't uh, understand, sister. So <laughs> Derek <laughs> runs Is in. Is anyone listening to me? <laughs> no. Derek runs in holding the bone and he goes, I think it might be a king's bone. <laughs> <laughs> and then kind of notices the situation. It was. Yeah. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Shut up, you old whore hound. Uh, uh, oh. At this point, Skittles runs in and he goes, You have to e- excuse my uh, midget friend here. Uh, you lovely, lovely lady. Um, <laughs> what can we uh, do for ye? Is he hitting yeah, on Skittles the witch? Yeah, hitting on the witch. Well, <laughs> it's the only woman he's met who's got like the same sort of look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mr. Skittles! Yeah. I'm so happy to see you again! You. And, and, he goes, and he goes, Magpie, is that you? <laughs> you haven't aged a day since high school. <laughs> exactly. And it's a joke because there is no high school in this yeah. world. Yeah, oh, nice, good that. joke. Yeah. One of those trans-dimensional jokes. Yeah. Uh, he leans in for a quick kiss on the cheek, and, and, but they do like the little French thing, so it's just, mwah, oh. mwah. yeah. <laughs> but he's also all, skeleton, all so that's just, so just <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> his skeleton head actually withers just a little bit after kissing her. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think his skin flake comes off of her, and she blushes, obviously. <laughs> so does he. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I promise you all, the children are in no danger. I just need your aid. So Decker, Decker's running analysis on here. Basically, uh, is Decker inside? No. I'm, I'm like. So how do you know what's happening? I'm hearing it, and I can see it through the doorway, oh kind of. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. What do you, what do you want, Bruce? I want you inside. Why? Ooh. Because, because we need your help. I'm, I'm helping you out here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, sure. antisocial to the end. Yeah, I know. Because I'm rolling Arcana on it. Uh, on it. Yeah, on the lady. Okay. Trying to figure out what the, what, what's her deal? What's her magic situation all about? Uh. That's 23. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, I took these skills thinking they would be useful. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know she uh, seems to be ancient. She's probably hundreds of years old. Super, super powerful wizard uh, or witch, I guess, since she's female. Um, she's got, you know, it's it's dark magic, evil magic. Uh, and what you will get was 20 something? 23. Uh, you actually, you notice a resemblance between her and the good witch, uh, Yaba, that you had met uh, oh, yeah. however many episodes ago now. They they look very, very, very similar. Except this one, uh, you know, the gray hair, nasty, gross skin, uh, bits of flesh and things are, are missing. So uh, one looks twisted while the other one looked good. Um, 
Yeah, you, you do no, you notice the presence of what is extremely powerful magic. Okay. And it's um, evil bad magic or just magic? Evil magic? bad magic. All right. Can I can I go in and s- smell at their cage to see if I recognize the scent from when I smelled the clothes? Yeah, tw- do a 20. Two. Ooh. Oh boy. It smells like shit. It smells too yeah, bad. Yeah, they smell like burnt. The, the, just because the whole room and those mm-hmm. nasty flesh creatures you, you beat a minute ago, uh, your olfactory is just so filled with nastiness you, okay. you seem to be clogged up or something. So I, I, I just I beg your help here. Uh, we can end this soon. I just, I, I've lived so long, such a long, long life, uh, far too long, and, and I need your help to end it. Um, Time is a curse, you know. My, my body is frail and ruined. Every breath is a labor. Every step is, is fresh agony. I was a fool and once dealt for an endless life without considering the, this fragile human body. And I'm in pain. I'm dying slowly. I just, I seek an end and, and your help to achieve it. Will you please help me, kind people? And then you can take these these young girls home and and do good and whatever it is that you're here for. A moral dilemma, yeah. a shivo, if you will. Mm. Um, <laughs> Skittles wants to get up in that sweet old snatch one last time, but he doesn't say anything. Mm. <laughs> oh. What a gentleman! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's thinking it, just so everyone knows. <laughs> he knows how to work Gr- the ladies. Uh, Grimo is going to cast disguise self and t- try to change his appearance to resemble the girl's father, who we met. That's nightmarish. So 19. That's true. It turns into your dad. Nine, yes. 19 and nice then small version. Uh, maybe deception. I don't know. Sure. So uh, your your form starts to appear like the father for a brief couple of seconds, and their eyes start to widen, but immediately the, the magic just seems to dissipate and end. Okay. So no. So there's something in, in the room that's preventing what, my magic what is, from happening. Is that the case? Uh, yeah. I, I have magic barriers in here. I, I don't know what you're trying, you nasty little man. <laughs> um, if you turn off those magic barriers, I'll slit your throat. Oh. That's well, what you want, right? My flesh won't submit to your simple weapons or, or, or petty magic. What, what kind of help do you need? Tell us I, how to kill you, you old bag. I'm getting there. Yes, thank you. So you will help me? No. Just tell, what do you need? I have searched these tomes and found a ritual that will break my power and bestow upon me the peace of an end that I scarcely deserve. You need only allow these innocent, unspoiled ones to anoint this blade with their pure blood. She pulls out uh, like a six inch long bone and presses a little button on the side and a blade flicks out cool. of the end. Run this one. through my heart with this pure blood, and you will end my dark story. And she hands the, the bone uh, knife over to Grimo. How old are these girls? I'm going to say <laughs> seven, six, seven, eight, something like that. Okay. Sister's yeah, little, we should wait what? seven years. Why? Oh, oh, so that way they're no good anymore? What? No, so they're legal. Oh. <laughs> so we, I just need, I need the pure blood on the blade, Ram it into my heart, and it will be done. Does it just here. need to be anyone's pure blood. Yeah, let it me. It must be pure, innocent virgin. Blood. virgin, there's, virgin, I was virgin. There's virgin. only there's only per one person I know who would ha- have the most pure blood out of all of us, and it's Shattercock. Oh, oh. you bet. <laughs> so I'm, all, I'm not a virgin anymore. Obviously, is that obvious? Why I wouldn't assume Why? that yeah. because. Are you beautiful creature? Are, are you unspoiled? Absolutely not. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, so can I, Wait, What's the opposite? Is, I, ruined. <laughs> I, I just wanted to borrow these girls for a short period to oh, period. to help end <laughs> end this existence, this pain. So, and, so I, what you need is a virgin's blood. It's, it should be. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. More so than a virgin, we I, I need pure, unspoiled blood. Can I can I roll Arcana on this ritual to see if it's actually if in my presumption it seems like it would do what she says it's going mm-hmm. to do? Okay, I dropped my d20, so I get to roll the hoss now. Ready to go. <laughs> so yeah, you've actually somehow forgotten everything you know about this type of magic. He was never fucked a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you mean? What do you mean by pure, unspoiled blood? They're they are innocent. They are young and unspoiled. I think we keep him that just, way. And I, just still go just I still think we cut Decker. <laughs> it, just, it, it just takes a little drop. 
No. Of pure, wonderful, little, innocent blood. So, can, can the witch hear everything that I say, Shattercock says? If you're saying it out loud. Well, I was gonna like kind of huddle up with the, with the group. Okay, you can go and whisper. Um, so I, I kind of huddle up, but I'm again on the ceiling still. Uh, Does Decker huddle? You should probably yeah, ask her what those things were. So, so I, I huddle up and I go, all right, I have an idea. Hmm. Um, it's that time of month for me. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is drop a little bit of that blood Ugh. on the dagger we stab the witch, see what happens. Want to try that? I think that's a bad idea. I I agree, but that's the only idea I have. How about Skittles, we just Skittles is a gas. How like, about we just do his old friend? Take the girls and leave. Agreed. Don't take them, please. She can hear me. us. <laughs> this is magic. What were those things out there? Oh, my monsters! I, I was hoping they could my they monsters. could monsters. help me oh, my monsters. <laughs> with this ritual. And then take the girls home. That's why I created them to protect them on their way home. I don't think this is very sure nuanced. Did. She's an evil witch. She wants us to help her regain Not her life. Not all evil. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I've done evil stuff. Sure, sure, sure. I, I've done a few good things. You killed a lot of people. Um, they deserved it. Yeah. See, I don't think we should so, do anything. She's, I, so she she has the knife. No, uh, she Remo she does. handed to. Um, I gave it to that nasty little man. So uh, Raxon loses all control. Uh, and Skittles has taken over completely now. Takes a knife from Grimo and performs the ritual. Well, hang on. You can't just <laughs> nope, the plot. To, to roll to take it. You have to try. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm trying, I'm to, trying to move it. the plot forward because he clearly wants us to just do it. Hey, we can do I anything we want. want That's true. It's our not, you have to roll to take it because Grimo was going to do something okay. with that knife. Oh, okay. I, I'll, I'll roll against you. You want to fight? PvP rolls will love it. Oh, do it. Man. Once again, this is Skittles. Is it PvP zone? I'm going to blame it on Skittles. 14. Oh, boy. This will give me time to find my D20. Yeah. So you, you give... <laughs> I'll never let you take this boat, so it's gone! <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. He's trapped under something again. <laughs> um, so he, he got the knife away from you, but... Yeah, he... I was just gonna stab it. the witch. Hey, there it is! I was not gonna put blood on it and just stab the witch. It's what not going to work! I, I, but I think, I think she wants us to like bring her her youth. I don't think she she wants to. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust know. her. I, I don't I see... seek an end to this mortal existence. It seems like two... Young children here, tr- locked in a cage, just so we, you can perform this ritual, which you said they you already created monsters to do. Then it doesn't really add up. Why would you need two kids? Why would you only need a drop of their blood? In case one just a drop. Here? Why didn't you already get that drop of blood? That's huh? what I was thinking. I can barely move from where I am in this bed. I use all of my energies I, to research these books. I just found this ritual. Please, why do you not believe me? What's down this set of stairs over here? Oh, I don't. Is that stairs? <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, down there? I was, that's I, where I poop. Oh, Derek. Grandma's Derek, gonna uh, check out the poop. Oh, Derek <laughs> it tries to reach into the cage to try Roll. and pull the it's two poop. kids out. Okay. So I'm gonna reach at them and grab at them. Okay, yeah. If, if you're grabbing them, they're they're not gonna fight you. They're just kind of a little okay. Then I'm taking each one under, under an arm, yeah. basically. Please, please don't leave with them. Just, just end me. No, let's go. I say we go. I agree. No. All right, so we all start walking out. I, mean, I want to know what's down here. I, I have no control. Skittles has taken over. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, did Skittles perform the ritual or? I mean, or not? I, I'm ready to I'm, roll and I, stab the girls. I have both of the girls, and I'm headed towards the door. Okay. Good luck with your immortality. Stop where you are. Oh. Please. Here it comes. No. <laughs> what? We're leaving. What's in the poo hole? I'm, yeah, I'm checking, I'm hear, checking I what's want, down here. Yeah, Shadow Cock and Green. Are on. you just asking me or are you commanding? Are you just asking me to stop just where please, I am? Please, I beg I of continue. you. I <laughs> continue. Hey, hey, Dan, we're checking hey. what's down here. Okay, it really is. Is there a hole? I mean. There's stairs and then there's a little there's thing a, right there. Okay. I'm like backing it, I, up I, with I, Dirk. Is it really poop? Her. It's just shithole. Okay. Oh, okay, so she, she's able to get to the shithole, but she can't get off the bed. I it's think there's old a hole in poop. It. Oh, <laughs> a hundred years. Hold on. <laughs> it's fresh to me. It's old. So then I, we'll walk the other way. I'm, I'm, we're all I'm walking out with the girls. I'm going. Up so there, I, I cover their eyes yeah. so they don't All have to right, see well, the see later, fleshy witch. bit. Everything we do is to spite Mr. Skittles. See you yeah. later, witch! Yeah. You have to play in our adventure, not the other way around. Yeah. I mean, why would we stab the girls we're trying to rescue and well, help just, the witch? Just a drop! Just a Still drop. Still, <laughs> door. Still <laughs> going. Wait, hang on a second. I'm trying to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. For. Magical barrier is another horse. Yeah, I was going to say, there's got to be a magical barrier. I was surprised. I mean, right now, Skittles is chasing you with the knife right yeah. ah, <laughs> Wait, wait! Yeah. Dan's like, uh, a giant fighter! Uh, stopped you. Uh, so yeah, he's he's ready to like stab. He was just going to take a finger blood, but now he's like ready to stab mm-hmm. the girls in the back. So as, as soon as you try and get over to this area, 
uh, giant black tentacles come out of the ground, ah, wrap really around your you. legs. Dang yeah. it! Yeah. Um, so close. Take eight damage. Oof, shit. Please stop! I, I don't want to hurt you or the children. But you just hurt us. <laughs> I mean, just a little, but I needed to get my intentions across. I we we can fight here, but you could just kill me and be done with it, and take the girls home. Sounds they like really are precious little creatures, and I don't wish to harm them. What you said we could fight here, but then you say you also can't move. So which is it? All right, the, the, shut up, little man. Oh, <laughs> I just. Why? Why did you guys just? Why won't you kill me? I'm, I'm, I'm offering you an easy, way, yeah. easy way to, to finish this. Grimo stabs her with his short sword. Jesus. So um, I'm not gonna make it. I bet. So she that that's move. a nine. Hopefully you can nail her. Just yeah, that's not gonna. Whiff. That's not gonna do it. I stab her again in bed, with my short not sword. Moving. How many moves do you want? Uh, uh, I, I re-roll. Oh, lucky one. roll. Lucky roll. Ah. So, 12. Oh, I thought that was a 1 Does again. Does 12 do anything? <laughs> yeah, roll damage. Oh. Wait, no. Because I'm going to keep Wait. stabbing her. <laughs> Wait, no. You're going to keep... Why, stop this stabbing me, little man! I want it, right? Ow! I, I, I could kill you right now with one word. Do it. God, is that true, Deckard? Deckard? Grimo says, anybody that kidnaps you know, little girls don't everything. deserve no no patience from Grimo. When I rolled this thing, I did. But Shadowclaw's going to come back here and be like, yo, don't do that again, because I only have one more healing potion. Grimo got two. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you're, you'll be dead. You can't use it on yourself. I think Mr. Skittles might have been Shadowclaw. on this Yeah, Skittles is... If I die, mid, I think Skittles is Deckard. diving right now, ready to slash the girls like, <laughs> no, five. don't take her anything. <laughs> can, can I roll for... Slashing for to hit the girl and take some blood. Yeah. Okay. It, it would have just been a small slice, but now it's gonna be a, like it's gonna be a, a gash. Ooh. Uh, Twenty. Mm-hmm. Good use of eleven. Uh, you got a little blood off of one of them. Okay, so he trips and <laughs> 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 for magpie. <laughs> he calls her. Uh, so, so he's got the blood and he's moving he's back to the, well, the you, old witch. You're gonna have to get it from both of them. Oh. But the witch points at Grimo. Oh. And goes, die, little man, creature, shit. Nice. Nice. Oh, God, good spell. Fuck you. <laughs> How much health do you have? So I have seven points. You dropped it. Okay, so Remo's dead in his last breath. He says, fuck you, you old cum receptacle. Nice. <laughs> good burn. <laughs> You're dead. Remo's dead or knocked out? Knocked out. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. Ah, again. shit. <laughs> the guy goes, here we go again! Yeah. Oh no. He comes over here and pours See, the fucking I mean, I, I health can do potion. My, I can do my death saves. Okay, sure, you want I mean, it, it's oh, up yeah. to... That, can, that gets you back to if one. You, if you want to... Yeah, if you want to give me the health potion, I can, but... Well, uh, sure, yeah, yeah, I'll give you the this, health potion. I, I'm just I, sitting there watching, not doing can anything. Can I struggle <laughs> against these tentacles? <laughs> I feel yeah. uncomfortable with them. Roll a 20. Um... 19. All right, you get out of them. So you struggle right. real good. So so I give the health potion to your thighs Primo explode. as well. Okay. Yeah. So I just get oily. Yeah. Oh. Down the boobs again? Down the boobs. Same deal. So you need to pour it down. Derek, yeah. uh, you got to beat a 21 hang on a wisdom hand. saving throw. Pour it. A 21 on a wisdom Ooh, saving throw? On. So you're stuck to the ceiling with one hand, pour it on your chest, and then it just runs down your well, stomach. Well, that's impossible. I can't. <laughs> Drips down through my camel toe. Yeah. So, well, with dog man. And she does kind of uh, twirls her hands a little bit. And, In bed? And flicks them. Oh, well. Yeah, she's laying down. Okay. Return to me with those girls now. Um, and you're compelled to turn Ooh. around and take them back. Okay. But thou must. Please, okay. <laughs> we, we can do this the hard way. Clearly. Um, <laughs> which is, yeah, what you're leaning towards. But the man, <laughs> man with my, my old friend, Mr. Skittles, please talk some sense into your friend. <laughs> 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 he just falls out of his feet. Skittles well, he's really got the blood, right? yeah. Skittles he's got the blood. He has right? half the blood. He needs to stab the other girl. Decker's eyebrows go up from behind his sunglasses. Says, guys, I'm detecting plot here. I think we actually need to do this. Can I stab the other girl and stab the old woman? Roll 20. Is anyone going to try and stop him? 19. Uh, I, 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 am I completely taken over or just from the you're waist down? You're just like, you're returning with the girls. Okay, so completely. So I can't really do anything. Can I shout that there is no good spell involves stealing the blood of the innocent? Not stealing, just a little bit stealing. 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 Yeah, stealing. Yeah, I like try and hold on to his legs or something to stop him. Because I don't want him to do it. Oh, jeez. I rolled a 19. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you beat a 19, Miri? Yeah. I'm Remember, everything is writing on this. Nope. No! <laughs> All right, let's say you, you get your little droplet of blood. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Skittles, you find the 
best people I've ever met. They're just the greatest. They didn't vote me most funny for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you were funny, I remember yeah. that. Thank you. Gonna get up That's what I keep telling everyone. <laughs> gonna get up in that young witch puss. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I just like that Adam got bored of Raxan. <laughs> yeah, he's like Skittles <laughs> now. <laughs> All right. He stabs yeah. the old woman. Don't do right. it. You're trying to talk sense into a skeleton. Yeah. Good luck. Look how foolish you see. You look uh, so I'm gonna roll to that dumb. healing potion. It's kind of oh, got yeah. glossed yeah, over. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So four plus one, so five, so six. Or seven. Back to the old did, seven. Oh, wait, did you pour the potion down yeah. This, this time it went through the titties, but then also through the camel toe, so it kind of oh, dripped. Boy. Wait, aren't you upside down? Yes. Aren't you on your started period? at the camel so, toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I see. So yeah, you get a little extra a point or two. Yeah, there. you bet. <laughs> For period blood? For oh, menstruation? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tastes a little gamey. Primo says, Stem Bloody cells. Mary's again! <laughs> 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 Oh. All right, so so as oh. as the the blade goes into the old witch's heart, her body stiffens up, all rigid, and then yeah. and then poof, she falls to ash, and some cool. of the ash is kind of oh. in the air. Good. Ah, she she actually lying. died. Ah. I didn't think and she was going to die. Her, Thank you, Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Skittles is happy but sad because he didn't get in that sweet yeah. witch puss. Um, is uh, <laughs> again? Is, is the spell still on me? No, no. As, as soon as she she. Okay, so I, can I go over to Skittles and then mm-hmm. grab him? Mm-hmm. So I go over well, to you, Skittles. You, if, if he's gonna but fight you with Skittles, it, yeah. you guys might need to do okay. yeah, Skittles is resisting because yeah. I have yeah. four I know, I, know, I know what Derek's gonna do. <laughs> oh. 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 Yes! He goes, no, no! no. So then I you... grab Skittles and I smash him against a wall. Roll another 20 for me. Can Skittles resist the... Oh boy, so yeah, Skittles' head survives. A few of his bones are smashed. I do have inspiration. <laughs> use it Skittles. Really like he'll Skittles. Skittles. Is that Skittles? <laughs> sure. If you beat a yeah. ten, he'll just evaporate. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Get, get your, you ways. can roll that one if you want. Yeah. This one doesn't roll nearly as yeah, well. It just kind of drops like where. Yeah. Ten. ten. Oh. Yeah. Smash the bits. <laughs> oh. And he goes, "Is this the yeah. end of Skittles?" <laughs> That's actually just and you it, talking. It's his face there. <laughs> <laughs> I smash the head that muttered that <laughs> thing. <laughs> Oh no. Yep, the end of yeah. Skittles. No, no, but I have a feeling that Skittles will find a way back. Well, so I, I kind of lock out of a trance and I go, uh, I'm just sort of like, oh, I feel lighter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so okay. I, Shattercock drops to the floor and uh, starts walking mm-hmm. out. She's walking along. Oh, so we're, we're done? Well, should we I'm, take the girls? Yeah, I'm going, and then I go back yeah, over to the I mean, kids okay. and then start guiding them out. Are they, did they change at all? Have they, no, nothing they're kind of the same. They're, 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 they're still, you know, seem frightened and, and just kind of stunned. Maybe they don't, they don't seem bewitched like yeah. they did earlier, but they've been through some horrible experience and they are, are seem traumatized. Grimo, uh, stabbed. He gives the girl some of yeah. his, like, his rations. His food and his like water flask. They do this similar thing where they kind of reach out and snatch it real quick and, and hold it close. Grimo thinks that after this arduous fight, battle adventure, we should maybe take a rest here. But we know it's safe. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the witch's <laughs> ship it. Yeah, and yeah. this place is all burnt flesh. And yeah. Yeah. But we've, we've dealt with the dangers that are down here. I mean, we could just walk out. Yeah, and yeah we could go to the go outside. Again. Unless we encounter another adversary. Do you want to sleep next to the zombies, the shithole, or the talking head? <laughs> hey, if these little girls are brave enough to get through this, maybe you can't too. Ooh, <laughs> that's a grievous burn. I that's guess. a grievous burn. They probably don't want to stay down here, though. I refuse to stay here because I don't like that cage. Don't like the look. Hey, uh, I mean, Grimo, <laughs> if you want to sleep down here, more. more than welcome to. It's like your own apartment. Shadowcock Shutter, will stay with you. Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna make my way with the kids to get them out of this yeah, cave. I'm, I'm heading out. The reason I'm going back is because I want to investigate the room. Okay. So should I uh, should I roll There's to investigate? Poo. No, you're, you're looking around. Shit. Um, well, yeah, actually shoot do that. Mash. Yeah, roll, roll. Okay. Sorry. Nineteen. Nice. All right. So yeah, you, you, you find a few things amongst the the shelves and hidden under the bed. Um, I guess you already have that knife. Mm-hmm. Um, well, it was on Skittles, so if anyone wants to pick it up, I guess I guess uh, it's in the heap. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, it's, it's, it is in the heap of bones. The bone knife? Was there anything cool it did not, about it? When, when you shattered the Skittles, the knife was not affected at all. Okay. Even though it is made of a bone. Uh, so it's a six inch bone, conceals a blade that pops... Uh, pops what? Exit? I don't know. Oh, pops out. Sorry, the font's weird. Uh, when you press a small button, triples damage against female creatures. Ooh. Oh, which we have yet They to call f- it the wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, extra d4 damage when using a sneak attack. Ooh. So it would be good for a halfling, but um, yeah. So yeah, looking around, you find 38 gold pieces. Oh, wow. Um, 77 silver pieces, two gold bracelets, 
seven silver rings and three gold necklaces. Wow. Okay, so oh, the, rich. we'll split up the gold amongst the six. Uh, so what is that, 38 divided? So everyone gets six and then you get, can keep two. Sure. And then what else did you There's say? 77 silver pieces. Same thing with that, just yeah. split that up. We could each get 12 almost. <laughs> like 11 each and then five more, I think. Oh, five left. Everyone will take the five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He takes the five. So there's also three silver rings that are worth ten silver pieces, uh, two gold bracelets, and one gold necklace. Um, and none of them have any magical abilities. No, they, like this is just like jewelry. Um, she probably pillaged from that tomb right there. I'll take all those unless somebody else wants them. I assume Decker does, because Decker always wants gold. <laughs> sure, some sort. cheap shit. So I'll, th- I'll throw him the silver rings. Okay, I have so uh, three silver rings. Each one's worth ten silvers. Sure. Yeah, yeah, totally. Two gold bracelets, each worth seven gold, and three gold necklaces, each worth twelve gold. Prima lies down on the mattress. It smells like vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the one other thing Cat you did uncover is the um, the ritual book that she was holding. Seems to be a, a magical book of some kind, yeah. written in another language. It stands out from the rest. If you, if it's something you want to, I would absolutely with you. love to pick it up. Yeah. All right. What uh, it's in a language I don't know. <laughs> yes. Do you not? Do you have an example of that language? Or? I don't. It's something. It didn't. It doesn't look like that giant language. It doesn't look like any language you've seen before. Okay. So it's something that would need to maybe be decoded by a smarter or more <laughs> studied person in languages. That is not me. All right. So what are you guys doing? You're going to camp out. Or I'm gonna... leaving this cave. Yeah. So yeah I'm uh, going. Derek. Wants to come with me, Cam. Almost going to take eight hours. Because oh, I'm not going to stay down we're here. In a, we're in a place. And we I also want to check out my bones. We don't know what's going to come up on a on it. All we need to do is say we're going to sleep here for eight hours. I don't trust this place. I'm going to get these right. kids out of here. Remo, I'm staying with you, but everybody else is leaving us. Shattercock, we know what the dangers are down here. Okay, we've seen them. I yeah. think it would be good to rest here yeah. and leave with the girls when we are all rested. Yeah. We have all our spells back in case we approach danger. I agree, but you can't separate from the group. Grimo just did, Shattercock. You know so that? Grimo's sleeping on ash right now? He's sleeping yeah. on that old woman's remains, okay. yes. Weird. Um, uh, uh, Grimo, you sure you don't want to come? Are you sure? Positive. Are you sure you don't want to come? Positive. Are you sure? All right, all right. Here goes Grimo. Grimo. In front of all right. So then we were walking out and Grimo was yeah. asleep? Grimo insisted on sleeping. Yeah, yeah I think you all guys, were marching out. You guys right? went up to the yeah. surface. <laughs> uh, Good night, Grimo. Well, then I, hold on. I'll, <laughs> I'll go back in and get him. Uh, I guess be like I'll I'll just carry Grimo asleep. Is that okay? I mean, the party doesn't always stay together in D and D. I know, but I still yeah. want you. I want you, I want you didn't at the end of last episode. I, I, that was that was for darn sure. I just like the idea of Grimo waking up several hours later in the arms of Shattercock. Exactly, <laughs> it's like a kangaroo there house, it but is. it's between oh. your breasts. <laughs> All right, I got him. Let's no, go. No. All right. He's still asleep. He's got he's getting a long rest. So are they walking like that? Is that the only way that Grimo can be held by Shadow? Absolutely, yeah. I Your know. face has to be shoved in. It's not meant to be a sixty nine position, but <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I don't think Grimo's long enough, like mm-hmm. towel wise, to do it. Yeah, Grimo's really finger. small. Shadowcock uh, would only be able to lick his foot. Yeah. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> Your head could be on one of the breasts. Oh, there you go. yeah, there you he's go. under the pillow. That's right. So did we make it we all the way out to the walking, surface? We so yeah, we'll, are we'll say you guys are, are leaving. Uh, maybe not quite to the surface. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, um, trouble. Oh, great. Here we go. And I've got this little halfling in my arms. <laughs> I'm staying in you. <laughs> Is Grimo asleep? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, passed right Yeah, out. Full, he needs a full, full eight. eight hours. Actually, I mean, you only need eight to recover health, but he's going to sleep for nine. Oh, nice. Oh, full yeah. nine. All right. <laughs> So uh, you hear a loud skittering and a screeching noise uh, emanate, emanating from a hole in the wall behind you. A uh, giant red spider comes bursting out of the hole and spins and grabs onto the fast. ceiling. <laughs> like, like, oh, yeah. moving on. <laughs> like staring. Yeah. Come so on. as it's kind of crossing the ceiling above you, you see blood dripping on the ground. Cool. Um, it stops when it sees you and drops to the floor. It pulls out a, a ring from a bag that's kind of slung around its shoulder and uh, puts it over one of its little spider arms. <laughs> Mm. So in your mind, you start to hear it now talking to you. He goes, you must run. You must run. They will be upon us soon. Run or fight. We must decide. And you see this uh, from behind you, a uh, little cylinder flies past you and right into the little spider guy. Oh. He, he drops to the ground. Spider guy, we barely knew yeah. you. Let's <laughs> <laughs> all take a moment to remember spider guy. <laughs> can we do a montage? Can we, can we, can we remember <laughs> the good times? It's a slow motion <laughs> shot of spider guy running out. <laughs> spider guy putting out the ring. Us on the spider carousel. guy getting killed, and then that's it. Oh. <laughs> December 2016 to December 2016. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, please. He's kind of, he's dying there, bleeding out. He goes, please. Spread the word for my people. A demon has seized control 
of the queens of our realm. Its evil has taken our lands under a brutal regime. I seek to send out the word and, and find... And then you see another one of those little cylinders pop it, and it kind of... Where are we coming from? from? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, a few other spiders kind of run up behind you. Um, <laughs> How big is spider guy? Yeah. They're, they're, these are big spiders. You know, but big like, spiders like, could like, be like, like a, a dog. dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's we'll say a uh, big dog. Okay, okay. Big okay. dog, dog size. Dog okay. size spider. Um, like its legs are, are huge, but you no, know, the spider's body is kind of You could tiny. ride it if you really wanted to. Oh, cool. Did I? Yeah, you, yeah. You saddle it up. Remember. Good. Yes. So yeah, so, some spiders come running out. Uh oh. Grebo's asleep. Yeah. So the spiders actually <laughs> make, make for the the one dead spider and try and grab up all of its stuff. <clears throat> cool. Okay. I don't know what you guys are doing. Uh, just well, staring I at have with an impact. So impact. I was I'll walking with spider. those two girls. Oh. Yeah, you have girls oh, under yeah. your arms, right? Yeah. And so. I have a halfling in mine. <laughs> so I'm gonna basically put my Back, push them into this little corridor here, and then put my back in front. And then Where's the take dead my spider? Weapon. It, right it's there. the one on the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we're going to have to cut it open, and it? they'll have to climb inside. Oh, so it's the only way. Climb inside the spider yeah. <laughs> and control it. You live here now. So the spiders are just looting the other spider? That's yeah, yeah. It? So, so uh, three of the spiders rushed up kind of past you guys over the ceiling and the walls and stuff, and they're just grabbing up all of its shit. Okay. Um, did, they, did they shoot the cylinders, or no? I mean, I, you could probably assume that. You, yeah. so. you, you didn't see it, but okay. all, the little cylinders came, fired, killed the guy, and then the Not spiders were immediately there. I mean, okay. yeah. Well, they're kind of blocking the way there. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, should we converse with the spiders? Yeah. Does anyone speak spider? I don't think I don't think. Was I it like you can walk chickety, on chickety, the ceiling? I can walk on the and I can shoot a web, but I cannot speak spider. I don't. Oh, think. maybe you can pretend to be one of them. Blend <laughs> 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 so, in. But the problem is, I have the halfling in my arms, so I can't. Right, right. I can't. I can't really. We'll, do we'll that. paint you in blackface. And then send you out there. Why? 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 I, I don't Why? Want the spiders are red. <laughs> we'll paint them in black. I'll, I'll, I'll shout something out. I'll, yeah. Hey! What? Did you just kill that other large spider? So yeah, the the, the big purple spider. We'll say this one kind of turns around and There's looks at one, you, I guess. and it like keeps digging through stuff and then runs up the wall while still looking at you. But away from you? Yeah, kind of away from you. Okay, I'll good. Say he, he's moving up here. He's got all the stuff. Does anybody else want to chime in? <laughs> Oh God! I, um, I, I, maybe anybody? Can I inspect the uh, the dead spider? Sure. Do I find anything? Or are you guys gonna roll for yeah, it? Yeah. I don't know. I roll eleven. Anything? Sure. <laughs> anything to that? Uh, investigation is true. Plus zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, you noticed that uh, he would be a red spider, and they're purple. Um, oh, okay. You know, he's dead and bleeding on the ground. It's a race war. Um, Good job. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, their, their eyes are all glowing green. Okay. Funky. Um, I chop its head off and use it like a puppet. There and this go. is. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is the spider head? He is. He is. He is now. Uh, he's now Professor Spider. Uh, <laughs> timer. Uh, it's like two minutes in. Yeah. This is the one that was dead. Yeah, and he goes. He goes. Hello there. I'm Professor Spider. Oh, not again. How are you there? <sighs> And no one says anything. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Not. Thank uh, God Grima's asleep. Decker's gonna walk up and be like, man, we don't need this. We don't need Spider Kingdom bullshit. We just finished a quest. Let's go turn that in. Let, let, let this crap happen. I, I agree with the smart dark one. Let's follow him. Uh, I take out an axe and I cut the spider head out of, out of <laughs> Rex's right. hand. You gotta roll for that. Yeah. yeah so I'll roll against you. Too. I don't think that's how it works. Sixteen. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> Spiderhead dead. Oh, Spiderhead's cut. Professor uh, Spider is gone. Uh, <laughs> why can't I have characters? Your tenure <laughs> is over. Uh, <laughs> that's a professor. That's a good school joke. joke. Well, I still have some of its eyeballs on my fingertips, so we'll go. see what happens. Used to that, right? Did he have parting words, Professor Spider? Is it tally hair? So can we make it past those other spiders? Well, yeah, so or? the spiders kind of look at all this and then just skitter away. Oh, okay. okay. Gra uh, grabbing all the stuff from that one. There's the one behind us. He's still kind of standing there looking at you. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. right. So the big oh, one's been fully looted? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Spiders. I mean, if you want, like, legs or, like, parts of its body, Ooh. you can you uh, do that. I'm sure what Raxan does. Nope, but. there's nothing left. Let me see what I can... It's all gone. <laughs> 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 Hold on. He's doing concept How many? So eight legs still and just a thorax? <laughs> so, okay. Get a good marionette going on. I'm going right. to start meeting these girls. Meeting the girls out. Yeah, I'll, follow, I'll follow Sounds Derek. Good. I'll follow Derek Just with three around. Them. Right. Yeah. yeah, this is me walking. See? Did anybody notice Did that was really weird? Just kick this dead thing. Why are those other spiders? Ah. Spider. I don't understand. It's just uh, this it's happens a thing. lot. I've heard yeah. about it. It's in, really weird. There's a uh, spider civil wars. It happens more to you, more than you think. Keep me looking at that guy. Uh, I want to face him. Oh, walk it's away snoring. From him. And it, oh no. 
or whatever. Yeah. And uh, as he exhales, uh, Shatterhawk's labia her. just. Oh, no. <laughs> She's not that loose. I guess she is, actually. Oh, well. oh yeah. Everything's Balloons beautiful. are tight until you get the first breath of air in them. <laughs> and then they just expand. Oh, gross. Um, I'm going to make my way for the stairs. All if right. anyone has any I'm objections. following Derek. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm following Derek. Do we all go? We're all leaving? Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, yeah. This is how. This is how. There we go. you guys make it up. Boom. Oh, oh I dropped him. Uh, Rolling down the stairs. <laughs> bunk, but, bunk, uh, bunk. Does that wake up? Head, head, head. head. So uh, as soon as you guys clear the stairs, the that weird goo. Oh, yeah. um, oh the goo, goo yeah. yeah. Kind of solidifies ago. as ah. soon as the last one of you makes it past. Cool. Man, fuck that. Um, Why the spiders fuck with their own shit? We could we could hear the uh, the echo of Professor Spider as the goo solidifies, <laughs> or at least I do. <laughs> Only Rack said Echoing and he's like, I'll see you soon. <laughs> what? <laughs> Accent taste. <laughs> well, it's further down. For, no. He's a very wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's further down. Very well traveled. Spider of the world. You know how accents play. change depending yeah. on what altitude you're at? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Echo. Miri, yeah. watch these girls. All right, I have to take care of something. I got you. And then I run over to my bone, my bone pit. <laughs> oh, and yeah. I just, I'm checking everything to make sure everything's still as I left it. That's right. You so, no, head. actually, a few of them have moved. A few of them have moved. Yeah, like but far? nothing. Nothing seems to be gone. Okay, so they, then I, I take like the ones. That, I immediately have. notice the ones that have moved, and I'm moving them back <laughs> to where they were before. So where were we supposed to go after we got these girls? We take them back, right? We take them back, yeah, right? So, some village they disappeared from. Well, yeah. do you guys want to rest? Oh yeah, we should probably rest. I mean, there are, fine. there's a spider civil war going on. <laughs> Down below us. <laughs> Part of the spider cinematic universe. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> totally Featuring spiders. green spider, yeah. red spider. <laughs> like stomp on it a bit. Yeah, I guess that's solid. I, fuck it, let's sleep. Uh, Shattercock. Just fall right over. <laughs> Shattercock goes to, like, prepares a bed, puts Grimo down very gently, mm. prepares a bed. And then yeah. immediately put Screamo back in her arms as she Aww. falls asleep. Aww, so she nice. lays down and Grimo's head is in my crotch. There you go. Uh, yeah, Grimo then, can't sleep unless uh, his head's in someone's crotch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the vagina, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, Shattercock's just queefing. It sounds like Grimo's oh. snoring. Oh, yeah, that's just my nor- it's a natural it queef. It's a, yeah, it's a natural oh. queef. She sleep queefs. She's getting treated for it, though. <laughs> oh, it's a problem. She needs a surgery. Yeah. <laughs> It's called it's called sleep flapnea. Uh, <laughs> I'll uh, make, make a cyber weave on the branches over here. Cyber <laughs> weave. You fall asleep on like a you can make digital, digital hammock. hammock. Out of is that like a, it's like a dream catcher. Well, you can yes. make a hammock out of living. Cyber weave on a digital hammock. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Decker is cool. It's some sticks. <laughs> I hope you have ASCII dreams. I'm gonna do that next time. Okay. Am I sleeping next to a skeleton? Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, that's good. Is, I mean, that's kind of where you drop down. Okay. I like that your hand is constantly in the state of <laughs> waiting for oh, 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 the covered in blood. Right. Dan, do I have to let you know if I'm changing the spells I have prepared? Or can I just do this? Is everyone going to sleep? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I wanted to do one thing before oh, I go. Do you have to say your weird thing that you have to say? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, did, right. It hasn't been a day yet, has it? Maybe yeah, it not. Has. I think it's it? been, the day's been going on the last, I think it's been two or three days. I don't days. think he did one the last day, though, this day. Two or three days. Yeah. Uh, gosh, spiders are creepy. I'm kind of glad, but also sad we don't have another Raxan companion. Uh, oh. I don't know. Comes out. <laughs> They're annoying, but I like them. And now you're, that wasn't very good. Now I'll, your prayer I'll think of a better one. going to get a spin off, and you but ruined no. it. <laughs> Before I go to sleep, I want to use as an action, I want to, because I'm curious, I want to use the locate object spell, which Ooh. is an action, because I'm curious about that little ring that that guy had on and that they took. So I can sense where it went, as long as it's within a thousand feet of me. Okay, uh, you actually don't sense it, which I suppose you would take to mean that they're more they're than a thousand feet away. Wait, which which Man, ring are we fast. talking about? The, 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 the guy that ring. Remember, oh, the spider ring. Okay. Yeah. He was trying to talk to you a little bit. A red spider boy. So I kind of <laughs> the infinity spider ring. Yeah. As it's known in SCU. The arachnid. That's that's the power ring. <laughs> so I kind of roll in place in the yeah. film. <laughs> I don't know how they got him, but they did. So yeah. I kind of like hmm, because I can't sense anything, and then I put my bed kit down next to the girls and go to sleep. No, hey, dwar- no dwarven prayer before sleep? No, I'm too tired. Hey, Miri. Yeah. Don't you think it's a little selfish that you're using the bed kit and you're making the kids sleep on the ground? It's nah, childlike. they're already unconscious. They don't know. They can <laughs> have right. it They can have it tomorrow. Well, so right. Bad defense is not working course. You don't have a bed kit, Derek? No, I got these bones. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sitting on the bones sharpening yeah. sharpening my uh, Derek work is the bed kit. Well, good night. Yeah. <laughs> Your everybody... crotch looks furry. They could use that as a pillow. Mm. That's disgusting. What? That sounds like uh, Professor Plum or whatever talking through, <laughs> talking through you. He was a spider. How hard is that to remember? And a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Spiders can't be pedophiles. So I guess we're all asleep. Then? Yeah. Well, I guess before before you fall asleep, a little rat comes up and uh-huh. grabs one of the the skeleton bones yeah. and starts to make off with it. Well, it, does it? Can it grab it? And then can I just grab it? And then now the, the rat is holding onto it with its mouth. I'm gonna shake it away. Sure. Real cool, like. Real cool, like. That was and really cool. You gonna leave it alive? Uh, yeah. I just toss. I toss. I toss it, and so it flies off the bone, and then I put okay. the bone right back where it's supposed to be. I don't wanna... So the rat runs over and kind of watches you mm-hmm. try and fall asleep. That might I stare at. Though. I stare at it. And then, but then I fall, end up falling asleep, sitting upright, staring in the direction of the rat with my uh, sharpening stone on the on the orc river. Yeah, everybody sleeping. All right, yeah, get my health back, get baby. Your life spells, and your spells recharge. and whatnot. Arcane recovery kicking sleeping in. Sleeping and queefing. You guys are all rested up. Any anyone wake up in the middle of the night or anything? Mm. I'm assuming Grima's up first because he, he wakes he up. He's the best first. sleep of his life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's rejuvenated. <laughs> mm-hmm. How does Grima look up? Remember, Shattercock's still asleep, but Grima's on top of Shattercock. Oh, he's on top? Inverse. Yeah. Oh, like okay. this. Can you we, actually we, roll a 20 for yeah. me, Elise? Critical so strike. That's a one, but I re-roll on one. So 15. So I, I was going to say if you rolled under a 10, you had a massive boner. Oh. But since I mean, you rolled 15, you were controlling like it pretty well. Regardless. Maybe you had a nightmare that you had a massive boner, oh. but you woke up and it was gone. Grima <laughs> wakes up. Half chub. <laughs> he wakes up in, in, in a vinyasa. He oh, praises okay. the day. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Um, does yeah, Grimo yeah. look over at Derek, who's now like curled up on the ground, like running in place? Grimo, he oh, actually, he's he's going to get up and he's going to walk over to Derek. Derek. Who? He will move him. Derek. Derek. What do you Derek. Say? And he's kind of, but Derek's kind of like, <laughs> he runs into the sleep. Dog brain. Dog brain, wake up. Wake up, dog brain. What's going on? Where, where, where'd the squirrel go? Hey, listen, we got to have a talk here. You've been taking care of these, these girls? I don't care. They're, they're sleeping on the ground or something. I don't care about those girls. I'm just trying to get that prize. Dog brain, let me level with you here, okay? And please keep this between you and I. Yeah, I'll tell everybody. No, I'm serious, okay. dog brain. Right. I'm it's serious. I'm, right. I'm level okay. with you here. All right. I got two sisters at home. <laughs> nobody knows. You? Nobody knows that about me. I got two sisters at home. Okay. okay. And seeing these little girls scared and in and, and harm's way. Don't make Grimo feel very good, okay? okay? So you gotta take care of these, dog brain. And if you don't take care of these girls, you're gonna hear from Grimo, all right? I, but I have a feeling that maybe you feel a certain way about these girls, too. Listen, I don't care about the girls. I'm just trying to get whatever reward we're gonna get for getting them back home. Yeah, maybe they'll throw a few bones of kibble your way. We'll see. Can you get back to sleep now, please? No, dog brain, we gotta wake up. We've been here for eight hours. We got this all, that's a long rest. We You've got- been sleeping for eight hours. I've only been sleeping for seven and a half. All right. Well, How do we have a concept of time? We gotta get the a move sun. on. We gotta get a move on. We can't stay here all day. So let's get up and go. Uh, I wake up. <laughs> all what right. are you guys arguing about? What's going on over there? Jeez. I kind of get up and I wander over to this tree and I pee on it with one one foot slightly off the all ground. Right. All right. So are we, we're heading back to the. The city that we were going to go to. I forget what was the name. What was the name of the city? Jayan. Jayan, yeah. Is that where we're going? All right. We're heading back to Jayan so. to return these young chillins. <laughs> chillins. Will you? Uh, uh, can we talk to the girls? We'll ask them what happened we along the along, along the, way, the way while we're marching. You can do whatever. You what want. What happened? What happened to you? You two? Is How it, did you end up in this witch's cavern? Uh, they're actually kind of non-responsive. Good okay. conversation. Well, should we just walk My back favorite to, kind to of people. Jayan then? Well-developed character. <laughs> <laughs> How long is the march from Yule's Crown to Jayan? A couple days, actually. Oh. So it's, it's actually two days of pretty hard travel. You're crossing a huge mountain ridge and uh, down to the river. Would it so, be easier to go down to the river to Titan's Tooth and then come up? Probably another d- uh, right. day Whatever and a half, two days. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll go wherever. So we're, we're going to go up through the mountains yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. So, right, yeah, so, you, so you have a, a tough day of travel, you know, up and down, up over a ridgeline. Uh, at night, on the, the first night, you hear a bunch of uh, kind of animal noises. Sounds mm-hmm. wild. Uh, Name's Derek. The, the wind is whipping around. Uh-huh. Um, but nothing really eventful happens. Um, you do, you reach the river the next day. Oh. Oh, um, nice. To the Moondog camp, basically. Is yeah, it, that's where you guys are kind of retracing your steps. Yeah, might as well. We know there's camp already made. Yeah, we're kind of going back towards that way. 
All right, so yeah, you, you reach the river, um, and it's time to get across. You don't see uh, the, the, boatsman. the boatsman that was there previously. Mm. How deep is the river? Um, it, you would be in over your head <laughs> at the middle, Who, but say the tallest person it? in the group. Yeah, the green was short, so. Uh, say it's about six feet deep, okay. seven feet deep at its deepest. Okay. Well, is it throwable? No. Uh, um, how long does like it take you to swim across it? Five minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay yeah. Somebody go- <laughs> Are there any trees nearby? Yeah. Roxanne. <clears throat> you, it's time for Grimo to call in a favor for I'm all I'm still the- mourning over the loss of Professor Spider. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's the whole Roxanne, yeah. look, I know your best friend, Professor Spider, was taken <laughs> too early for this world, and I agree for you, and I feel for you, and I'm sorry. I, I shed a single tear and pour one out for my homie. <laughs> I notice you are shedding a single tear and Grimo stares at you. Uh, oh god. And he Ooh. he too sh- he makes oh my himself your eyes. He makes himself shed with your eyes. You know like in karate when they teach kids to like shake their whole bodies? No. 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 Grimo shed <laughs> a single tear to replicate your sadness oh, okay. to show you he that's what they do in the gyre. Okay. Okay. Empathize. They to empathize with someone I don't say and then anything, he, but I don't Appreciate being mocked. And he also <laughs> he also pours out some lamp oil to demonstrate a pouring out. Okay. Yeah. Said, now it seems like you're making fun of me. <laughs> he says, now that I have empathized with you by Jaya tradition, I ask that you repay me this favor and carry me on your back as you swim across this river. I'm not swimming. I was going to chop a tree down and try to make a bridge. But you could swim that river in five minutes. No problem. How wide is this river? Wider than a tree? Probably, Because yeah. we took a boat. Yeah, you took a boat. Yeah, so five minutes swim five is minutes. a pretty wide river. Yeah. I'd, I'd say the, it's it's also moving a little fast. So yeah, so it's we're not like swimming across a pool. We're gonna do this. You, you will be carried ah. down the river. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Will we get if we try to swim? Will we get carried down? No, I mean maybe a uh, uh, hundred yards or so, just from the current. Oh, okay, it's, it's right. not that dangerous. You you can swim across the river. Okay. All right. We we all have super cool magic powers. We could probably mm-hmm. try to chop a tree all down right. in like no time. Hey, Grandma, hop on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Are you that serious, Shadow Cook? Yeah, get on my back. You want me to mount you? No, get on my back. Shouldn't oh. Shattercock lie on her back and then use her buoyancy to float across? <laughs> okay, that's what yes, we're, we're going to do that. Okay, so. Yes, you should. So, so okay. I, I say, get on! And then I, I basically just belly flop like, backwards <laughs> yeah. on my back. Well, so I'm you, like, um, I'm like this and my boobs hold me up. So I, my, my mouth is, the, the water's right here all, along my mouth and my boobs are like this. Yeah. So Because okay. they're basically like flotation devices. Can you like, make well, a Transformers like, noise when you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Shattercock goes in, disappears under the water, and then pops back up. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> Reaches like a whale. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, like, Grimo, come on. Let's hey, go. Grimo takes some Never of his lamp weave. oil and he like rubs it on his thighs so he doesn't chafe. It's good. Oh, nice. And, uh, okay. and then he like gets on Shattercock. Can we all ride Shattercock like a raft? <laughs> I don't know if I can. How many? How many can I hold? Yeah. You can many? definitely get Grimo. You can take maybe you know the dwarf for sure. Maybe that sounds like a that Mary, sounds like wanna, a constitution check to me. Oh. <laughs> Mary, you want to hop in my face? Yeah, kind of. But I maybe I should help Derek with these girls. So oh, yeah. Right. Girls. Right, never mind. Never mind. I'll take the girls. Well, I'll uh, take the girls. You're gonna take the girls. Yeah. I don't know if that's okay. <laughs> Unless want you want them. Do you want them? I mean, no. Whatever. Take them. I don't care. It sounds like Derek wants them. Uh, Shadowcock. Mm-hmm. I hate to be too forward. But I have to say that maybe your buoys would be uh, uh, more uh, flotatious were you to release them from the harbor, so to speak. You want me to take my top off, Grimo? I, I mean, I'm just saying that maybe. How dare you! I'm keeping my top. My top is on. Uh, I'm I, staying on. I, I respect that, Shadowcock. Jeez. I respect that. And huh. then, so we do. We, we get in the river, and then we start to float. It's like floating across. Oh. We so get, before you do that, oh, oh. Uh, Decker's going to go up to uh, oh, Grimo. Grimo. All right. Wait, hold, so hold on. So Grimo's, uh, Shattercock's in the water. Grimo's, yeah. Grimo's literally on sitting on top yeah. of Shattercock while you're talking. He's got, a, yeah, he's got a little captain's hat on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he like had it in his <laughs> So I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But since you're going to stay dry, I need you to do something for me. I'll wrestle around in my bag and pull up my laptop. I'll be like, keep this dry. If I lose this, I lose so, everything. Yeah, I a single tear sheds. <laughs> the eyes are shaking. Now I feel really mocked. <laughs> Decker, it would be my honor. Take this. So, since he's wearing cool sunglasses, you don't see, but he's grimacing in extreme pain oh, oh. to hand this over. <laughs> because he's got glasses on? Yeah. See his grimace. Oh, he's always grimacing, though. <laughs> so he's always doing that because he hates everything. But he's especially pained, even though it's really hard to tell. Just letting you know. Grimo smiles back at what he interprets. 
interprets to be Decker's smile. <laughs> <That's a little laughs> um, Man, Kremo's really bad at empathizing. Is he kind of holding on to it as he's yeah, handing it to him? Yeah, like these fingernails are digging in and leaving little claw marks as it's being pulled out of his Grimo, hand. Grimo, he takes it, he bows lowly mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. Decker, and then he takes the laptop and he like puts it between Shattercock's breasts. Oh, that's like nice. a Like yeah. a file. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so while this is all going on, can uh, myself, Mary, and Derek have been building a raft this entire time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just say that's what you were doing. Just roll, just roll with it. It's just a yeah. pile of trash. Well, let's just just roll, roll with me. Can we, can we dump roll? it into the raft? All three, of us, all three of us roll, and it depends how good the raft is. Yeah. Sure. Okay. 15. Oh, wow. oh, that's a good roll. This is better than the one from Lost. Yeah, that's a good roll. Okay, so we, we, so we just go, boat. boat's done. <laughs> they're, they're already in the water, and we find a boat behind. Hey, there's a boat behind this bush. So we're floating, and I say, "May I say, Shadowcock, you are a veritable human life preserver." That is very true, and I'm really wet. Oh boy, <laughs> Grimo, uh, he thinks to himself, "Like, nice one, Grimo. Like, like way to flirt." Oh, you're flirting with me? That's what he thinks he's doing by calling you a human life preserver. <laughs> <laughs> um, I carve on the side, "SS Professor Spider, R.I.P." <laughs> on the Shattercock? No, on the, <laughs> on the boat. boat. The yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you guys are floating to your death. You're, you're done. Um, how is Derek doing with water? Well, like, I was gonna say, how big is the boat? It can fit three people. Does he like water? Yeah. It can fit three people. And two small girls. Oh, okay. A lot, okay. a lot of dogs don't like water. Well, I was gonna say that it, it, if Derek had to swim, he could. But it would be like this. No dog paddling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait. Um, how about this? There's only enough room for two of us, two girls, and we can tie you to a rope, and you have to doggy paddle. I have to drag it across. It, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there are no oh, oors. Oh, that's so nice. You have to oh. conv- you have to convince me that it's a feat of strength. Okay. Hey, Derek. It's a feat of strength. Quirky. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So fine. I reluctantly agree to put a <laughs> rope around my waist, and then I'm I'm. Paddling like this, <laughs> so you're pa- you're taking the boat across with Decker Pulling and the girls the and, and Raxan. Uh, mm-hmm. No, not Decker. I'm, oh, Decker's okay. So right. I got so the two girls. I've Mary, because I've got Mary riding on my face. We can, we can send the boat back. Are you in on the face? No, I was building the raft, and I thought I was oh, on the raft. I think he was just I talking he was on your face. He was just. Saying he would love to uh, sit on your yeah. face, but he's tra- not. I thought you traded Mormon. spots with the girls. He he's so covered, I was going to carry one as we sw- or oh, help okay, Derek right. carry. He's them. covered in in plate mail and stuff. Yeah, that yeah. Would... Decker, how do you want to get across? <laughs> Just stand there frowning at the river. Just for the record, I would like to point out I had a teleportation stick this whole time, but, and I chose not to use it. I chose not to use it because I, I really just wanted to ride Chatter across the river. That's good. Uh, he'll just grunt and then start wading into the river, <laughs> and then like his jacket will get caught up, and he'll start and he'll like fall back to shore. And we'll just stare at the river again. All right, I think we all forge it, yeah? Yeah. You, Do we you survive? Get you get across pretty easily. We get, right. we get to the river. other side. Uh-huh. And, uh, <laughs> well, actually, everybody but Decker is across. I don't know uh, how oh, he made it sorry. across. He's, I mean, he just started Because he walk. attempted and then... Yeah, I mean, he'll we get can, into it. He can do the thing where we all lock arms, right? Oh, yeah. And okay. And grab, grab Decker. I'm saying we could. We don't have to. Odds <laughs> are he'd, like, get tied up and then, like, <laughs> end up down here somewhere. Yeah, he's, like, like a, a quarter of a mile down there. Wet leather jacket. Wash down. Coughing. Hold on. His jacket's all wet. Just coughing. So is it nighttime now, or is it day, like still daytime? Uh, no, I, we'll say you crossed it uh, early morning. Oh, okay, great. So then um, how long does it take to get to Joanne? Uh, the rest of the day, stupid. actually. Oh, the rest of the day. Decker, you displayed some true athletic prowess there. I, I mean, you must work out all the time. He well, didn't even drag a boat. <laughs> and you rolled my face. Uh, Grimo gives uh, Derek a treat. <laughs> 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 But Decker, I was so impressed with what you just did there. Uh, Shadowcock, give him the laptop. I'll give him the laptop. Turn away, grunt. <laughs> <laughs> give me the laptop. Dry turn as away a, bone. a little bit. <laughs> He'll turn turn away a little bit and then hold it up to his face. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> kind of like kind of feeling it again. Ooh, it's warm. Yeah, it's nice. Is he smelling it? Mm-hmm. He might smell it a little bit. <laughs> that smells good. It's that sort of like creepy smell that's totally obvious, but you think you can get away with when you're like 14 and slow dancing. <laughs> Rina sees Decker smelling the laptop. And he, though he he respects Decker so much, he doesn't like what he's seeing. Oh, that Decker wow, is wow. sniffing what was betwixt Shattercock's bosom. God King bleeds. <laughs> he's sitting now? Yeah. He's, he's sitting. There you go. He's having a good time over here. Well, we're <laughs> heading towards Jaya. Yeah, now we're, I guess so now we're, he's keeping. Yeah. yeah, so you spend the rest of the day hiking. Um, you remember most of this path since you did it a couple days ago. Uh, as you crest a mountaintop, uh, the sun is setting, and you see a familiar valley view. The river dividing the valley that feeds into the Rathwella 
the hills are terrace fields of rice and tea. And on the north bank, down across the valley from uh, where you're looking, you see a grouping of buildings that you remember to be Jai Yen. Mm, great. So you follow uh, some of the terrace lines of tea until you reach a trail and start moving down. Hey, that looks good. We should all get drunk. Um, <laughs> that was Mary, the thing you shouts. That's yeah. the greatest thing you ever said as our leader. Uh, I'm escorting the girls down the street. We found the girls! Who are we dealing with? Does anyone remember? <laughs> so, okay, so as, as you're going through, uh, you're, you're going down the hills, uh, getting out of their agriculture area or whatever, you see, you hear a, hey, wow! Whoa, oh my god! And a little kid runs across one of the lines and falls right in front of you. Uh, you're, you're back! You're back! Mama, they're back! And she uh, kind of gets her little tea bindle and puts it back on her head and sprints down the, the stairs, the path, uh, down to the village. Um, so yeah, you descend into the valley. Damn. There we go. Oh, oh, right. oh. Cool. So we go to the, the parents' Where, where did we come in from here? Uh, well, yeah, we'll say you come down from, okay. from there. So which one is, is the home of the little girls? Uh, the Nim her, home? They're up here. This is the Pacta home. Oh, okay. So do you guys just want to go directly um, to... Got a lot of town to get through. Let's uh, uh, the raft. Oh, sorry. We can, we can walk th- through. At a certain point, I go, uh, I go to Miri, hey, deliver these girls, give me half of whatever... Or give me the figure. Make sure I get my cut of whatever we get. So, Kids, you got it. Have a great life. Wish you all the best. And then I head <laughs> immediately to the blank <laughs> I, I head immediately to the bar. The brewery. Well, ma- oh, which the where is one of the brewery, brewery and a bar? Where's the place we wrecked up last time in the that would, fight? That would be the bar. Where, all right. So then at. I immediately head there and okay. go in and order <laughs> pairing the window and order <laughs> five <laughs> five drinks. Wow. Okay. So um, as you you walk past uh, Somchi, who is the village elder of Jiayan, yeah, yeah. who he tries to like greet you but you Got walk you walk right past. <laughs> he goes, "The gods smile upon us this Mono Ipe. Our harvest is sure to be bountiful. You've returned to us." He reaches out his arms for a hug to to Derek as he walks Just past him, him and then kind of turns <laughs> turns over to whoever's next behind him, which I guess is Miri. Miri, yeah. My, my gods, you, you found the Paca girls? It's truly a mono miracle. <laughs> oh, beautiful children. He, he runs up to the kids and grabs one. Tears start to flow from his, his eyes. It, it's impossible. <laughs> you, you are all truly the most wonderful creatures of God's green jeeb. He reaches uh, to kiss. Will you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill this guy. I know. He picks up one of the kids and, and uh, re- leans over to Decker and kind of Plops a little kiss on his on his oh, cheek and, and wow. hugs him real tight. Koli Lili, it's a true miracle. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys react to some cheating. Bartender, five <laughs> drinks. <laughs> I was like, I like Where did you're getting go? served. I want well, a yeah. drink. I want a drink, dude. Uh, I guess I'll talk to the you guy. You gotta pay for yours. Uh, what? Sorry, I got this card. Let's gives me free drinks. Did you get five drinks for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I try to talk to the. The village idiot or whatever in his, <laughs> his language. Um, Jibo by uh, <laughs> little girls are back. Uh, is there a ruru reward for us bye bye so, people? So kind of out of nowhere, uh, Saite runs yeah. runs up and oh, shoves, so shoves, shoves some shit hey. out of the way with his nub and puts his arm around Rax and he goes, "My friends, my best friends, you're back, you're back, I'm my best this. friends." I'm not touching. I'm not touching. Time He's just, out. Time out. He's just hugging. Does he still have a stick arm? Uh, no, it's back to his nub. Oh, he he time out, time out. Saite, we ain't got time for you gibberish right now. We gotta take these girls to their parents. Grimo shoves his Saite. He goes, friends, friends, on, I told girls. your tale then, far and wide in Jai Yen. Oh, the bravest, funniest, craziest group up. of yeah. badasses. <laughs> and I guess you guys are, are walking oh, past him. way past Saite. Oh, yeah. How did it go with the uh, the Saite's talking to you guys, and I'm actually following him. He's limping a lot. Trying to like talk to him, but he won't listen. Saite, these girls need to get to their family. We don't care about your gibberish and your nub. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with the other the other orc that you guys were looking for? I'm sure you like killed him good. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say we're drinking in the yeah. bar. <laughs> I, uh, I throw something. some money on the ground. Hopefully. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, he falls to his knees, digging it up. <laughs> hey, how much money? Yeah, how much money did you yeah. throw? Yeah. Note on your sheet. Uh, I threw two silver. I like oh, wow. I like him scrambling for it, and they don't even use that currency. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just like, okay, homeless. <laughs> no, no homeless. <laughs> that guy's just excited. Somebody will like compliment him, so he's trying to engage with Saite. 
So Saite will compliment him a lot. Oh man, you guys are gonna talk for hours. Yeah. So you guys taking the girls? <laughs> yeah, Miri, while he's well, Decker's dealing with that. You wanna take these girls back to their parents? Yeah, I guess we should. I'm really tempted to just go into the bar and kind of put them <laughs> on the table, but the I reluctantly back. go up to their home. You gotta sprint to the finish line. Yeah, That's yeah, are, you with, are you with us? Yeah, I'm trying to get away from Saite. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel really guilty as they're walking down the street. The kind of bar doors swing a little bit, and Miri can see in to uh, to Derek and Shattercock clinking Clink. glass. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking is great. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <exactly. laughs> oh, this is the worst. I just let out a deep sigh and keep going. Miri, Alice, do not. Fear, my friend, for soon you will be drinking the praise of having done something noble, as you are a very noble man, and I know that about you. Thanks. Uh, so are you. <gasps> for the gyre. <gasps> <laughs> Still walking. He remembered. Grimo has a new best friend, oh, no. and his name is Muriatus. Sorry, Decker. That's all right. I have a new best friend, too. Yeah, I'm you pushing You are 2,000 and late. <laughs> all right, we're at the house. So yeah, I guess as, as you're coming up, the parents kind of stream out of the house and come up running. Uh, you know, tears in their eyes. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, beautiful, wonderful creatures. You've 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 done uh, us uh, the a most solid. amazing favor. Uh, thank you for saving our children. Uh, and and the girls actually start to kind of open up finally and start sobbing and crying. Uh, their tears are a little blue. So actually, the, also people from the village have started kind of streaming in. Uh, the, the heroes have returned to the village, and this group here is actually starting to be consumed uh, by people trying to like touch them and talk to them oh, and be man. around them. Grimo is lifted on the shoulders yeah. <laughs> of Miriatus, his new best friend. Uh, I'm going to run the hide. Sure that doesn't Raxan. happen. Yeah, he's a hide. It doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Raxan pushes you guys over. Yeah. Uh, um, but then two other villagers pick you both up on their shoulders and, and parade you around. It's like a Jewish wedding. Decker will like look around Saite's shoulder <laughs> and see that people are getting lifted and he'll just. Like, <laughs> 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 like, like, do you want to see a claim? Um, I shout to the people and say, "Thank you, thank you for your praise." But we couldn't have done it with our friend Saite, who's a pedophile. <laughs> 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 Boo! They all start booing <laughs> Saite. Yeah, Saite runs. Run I, I heard my name. Uh, <laughs> Grimo says, "Is there a doctor? We have a spider that needs help." And he and he what? like gestures to Roxanne with the Professor Spider had a PhD. He was also a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> he could have fixed it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he could have saved his own death. <laughs> I didn't really say the pedophile thing. Not a metal no. stalker. <laughs> I don't, I don't. In your head, you do. These are all things that Raxan is saying. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really say the pedophile <laughs> <laughs> There we go. But yeah, is there a doctor that can help the so spider? Already been the spider is gone. I know, that's gone. a joke. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, there, there's a doctor. Uh, oh, thank God. They need to humor them because they're the heroes, so now they have to try to... Oh, I see. Once again, I feel like you're just mocking me, and it hurts. <laughs> So, squeeze, squeeze out another tear just to let him know. Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, God. oh boy. <laughs> Bartender, two more. <laughs> Clink. I oh, love drinking. This is great. <laughs> so, what's happening? So, uh, <laughs> that's let, what I asked. you guys roll with it. Is that what Raxon says out loud? We, we got a 14. Roll. What are you yeah. rolling for? We're moving. He said, roll with it. Oh. Oh. Everybody's getting curated. Get yeah, um, Decker's is like kind of always on the outside, just like waiting for people to swarm him and pick yeah. him up, but nobody's doing yeah, it. There, there's like chance of Mary at us, okay. Mary oh, wow. at us. Um, I, I get down and I, I ask the parents real quick, why are your daughters crying tears of blue? I've never seen this before. They just must be so happy. It's a, it's a oh, miracle. That's 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 okay, well there was a witch village. involved, so you might want to kill them. All right, let's go. Dream. <laughs> Dreamo's yeah. going to go down to the smithy. Oh, well, that was great. He, 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 he bows to the parents and he says, no reward necessary. I'm just glad. Can you say it in Japanese? Nah, <laughs> It's funny. Ipa, not coming. And he goes down to the smithy. Okay, so uh, back over here, uh, the village elder, Sumchi, uh, kind of tries to calm the crowd because they're just all over you guys. He goes, everyone, everyone, calm for a moment, please. Tonight is the eve of Mono Ipe. Alone enough time for us to celebrate the gifts of the earth. On this special day, our champions have returned to us and brought us the most precious gift. We have an extra reason for joy this season, Jai Yen. Keely and Loli have been rescued from the clutches of evil. 
This world is good and wonderful, people. Let us continue our celebration tenfold this year. Make our champions here feel our gratitude. We shall treat them like princes. So, you know, the people are fawning after you. Someone pulls out a big jug of drink and Ooh. is pouring drinks around. Nice. Yeah. Drinking in the streets. Free yeah. drinks. That's a nice yeah. yeah. <coughs> I- Icon Miracle? What's the name of the... Oh, it's Mono Ipe. Mono Ipe. Of course. Hey. The Eve. Hey, Shattercock. Yeah. I got these muffins. I've been carrying around these muffins I for always like see well, I wonder what they are. Do you right. want? You want? I have one of. I thought yeah. of my mom. Okay, you know, what? Uh, yeah, I'll take a. You muffin. want to try a piece of muffin? You Which kind of pizza muffin you want? You want, some, you want, some you of want? My muffin? <laughs> you got? Is it got chocolate chips? Maybe. Oh, Grimo, we he, he's the walking muffin. to the Smithies and he hears this, <laughs> <laughs> and he hears her offer to her muffin. <laughs> so Grimo's just. Listening. I was just talking. Grimo. He, he's just listening outside the bar door. Shadowcock sees Grimo. I sees Grimo. Grimo, come here and have a drink. Come here. Who are you drink. talking to? I'm yeah, talking to Grimo. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. Who? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try some of this oh, no. muffin. The whole cigarette came out. Oh no! Uh, I'll glue it back. It was glued on. Okay. I'll I'm gonna try here. some of this muffin. I think I'm gonna try this one. This one of the chocolate bits. Is that a piece? Yeah, here, you just have a piece of this muffin. Ooh, okay. What does it do? I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Chattercock eats it. All right. Uh, real, actually, is Decker still wet? Uh, it was a day. It was a big though. leather coat. Yeah, how long does leather take to dry? Probably a long Days. time. I probably smell really. Well, I, I noticed that there was a, a drying hut over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked Decker, "Hey, do you want to you want to dry if you look a little wet?" I don't take this. I don't off. think that means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> what does a drying hut do? I imagine that it would be for drying like foods and spices yeah. and, and meat. But, it, but it's it's still, yeah, no, no, I, yeah. I, I, so I no, he smells like beef jerky. So we go to the drying hut. And we, so, uh, as a, a little schwitz. <laughs> oh, De- well, so here's the problem. Decker is, <laughs> dis- despite seeming like he's in excellent phys- physical condition, <laughs> mm-hmm. Decker is actually pretty scrawny, uh, hence the giant coat that he wears. Oh, right. mm-hmm. uh, you, may, you may not know this about him, but you might be a little self-conscious about his physical appearance. Oh, yeah. So uh, he's going to refuse to take the coat off. That's uh, fine. Does he have shoulder pads um, in there? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I, I real I, I recognize this and my empathy kicks in. So I do I still have the orc head on my head? Mm-hmm. What's on my head anymore? I don't think you got anything. So I'm right I'm now. naked and I just put my helmet on and it's covering my eyes. <laughs> I put it on backwards. I'm naked. So I'm laying in the sun and I'm like, it's all good, man. And yeah. <laughs> get your sweat on. And I'm drying, but I smell like meat. <laughs> Decker tries to nod very coolly, but it looks really stupid and lame. I don't see that. Yeah. <laughs> also, since I'm wearing sunglasses, I can look wherever I want. Okay. Uh, while we're while we're in the drying hut, I'm going to look through or type through my little Wikipedia thing on my laptop and see if I can figure out what blue tears mean. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that investigation? Yeah. All it's right. an electronic band from 1982. Yeah. <laughs> blue tears. Blue tears. They're Ooh, oh impressive. shit! Oh, that's a good one. So that's 23. Holy fuck. Yeah. Um, this is the only thing results. my character is good for. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, Googling um, shit. <laughs> I, I would say the blue tears aren't tied to anything specifically, but it does click in your head that you remember the old witch mm. uh, that you guys... Uh, killed last time, having just stains of blue all over all of her clothes and some kind of long, traily stains on her face uh, where those. tears would have been. Interesting. She put right. her body into the that's that's little girl. Just just like yeah. You don't know that. You're drunk. Eat your muffin. Yeah, you, we're, dr- we're drinking. Oh, yeah. Back to the bar. Grimo's just, he's just observing them eating your these microphone. muffins. Oh, you're not going to have a drink with us, Grimo? <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, Grimo doesn't maybe need to drink the same size Come as everyone. Maybe just a thimble. A thimble. What is Mary what? doing? K. K. Uh, K. We'll get to that. <laughs> Are you buying? There, I'm just staring at the edge of the map. <laughs> I'm the hero of a giant. Okay, Grima <laughs> takes a drink and he goes, to the giant. Oh, to, the giant. to that place. Whatever, who cares? <laughs> Grima downs the whole yeah. like, pint. And that's a lot for him yeah. compared oh, to the people. Also, by the way, we ate a muffin. Yeah, so you ate a muffin? And we both had parts muffins. of the chocolate muffin. Okay, so uh, you, you actually both... <clears throat> Slowly over about uh, I don't know 10, 15 seconds, grow to ten feet tall. <gasps> okay, so you're, you're like Wait, massive. You bust through the roof of the well, well, not the roof, but you like crush the uh, furniture that uh, you're sitting uh, on. What, what happened? Why are we so Remo big? sees that this happen. <laughs> I, and he scrambles on the ground for crumbs. Uh, <laughs> and, he just starts, uh, and he's just li- he's looking at it. Are you doing that? Hey, this is some really <laughs> strong stuff. Rubbing it into his gum. Have, have you ever seen? What did you give us, Grimo, bartender? You at this have point. you ever seen boobs this big before? <laughs> oh Grimo's my like, gosh. Oh, shoot. 
Do the crumbs so, have any effect? So you actually get that inch, so you're now three feet tall. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> you always told everyone you were. Was just... <laughs> Primo, are you taller too? Why Shut are it, you huge, know this. Primo? <laughs> <laughs> Was your cigarette bigger too? Yeah, it or is. Or is it more tiny? Well, it's, it's bigger. Um, we're going to need but... bigger glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, barkeep shows up with two like you know mini kegs for each of you. Oh, oh, yeah. The jams I handle. <laughs> We're giants. That's so cool. <laughs> Grimo is drinking finally from the the size of a mug that a, a real a, a normal sized yeah. person would use. Yep. Still a little big. Yeah. Yeah. Because usually he drinks from like a shot glass or like a thimble for a shot oh, glass. Oh wow, we are having a great time in that bar. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we have all the yeah, yeah. smashing Mary, shit. They don't care. Yeah. Yeah. We're just knocking stuff Mary's over. just staring at yeah. them. So yeah, yeah. Mary's still engaged in conversation with the like, parents. Yeah. Yeah. Taking every yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that, and, that and I'm, I'm taking as many free drinks from the villagers as I can. Uh, uh, <laughs> so the so the the dad has just been talking to this whole time. He's like, oh yeah, we've been having a good harvest here. Yeah, good times. You know, sometimes the sky gets a little dark and you know it feels in the the uh, old cows, uh-huh. the milk's uh-huh. gone bitter. You know how that goes? Yeah, yeah you know, you oh, know how that goes, hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's so, yeah, he's I, putting I, his I, hand on him. Like. The uh, daughter of some cheat, uh, Nimpana, who actually runs the local brewery, walks up to Miri uh, with a huge jug and a giant mug, hands them both to him. He goes, this is uh, Gosse, uh, a milky honey liquor drink that we drink this time of year. Ooh. All so right. you start, you know, overflowing awesome. your drink while you're downing them all. <laughs> awesome. So uh, I keep the keg? Or is she just no, she thinks It's it. like a big carafe or so. Oh, okay. They, they make this milk liquor in huge bats. So can I, oh. can I, no, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 please, please, please finish your story and then we'll come You're back a to dwarf the of the highest honor, Myriadis. Drink with us. And uh, she downs a huge gulp too. Awesome. So I, I do the same thing and then... I keep the craft, or she just handed it to me to pour a drink. But she's not taking it back from you. Okay. You can drink straight from it if you want. All right. Well, thank you. No, I pour in a mug, and then I kind of keep it over my shoulder, and I'm like, I'm going to go see what my companions are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Can but, I but, but excuse myself? But before you leave, you know, okay. they, they keep trying to engage you in yeah. conversation and I'm not let you go. Get, I'm starting to get tipsy. Yeah. 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 These are the worst types of people. <laughs> <laughs> just say goodbye. Yeah, they're just overly thankful. They, they don't want to leave your presence. Okay. Can I just keep backing up and see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're backing up and back into the village, and they're just following you. Like, hey. Oh, no. yeah, you don't want to bump into <laughs> oh, no. nightmare number two. Uh, is he being chased out by a mob yet? Or? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So I just got a file. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what I want to do is I kind of keep backing up. I eventually lose them. I want to go like I'm going to go into the bar, and then I turn in there, and I see that they're huge. <laughs> Really? You get shorter. I kind of I look at the drink she gave me, and then I, I just go into the shrine. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, we don't want no little guys oh, hanging with us, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you befooks. Let me tell you. You befooks are my two favorite people in the befooka party. Yeah, yeah. You're the best. No, Jaya Kaki, you're the best. Yeah, you're the best. You know who's the best? Dex. You know who's the best? Decker. Decker's the best guy in the whole world. <laughs> what are you doing? What is your problem? I'm not crazy about Decker. <laughs> what? Decker? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't be the most popular guy here? All right, all right. You know I what? thought you were into Miri now. Well, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do it for her. To Decker. To Decker. To Decker. Yeah, the best whatever. guy we know. Coat in the world. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, did you know it's like mono Ipo here? Hmm? Mono, my APA? You have what? mono? Yeah, I heard him tune outside. It's like big holiday. <laughs> what? Yeah, Shycock, I'm gonna give you a present for the holiday. Oh, what kind of present? <laughs> He pretty much just keeps laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, out, you out really this, know how to pick up a <laughs> Out in the streets, uh, after I guess the commotion of you guys coming back has calmed down, uh, the people kind of get back to work. They do seem to be preparing for like a festival. Uh, they're you know getting meat going on grills and, and pulling fruit and bread and whatever together. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of putting stuff together in, in a in a. Space over here, kind of an open space where everyone's starting to gather. Mm-hmm. Okay. You smell that? It yeah. smells like meat. <laughs> where there's meat, there's bones. So then we both duck underneath the uh, the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just a silhouette of a giant man? <laughs> a giant woman, a yeah. giant tiefling woman. Dog Get all my tail to be like hitting Grimo in the face. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, come on, there's food. Let's go. Grimo does a combat roll. Uh, <laughs> and then Meat! <laughs> so we go towards the where the barbecue was. Sweet. All right, so um, Sue Tor, uh, her, her and her brother uh, walk up to Shattercock, kind of tug in this boar after them. Um, Shattercock, Shattercock, it would honor us if you would make the first cut on our Mono Buto this year. Two villagers uh, help them, kind of, they, they pull this boar over in front of you and hand you like a ceremonial knife. Oh, Our feast will be so spectacular this year. Please do us this honor. All right, well, Shattercock's not very good with knives. Uh, yeah. And also, Shattercock's really dry. He's my orc ripper. Uh, so now Shattercock's had a knife and an orc ripper? Yeah. But they're both really tiny for yeah. 10 foot yeah. hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, so kind of holding it like this. Yeah. Swing away, Shattercock. Uh, uh, does it, where do I make the first cut? Where does the first cut normally go? I think you cut it, cut the head off. Cut We're going to eat that first. Cut the head off? Is that what Sutor or whatever your name was? Is that what it is? Yeah, go right under the neck. <laughs> and she <laughs> swings and absolutely totally misses. Uh, hits Derek a little bit in the foot. <laughs> and the other and the other cut goes basically... Chops off only the the ear of the boar. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, oh, did I so so it? the the boar squeals and actually kind of gets away and starts running down the street. Uh, oh. Shattercock goes chasing after it to go to go get the boar. She catches it. She because she's ten feet tall. Yeah, okay. uh, she, she's ten feet tall. He's making all the calls. She grabs she grabs <laughs> boar. I can roll for it if you want. You want, me, want me to roll for it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. you're, you're chasing after the boar down the street. Look out for that yeah. greased we'll, we'll pig. Yeah, yeah, we got a swine on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, we'll give you advantage since you're 10 feet tall. Okay, that's a six. So you roll again for advantage. Oh, all right, here we go. 11. Okay, yeah, you, get the, you get the you get the thing. All right, I get the board. But it's all greasy, right? Yeah. So then she's getting greasy. Yeah. And, oh, oh, yeah. You're a little bit bloody, too. I'm a little bit bloody. I'm kind of turned big. on. God, this is boar porn. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting yeah. So I'm wrestling the boar back towards the barbecue. Okay. Yeah, somebody else should do this. I got way too drunk for this. Becker's going to lean out with a piece of beef jerky on his head. <laughs> <laughs> just lean back in. <laughs> um, Mr. Derek, could you do the honors? Ow. There's an axe in my I'm foot. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ow. Okay. It's, it's little. Your big hair is just, uh, just take it back. Gonna, I, he rips it, but then Shattercock rips it out of my foot. Ow! <laughs> yeah, here. Uh, you take a damage. Ow! I took a damage. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Derek. I'm really sorry. Uh, I, pe- I peek out, and I see um, Matthew Boar, as I have named him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I run out, and I just hug him. Oh. Uh, like, good to see you again. And I run back. <laughs> <laughs> and I bring the axe down. Okay. Does it kill me? Yeah, do a 20. <laughs> You're just right in the way. Oh, oh no. It goes Critical right back failure. into the hole in my yeah. foot. <laughs> <laughs> We're way too <laughs> drunk. Uh, before I leave, we go, call me. <laughs> we are way <laughs> too the boar. drunk. the Yeah. Okay. He's an old friend. So Derek missed. I missed. Grimo's. Grimo, 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 you're our last hope. Yeah, here we go. Grimo <laughs> takes his little knife and he just starts stabbing the oh. boar like a billion times. Oh, <laughs> Time for celebration. <laughs> it's, it's squealing and oh. blood is, you're covered in blood. <laughs> the boar's not is even dead and he goes, dinner's ready. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> on the ground, bleeding out. <laughs> oh. We are your champions. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother Eva. <laughs> and he eats the pig's ear. And that <laughs> oh, yeah. Raw. All right. So they 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 take the boar off and put it yeah. you know, over a fire. <laughs> whatever. Like, whatever's left. Burn him alive. God. <laughs> as well. So okay. um, Saite actually pokes his head in the in the drying hut. <laughs> you guys are trapped. Does he block the? <laughs> yeah, you're trapped. He's kind of standing in the doorway. A wet blanket. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he shows up with a giant craft of the gosse and uh, hands cups to Decker and Rax and starts pouring. I check if it's yeah. for feed first. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll wave him in. How's he doing it? Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Well, he, he puts down the carafe and then hands them the glasses. Can I, can I add a little, little attachment? I was, gonna, I was gonna say, can I add to the lore that yeah. he has almost like, <laughs> like a screwdriver, like an interchangeable screwdriver attached to his, his nub, yeah. And he can just, so he put like a, a serving <coughs> tray, but it, it locks in and so he's holding it. So now he's better. Okay. Yeah. He's like, he's he's like a gadget. And all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's utter pain every time he attaches something. It's just, it's, oh, it's, it's, it twists it's the, the skin inside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gonna grind in. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's not going to stay. So he, yeah. he, can he always be wincing when he's just like, hey. He's always like, but he's trying to be a badass like you guys. Of so he, he covers it up a little bit. Yeah, so. he's missing all sorts of limbs, right? 
He does all right with covering it up, but you can see the grimacing. Okay. Uh, Decker so, recognizes a good grimace. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate a good grimace. So he's trying to give us a drink? Yeah, so he gives you a drink. Um, and he's pouring into uh, Decker's cup. Mm. He goes, so we have another tradition here in Jayen. On Mono Eve, the children of the village leave out little sweets for Kadulf, a happy old sun elf, who in return leaves little gifts for the treats and treats for the good little children. That's petter talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It is. So some um, some little children actually kind of flow in behind him into the drawing um, hut. Yeah, and they're, they're kind of giggling and laughing. Is it Raxan naked? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I no. He has the helmet on. <laughs> I, have, I have a drumstick over my cock. Oh, yeah. Gosh. There you go. So, what? Yeah, you're not. So the dad. little children put a hat on you. Oh, look at that! Oh, nice. His his expression doesn't change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has greasy hair. Yeah. So Codolf is a lover of all things, especially children. This year it was going to be my honor to put uh, to help the little kids of the village and uh, play Codolf for them. But please, this year, do us the honor. And come sit next to the fire and play coddle for the kids. Oh, so are they gonna sit on his naked lap? Is that well, no, I'm it's naked. Decker's yeah. Oh, Decker's on. Yeah. Oh, Decker doesn't take off. Conscious his, about his yeah. body. Just oh. super sweaty under a leather jacket. Yeah, in the sweat tent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good and, to sit on that. And just kind of greasy and gross looking. Uh, my my great axe is now oh, so he'll <laughs> junk because <laughs> I realize the weird situation side has put us all in. <laughs> so Decker will stand up. Just, you're saying I get candy? He's having to get a meat. No, absolutely. <laughs> That's his tradition. <laughs> All right, let's go. So you kind of walk to the clearing up here. Come, children. Tell me how great I am. <laughs> so, yeah, the children line up. Um, one by one, and they have you kind of sit next to this fire, and they all come and sit in their lap and, and tell you what they want from Mono Ipe. He's a mall sandwich. All proud of it. And then so I'll, 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 they'll get about a half sentence into what they want to be like, shut up. I want a pony. Yeah, give me your candy. A pony? <laughs> yep. Okay, and he hands you like a little, a little go, sugar great. bun. Next. What'd you want again? Pony, whatever. You got it. Get out of here. <laughs> I'll shovel them off. I'll be eating. Yes. All right, next. I want, I want a dolly. Yeah, I want whatever. a new dolly. Let it, hold on. Pay up first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he hands you like a, a dried fruit. Oh, I hate this. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, Decker's awesome. the worst. Yeah. All right, next. So uh, Saite looks over at Raxon, walks back to the hut, kind of pokes his head in. <laughs> Uh, so you get to do it. together again. Huh? <laughs> <He's pranced out. laughs> I'll, I'll join you. Yeah, and he strips oh, completely. No. Yeah. Sits down next no. to you. Uh, how, Puts uh, his nub arm up on your how shoulder. Visible, how visible are his scars? <laughs> oh, very. Okay. He's horribly burned every, on him. most of his body. He's oh boy. Uh, I, I just go. Uh, how you doing, uh, friend of friends? <laughs> so I try not to throw up. <laughs> Kadolf, uh, he always had little gnome helpers, and he pulls a little oh, hat out of his stuff and, okay. and puts a hat on you. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay. So they, I'm still naked. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Kadolf's little gnome helpers uh, run around in the streets completely naked and sing, yeah. sing songs and dance and perform little magic tricks uh, okay. for the children All while right. secretly judging them. Mm. I'm the naked one, but I'm judging them. <laughs> you, you don't have to do it naked. That's just the holiday. tale. Okay. I mean, I, I have what would be the equivalent of a fantasy uh, banana hammock. Okay. Yeah, I'm wearing one of those. It had a leather? I don't know. Yeah. I guess maybe it's I... It's one steel plate. I mean, maybe I use some of the Gotta meat breathe skin. On it first. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, it's like, it's maybe some leftover boar. A uh, bikini? Just... Yeah, there we go. Grima <laughs> a boar sees there you go. Decker, and, and he sees the hat, and he sees the kids, and, he, and it reminds him of the gyre holiday, oh. uh, Mimatuk, oh. where the old cheermeister Jibawu would have children <laughs> come and... Racist uh, <laughs> 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 really, really not okay. Jibawu? Uh, oh, yes, what? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 It's when the bamboozled. Uh, <laughs> uh, old, the old, the old cheermeister Jibawu is. I mean, I Chibawu. Oh, every time. Chibawu or Jibawu? <laughs> Chibawu. Oh, okay. I know what you're thinking, Bruce, but that's your problem. That's that's your. <laughs> that's me. That's my that's racism. Your racism. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so then uh, Grimo goes and he, he he tears start streaming, streaming on his face because he's reminded of home. So then he runs and he jumps on Decker's lap. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you bring about? me a treat? Oh, I guess at this point I'm standing next to him with my hands over my junk, yeah. like holding your balls. Yeah, yeah, almost, that's right. You're almost like an enforcer. Smile. <laughs> yeah. So I said, next. Decker, Keep it quick. Can I tell you what I wish for? What? I wish you were my 
Dad. Oh, God, get her out of here. Okay. <laughs> that's enough. That's enough, sir. <laughs> Where are your parents? Where are your parents? I, 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 I don't, I'm telling you. I, uh, I treat next time. Yeah, I, I, I uh, enforce Grimo out into the meat hut and toss his drunk ass in there. Oh, no. <laughs> next to Saite. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's <laughs> naked? So Saite pulls out another hat and yeah. pops it on uh, Grimo's oh, head. No. There we go. So they, uh, he kind of grabs them up. That you put on a little bit of clothes or whatever, and they walk out of the hut. A little bit. Um, right. Some little kids are, are nearby, and he's telling Grimo about the Cotolf's little gnomes. And he goes, so the gnomes, while performing tricks and dances, uh, will secretly judge the children. And uh, if you're bad, little boy or girl, the gnomes report back to Shegwe, who comes in the night just after Cotolf. Shigwe tosses the rotten little kids in his sack and steals them away. Oh, he pulls out their fingernails and then eats them. Ha <laughs> ha And kind of sp- spooks the little kids. Very Krampus. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not how Chibawu does things. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm offended or not. Take <laughs> no, a look at the line. You hear that, kids? <laughs> <laughs> you better brought your A game today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have, to do, I have to do a pre-interview before they go up on the lap. You could, how, however you want to handle your duties. Uh, okay. Judging these children. Uh, bring on the first child. I'll do. The, I'll conduct the interview. But I, I want to tell Kadolf about the dolly that I want. Okay, but what makes you better than the rest? <laughs> um, I'm pretty and smart and funny. What would you say is your worst attribute? Probably too pretty. Okay. Um, Look, little girl. You cannot judge yourself just by your appearance. These are things that society has indoctrinated you to think that that's all you're worth, but you're more than that. You're smart. Get up on this man's lap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cut Decker Cut. Yeah, whatever. What? Decker Claus? <laughs> Decker yes. Claus. Uh, what, what, what? I forget. All right, time's up. <laughs> Don't waste my I, time. I throw her in the meat hut. Oh. <laughs> that is tradition. Again, you know, she see screams. that, kids? If you, if you panic, you're going in the meat hut. <laughs> Get on your game. So that's it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, what you guys, I mean, the, this kind of going on. What about Miri? I got to wait for Miri. Still drinking in the shrine. Still drinking in the shrine, huh? What's in the shrine, by the way? I'm kind of just uh, the first one in there. Uh, say a few idols and sculptures kind of from different gods. Is Miri alone? I guess he's in there by himself. Uh, there's probably some stray it's cats. Christmas mirror. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. I'm, just, I'm getting drunk. I'm kind of... Just drinking that craft and just kind of reflecting on things and trying to get pious and then hanging out with the cats. The cats, some of the cats are nice, so I'm petting them. Derek, Derek comes yeah. running up. Yeah, he go. sniffs something, <laughs> and then I'll he follow. comes sprinting I'll over there. I'll follow. And giant Derek comes crashing into the shrine and You're it's causing shit all everywhere. Uh, causing all the cats to go. Well, and Santa Claus in there just too. Banging into, hey, where are those cats? Hey, I saw, I saw, I saw some cats. I smelled some cats in here. Where are those cats? What are you doing? Scared away my, they were purring, man. Where'd they go? Man, come with us, come on. Just come with us, we'll go drink over somewhere else, come on. Fine, I was no, Mary, let's gonna go. pray, but I'll do come that later, on, I guess. It'll be fun. All right. Will you follow us out? Yeah, I'm right. just following you. You have to drag Still me. Still carrying oh, yeah, the breath. Yeah. Okay, I'm like Shadow pulling, dragging. Pulling, pulling. Yeah, hey, come on, the cats are gone. No so as you're walking away, one kind of does like come around the corner and oh. stares at you the whole way. Here, don't worry. You're 10 feet tall, they're tiny little cats, don't worry about it, it's okay. Don't scare them. Don't worry about the cats, they're friendly, it's okay. Come on, let's go. Some of them were. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. So we all, we all meet up with this, yeah. right. what the fuck, they, like all of us are like, what the hell is going on? We walk past an internment camp of crying kids in the drawing room. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all wearing hats. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. must be this hard to ride Decker. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, kids. I'm uh, I'm collecting fast passes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pile of sweet bread next to me, and I'm just casually chewing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? What what is this? It's uh, tradition. Pedro Saite wants the kids oh, getting up on time. Jack Lab. Yeah, what? Dude, so I heard somebody say Chibulus. Uh, yeah, Chibulus Chibu- and Jack Laps. <laughs> yeah, I know. God. <laughs> I'm just staring at you guys. I'm like, I know I'm short, but are you guys taller than normal? No. no. What? Oh, how'd you? No. No, I think so. We always are. I've always been this height. <laughs> you look a little taller, but. Not I, the same. I, what are you kidding me? You fucking kidding me? 
Tom Tyler. Man, bro. What is all going on when children are around? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all wasted. Wow, what a beautiful scene. <laughs> all right. Imagine Shander Cox is like standing over the line. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. straight up in her vagina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like wind over a bottle. All right, all right. Festivities. 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 I think that's as much bit as we can bit out of that bit. <laughs> well, something else happens. No, no, okay. So, um, I learned about all the children's <laughs> worries, or half of them at least, before I kick them out. Are we, are we on the last child now? Yeah, yeah, we'll They've see. have been waiting for four hours. <laughs> All right. Last last kid's done. Okay. Good. Decker stands right, up. Here, here Job go. well done. Okay. All right. I'll escort you over to the meat hut. Primo yeah. validates his I'm parking. <laughs> <laughs> Picking up all my like, oil machine. Yeah. Fruit and treats and stuff. And then I, I like turn my jacket into like that little like apron hammock and I'm like piling everything in there and they're just kind of walking off with it. Yeah. All right. So the behind you, the, the great big fire, uh, it blazes up. Smoke starts to fill the air. Side uh, fall on it. <laughs> 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 Flames uh, turn. We're quietly pouring lamp oil on them all day. And we just turn them. Used to be burned. See the the flames uh, turn dark red and flare up and then extinguish. Uh, sm- kind of smoke fills the air, but the place goes dark. All the lights go out. All the fires oh. go out. Why is it so dark? Hello. Do you ever see the fire? You have dark vision, and it should be really good now. So you, you start to hear screams. You hear ah oh oh my god. And uh, yeah, who does have dark vision? I do, and so is Mir. But you're also drunk, so. Yeah, I'm a little drunk, though. So I'm seeing Dark double, double vision. I'm seeing yeah. double everything. Decker quietly takes out a rice ball and starts eating it. So, uh, yeah, smoke fills the air. You hear screams. Uh, those of you that can actually see, uh, see this large elven figure, a horrible demon with wooden skin and two huge thorn-like horns. It has razor-sharp teeth, and its massive tongue writhes like a snake. The creature has talon-like fingers, and its left hand clutches a sack. Three scrawny, naked little orange-skinned goblins scatter from around it, running in all directions. They're chasing after the children. Uh, awesome. did anybody yeah. see that? <laughs> um, well, yeah, what I the... go, well, you saw it, so. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm asking. And, I go, and then I go, so that'd be cool. Oh, jeez. It's more sweet Napoleon art. So yeah, this thing is nasty, kind of kind of heaving and uh, cool. chasing after little children. Okay. So I think That's that some... Christmas legend is real. Well, it's yeah. not called Christmas. It's called Chickaboo. I'm sorry. Chickaboo. Yeah. No. Wasn't a gyre. Chickaboo. Chickaboo. Chickaboo is the gyre Santa Claus. Yeah. So all these little ones will be little children. Uh oh. That they're chasing after. Oh, the, oh, the no. orange ones are children. Yeah, the little orange ones are markers. children. Okay. Guys, 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 guys! We gotta help out the kids. They're getting taken. Okay, I take one of them to the meat hut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ahead, Ironically, packing them all in the meat hut was actually good for them. So yeah, you, you hear more screams and see villagers kind of being tossed around and to the side. You hear screams of, Shai Gui! Shai Gui! Shai Gui grabs a little boy and lifts him up by the ankle and stares into its eyes. It growls, wicked, and tosses it into its sack. Nice. Whoa. Looks around and kind of runs after another child. So this, this whatever this thing is right here is going to be our... our Shai, Shai Gui. Shai Gui, yeah. So he, he grabs another kid and just, naughty, liar, and then tosses it in a sack. Ugh, that's what you kinda, do. Kind of like, <laughs> guys, looking we, gotta, around. we gotta help, we gotta help the kids, they're getting, they're getting abducted. <sighs> Grimo shoots an so, arrow so with his short bow. Oh, at can that Grimo see in the dark? Nice. Uh, oh, so it's completely dark. Yeah, it's dark, it's lit. dark, all, all the flames went out. Uh, so only dark vision people can actually see what's going on, other than hearing screams. Cool. Okay, I guess I'll use my tinder box and like, Light a torch then <laughs> instead. Okay, let's uh, roll for initiative if we're gonna start. All right, all right, let's do it. You don't want to barter with the thing. Nope. Despite so, I will roll for initiative, but Decker is still not convinced that he should interfere. Yeah. Okay. Just a, yeah. All right. Uh, four. Um, seven. You get a thing? No, a thing. Twenty-three. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Mary. Seventeen. Nothing great. Nineteen. Six. Do any of your spells illuminate? Like I've got a, I got don't. fire. Yeah, I uh, think burn the village down. My, <laughs> mine don't. That's for sure. Also, yeah, from from people who can't see his perspective, there's just like this demon voice and a lot of a lot screaming. of children screaming. Yeah. Yes, yeah, which is pretty cool. But both Mary and I can see. And that's like a campfire we're around there. Uh, yeah, it went out. You can smell. They knew what was coming, man. They're all inside. Deer could passed out, right? He woke up when oh, okay. you, you, when Shattercock was screaming. screaming yeah. oh, no. All right, Saitae's in there. there. He's, He's back. back. Fucking Dragging awesome. us down. Notice oh. his initiative roll was the worst. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did get a one. <laughs> he can't roll. Oh, Saitae. His and uh, he can have another attachment that's like a little cup, and then he just rolls the, the next. Dice. The next episode, <laughs> he's going to be in a wheelchair. Do? Just. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. He's gonna go down on Shattercock. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> There's not like a long a... capacity for that. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a tinderbox and oil and all that. So I'm going to relight that fire in the center mm -hmm. using those. Um, and th th I'll, I'll assume will be my bonus action because then I will shoot my short my short sword at that creature. Oh, a big one. Yeah, with my... You're shooting your short sword? I'm shooting my short sword. Okay, we'll say because you're using it as a bonus action that you're starting to light the fire and you get just, just enough glimpse to shoot. Who are you trying to shoot at? That big guy. Okay. Okay. So 19 Woo. plus 5. Ooh. Wow. Dirty. That definitely gets him. Yeah. <laughs> Downs him in one hit. And then nine. Jesus. Ooh, nice. Boy, that was a good hit. Nine. Yeah, I know. Nice it unexpected. It's a mono ipe miracle. I'm going to be saying that a lot. <laughs> yeah, Decker keeps saying that. Everything yeah. that happens. He's muttering it under his breath every turn. All right, Decker. It's still pretty dark. Yeah, I was going to say, what can I see? Is this fire uh, lit? You should probably come no, it, it, it No, yeah. it is I'm wearing starting to go. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can see a couple of feet around you. And you hear, oh, of course, screams, and there's smoke everywhere still start from the fire. swinging wildly, see what happens. Um, I mean, could I cast fire on the fire and make it more fireable? Sure. Okay, I'll do that. I'll just, I'll, I'll take a bite out of whatever, like, sweet bun I have, chew that for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll cast fire bolt. Um, well, since I'm casting it on something that's not sentient, do I need to roll anything? No, we'll just uh, roll for the sake of rolling here. All right. Do a 20 for me. Ooh. Oh. Is that Nine. A Okay, yeah, that works. All right. All right, so that in combination with you starting to light the fire, we'll say uh, it goes up. Maybe some other villagers are starting the other fires. So you, you all can start to see a little bit more here. Oh, cool. Uh, we'll call that Decker's turn unless you want to move. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm trying to see how this plays out. <laughs> you <laughs> just want a better view? As of, usual, Decker's kinda, just yeah. going to hang back. I'm just the curious. children being snatched? Yeah. All right, Mary. All this right. Should be, should be, uh, so, hard. Dan, tell me if this all makes sense. I don't know if I can do this. All at once. I want to use my Divine Smite, which expends a spell slot. Um, but I don't think it's actually like casting a spell. It's just kind of, I it's use like it. It's like an action kind of, like a yeah. special ability you have. Okay, so that would be my, I could only use that as the action and, and that's it. Or so isn't do, Divine Smite attached to an attack of some kind? It's when I do a weapon attack, yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't know if I had to like... Summon it, and that counted as an action. And no, it, then it'll attack. all be like if you wanted to walk up and divine smite something. Okay, that would be your attack. Okay, well, I want to do that, but I can't. I I can't cast a spell also that's separate, right? That's going to be a separate action. Correct. Okay. Um. Okay. Then, so I just sort of am reacting to this. Shocked, I kind of go ah, and I I go up to that big guy, and I divine smite him with my. Sword, my long sword. There it is. Uh, which is what is that? I get closer to God. D eight. Oh, I have to roll for. Although, wouldn't a dwarf god be in the ground? Ah. Oh boy. Three. <laughs> no. Apparently, I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> oh yeah. What does the divine smite add to that? Well, I I wouldn't hit him, so it doesn't okay. matter, right? Correct. So you didn't use it, so that's good. Does that is that how it works? Yeah, you you didn't connect on your attack, so you're mm. you're not smiting him at all. All right, all right. Fire. We'll let you keep that one. Cool. <laughs> Look up the actual rule next time. So yeah, this guy he'll, he'll turn around oh, after you no. missed him. Wildly. He's going in the sack. <laughs> <laughs> so his his childlike his, his <laughs> tongue goes right into your face and you know, it punches you. Cool. Um, like tongue punches. Does it have you? a comical boxing punches. glove on the end of it? <laughs> We've all been there. I think he's your girlfriend now. <laughs> So uh, six six damage. Ooh, that's a big tongue punch. Oh, wow. Um, it, so and then uh, with its hand that's not got the sack, it tries to claw you in the face. Holy oh, shit! Good God! It gets to roll for each one of its appendages. Miri's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Divine <laughs> smut. Miss. <laughs> Claws him right down. <laughs> we are kind of disturbing natural order of what I imagine happens annually during See, the holiday. See, you, you have to respect the local culture. <laughs> <laughs> Another reason for you not to do anything. Yeah, right. And it's the way these kids seem shitty, too, right? is the thing. They lied. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that that kind of claw goes right past your face. Oh, good. Oh, close. Ooh, close. But it does go into your shoulder. Yeah. It takes through your heart. heart. Yeah. <laughs> so this goblin runs up to this kid, he grabs him, and runs him in this direction. <laughs> All the kids are terrible. Well, um, let's see. This guy will grab this kid benevolent. and run over here. 
Oh, okay. Is there another bring goblin him back out the there? Sack. They're bringing him back to the sack? Yeah, yeah there's another one there. there. Okay. Yeah, he's going to run over to this kid. Gotcha. Is there one innocent cop. kid in there okay. that's just like smug as hell? Possibly. Okay, we'll see. So the first thing I noticed is that uh, Grimo's hat fell off. <laughs> Grimo, what happened to your hat? I don't hat? think it fell on the fire when I was laying it. I don't think it did. I see it right there. Oh. I'm going to pick this up. Uh, this is good improv. There you go, Grandma. You want to put this oh, on? Oh, sure. You should put it on. Grandma, you sure you want to put this on? It looked good on you, baby. Oh, it looked better on you, baby. Oh, yeah, you look great. First roll is no butt. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then I put the hat on. Um, Sweet. And oh, that looks great on you, Shadowcock. I can't believe I almost fell on the fire. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't believe I almost fell on the fire. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It suits you. It suits you. So then I shoot, let's see here. I shoot Ray of Frost at. Let's shoot it at the Shy Gwei. That's a, a at, at the big guy there. Right on. Um, does Ray of Frost Love him work? in Twin Peaks. Ray of Frost. A frigid beam of blue white light streaks towards a creature within range. <laughs> range spell attack against the target. On a hit, it takes 1d8 cold damage, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet. Gotcha. Uh, I would run right. further, but I can't. <laughs> can't get to all those kids now. 16. Oh, yeah. Plus, um, plus your range spell attack. Was it attack. two plus? I think it's charisma then? Yeah. So, Six. Holy shit. Good God. Yeah, so 22. So yeah, that works. Um, and then also, I'm using uh, meta magic. So I'm using an empowered spell. So what that does is when you roll damage for a spell, you spend one sorcery point to re-roll a number of the damage dice up to your charisma modifier. Okay. So basically... So if you roll and don't like it, you can... Bingo. Um, and this is 1d8. And I always forget, is it... I think it's this one? Is it this This the guy? This one? This one. This one. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. So. I'm going to re-roll that for nice. sure. Um, it's if one source to re-roll a number of the damage dice up to your charisma mm-hmm. mark, so it's just only one. Okay. Please be better. It is. Whatever, just barely. Three. <laughs> so, three damage. Cool. And then uh, it slows it down, though. So, Shigway can slow them down by ten feet until the start of my next turn. Okay. Fraxen's oh. turn. Oh, okay. Um, so... <laughs> I oh look. I look around and I see the. What did you uh, do? <laughs> I'm, well, my goal right now is to uh, like rescue these kids because that seems to be what they're going after. They're not attacking us. So I see the um, the hollowed out boar from earlier, but it's uh-huh. just like it's like a skin bag now. So I pick that up, and my goal is to pick up these three kids and throw them in the bag so I can have three of them at okay. the same time. Okay, we'll say so you can get two of them. <laughs> okay, I grab. I go for two. Can I? Can I just have to roll for it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm rolling to grab two of them. Uh, that's uh, nine uh, plus. Maybe what's your strength? kid grabbing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe even snatching. My uh, what's my strength? My strength <laughs> plus five. All right, you got them. I got both of them. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be honest. I thought you were gonna dive into okay. that sack and wear it like. A- no, no, no. So I got the sack. Um, and do I have? Can I still move? Um. You can move, we'll give you three squares. Okay, so I move three squares and I throw the sack to the demon. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the faster they finish, the faster they'll leave. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Derek, what are you doing, buddy? Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> What's your I'm, character's alignment? Neutral. <laughs> yeah. Sure. He likes I, to stay out. No, someone things, said it, though. It's like, part. this is their tradition. We probably shouldn't be uh, fucking yeah, with it. Yeah, You guys immediately start firing arrows into Santa, basically. Well, they're, stealing, yeah. they're stealing children, so... I think yeah. that's probably <laughs> the best way. Where are the children? Where are the parents? We, we don't know that it's they're called all... eugenics, We man. don't know that they're all naughty. Well, he'll judge them. Hey, <laughs> if he judges a kid innocent and then puts it in you the sack, what? then we can interfere. This sounds like a giant problem. Uh-huh. Yeah. We also um, don't get any experience, just so you're... <laughs> Huh? All aware. I'd be more worried about Saite around my kids. I mean, these guys, <laughs> He's a rumor. I need to get a new sack. <clears throat> um, I shout at Saite, uh, what's going on? I have no idea. I've never seen this before. Something horrible is happening. That creature's stealing our children. Sounds like it isn't Help. a tradition. You're right, Help. Saite. <laughs> and so then I'm going to get it. Get it. I'm going to move towards this zone? guy. Yeah. Oh, well, not from here, but he's been here for a while. Oh, he's a He's Not welcome. He's a tourist. He's a tourist. He's a tourist. He's a tourist. Yeah, he kind of just showed up and wouldn't leave. Up here? I yeah. I got my two axes different. out, and I'm going to recklessly attack. Okay. Uh, when did you get advantage? Yeah. Seven. Sixteen. Damn. Um, that's the one. Plus three, I'm assuming, or get, attack yeah, bonus, orc ripper, plus two. So, that's... Okay, 18? so so one of them will hit. What? Oh no! Okay, no, no I, you got I, advantage, you got right? Advantage. You got it for both. Yeah. Okay, so then are they orc? No, they're at all. Ones. All right. Well, I'm still gonna swing at them twice. Nice. <laughs> uh, six, 
Seven total, I guess. Or do I add strength? Oh, uh, you add your strength. All right, so then ten. All right, yeah, you just destroy that. Ooh, thing. annihilate! Just it. gone? Yeah, yeah. So just into wanna... bits. Um, all right, so then I do. He's busy carrying the kid, and I just run up behind him, and then I, I almost tripping over myself, bury one one axe into the top of his head, and the other into his lower half, and then I rip it apart. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Split it. And then up all, the but all the blood and stuff splatters all over the child who's standing there. <laughs> it just it's covers him in it. Yeah, the kid falls to the ground. It's sort of crying, but also sort of happy that it's mm-hmm. not in the clutches He'll of He'll be explaining this to a therapist. Nasty little goblin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, they're, less, they're ten or less in, yeah, in right. strength, yeah. so... We can wipe out these goblins real quick. So much easy experience. So Saite is kind of slowly coming to realize what's going on. Shai Gui, that, that's just a, just a myth, a tale we tell the kids to keep them in line. Oops. See, Decker? <laughs> <laughs> Raxhead's looking at the sack. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he makes it over here and kind of pulls one of the, the sack children right behind him. Sack children. And uh, he's, got, he's got his one long spear, or actually I guess he didn't. Have any weapons on him since he was partying? Here's that serving tray. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the, <laughs> that metal tray kind of tries to slap upside the head oh, of, of Shai Gui. It's gonna hit Mary. I was gonna say he's not. He's gonna miss and do damage. He's gonna fall in the fire. <laughs> yeah, uh, get super hot. So the, the, the tray, arm the tray hits the the side of uh, Shai Gui's head, but doesn't do anything. Oh. Yeah. Good old Saite. Good, good job, Saite. <laughs> yeah. uh, Grimo. Useless piece of shit. I'm gonna <laughs> shoot another bow at Shai Gui. Whoa. Wait for it. So that's that fifteen. Was a traveler. Hits. And then nine. I don't want to hit Saite, but can I at least like brush his ear? <laughs> just a little bit. Didn't like one of his ears get cut off? I, th- I, I thought like something, something else happened to him. Yeah. Really? We burned him, I think. <laughs> or he he got burned. I should say. <laughs> well, have we not I done this? Shouldn't Saite. apply ownership or fault there. All right, Decker. All right. Uh, unless you wanted to move, Grima. Sorry. Are you good where you are? Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna like look at a picture of my sisters and look at the kids. You, you see one looking right at you, hoping you'll help it get away from uh, the monster. <laughs> but you don't help. No. no. Okay. Oh, I thought you meant one of the goblins was looking right at her, hoping that she would help. <laughs> we need to capture these kids. All right, uh, so I guess having heard Saite's constant painful wailing, uh, <laughs> Decker will decide to help. He'll, so- or he'll, he'll finish eating his bun. Sigh heavily, boot up his little laptop, wait for it. It's got to grind up a little bit. Warms up, and then he, uh, he'll he cast Scorching Ray, uh, but use the Wand of Boost to catch, cast it at level 3. Good nice. God. Nice. So that's four rays of fire. Yes. Uh, I make a ranged spell attack for each ray, and on hit, each one does 2d6 damage. Fire damage. Yes. So i got to do a lot of rolling here. So it's four, four rays each spell. Okay. Okay, that's 14, 20... 17, and 11. Two of those hit. All right. So can I borrow some of these d6? <laughs> ah. Six for one of them, and five for the other. Okay. Straight up. You don't add anything to it? Nope. Just that much fire damage. On the, was the shy way? Yeah. Oh. Still kicking, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's a tough off. bastard. Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't as much damage as it could have been. All right, Mary. <laughs> All right. Before that divine smite. Let me try, s- try something else this time. Uh, since I'm still right next to him, I'm going to hit him with Ensnaring Strike, which is weapon attack, hitting a creature before the spell ends. A writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact. Mm. A target must succeed on a strength save throw or be restrained. Larger creatures have advantage. Uh, so I guess I should pull that. Nope. Oh. And I miss again. I'm still yeah. too drunk. Oh. <laughs> well, you got really sauced up. I thought it would embolden me, but it didn't work. Mm. I mean, your confidence is through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you that, that's perfectly accurate. Execution yeah. on the All other hand. All those jokes landed. <laughs> I can lift that. <clears throat> Did you see how high I lifted it? It went above my head. <laughs> Doing anything else? Oh, what else can I do? I missed. Uh, you could, like, run away. <laughs> no, I'm disengaged like, combat or something. Look no, around and I'm like everybody convinced you really didn't miss. I need yeah. to help. This is my destiny. I need to bring this thing down. Nice. You know? <laughs> oh, no, I'm, going I'm not down. running away. Ch- I'm spinning around, whiffing, but staying next to him as much as I can. So it is Shai Gui's turn. Oh boy, here we go. Um, oh, poor Mary. He's gonna get he grabs Mary's head and rips it off. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so he uh, he goes Divine. for that. <laughs> and then he gets battle, over. <laughs> battle of the century. <laughs> Goes for that tongue punch. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Not a kick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, do I, like a, I do like a three sixty each time because I miss and yes. get punched <laughs> by the tongue. Divine! <laughs> Divine! So that was seven damage. Oh, oh boy! So by the tongue punch again. Um, I hope he doesn't tongue he, punch Shattercock's lady box. <laughs> oh, he's going to. It's gonna be the only great. thing that might make a dent. He takes a few steps away, um, and I guess we'll get a provoking attack from you. Ooh, what's so that? you get to roll a twenty. It, he, he, he was to engaged disengage. in battle with you, yeah. so he was he was he's moving away. And you <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get an oh, I see. Run right. away. Right. Also, <laughs> he's <laughs> slow. Don't forget. Yeah. yeah. So. He, he was today. fast to begin with, so now he's normal. So Face that's, is all so. So now you just get to try and attack. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So just, you do yeah. your normal attack. Normal attack. No yeah. spells or anything. No, no. All right. Just a, like a regular. Come on, slash. Mary. Sixteen. Oh, got him. All right. Uh, I'll use. I'm using but it my. Hurts you. Yeah. What yeah. weapon do you have in your hand? I have my long sword. Okay. With one hand. Bone. <laughs> <laughs> ah, which is just like not a wooden a six, tongue. It's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Five nice. plus strength and proficiency. That's ten. Boom. All right. Nice. Got him. <laughs> yeah. First you're try. You're saying through one bruise, bloody <laughs> eye. Yeah. Come back if you want another one. Uh, better one. So um, the the Shigui kind of. Does one of these <laughs> moves and yeah. uh, a bunch of a uh, gas cloud kind of oh, comes out from him, and these Christ. spores go in a fifteen foot cube around him. So that would hit uh, these four. Oh, and let's see what it does. That's uh, disgusting. Succeed on a DC fourteen Constitution saving throw. So roll a twenty and then add your Constitution modifier, or you become poisoned. So I have thirteen. Mm. Oop, three. Mm. You're dead. Twenty three. Oh. All right, so you saved Shattercock. Mary, she thick. Uh, 11 plus 3, 14. All right, so you two save, and then you two are going to take uh, five poison damage. Wow. Jeez. At the start of each one of your turns. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Um, at the end of each one of your turns, though, you can repeat the saving throw to, okay. s- to stop the, the poison from hitting you. How All does right. this relate to my Shattercock? Shattercock. <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. I kind of want to just get rid of this. But I want to get rid of the goblins, though. I got his back to you. Mm, I'm just you're, so, you're too far away. I'm, I'm also really bad with everything except for the stick that I have. Um, let's do magic missile. But uh, let's do one on the goblin over here, one on the goblin over here, and one on Shigui. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> two damage because there's to which guy? Plus one, two, one of the that goblin there, the one closest to you, Dan. And then three to the other goblin. And then five to Shagway. Nice. Better and better and better. <laughs> Any other actions you want to do? Pick up a child no, and I'm hit good. him with it. <laughs> I was going to use it as a meat shield, but that's a better idea. Oh. All right. <laughs> Goblin's turn. So he drops this kid he's got and uh, charges up to this Rax. Oh, bad idea. I am indeed with the power of <laughs> naked. Does oh, 16 hit your AC? Oh, what is your AC? No. Oh, you're 17. All right. So yeah, the, this uh, goblin does not so runs up with his runs up with his mace uh, and swings it. Just kind of hits off your armor. Damn straight. Doesn't right. seem to do too much. Even though I'm like he bought uh, it at party soon. Yeah, and he didn't even recognize that you're trying to help him. <laughs> yeah, idiot. <laughs> and then then looks horrified. He uh, should be, because now whatever cod piece I had yeah. fell. <laughs> his face is at cock level. Yep. Just right there. And since this is fantasy, it's very uncircumcised. <laughs> very <laughs> extra uncircumcised. There's so much extra. <laughs> just hanging oh. off. He has a tight oh. adult, oh. so it doesn't it's like an elephant's It's all skin. Yeah, it's like a balloon knot. <laughs> <laughs> Less, I'm it's, allergic it's, to oh, foreskin. It's a built-in comment. Co- common? Condom. Condom, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just, yeah, just pinch t- it off. I just tie it off. So uh, with this kid in its arm, this one runs up to Miri and slashes at him uh, with his little spear. Poor Poor Mary. Mary. Oh, he's got additional child strength. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Nat 20, so he Uh-oh. does connect. Yeah. Of course, some Miri. Let's see. Just puts a core through his How much life body. do you have there, Miri? I've got, I've got enough. Don't ask. I've got 16. I'm just curious. Just, he just died two I've got 16. Ago. Divine smack. Ah. <laughs> That's a hole through his body. <laughs> so seven damage with his spear. Oh. Is he also poisoned? No. Yes. No, I luckily no, he saved, saved that, that one. Yeah. All right, Rexon. Okay, I'm gonna swing my great axe at this mofo for trying to fuck with my uh, my lady. Six plus five, I think. Or no, oh, no, that's just I just rolled a six. Oh, you rolled a six. 
So yeah, your uh, X wing goes right over its little goblin head. Fuck! What a waste. <laughs> Dirt. No. Fun turn. Um, <laughs> Unless you want to move or right. anything, or I imagine if he's swinging, the foreskin is probably trailing. I have no skeleton. <laughs> I have no skeleton. Yeah. It, yeah. Just. I have, ah! I have a great finishing move I'm working on, but I don't know if I'm going to get there. Hitting around. Um, around. I'm going to recklessly attack this guy that just attacked Miri. Come on. That's a nine, which would be eleven or. Nine. So yeah, your, your reckless attack is a little too reckless. Okay. Even though he's got a kid, a little child under one of its arms, it's able to. Well, I'm also around. coughing from the poison too. Oh, yeah, that's right. So. Oh yeah. Uh, try and beat a 14 Constitution save. Oh, okay. I did. All 15. Right. Nice. Sweet. You were actually, and you were supposed to take five damage at the beginning of your turn. I did. Okay, cool. Saite so did it. Come on, hit it. <laughs> Go kill something. Where is he? He's like right there. All right. He's grabbing the kids. Surrounded by the children. You'll, Run over here, pushing some of these kids back. You know, run, run away! And then swings. Run to my house. Yeah. <laughs> Go to my house, there's free candy. Leave your clothes. <laughs> I'm Lord of the Children, they call I me. I can't see you if you're naked. Yeah. <laughs> so he smacks this one with that silver tray that's attached to his oh. little arm hook and uh, knocks it down. Oh. But it's not quite dead. It's, oh. it's, uh, Is it prone? It's prone. It dropped the kid. It's it's laying, you know, hands on the ground, nice. butt in the air. Useless. Who would give Saite something valuable like silver? Or respect. Silver looking. It's probably not yeah, silver. Yeah. No, okay, good. More respect. Okay, so I'm going to use my shocking grass, uh, sorry, shocking grass cantrip, and I'm going to imbue Derek's axe with the power of 1d8 lightning damage. Ooh. So oh, the next boy. time he attacks, and I'm hoping that he'll attack yeah. the Saige or whatever. I don't know what <laughs> this monster's name. I honestly don't know what Jigwe. it is. Jigwe. Jigwe. It's Saite. Jigwe. <laughs> Attack Saite, got it. Yeah. I'm, hoping, I'm hoping he'll deliver like a pretty powerful blow to him. You could take Saite on the, con- on the chaos of battle um, and no one would know. I thought I'm gonna, about it. I'm going to take a health potion to try to regain a little bit of my HP before I roll, or my XP, before I roll for uh, my saving. So I didn't I didn't make it, so I take another six damage. Five. How much did I get from the health potion? Oh, you're supposed to roll for your potion. I think it's Which, like two D4. So that's three. So and I'm I think take, you add two as well, so it's five. So five. So then I took five damage, so I'm just gonna keep it as so <laughs> Are you moving or anything? Uh, oh if you don't consider that my bonus action, it's up into the person I will, a little bit. Still I will take a cunning action. <laughs> And, and disengage. So I'll move five squares. Are you engaged? I don't think something? you're engaged with well, anyone. Uh, okay, I'll just take a cunning action then, and then I will just do a hide action. So I'll like okay. hide in the bushes. <laughs> so brave. <laughs> All right, Decker. Uh, I'll just cast Scorching Ray again. So I uh, got the program loaded up. It's ready to go. Might as well do another one. So they don't have a, a boost this time. So cast three of them 11, uh, 19. And uh, seven. So only one of those hits, I'm assuming? 11, 19, and seven, yeah. One. Okay. Ten. Nice. Yeah, all right. This thing uh, is, is starting to look a little rough. It doesn't have blood, but it's, you know, it's got skin that looks sort of made of wood and bits of bush and brush are, are falling off of it. It's hacked up and splinters are kind of coming out. Its tongue was once wild, is now kind of starting oh, to no. sag a little Punch bit. Punch tongue. It's the whole shadow power do now. It. Another lonely Neary. night. What had happened to the guy that's kind of right next to me and Derek? He got, oh, he, he's he like pruned on the ground, hand, yeah. like bleeding profusely. He's pretty much done, more or less. All right. Uh, your chance. Finish him off. Be a hero. <laughs> he's down at your level. He's kind of done, though, so I think I'm going to go after the... Uh, oh, yeah. Jai, yeah. J- J- what's his Jai name? Oh, Jai Jai Here we go. All right. I'm going to write that down. I'm try. Here we go. I'm still... Divine smite. <laughs> I still believe that... My destiny is to vanquish <laughs> this evil. Uh, so I'm going to swing him with my longsword. 13. Hey, hey, all right. Plus? Add prof- proficiency, right? Proficiency yeah. and strength. Okay, 18 then. Got him. Yeah, yeah all right. So 1d8. You Sounds so jubilant. Uh. Yeah! Oh, wow! Plus... You, uh, divine smite! No, I didn't, I didn't cast no. it. Oh, you didn't uh, cast it? No. Oh, oh, God dang come it. On. That was an yeah, plus proficiency and strength no, plus again. Plus your strength. You don't plus add strength. proficiency to the okay. damage. So that plus was 10? Uh, Another 10? Plus strength is 3, so no, it's 11. Oh, and you didn't use divine smite? Oh, no. Man, think of what could have been. I kind of <laughs> tried to cast two things and fail, so I should 
I'm out of slots, more or less. All right, so uh, yeah, your sword goes, you know, into its belly, takes out a huge chunk of of its wood skin, uh, and it, it screams in pain and turns around, uh, swiping at you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're dead. Shit, twenty. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. Well, you hit him that one time, though. <laughs> like, Nor's gonna take that away from you. Hit. I mean, he's got ripped yeah, arms. He off. will take everything away from you. <laughs> I'll take Here your brain Uh 14 damage. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, oh, no, but how brave you were. <laughs> I'm out of potions, by the way. So I don't know if anybody else has a health. Uh, uh, I can, I can, he was the healer. I have... 14. Jeez. Primo Double sees damage. Mariatis die from the bushes. And he can't believe what happened. He, he Now he's the shortest person in the group again. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn it. That's all he's upset damn. about. No, he, he Weren't like, you always the shortest? I just grew. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's right, we're 10 feet. Does that scare them at all? The demons? Yeah. It's no, harder really? to hit. Shattercock. Oh, did Shaguay go? Oh, yeah, he turned around. Oh, yeah, he turned around and, uh, and killed, killed Mary. Mary. Killed yeah. Mary. Mary out. I'm going to go, go around here like that, just a couple squares, and then cast uh, Agonizar's Scorcher, because that's the one that just doesn't, it just goes straight through them. And what that is is a line of roaring flame, three, 30 feet long and 5 feet wide, emanates from you in a direction you choose. Each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw. Creature takes 3d8 fire damage. On a failed save. Do I need to roll for the cast? Yeah, you roll for the what the save needs to be. Yeah. Uh, it's eleven. Oh, yeah. Save. He saves that. Mm. Absolutely, he does. All right. Well, there you go. Didn't cast it. <laughs> but you made this fire burn a little yeah. bit brighter. No, no it fire came out of me at all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well, I get your the fire does come out and, and yeah. blast through the air. It just doesn't affect, He's, you know, it, he wipes it, it away. Yeah, <laughs> nice. A, a few little of the bushes on his that are growing as his hair kind of crisp up and he the, opens his mouth. They barely it all goes in there. Barely noticeable. Still smells smells it. Uh, goblins. Um, are there any left? There's these two. two. Yeah, the one oh yeah, this one is going to keep wailing. He's still staring at my foreskin. Just <laughs> <laughs> amazed. Yeah, its mouth is literally hanging open, staring at your dick. It swings. <laughs> uh, seventeen hit. No, uh, I mean my armor class is seventeen. Okay, so yeah, he gets it. Yeah, Cut your foreskin down by half. Oh, <laughs> you okay. only have six or seven inches left. <laughs> you were going to sell that foreskin. <laughs> See, his 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 mace goes right into your ass for five damage. Five ass damage. Yeah, that's a lot of ass damage. He's fucked. I will fuck him. <laughs> Give him some ass. I'm gonna damage. fuck him to death. <laughs> so this is happening. The, the one that's <laughs> it's pissed. The one that's kind of fallen over managed is to kind of climb up, get back to his feet, and uh, stabs at deer. Yeah. He gets advantage because I recklessly okay. attacked. Well, he rolled a twenty. Boom. Uh, but he gets Dang. advantage, so <laughs> let's double that. No. Uh, six damage. Uh, and it's going to use its bonus action to kind of grab at the back of the neck of one of the kids and kind of pull it closer to him. This is when Raxan yells, I will fuck you. I will fuck you. <laughs> I will you. fuck you to death. <laughs> yeah, Raxan is your go. All right. Oh, no, He's... don't do not do it, Adam. I well, will fuck Here's you. the best part, too. Also, oh. I have an action surge, which allows me to push myself beyond my normal limits. Oh, good. Uh, which allows me two moves. So I'm <sighs> fucking this goblin to death one way or the other. <laughs> 18. Oh, you got, you got him. Okay, right. for damage. Unarmed. One plus five. Grapples. But I can use, use my action dick. surge. One plus five get, okay. gets him. So I throw him on his on the ground. <laughs> I literally fuck him to death as I put my axe into his back and I look at the kids and go, this was for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's our thumbnail. One of them is actually like... <laughs> yeah. No, I, am, I, am, I am like just ripping him apart oh, with my gosh. raging heart on. So I have, a, I have a question. <laughs> if you have about three feet of foreskin, yeah. Do you have to yank it all back, or does it fold over onto itself? I believe I believe his uh, cornhole does it for me. Oh yeah, yeah. And pulls yeah. the skin back. But you would have to line it up his butthole so tight mm-hmm, yeah. that when he slides in, yeah. it causes all the foreskin to bunch well, up. Yeah. I mean, sure, but like, okay. And so when that head gets in there, it just so we, so imagine imagine this is a dick, and then foreskin is like all the way out here, but yeah. it's limp. So it'd be like drooping. So ain't limp. And then when it goes in, it would just pull. No, because as the penis becomes flush with yeah. blood. It tightens, it tightens the foreskin as well. Yeah. Oh, so I it see. becomes like a, a skin so smear. You'd have to be back here and get a little run up because you want to get all of it. And then you see it crumple and crumple. It's like yeah, when you gotcha. see a okay. crash test dummy crashing a car into yeah. a wall. I, I, think, take, take, I take that back too. I didn't hit him with my great axe. I'm just pummeling the back of his head in oh, like gosh, a donkey while, punch. While fucking, him yeah, while fucking him to death. And these kids are watching. It would have been nice. Uh, and I'm smiling while I'm doing it, <laughs> giving them the thumbs up so that everything's going to be okay. Good God. Yeah, I did so, this for you, children. So the kids are actually really happy. They're crying in yeah. terror, but they're like, yeah. they're, some of them when are I, clapping. When I stand up, he's still attached. <laughs> oh. And then he just kind of 
<laughs> falls off. So there's just They're a gonna pile make a of goo left. Yeah. Like two legs are <laughs> split open. Oi, I'm Captain Godlet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, we won't be doing that. <laughs> you, you doing anything else your turn there? You want to move? He's done or, enough. Or I think I light a cigarette. <laughs> Okay. And I, I smile over his corpse. All right, Derek. All right, so my axe got imbued with some lightning powers. It's 1d8 damage unless the, the awesomeness of these two things combining produces more effect. That's really up to the DM. Yeah, lightning orc ripper. Here's the problem. I need to get over there. And, oh, you're and close. Miri ran away to, to get knocked down. But, uh, You'll take a I'm gonna, attack of opportunity. If you I see that Miri went down, and then I go into a rage. And then, and so then I, not thinking that there's a goblin behind me, I'm gonna go attack this guy. All right. Mm, it's 15 hit? Yes. Okay, so he gets you for two damage. All right, so he cuts me as I'm turned, but I don't even notice it. And then I come running over here with both my, both my uh, axes. I'm gonna do a reckless attack while in rage. <laughs> As well. Oh, wow. From the bushes? Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> so this will be... Bushes. It's like upside down oh, in a shrub. Lightning. I know. Oh. We've got to shake the lightning out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five. You're going up. Okay, that's, I just fucked a goblin in there. That's 10. That's disgusting. There you go. <laughs> there you go. 21. 21, Ooh, 21, 21 definitely To be yes. fair, it wasn't the fucking... 21, yeah. and now so... Well, I mean... Two, I'm, I'm doing two strikes. One of them gets 1d8, right? Mm-hmm. So this is just going to be base axe damage. Oh, your axe has the power of the lightning. First three plus... Six. That's that's six. And then that's... Six. Six, so that's 12 total. Plus your... Plus two for rage damage is 14. 14. And then I get 1d8. Lightning strikes is is another four. Damn. 18. 18 damage. I fucked him to death. (laughs) I have a plan. (laughs) They always come back unless you fuck them. Okay, so Shai Gwaii stumbles back, actually drops his sack. Oh no. Uh, Kind of stumbles back, falls on his butt. It's it's, it's still there. Let's see if He's alive? He's alive. Holy shit. Just barely. Grima was, he was focusing so much that his like hair and eyebrows singed a little bit. (laughs) He was smoking up. Smoking up? Uh, So (laughs) he he fell back into the fire and took another five damage. Oh, Oh, nice. uh, Which he's, he's made of wood too. Yeah. So, yeah. so he no- he got knocked back because Derek did the, his new move, which is where he puts his axe on the bottom of his foot and then he kicks it into his throat. Oh, oh. I see. Yeah. So Fucking that was the lightning one. Move. Yeah. You monster. Right. So he's not dead. <laughs> not <laughs> almost. Not dead. Dead. I go. Dead. How brutal! And then I look uh, over at Rex and just. <laughs> 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 Does Derek acknowledge at all that Grimo did this really cool badass thing? Like he's a really cool guy. As as he pulls his lightning still axe out, he looks at it and then he looks at Grimo and he goes. Give him a little thumbs up. Thumbs up. Also, Grimo, you're huge. Grimo calls out the shocker. He hit you with the shocker. You don't yeah, really need to make so it sexual. Grimo. Hey, Derek, hit you with the shocker, my brother. <laughs> that is Grimo's turn. He's making so many best What about Saite? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. That's okay. Don't, don't forget about Saite. He's, he's, he's easy children. to forget about. And... I've got everything I came for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Saite gra- grabs up one of these kids under his arm and oh, then so dinks, dinks the, the goblin, uh, yeah. goblin on the top of the head and oh. it drops. I thought he was going to start knocking the children drops out. Drops dead. Uh, oh, you yeah, killed it? Yeah, yeah. Saite yeah. killed it? He got it. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, you uh, know. Nice. <laughs> but he doesn't get experience for some reason. No, yeah, he gets less. So. That's all of them, right? Uh, Everything's dead. Thirteen. Well, no. this, this guy's he's still, still alive. alive. He's really like in the flames. Yeah. I rolled thirteen for my short bow mm-hmm. to hit him. So uh, thirteen, the the it's, arrow's it's, yeah. whiz kind of passed its head. Oh. I, you were aiming it at it when two. it was still standing up, and Derek knocked it down, and oh. you're yeah. you let loose before. And then I'm gonna roll for my poison or yeah. So it's you got to beat two. fourteen Constitution. Oh. Seventeen. All right. I no, continue you, to roll, or that cures it. That cures it. You're okay. done. Well, nice, Decker. Uh, I'll just hit him with a firebolt. It looks like he enjoys fire. I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like some bit. fire? <laughs> with that fire. Get flamed up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Twenty-four. So that's just a hit, though. So it's a uh, hell of a hit. Uh, three damage. <laughs> yeah. When you're on fire, it's hard to yeah. notice that someone hits you with a fireball. Ever so slightly more on fire. Like a breeze. Yes. Okay. So uh, should I wait? Manages to stand up, uh, looks Decker right in the eye, and its little tongue 
swats you on the on the head. He gets he gets advantage because I recklessly oh, attack. Well, that's good to know. He still misses with that one. Nice. Idiot. Um, but then he, he snatches up his sack and tries to swing it and hit you in the head. A with sack, sack full of children. He's <laughs> gonna try and hit me with. All right. Uh, so yeah, the the sack just kind of flumps, hits you, and doesn't seem to have oh, any okay. effect on that's you. Good. Do I hear a muffled? Cries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you beat up all those kids in the Coliseum. Oh, that's yeah. true, right? Yeah. yeah. So the, you, not, that doesn't affect There's you. Child new. tax. Yeah. All right, Cheddarcock. Does for anybody this. have? Nobody has any health potions for Mary. I do. do I, I do. Well, wait. I have my little. I reincarnate with this gift. Oh, you know, yeah. Actually, yeah. I skipped Mary. Yeah. Because yeah. you need um, to do a saving. No, you got to do a say. So roll. You roll a twenty. When you're when you're unconscious, you get three attempts to come back to life. <laughs> <and> three <laughs> attempts to die. All right. And if if, it, if it's ten, you want to. I know you want to. He doesn't trust Dan. 14. Fourteen. So you. That's a success. On your yeah. little there's sheet, like a little box. there's little dots. All right. Uh, and you fill in one for the success. It's nice. right under the what do you middle get, column. What do you need to get above. 10? Over ten. Yeah, yeah. Ten, ten or above. You get three chances to get that. Mm-hmm. That's easy. It, it, you and also like failures as well. If you get a one through a nine three times in a row, you're dead. Dead, dead forever. Mm-hmm. No. Right, Permadeath. All right. So many things. Sorry for skipping you, Mary. It's really okay. It's just his heart beating right. once. <sighs> Let's do acid splash. Oh yeah, burn him. Yeah, <laughs> he's already on fire. Feel the burn. Water spray. Oof. There we go. Now That's we're talking. Splash. Twenty-five. Extinguishing Definitely cloud. Some... Four. Nice. Not bad. All right. Four damage. So yeah, acid starting to burn away all of his uh, his his shrubbery he's hair. On fire for it. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 um, th- th- it's it's panting. It, it's hunched over. Um, and it's try, you know, it looks like it's gonna try and run away or escape. It doesn't swing at me and hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> all those Spot goblins. Dead. All it those notices goblins. Notices that dead. Mary's coming back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stabs it. So it's uh, Raxon's turn. Um, I have a javelin I can throw. So I notice that a little bit of so as I pull out, um, <laughs> I notice that a little bit of his orc intestines falls out of his ass. Oh. And so I take that and I wrap it around my oh, javelin yes. for, go. for good luck. For good luck. I feel like it should take a <laughs> significant chunk of turn for you to pull out because you'd have to move back like about that far to get all the way out of him. <laughs> Those uh, are five foot squares. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, so uh, roll for my javelin throw. It's a 12. Yeah. Is it plus proficiency? Do you have proficiency plus, in plus javelin strength. tossing? Uh, he absolutely does. You get a plus five. Plus five, that's what it is, yeah. Oh, so uh, 17 hits. Nice. And then for damage, this is, I believe, a plus five is a plus three for piercing. So eight plus three, yeah. Damn. 11 piercing right. with intestine. Uh, <laughs> that came out of a, uh, what do you call goblin. that? Yeah. A goblin. What is Asshole. It called, what is it called when your ass? A prolapse. A prolapse anus. Yeah. Of a, uh, of a goblin. So yeah, your anus javelin ends, ends that guy if you want to tell him how that works. All the work everyone else did. This guy's um, anus javelin. So <laughs> I feel like this guy has some sort of um, magical spirit thing where when he touches things like powder, he he gets their Always memories. Powder. So as the intestine goes through his eye socket and rips through, he lives the life that he had. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, nice. And he experiences getting fucked to death. Okay. <laughs> oh, you should just have the javelin hit him in the ass <laughs> and then go on. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, it goes through his eye, and then when he falls over, he falls on the javelin, and it then it goes through his ass. Oh, okay. So and it, it puts went the through, intestine yeah, back yeah. in his intestine. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And he, he's just living that that death over and over and oh, over. Wow. I just, <sighs> I just imagine everything's dead, everyone's covered in blood, there's Intestines and everything, and then we turn to the children to go, Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't you pay a miracle? Grandma yeah. comes out of the bushes. Oh, yeah. He says, Kids, are you okay? <laughs> As he's holding his hair. <laughs> Is that everything? Did we kill everything? Yeah, I think he killed Did everything. Did the kids right. react to Grimo saying, Kids, are you all okay? So, yeah, I guess they're they're all still terrified and, and screaming, but. Uh, Grimo screams sc- with them, Ah! Like, that's how they, they're <laughs> clapping at the amazing kill of Shai Gui. So, Raxon, you actually. Uh, fall to the ground unconscious. Okay. Where, where'd your guy go? Not my hair. Oh, no. so naked next to some children. <laughs> I thought <laughs> yourself into a corner. <laughs> okay. It's all good. The melatonin gets released. It's just demon blood and intestines just all concentrated in a band around There's a little you. bit of spum coming yeah. down on my chest. A little bit. Yeah. So uh, you have this vision, uh, kind of this bright gold, happy, fat elven face uh, says, Raxon Bartooth, you have z- ex- succeeded. A dark power had gripped me and taken my magic hostage. By slaying that demon, you have saved these children and released my spirit. You must now take on the mantle of Coddle f- for these people. 
Every year you must return and bring joy to these children. It's like the movie The Santa Claus. Oh, I'm Tim Claus. The Cuddle Claus. <laughs> the Cuddle Claus. You are a very worthy successor to this throne. You shall do fine. Okay, I'm naked next to two children. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you're a one-star coddle right now. Oh, nice. oh, that's awesome. How does he get to two? Does he have to rape more <laughs> goblins? Find out next year. He should, he should be wearing that. Yeah. <laughs> we trade hats? Well, we can worry about that next next, next, next year. year. Next year. Next Mona eBay. Yeah. yeah. It's every three months. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, a month so... lasts about six hours. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good job. But a oh, uh, time. I wake up. See so yeah, you come to. Wow. And I throw up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I see what I did. It's like, holy shit. Uh, so Saitang's like, the heroes, the heroes, they've done it again. They've saved us all. Can he trip? <laughs> he trips. Okay. Into the fire. Into the fire. He gets back. <laughs> ah, His cool plate handle breaks um, and dents I'm gonna, and crumples up. I have a healing potion and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Miri. Okay. Miri, you can have my healing potion. Thank you. I'm like <laughs> drunk and not feeling so hot. Poor Miri. So roll the 2d4 and then add 2 to that. I think technically you would do it if you're like pouring a potion uh, into so his So what are you do? 2d4. Four. Four. <laughs> Four. Wow. Uh, my potions are strong. Thank so you. That's done. Also, if if anybody has like the medicine proficiency, you could run up and stabilize him. Oh, I don't, I don't and think you I wouldn't have, have to use that potion. I do not. Have All right, like I can use out. one of my own little things to help when me out. Use the other lips. <laughs> I go, <laughs> I go <laughs> myself on it. I go. Great <laughs> shot, Miri. You you knocked him off. Uh, you knocked him off guard. And I hit him a few times. Yeah, you got him real good. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Derek, uh, there was some great axe work there. When, uh, yeah. Was great assist, maybe. Yeah, it, was, it felt like uh, for some reason I was just felt really strong. And I don't know, maybe I maybe caught a lightning bolt or something uh, on this axe. Maybe, it maybe did a lot of damage though, it really ripped him up good. Maybe friendship makes us stronger, you know? Maybe that's what it... I don't know, I was out there by myself. Well, maybe someone was with you, you just didn't know it. You're right. Thanks for your help, Miri. Oh. If you hadn't knocked him off knocked him off guard, I wouldn't have been able to get that strike in true, on him. I kind of yeah, stand up, I'm like, you're welcome. Some great Reach work out there, Miri. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's really in the shelter. Decker saw and knows magic, so we'll just put a hand on Grimo's shoulder, oh. and Grimo? nod in acknowledgement. Oh, I'm smelling. Yeah. Grimo got his mono <laughs> Ipe wish. In, he, got a little bit. he got his mono uh, Ipe wish. Uh, I, I take a knee, put my hand around both those kids, and goes, who wants waffles? <laughs> <laughs> um, Shattercock's gonna go to the body of this thing, mm -hmm. whatever it was, Shagway, and see if there's anything on him. So it, you get his sack. That's like the only thing he's really got. Okay. Cool. Shagway sack. sack. Going for the sack mm. is uh, well, I I a lot of kids in there. But what's in the bag? Shagway sack. This bag, I, uh, I'll yeah. read it out. I'll read it out. This bag has an interior space considerably larger than its outside dimensions. Harry Potter. Uh, roughly two feet in diameter at the mouth and four feet deep. The bag can hold up to 500 pounds. Wow. Nice. Yeah. There we go. The bag always weighs the You have pounds. to carry it. You can carry it Grimo a around better now. I the best brassiere she's ever had. Yeah. Uh, retrieving a, an item from the bag requires an action. All right, sweet. I'll take it. Thanks, Shagway, or whatever your name was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to see what's in the sack. Oh, I mean, he stuffed some children in there. Sure, yeah. Oh, Bring them along. The he got the muffle. He course, hit me with yeah. that sack. Uh, yeah, Shattercock reaches in the sack. Okay, so yeah, you reach in, kind of pull out a kid. Mm. Um, reach <laughs> back okay, in. Here we go. There's a bunch of shit in there, and you're ten feet tall, so yeah. it's not too okay. like you're just kind of. Oh, it'll be okay. You actually like ah, you turn it upside Sorry. down and shake it out, and uh, three or four little kids plop out onto the ground, <laughs> oh, and uh, a bunch of uh, little presents, whatever oh, medieval geez. presents for children it's are. A oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so all this crap falls on top of those kids, but it's like a big pile of cool stuff for the kids, and uh -huh. they they start screaming like not no longer horrified from this demon not monster, but they see all this cool. <laughs> Sweet shit, and they're running over and just grabbing handfuls of it. And That's why they're naughty off. children. They're not even asking. They're just yeah. stealing oh. shit. Here you go, kids. Here's some gifts. And then I, I give all the gifts to well, all the children. Shouldn't Decker do it? He's. Oh, that's right. Santa way. Well, or... Shouldn't you do it? You're the Santa Claus. Oh, well, I have to wait a year. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where are their parents? <laughs> I so yeah, the villagers start to come in too, okay. and they're oh, all like cheering your up. names, yeah. like Dog Man, Dog Man, <laughs> Dog Man. <laughs> Grimo goes Grimo, Grimo, <laughs> Grimo. This is a true mono ipe miracle. Perhaps we could celebrate by singing some of the songs that we would sing at Chippu Weebu. What the hell what? I don't know. Chippewa is the guy. Yeah, it is also the holiday, I oh, forgot. Oh, um, <laughs> the same thing. We perhaps we could sing some of the songs that we would sing during this time mm. of celebration. You're going, right, we'll lead us. Let's do it. 
Lead us. So the the local uh, wizard uh, reads Grimo's mind, and uh, some some lyric sheets just appear out of oh, out wow. of oh, <laughs> oh, you guys were colluding. What a setup. Oh, here, here. I don't know. We each get one, right? Yeah. Grimo right. might want to like show everyone how the I mean, tune yeah. goes. I guess. Well, you want to sing the first part, and then we'll, I mean, I think we'll it makes in. it makes sense. Oh, no. yeah. It says to the tune of. Yeah, it does. Say. Well, that's not what it says. That's the wizard <laughs> who did something stupid. <laughs> 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 How, yeah. how does it go, Grimo? Yeah. Jaya bells, Jaya bells, tinkle all the way. Oh, what a fun it is to smoke in a two foot halfling sleigh. Hey! Jaya bells, Jaya bells, tinkle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to smoke in a two foot halfling sleigh. Hey! We're dashing through the hills in Uncle Mugen's sleigh. All the halfling holes go smoking all the way. Forks on board tails ring, making Siggy's bright. Oh, oh, what fun it is to sing a dire song tonight. Oh, dire bells, dire bells, tickle all the way. So you guys are like wandering through oh, the town singing your dire song. The, the next one, here we go. Hey, hey I'm naked. Oh. Skills to fall oh, in. Skeleton with a skeleton head and a skeleton body and a rise to life as I saw him go. Kills the bone man in a fairy tale, they say. He was made of shit and he threw off it when Grimo stole his bits. There must have been some tragic in that old bone bastard's past. For when they asked him for a trick, he said to suck a pig. Happy holidays, kids! Kills the bone man. With a skeleton, skeleton, with a skeleton head, a skeleton body, and a eyes, 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 a He's <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, I just got it loaded. <laughs> yeah, we're he's done. When they <laughs> skin. Well, <laughs> it's, wow. not, it's always nice to find out what Elise is doing on her laptop <laughs> when I look over and she says, that's, don't look. That took five minutes. I like it. You oh, did a great job. Yeah, that's really good. All right, so yeah, the, the village is ecstatic with you guys. You're singing songs, you're oh. killing demons, yeah, you're doing, doing bringing right. presents for kids. You guys are just the most amazing people. And I'm going to use oh, yeah. prestidigitation to summon a little Christmas tree. Oh! oh. Really Roll for it. For it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's how Preston did The tree sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, let's roll for the quality of the, the, sure. the tree. It's a Charlie Brown tree. Oh, it's on well. fire. Yeah, is that a six? Kind of six. Middling six. tree. Yeah. Mm. No lights. Yeah. It does tip over a little bit. Uh, yeah. you know. No, it's like it's supposed to be like a little two-dimensional little flash of Gre- light thing. Grimo, in the shadows again, he uses his mage hand to kind of secretly it push oh, it up. Because oh, he and Decker oh. had that moment. That's true. Oh. We did. We bonded. Uh, Derek goes and pees on it with one leg up. Nice. <laughs> then kicks. Everybody gets what they want. Derek's yeah. 10 feet tall, so he's peed That's all over it. That's a lot of pee. all over it. Yeah. Washing some kids away. Wee! <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody gets what they want. It smells like asparagus. Yeah. So yeah, the drinks are pouring. Um, I guess uh, the villagers start to take their kids home. Yeah. You know, after this horrible traumatic experience. The, probably rest. The village square mm-hmm. starts to empty out. Um, some cheat, the village elder actually walks up to you as a group and uh, pulls out this uh, kind of ornate metal spear tip. And he goes, cool. I, would, I would be honored if the heroes of our village would take one of our most treasured possessions and go forth into the world and do good with it. Cool. So he hands, uh, let's see who's the closest to him, uh, hands the spear tip to you. Oh. Th- this is Devil's Prayer, an ancient relic from our town. It does extra... Horrible damage to demons and devils of all kinds. Mm. So, Devil's Prayer, it's a 1d6 spear, piercing, uh, versatile 1d8. Um, a magical relic from Jayan, one attack, plus one attack and and plus one damage against demons and devils. Obviously, I am terrible with the spear. Give it to Mary. So who wants it? Mary, Mary deserves Mary, it. Mary fights for divinity. Mary! And so he, him killing he, demon, being a demon slayer would make sense. He gave his life. For us, I think I think you've earned this. Oh, uh, I don't Mary. know. I might just miss with it. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Chabawak. Uh, yeah, Mary Chabawak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the great Myriadis who probbles. No one is more deserving of our, our town's powerful relic. Here, oh, here. Go yeah. forth and do good. Yeah. Derek goes over to uh, to Grimo and goes like, "Hey, thanks for the 
the lightning powers earlier. I, I want to give you something. And reaches back and then takes out his bone. <laughs> Hands, hands that's really hard for, that's hard for Derek to Grimo do. Grimo cannot believe he is honored with such a gift. Here, take this. He takes it and he puts it down his pants and it looks like he's got an erection <laughs> for all but the it's, kids. It's not, that's, but not for like keeps. <laughs> that's not for keeps. You can just like hold it for now. I, I might need it back. I am honored, Derek. And I sh- shall imbue your axe with lightning at a later time in this story. Mary Chibblewats or whatever. <laughs> Mary Chibblewats, do you do? Grimo can't believe it. His two dads... <laughs> are just showering him with bad. praise and love. Shatterco- Shattercock <laughs> sees the gift giving. She already gave away Devil's Prayer. I understand that, but she she realizes, you know, Decker looks really really lonely. He always looks really lonely. He's always frowning. Promising. So Shattercock walks up to Decker, reaches in her giant her bag of five hundred pounds, and pulls out a super booze, which we got from I forget I have it written down. I don't know what I don't know what it is, but super we have booze. it. Decker, this booze is for you. Mm. Just grabs it and grunts. <laughs> nice, there you go. <laughs> well, Mary, whatever, who cares? <laughs> so, heroes of the village, please uh, go find rooms at the inn. Uh, no cost, you are you are our saviors. Go get some rest uh, and, you know. To the bar! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> banging on it. You don't get to sleep. Yeah. Open up! Uh, how much XP? So yeah, you guys each got 360 experience for that. Ooh. So yeah, the Emmer. villagers have all kind of gone home. Oh, There's a few people standing around still, but it's up to you guys what you want to do now. Just rest, right? All right, so yeah, uh, I guess a few mi- a few of you might head back to the bar. A few might go grab some rest or sit by themselves with your computer. Bar? <laughs> let's get a drink. Yeah, uh, sure, let's get gonna, a drink. I'm going to... Grimo, come on. Toddle after them. I'm, so make it. I'm joining them. Still got the bone in his I'm pants. I'm going to be that asshole in the corner of the Starbucks just like tapping on my laptop staring at everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of lagging behind, but I'm, I'm with you. He's limping. Grimo, he falls back. He puts his arm around Mary. He's oh. just, okay, come on, Mary. Just because you're the little guy doesn't mean... You should the, drink at this point. Make note of this. Saite surrounded by blood and gore. Yeah. <laughs> this is still low. Guys, everybody's here. Like Friends? Like, Friends? Like, Shut the door and lock uh, it. Yeah, I like the idea of Saite's about to walk in the bar and the bouncers are <laughs> <in> the bar <laughs> small. <laughs> Sorry, private party. Yeah. <laughs> so, good. okay, so we're in the inn. Yeah, right, you we know, got think, separate rooms because we we're, were so successful. Naturally. Mm-hmm. But well, uh, no, there, Derek, there's only four rooms. So, so we all have separate rooms? There's only four. Oh, so we hadn't, we've one, stayed two, here before. Had we bunked down yet? Yeah, yeah. You guys went to bed at the end of the last episode. So, but you just said hey, we're going I wake up kind of in the middle of the night and I go, you know what? I've always yeah. been bothered by something. Uh-huh. Derek, Derek comes over. He goes over to Miri's uh, little rollout thing because <laughs> Derek got the bed, obviously. Right. He, he nudges. He goes, "Hey, hey!" Like last time. You mentioned that you're a folk hero. What's that all about? <laughs> I never, I never said that. So Decker's also working on his his roster of his of his companions. Right. Mm. He's writing out the backstory for everybody. He's on Miri. A little blinking curses there. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> so Decker can't have that. He gets up. Walks over to walks over to uh, Raxan. No, nope, you're Raxan. Derek. Yeah, thank you, Mary. And uh, Decker plops down. Says, "Hey, I'm just working on my records here. I don't have anything about your history. Could you please tell me about what you did before you joined us?" Grimo pops up. He's oh. been sleeping on a bedroll beside Mary because, as you'll remember, in se- episode seven, season two no. of, no. of Twits and Crits, <laughs> Mary told Grimo they thought he was a cool guy as well. So now Grimo's all on the Mary train. Right. So he pops up and he says, "Yeah, Mary." You're the coolest guy here, my best friend, but I don't know much about you. Uh, the bathroom door bursts up and Shattercock comes out with <laughs> just a towel. She goes, hey, what is all this talk about Mary being a folk hero? What? Are you a folk hero? Not really. It's more of a, <laughs> I used to think I was, put it that way. I follow behind him holding a cup because I was already spying <laughs> on what was happening. I couldn't hear very well. And I was like, hey, I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of confused, like wanting to go back to sleep. Uh, you guys all need to know this. I think we're all right sitting now. in a circle around him like it's story time yeah. now. <laughs> no. That's how I wake up. Yeah. Just tell, tell us the story of how you became a folk hero, Mary. Come on, Mary. Yeah. There's no story. It's just it was more or less in my mind as a child, training, running around, collecting things for the what harvest. What kind of training? Oh, you know, the martial type training that you guys have participated in with me, fighting monsters and stuff, I sword, heard, shield, I all that. I from a friend, from a friend, from a friend. That you saved a little boy's life. I heard you saved a little boy's life like 10 years ago. What happened? I heard you killed a little boy. I heard you collected onions. Uh, too? Onions, yeah. I don't know what you guys heard about. But tell us about boy. the wolf. Wolf? What wolf? You know, the story about the wolf. <laughs> Come on, Mary, tell 
us about the wolf. Since you guys want to hear about a wolf, uh, <laughs> Decker looks up. It's very excited. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, there was a big wolf, and uh, big. there was a full cure. It wasn't me, but uh, <laughs> he saved <laughs> he saved the village. He's being modest. One night, okay. and they could all go back to sleep. Okay. We and know that. Uh, the end. What How big was the village? Oh, not that big. You know, it was a small mountain dwarf village. But where do you come into this story about this other folk hero, Miri? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's talking about himself, but he's being modest. He's being very modest. Oh, no, I never saved any boy, all right? Just in my... In Killed my, a boy, <laughs> murdered a wolf. I was humored as a young... Saved a village. Okay. Okay. Hero. Got it. He's a monster. <laughs> From my early years of 102 to 150 as a young dwarf, I was humored by my by my village, my, my fellow villagers. I wasn't really a folk hero. Can I go back to bed now? Us halflings only live to about 100 unless we get the ring. Well, that's too bad. You should get whatever ring that is. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to get the story. Yeah. Well, now we know. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm asleep. Yeah. Decker's already looking at porn. Rexan, you got those heads? We got to make it to this, back to where we got to clean those heads for that prize. Got to remind me about that. I'm all tired. <laughs> what if happened? We were, Who's got heads? We return. We claim the heads. Grimo gets his pardon. Grimo can go back to the Jaya, see his fan. Go back to the Jaya, you know. You, wait, Moondog Brothers' heads? Yeah. Oh, God. What Ooh. season was that from? <laughs> I mean, winter? <laughs> winter. <laughs> oh, so yeah, yeah. What time is it? Nighttime right now? Yeah, it's in the middle okay, of the night. Okay, yeah. So you guys all woke up. Yeah, we all woke up. Gotcha. Nice. Um, Does that interrupt my full rest? Oh, yes. Recovering nice. XP? Also, did you say your thing today? Or is your penis going to blow off? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said it yesterday, didn't I? Okay. Just, I don't know if he did. Oh. But have you said it in the new day? Actually, you know, uh, telling us the true story of your folklore might be something that you wouldn't normally say. Mary. Well, then I just fulfilled that thing for today, didn't I? <laughs> Provided it was true, maybe. Some of it was. We'll find out. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, uh, so you need heads. Yeah. Well, yeah. Go to bed. We'll do this tomorrow. Well, shouldn't we go I to sleep? eight hours. You slept eight hours? Yeah. How'd you sleep eight hours? Wait, what time is it, Dan? It's like, can we... it's like two in the morning. Oh, can you, it just you be morning so we can go? <laughs> sure. <laughs> we, 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 just, we just stare at each other. Someone said it was the middle of the night. So I rolled with it. It's like Elder Scrolls. Yeah, the so clock just you know. sun comes up. You all feel refreshed. We <laughs> okay. had a bunch of good shit yesterday. Fantastic. Actually, um, get three hundred XP Woo! for. Um, Did we add that or no? Last time we got three sixty. We had three sixty. Well, you get. Oh. Oh, so you get three hundred. You're already right now for, the for returning the daughters to. Oh wow! Cool. Yeah, those yeah, little girls. Yeah, three hundred plus four hundred plus three hundred plus three. I don't know. Uh, just to add. All right, say so yeah, you guys. I am. Can you guys all wake up in whatever rooms you were in in the uh, hotel? Okay. So I knock on Raxan's door and ask him for the heads because we got to yeah. get a move on to claim these heads. I'm and I'm confused because I'm like, why does Grimo want to give me head? And I'm standing behind Grimo because we slept together, obviously, uh -huh. in the same room. But we didn't have sex. Everybody, just so everybody's aware. Grimo's wearing Shattercock's like silk robe. Like they're both wearing matching silk robes <laughs> <laughs> with like lace on them. So um, she, she peeks in and I peek over her oh, yeah. shoulder. I was clearly doing some sort of puppet show with the heads. In my room, uh, and I look a little guilty, and I'm still holding the glass because I was spying on Miri tonight, <laughs> hoping he would at least talk in his sleep and tell me more about his damn story. Didn't. Um, and I go, "Yeah, I'll be right out." And I close the door, go back. You hear some shuffling. I have my clothes on, and then the heads are in a bag. Like, we can go now, what? but I want a continental breakfast. Does the inn have that? How would I know? I don't work here. <laughs> yeah, they got eggs and stuff done. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's grab the rest of the party and we'll uh, let's deliver some head. Decker, Derek, Mary, let's yeah. go. Well, Decker's already downstairs wearing a bathrobe. His hair's up in a in a cap, oh. but he's oh, also can wearing they be in sunglasses. Curlers? <laughs> well, they're in curlers under the cap, <laughs> uh, but he's got his sunglasses on and he's holding his laptop with one hand and trying to scoop out powdered eggs into a plate with the other. It's getting pretty rickety, and he might drop something with us. Uh, what about the waffle maker? How's that working? Oh, it's it's complicated. He's already burned himself a couple yeah, times. Those things never turn out right. <laughs> Grimo, uh, he skips breakfast, but he dresses. I'm heading down to the smithy. If any of you buffooks want to get some of your weapons tempered. Mm, all right, I'll go with you. Okay, Shadowcock. Anybody else? Dude, I'll go. Grabs, grabs like a huge handful of bacon and just shoves it in his mouth. <laughs> I'll, go. I'll, go. I'll go. I have a spare weapons I yeah, didn't want to get rid of. There's also a shop, too. Oh, yeah, that's right, the shop. I just shrug and follow them out. What's in the smithy? Laptop and eggs. 
Uh, are you guys all going in the smithy? Yeah, so, right. yeah. yeah. Wow. I got nothing to do. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> we'll crown the smithy. And I, I pull. I have my short sword <laughs> that I pull out, and I also have uh, the sword that I, big sword that I got from the skeleton. The rusted the sword. Dungeons. Yeah. Uh, what What's inside the smithy? Uh, so there's a guy next to the anvil hammering on some sword or something. He's making. Uh, he's a little drunk and hungover, so he's he's you know. Hard. 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 Yeah. Drunk and hungover. Yeah, 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 yeah. party last night. <laughs> I can't believe I have to work on a holiday. Poor guy. <laughs> if I give you this big old rusted sword, Smithy, is there anything you can work on this for me? Uh, what you looking for, little man? <laughs> Grimo wants to be unstoppable. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Very quite short in, short in stature and and therefore strength. But perhaps if I had a weapon that could accommodate for my lack of strength, you know, meet me halfway there. Um, I notice some stilts on the wall, and I go, will these work? <laughs> How much for the stilts? Uh, a gold. Single gold piece. Okay, that's a steal. That's, that's a good deal. Primo buys the yeah. stilts. Man, oh, don't yeah. Like he either. flips a gold gold piece, and he says, happy mono weepoy, my friend. But it hits him in the thigh because you're so small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just drops in front of him. He's still hammering because it's you know he's got big gloves, and it's mm-hmm. hard work. And... and You know what? I'll throw in the sword in addition just because I'm feeling good. Can, can they be... Um... Like those stilts that like people wear at Comic Con is that where they're like fawn legs, yeah. sure. yeah, backwards like a dog. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Cool, freak. <laughs> cool. You got some stilts. How much do you charge stuff? for uh, weapon sharpenings? Uh, two gold. Two gold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How how good are you? Yeah, yeah I'm not the best. <laughs> <laughs> He's honest. <laughs> uh, what could you do with a hand axe? I can sharpen it. Okay. Okay. You can sharpen it. Okay. Yeah. All right, I got two of them. All right. Do you sell any DIY kits? Maybe just do it myself. Oh yeah, there's a few stones in the corner. Those are those are a couple gold. Oh, you, know, you sell rocks? Yeah. Okay, rocks. I leave. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'll waddle up to him with my little little slippers on. You buying? And I'll just <laughs> hold out a hand, and I've got some rings, like silver rings and stuff. Oh okay. Uh, you know that the ones that look like they're made of uh, silver, I'll take. Uh, Let's see here. So you're gonna sell the silver for gold? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I've got three silver rings and one gold earring. Uh, did you happen to write down what they were worth? How do you know? He, he, yeah, he, he, I picked them up off of dead things. It didn't come uh, up with go next, get, go next um, door and get it appraised. What have you got there? Three silver rings, one gold earring. All right, I'll give you 40 gold for that. Damn. Oh my God. Wow. His his eyes will open a bit, but you don't see because he's got his cool sunglasses on. <laughs> so his eyebrows though. He just he just shoves them further at the guy. I'll take I'll take that price. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I go to shoulder through everybody. I got some weapons that I've been meaning to get rid of. Would you be interested in buying any of these? Oh boy, uh, you guys are starting to clean me out here. Um, <laughs> Let's rob him. <laughs> Beat him up. Let's kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'll sharpen your axes. What are you looking to sell there? What, you got anything good? One great axe, one hand axe, and one long sword. Um, I'll give you five gold for all of it. For all of it? It's kind of getting close to all the money I have in the world. <laughs> yes! Got in there early. Gotta be aggressive. We spent almost no money this entire yeah, game. Yeah, no, I know. Like five gold just for just hoarding. the hand axe. I don't. I don't think so. Green right. leans over the Goodbye. smithy <laughs> in, on his stilts and intim- in act of intimidation. He says, "I think you should give my friend five gold." Were you doing an intimidation roll? Yeah, he's re- he's leaning on his stilts. <laughs> he's gonna fall into that. So eighteen oh, wow. plus. Three. Oh god. Yeah, the little guy's like <laughs> terrified of, of you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this monster? <laughs> take it, take it. He's with I me. guess he, he what, what were you trying to convince him to do? Five gold for my friend Miri. Okay, yeah, yeah. He, he, he throws the coins at him yeah. and snatches the axe. But now we've got more junk. Thanks. I'll yeah. keep my great axe and long sword then. No problem, little guy. We're gonna come back to this town. That's when he's gonna be closed. Yeah, he's gonna be begging out for of money. business. <laughs> Good. We got ours. Who gives a shit? Uh, Shadowcraft doesn't really have anything to sell, so she goes to the shop to kind of check out and see what's in the shop. Okay. She walks in. What does she see? Hello. There's Hi. like a little person, you know, pushing stuff around on the shelves. What do you got to sell? Uh, well, everything you see here. What do I see? <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh, it's got a little bit of everything. It's the room of requirement. Hmm. <laughs> do you have anything rare? Oh, no. Um, well, <laughs> hmm. Absolutely. Be honest here. I know. <laughs> appreciate that. We just uh, sell hand axes here. <laughs> you noticed that the shot Ten gold. Yeah. There's a little tunnel. This is a conveyor belt. <laughs> Six gold for the hand axe. <laughs> yeah, but you know, an assortment of, of, of knives and, and axes. It's all garbage. Two swords, it. shields, all trash. Some food. I read the reviews. They're bad. Boring. 
<laughs> and she leaves. <laughs> She's standing out in the road just waiting for the other people. Do you want to go dry off in the hut? Why is everybody <laughs> wet on the I guess. Well, well, I'm I mean, always wet. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be walking yeah. back to, to get on my, my, my uh, uniform, I guess you'd call it. Uh, He's and in I'll, his bathroom. I'll see Shattercock sitting outside. Is there anything good in there? No, not at all. No magic potions, no nothing? Nothing, I asked. God damn it. You should write a scathing review and put it... On Yelp? Well, <laughs> I, it'd be like Yelpe. Yelpe. Yeah. Two mm-hmm. L's, two P's. It's a scroll in the <laughs> middle of town. Three E's. No, there's nothing there, Decker. Ah, bullshit. Small, no. small town shops never had anything. No. Okay, yeah, I'll go back to the end and take off my bathrobe, reveal my stunning physique <laughs> to no one. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, it's skeletal. It's, it's, it's ghoulish. It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> put on my sweet, sweet gear. Get ready to go. Head back outside. How long is it going to take for these my axes to be done? Okay, yeah, like fifteen minutes. Fifteen oh, minutes. Okay. All right, I'm going to go to the shop and see if they have any other cool stuff. They don't. As you're walking Hello. in, Bing. I'll just say, do you guys crap. have any um, crap in there? There's nothing good. Do you have <laughs> don't any? Don't waste your time. Uh, battle axes in here. They don't have anything. Battle axe. You know, or a war hammer. He's just uh, just my wife. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, he the dude disappears for a second. He goes, "What about this?" And he, he pulls up a great big old hammer. A big old hammer. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. How much for the hammer? Hmm. What, what did it? What did it say there? I don't know. What's, what's the going, like what's the going rate? It's like two gold. <laughs> two gold. It's more the than that. The shop Whatever James says, wrong. Rate. It's like two gold no for a hammer. Costs. I'm supposed to know that. What page is on James? One forty. One forty nine. While this wow. is happening, wow. fifteen gold pieces. Nice. All right, what if I told you I saved your whole town twice? <laughs> Ten gold pieces. Oh. Eight. Nine. Eight. Because you're such a good person. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, deal. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Well, we're negotiating with money we've never spent Grima, before. Grima, uh, he goes over to the shop. Uh, he's having a hard time wielding his stilts. Stilt so <laughs> you, have to, like, you have to duck to get into the doorway now? Yeah, he's never experienced that sensation You to brace yourself before. on knocking stuff off shelves. <laughs> he, he got through some mud, so he's like traipsing oh, mud on oh, the stilts no. in the shop. But he kind of goes up to one of the shopkeeps and really quietly he says, Excuse me there, I'm looking for a, a gift for a, a lady. Per hmm. chance do you sell any kind of uh, er- erotic garb, <laughs> if you will? Hmm. You know, not here, but we do have an old lady in the village that makes some clothes. Let me uh, stay here for just a minute. I'll go run and see what she's got. This old lady makes sex clothes? <laughs> What is, what is the sex clothes? Oh, uh, you know, like a lingerie or something. Hmm. Let me go find out. Lace yeah. and stuff, right? Yeah, a little okay. lacy. When the shopkeep comes back, just tell me you saved the city twice. <laughs> Got you a deal. Got you, dog brain. Thanks for the tips. All right, so he scuttles away. A few minutes, comes back with a bunch of lacy stuff that has a giant um, kind of iron breast holder of some oh. kind. Oh. I guess it's a bra. Um, it does have a crotch, though. So I don't know out. if that's a deal breaker. <laughs> but. Yeah, my or friend, my buddy, my, De- my buddy Decker can cut that out for me. <laughs> All uh, right. What's your, what's the going rate for this here? Uh, Twenty-two gold. What about for a hero who saved the city? Twice. Twice. Nineteen gold. Ten. Nineteen. It's, it took so long to make this old lady. What you call it? Spent. <laughs> Months working on all this lace. <laughs> Fifteen. All right, little man, you okay. drive a hard bargain. I will be driving something else hard. <laughs> wow. oh. I don't get that. So you guys uh, actually suddenly hear a few explosions oh, outside. God. Just bam, 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 bam. Just like right outside the shop, or like over the city, or what? Uh, yeah, outside, over in this direction. Okay. Mm-hmm. Again. I investigate. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go there too. Turn whatever. I save <clears throat> lingerie. All right, so so, so you kind of run up here, and as you round the corner, uh, you see a bunch of dudes that are still. Wasted from last night. It's going whee, lighting oh, okay. off fireworks. Can Grima roll to see if how her uh, or how his um, stilts hold up? Stilts hold up. For yeah, the yeah. Run. Are, are you sprinting down the street on the? Oh sets? yeah, with everything he's got. Twenty. <laughs> oh. oh. I, I re-roll on ones because I'm oh, lucky. Oh, yeah, that's a, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. 18 plus whatever. God, man, it's, it's, it on it's the perfect. Stilts. There's even a, like a really big old pothole that you didn't see. You stepped in and still keep going nice. without Can I do really a little falling. spin around it? <laughs> this is <laughs> impressive. Well, hey, what are you guys doing? What's wrong with explosions? What's the explosions? They're, they're just lighting off fireworks. Why kind of ignoring it? you. It's it's the, the beautiful uh, red lady. Or purple. I forget. Oh. I I'm not sure. Purple. Man, she hot. Whee! And they're just yeah. still I mean, yeah. taking shots yes, and that's true. lighting stuff on fire. Why aren't you guys drinking in the middle of the day? Why? Why? <laughs> that's a good answer. All right, well, 
Uh, Shattercock goes and grabs the uh, fireworks, like kind of away from them. What? Yeah. These are mine. Fun police. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on, man. You'll hurt yourself. You'll hurt on. yourself. You'll hurt yourself. It's celebration day. We have, yes, I thought yesterday was a celebration day. Well, no, today, today is Mono Ipe. Yesterday is, was big celebration eve. We just we were partying all day, man. Come on. Come on. All right, how about this? I'll give you each one firework. I'll give each one. There you go. They, they light them and stare at you. <laughs> Kind of toss it at your feet, still staring at you. Yeah, that was fun, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, Joy. They're, they're kind of trying there, to like eye you up and down, trying to figure out how to get their stuff back. Is there like a fantasy keg around here or something? Oh, yeah. Okay, I have to take from the fantasy keg and do take a fantasy keg drinking. soon. Yeah, take it from a Magenta Solo cup <laughs> <laughs> and kick back. What are they drinking? Oh, uh, it's milk like that, that milk liquor. Yeah. Okay, I start drinking milk liquor. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you get ripped and, pretty and, quick. Yeah, I'm just like, Whoa! I'm doing limbo. Immediately drunk. <laughs> Deckard's feeling a little mischievous. Uh, he he sees that Shattercock's holding all these fireworks. That's not cool. It's a day of celebration or whatever. Uh, how many fireworks is Shattercock holding right now? Like an unsafe amount? Sure, yeah. You, you kind of snatched up a bushel full or like a bag full. Oh, okay. They had a bag. All right. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna cast Firebolt. Try and ignite them. Oh, oh boy. I like it. Do I need to roll something? Whatever. Um, never yeah. hold the firework. <laughs> no, no. It's a, just okay. a bag. It's roll a bag. 20. Uh, no, that's a four. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, so I don't know if anything gets plus to that. Well, yeah, a spell attack would put it to I mean, nine. it's just fire going at a bag of fireworks, so... It can't defend itself. Yeah. It, yeah, the, the bag starts to catch a light. Not any of the fireworks yet, but it starts going up. Like, Dicker, Dicker! Dicker, you lit the fireworks! What are we going to do? He's like doing this. He's <laughs> yeah. running away. Yeah, basically. Dicker, come back! And then I uh, throw the bag at the, at the guys, and oh, I go, Where's your fireworks? <laughs> 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 and they all, and I guess it's, I assume oh, yeah, they go, go up. up. Oh, they yeah, go yeah. up. What are we messing about with these fireworks for? We gotta take those orc heads back and get our rewards and get pardoned. Take it there, giant man. <laughs> giant man. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, 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 I call, I call you little giant. Oh, <laughs> can you call me my giant? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. I call you Billy Crystal. Yeah. Look, you, you. You schizo buffook, we gotta take these heads and we gotta oh, go yeah, out. Right. I don't care if you're the best limbo master I ever seen. Oh, uh, look. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Saite actually walks down the oh, street no. oh, smoking right. a cigar. Uh, I suddenly uh, stopped having fun. He's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sober and upset. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Firebolt on him. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's that Saite? Firework. No, I'm joking. No, okay. Joking for now. No. We'll, see. Oh, no. we'll see what he says. What does Saite say? Uh, he, he actually sits down next to Rax and, and uh, just sits in the middle of the room. Just sits in the middle? Yeah, just, right next to just you. Just sits there. Yeah. Sits on the floor. Like, you know, crosses, yeah, sometimes legs. people just sit on the floor. They come out, they sit on the floor. <laughs> I don't like Saite. <laughs> Let's get a move on. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm done here. I think, oh, you know what? Laundry, we gotta go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Saite, where's, we got this Saite? thing. We need a, uh, yeah, we we need can't a back out one. of it. Yeah. Yeah, so Saite's smoking a cigar and, and walks up to Miri. Uh oh, no. no. Miri, don't no. talk to him. Oh, Miri, 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 don't old, give old, him a sandwich. Old friend, tell me, uh, fuck, tell me, I know we heard the story about you guys and that uh, nasty evil witch and the and the, dirt, the girls, but uh, whatever happened, did you ever run into that good witch? I think so. Oh. She kind of just disappeared for a while. Yeah. But that's all I remember. I'm not what, even sure it was her. There must be some big tale to tell. Not that I remember. <laughs> oh, boy. That's true. No, he, no. <laughs> not really, no. Saite's just going to talk his ear off. We, we don't know. He, it, he just gets his talons into you. Why do you want to know? I just, I love listening to the, the sound of my best friend's voice. Best friend. Okay. Get the fuck out of there. Get out. Disengage. Disengage now. Well, you guys hear a I gift remember. for you. And he, he pulls out a bunch of uh, cigars wrapped around with a, a oh, ribbon and hands them to you. that's so pathetic. That's so sad. A, a, a gesture. <laughs> uh, no, oh, to yeah. our friendship. And he kind of cheers as you with the cigar. Well, thank you. I do remember now. She did like your cigars. The ones that so we you, had. So you did run into her. If, uh... That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Mary! Yeah. <laughs> Mary, we gotta go! I'm trying I'm to like, this. tiptoe away. <laughs> We're losing the sun. Uh, the sun <laughs> is high in the sky. <laughs> it's, right it's, still it's, like 10 a. A. it's getting dark. Uh, thanks for the cigars. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we all start walking away then. He, all right. It's like yeah. following a little bit. Saite's like holding like <laughs> concert tickets. Like, <laughs> got an extra seat. Free car! <laughs> <laughs> Weird ass. I need to stop at the smithy. Am I, are oh, my yeah. axes done yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What did you do to them? Uh, they look barely sharper than the down. way you, you know, you sharpen them every day. <laughs> you know, you know everything about how perfectly sharp they are. And there's yeah. actually like an actual little ding, kind of a notch no. in there. Yeah. He wasn't able to get out. 
These don't look any better than they were when I handed them to you. I did what I could, man. I told you, I'm just all right at this. <laughs> what, you're just all right? You're the only smithy in the whole town. It's a little town. It doesn't take much to stand out here. As we... <laughs> I like this guy. So you didn't do anything to my axes. I sharpened them. I want my money back. Mm. <laughs> um, Man. No, you can leave. You can take the axes, but I've got okay. some money. All right, so I take the axes, and then I take out my Warhammer, and I'm going to smash his... Smash no, his desk. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my desk. Are there are there <laughs> any like uh, displays or anything outside of the shop? So what kind of display like, are you like, looking for? Like just <laughs> something vandalizing like, a well, like, like a medieval display of like look here's a sample of what we have inside. Oh right? yeah, it, it's like there's a big clown guy with a hammer that looks like he's hammering. Nice, I knocked that over smiles. so Saite can't follow. Is there us. anybody, <laughs> is there anybody the twirling a sign? It's for the bar down the street, though. Not oh, man. oh, damn. Because Grimo was going to kick him with his. Oh, man. You guys, you guys so mean. Like, there should be uh, little goblins doing a little flick. Like, oh, yeah. 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 yeah they're trying to get the shirts on. <laughs> yeah. You do hear some kids go, it's Grimo, Grimo, it's Grimo. And a bunch of little kids kind of run up oh, to you around this your is the worst day ever. Oh, kids, are they hugging you still? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind of shaking you, actually. Oh, yeah. whoa. Yeah. Oh, kids, I know Grimo's a hero, but he's on the legs. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> they're like, Signing it, they're trying to sign their name. Wait, why are they signing it? <laughs> <laughs> Grimo's so proud. He came from nothing in the gyre, and now he's a hero. He uh, offers the kid cigarettes. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Mr. Grimo. You're oh, the best. Oh, <laughs> 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 Tom Uncle Grimo sent you. Oh, it's the fantasy <laughs> version. When they get you to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's leave. Are you, are you guys are trying to leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke yeah. Like, yeah. Any other drugs you want to give them? <laughs> well, Saito has got his wacky tobacco cigars. Yeah. We'll I've created time. a path of destruction. He can't I follow us anymore. Yeah. yeah, that clown is yeah. on the ground hammering. <laughs> He can't drop his cigar, and he's. What else is he gonna do? Well, also, 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 this guy's desk goes flying out nice. of the front of the shop and then lands in the path. Yeah, fuck this place. Okay, so uh, you guys are trying to leave the village now. Um, so as as you're getting to the edge of town, uh, you see some cheat, uh, the village elder, and then um, Bon and Tolpaka, the parents of the girls, approach you. Bon, the the man, uh, approaches Miri with a pouch that you know, full of kind of jingly coins, hands it to him, and kind of stands there awkwardly staring at him for a minute. You know his his lips are like trembling. He's you know trying to trying to keep in, trying trying to cry, and then he just the tears the oh, tears flow, no. and he grabs grabs no. Miri and lifts him up, bear hugging him, oh, kind no. of jostling him. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. <laughs> Told that the kids are safe. Dick. I'm embarrassed. So uh, Toll uh, the the wife walks up to Grimo. She's kind of pulling this old gray horse behind her on a rope. She gets down on her knees and you know has her hands and uh, and, and thinks. You've done such a great service to my family, Mr. Grimo. It may never be repaid at such a great honor. Consider our family in your eternal debt. I do ask one last thing of you, though. Please, Mr. G-Spot, give, <laughs> give old girl one last adventure. And he, he hands you this rope that's got this just wretched old gray horse. <laughs> oh, this town sucks. <laughs> it really does. Grimo <laughs> sees the most magnificent, magnificent steed he has ever seen. Uh, they do not have animals like that in the gyre. Oh my gosh. Uh, just tibby wonks. You know, which. <laughs> Again, uh, not allowed to say that. Uh, yeah. Okay. What are tibby wonks? Oh, uh, they're like a very stout, very, very, very fat, wide creature. Um, that like a it's. Shetland pony? Yeah, not even, because oh, that, no. that would be they're Im pretty. impressive. Yeah. Uh, they only have hooves, they don't have legs. Oh. So it's just a very <laughs> large <laughs> mass with just like hooves. Like a centipede? Yeah, they're they're sort of. Do they, um, they, probably, they, probably they cannot be ridden. They, in fact, they need to be carried by <laughs> the legs oh, okay. of the gyre. Gosh. But Grimo, he's so touched. He swings his stilts over the. Oh, the he steed. mounts the steed. <laughs> but because it's still so like little and derpy, his stilts are dragging <laughs> in it's the like, dirt. It's back. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Grimo chokes back a little and he says, I will never forget you. Toll. Toll. <laughs> Thank you for this generous uh, gift. Thank you, Mr. Grimo. And she kind of like motions at the girls who are kind of standing a few feet away behind them kind of stoic and motionless, and she's like gesturing at them. And they go, thank you, Mr. Waxen. Oh, fuck. And they kind of wave at you. But it's, it's you know, kind of dark and creepy. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not exactly happy at no, all. No, that's fine. Um, oh, what do I got? Um, <laughs> what was the creature's name? Do you oh, have one? Old Girl, the old horse. Girl. Uh, what was it named when it was young? <laughs> old Girl. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I just pull some crumbs from my pocket and like throw it in the <laughs> eyes. Yeah. Ah! I'm throwing it off to the side like, like they're, dirt like they're animals. And like, no touch. Bad, bad, bad. Grimo's going to rename the horse to Chauncey. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to do that. Okay. I was right down Chauncey, right? <laughs> it's it's old girl. Chauncey Her name... uh, quotes old girl. Chauncey is a boy's name. Yeah, Grimo well <laughs> Grimo's gonna Can we leave yeah, already? Oh, oh, God. It I didn't get anything. I mean I didn't either. I just wanna go. I was the so, one who say those girls. So some cheat runs up and goes, You have our eternal gratitude. Oh, we already had yeah. it though. Again. Oh. Oh, you're yeah, welcome, somehow back. Makes you're it welcome back anytime. What was in no, the bag? We won't be Wait, coming back. The bag with the coins. Yeah, I, I oh, look um, in the bag. You start counting them, it takes you a little while. There's 66 <laughs> gold in it Jeez. in front of them. Whoa. That's a lot of gold. Um, As he's counting it, Decker will just be looming over his shoulder. That's it though. Derek goes over to the two <laughs> girls staring. and goes, Hey, for next time, use this. And then hands them one of his hand axes that the Wow. <laughs> they're gonna become Zena. It's a hand axe. <laughs> yeah. So as you're holding it out, like their arms don't move. They're just kind of staring. They at grab it. it by the blade, and they just kind of like let it fall out of my hand okay. in front of them. Just Learn kinda, to use that, and then you can defend yourself next time. They're just kind of spurging out, or there's little movement. They're not. You don't spurging. remember? Yeah, they're, we yeah. think they're possessed. I don't know. Thank I, you, I, um, I go up to the dad, and I go, "Hey, there's a special ed school down the street. They probably need some help. Here, I'll give you the number." No, that's the smithy. What? <laughs> well, you have done so much to reward us for all the work we've done for you. Let's go over and over and over again. Let's go. But I believe it is time for us to go. This place sucks. I knock more stuff over so they can't fall. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all bow. Yeah. yeah, I light the pile on fire, so it's just blocking them into their own town. Good. They're running for water to put the fires <laughs> out. Yeah, pulls up to Miri. Room for one more. Huh? Oh, oh, Derek oh. slaps slaps <laughs> Chauncey on the on the there. butt so it goes off run. Oh. I was gonna say the way, the, way it, the way it works though, it's like this is her on the yeah. hand on the silk. This yeah. is the horse, so the horse just goes. Takes <laughs> 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 off and is just standing there. <laughs> and I, I look up and I'm like, here's your eleven gold from the the pouch they gave us. Mary, can I have my gold? Thank yeah, here you go. Yes. Oh, I give Thank you. I give everyone eleven. Mary, gold. can I have my twelve gold, yeah. please? Um, why do you want twelve? So is is Mary able to make it on the horse before <laughs> Derek kicks it away? <laughs> do you want to be on the horse? No, I thought it's funny. It ran off and then you're staring at me. Oh, okay, guys. <laughs> I you, and I hand you your gold. But it never comes Very back. Funny. I was gonna say, and, and that's the end of Chauncey. It yeah. runs into <laughs> a giant penis fly trap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eats it, and it makes the uh, horse makes a noise you've never heard before in your life. It's just horrible. So Chauncey ran away. I turned to Mary and go, Mary, tell us the story of Chauncey. Chauncey was a, a good horse. Um, he was the best. <laughs> Perhaps we'll meet again. Decker sits on the ground. Let's go and find her. Her. That one starts typing. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come yeah. on, let's go. Jeez. <laughs> Bye, sexy. <laughs> she runs away. There's two layers of wall. He's like, walking him. He's tripped up in all the... All the he comes, as he comes closer, I crack a whip at him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we leave. We leave. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. Yeah, I'll take a hint. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're gone. He's, yeah. he's, for a long time, maybe a good half an hour, he's Following maybe you know a couple oh, hundred feet so behind him, he's right behind us. Saite's <laughs> so been following us for the last half hour. Uh, he he he's that. no harm. It's it smelling. It he's like, like a shit. more hideous golem. Just, no yeah. Harm. I throw some buttons. <laughs> oh, he loves buttons. <laughs> he loves his buttons. Just shiny things. Oh, so Saite where are we right now? The, you're here, up here okay. in Jayen. So if he's still following, I'll cast Charm Person on him and tell so him to go back. So we're traveling back, back to... Uh, <laughs> I'm just throwing rocks. <laughs> I keep cracking that whip. <laughs> yeah. We need to poke I some of them out. I always forget where we're headed to. It's, is it back? it's not back to Krasmere. Hold fast. Yeah. Hold fast? Okay. Yeah. So as we're tra- as we're traveling back there, Dan, do, do we see Chauncey at all? Do I? Yeah. Do you, are you trying to find Chauncey? I really want to find Chauncey, Are you Chauncey, dedicating yeah. a little extra time, or are you just hoping It'd to find him on the It'd be great plot for us to have a horse. <laughs> So yeah, as, as you horse. round a yeah. as you round a bin, uh, Chauncey is like on its side, like breathing heavily. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have to kill Chauncey! <laughs> He'll never race again. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he broke one of his legs. <laughs> oh. Is it hurt or just tired? No, it, it's just breathing heavily. When you get closer to it, it slowly kind of, you know, it's like, there's like, like oh, oh man. Yeah. It's too far gone, it's I'm totally sorry, Grimo. It's it, stands up, it stands up and walks to Grimo and nuzzles your neck a little bit. But the baby boy Chauncey. Put it down. <laughs> I'll come to Grimo. Okay. I, can, I can take care of it if you're... Chauncey's fine, what are you talking about? 
Yeah. Necro put a hand on, on Grima's shoulder. It's okay. No. I've lost something so, too. So then uh, Derek takes takes the <laughs> hand. Dan, Dan did not say. Shanna can't cast acid splash. <laughs> Dan did not say. <laughs> on the back of it, no. but not on his head. No. <laughs> I swing my great axe. Dan did not say that you guys said he was dying. You guys said we he was dying. We gotta put him down. We gotta put him down. Smells like burning. I'm rolling for damage. The horse might be useful, guys. <laughs> Dan never said Chauncey was dying. Oh, his eyeballs pop. Well, that's no good in the blind horse. I'm going to roll for this horse. Uh, horse might be useful. Derek snaps one of his eyes. Oh, we gotta put it down. I pulled the bracer. Hold on. And then, and then, and then, then Grimo wakes up from a nap or a nightmarish nap. Nap that Grimo had while riding on the back of Chauncey no, and the whole party. No, was you moving. fucked it. No, 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 no it's, it's good. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. You just, Grimo just had a nightmare no, on the okay. back Chauncey's of Chauncey. No, oh, no. Fine. You wake up and we're all we're running a train on Shattercock. <laughs> oh, but then you oh, wake up again. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> and we're burying Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> You've been asleep for a long time. <laughs> Grimo has a beard. <laughs> <laughs> so is Chauncey dead or was no? Dead? You're riding right. Chauncey. Chauncey's fine. It's all a nightmare. The horse is two, fine. two dreams. Yeah, the horse Mir- is fine. Mir- Mir- yes, I had the craziest dream that Chauncey was dead. Can you believe that? You sleep a lot. <laughs> so just as you told the story, the, the horse stumbles a little bit, actually, oh, and you go falling off of it. Check its legs. <laughs> I'm My legs go. <laughs> yeah, your stilts. <laughs> I get locked together. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've fallen. How'd you make a pretzel shape? Don't worry, I'll help. And then I lift up Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, somebody needs to help me up. I can't get up with my legs. All right, come on, here. Yeah. Here, here, come on. Let's yeah. go. Oh, okay, thanks. Thank you, Shadowcock. Actually, uh, Shadowcock, now that we have a moment. Um, yes. We're all standing, staring I, at uh, <laughs> I have a little present for you. Okay. It's not from me, though. Where's it from? It's from Decker. Okay, what is what? it? I hand her okay. a box. Decker it's, uh, yeah, wrong. Decker, yeah. He, uh, he asked me if uh, I would give this to you, but he also asked that I, I don't really you know, mention that it's from him. So, you know, try to keep that. So Decker's typing and he hears yeah. his name. <laughs> well, this, is, this is a very quiet, you know, clandestine conversation. Well, and then Shattercock opens the box and, and there's some lingerie inside. Oh, what is this? this? Yeah, I said, oh, well, Decker, yeah, he wanted you to have that. Oh, I think. This, is, this is really nice. And then immediately Shattercock, her, she doesn't even say anything, her clothes just fall off. Oh. And then she uh, mm. put, immediately puts it right back on. It's got the iron bra, right? And then the, mm. the lace. Just, wow! This fits really, and I can fight better. This fits really well. That's a, yeah, don't thank me, thank Decker. You know, he's a really Sh- great guy, Shattercock. Shattercock runs Decker, thank you so much. This is so I great. I told you. I love this. Thank you so much, Decker. Oh, I just told you, dumb bra, not to say nothing. <laughs> you can hear Decker breathing heavily because he just kind of is always breathing heavily. <laughs> like he turns Chauncey. around. <laughs> Decker, you got me this. I look great. Thank you. So <laughs> there's about five seconds of of what you presume to be deep thought, mm-hmm. even though his, his expression doesn't change. <laughs> Green oh. mountain. And he goes, you're welcome. And he just leans in a little bit. <laughs> and, like <laughs> waits for something to happen. What do you want? <laughs> Never mind. He backs up a little bit. Well, thanks again, Decker. And then she pats Decker on the shoulder. Hmm. Grimo's back on top of Chauncey and he's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> he's all then he gives him a little kick. <laughs> Chauncey farts. Oh. oh no. That's just uh, I think we gotta put it we down. Gotta down. That's yeah. his that's 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 from the inside out. <laughs> that's his turbo <laughs> juice. And it gives him a little oh. like burst. Oh, well, you gotta stop slower. defending this <laughs> sick again, horse. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Uh, another awkward five seconds. <laughs> so, do you do you like it? Yes, I already said I like it. Thank you. Oh, turn away. Decker, what okay. do you want? Tell me what you want. <laughs> Tell me what you want, Decker. Uh, Ugh. You, he's like stum- stammering a lot. You wanna you wanna walk together? Derek bursts in and goes, "Hey, your rack looks great in that." Thanks, thanks so much. And then yeah. Shattercock kisses Derek on the cheek. I got, I got sweet tits. <laughs> he slaps her on the ass. <laughs> oh, you're the best, Derek. Yeah. Uh, Decker's just gonna mutter and then try and find a bush. Decker, uh, Decker, come here, come here. Uh, uh. And then Shattercock leans over and just the slightest little peck on Aww. Decker's lips. I go, "Thank you so much." It causes him. You can like, you can detect a like full body quake. <laughs> from the top to the bottom. <laughs> you should throw up. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then he like snaps his laptop shut and just runs and tries to find some like a tree. 
to hide behind so you can beat off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right the stage just gathers immediately. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I lean over to Myriadis. I'm right on Tussie. Did you see that, Myriadis? A love connection made by yours truly. I did see that. You know, perhaps there's a tall woman in your future, my friend. I hope so. No, there isn't! Oh. <laughs> a lot of good meat on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling shattercock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it only takes Decker like 30 seconds. I'm back. Breathing heavily again. <sighs> but he doesn't care now since he jerked off, so he's just back in his laptop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get a move on. But he's, uh, just so you know, uh-huh. he's writing out potential conversations that could happen between him and Shattercock mm. and writing down the results. So he's That's analyzing. Chart? Yeah, basically. Mm. He's making an Excel doc, oh cross sections of all of the, all the opening lines and responses. Nice. <laughs> so he knows exactly what to say the next time this happens. So Grima, he came to, to the realization that maybe he and Shattercock weren't the best like couple. They weren't, they weren't right for each other. Um, but he knows that like his buddy Decker is like lonely. So That's totally true. That was, his, that was yeah. very thoughtful. Decker doesn't even realize or care about it. <laughs> I, uh, I pull Grima aside and go, hey, little guy. I saw what happened over there, and it reminds yeah, me. Yeah, it reminds me cool. of a um, a noble in the town I grew up in, uh, Lord Cuckold. <laughs> <laughs> he was a uh, he was a great he was a great lord, um, but unfortunately, uh, he was unable to uh, take care of his his uh, the one he truly loved. But he he did everything he could to make it better for her. So he um, he brought in some of the uh, the dark skinned. Uh, uh, <laughs> farmers from the from the west. Oh, I see where you're going. And um, <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Finish your story. Are we doing the slave trade right now? Is that what's going on? Close. It's pretty close. It's very close. And uh, and he found. I'm leaning closer. Eyes <laughs> 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 are getting bloodshot. Cha- so. Chauncey and I are both looking at him yeah. like, what's yeah. this guy? Well, like, enough time has gone by, and I'm like, he just got in there. He was just pounding, and like, so it's a more like a montage where it's crossfading. <laughs> oh, and I'm That's like, it. and then the third guy he's, got he's in, like, and, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he was like up and down, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, Derek's helping me. Yeah, like like this, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Where's the point of this yeah. story? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you because I'm on top yeah. of Derek. Derek's, Derek's holding, holding <laughs> Rack's head with his legs up like this, like the pile <laughs> driver maneuver. Yeah, and we're, we're also doing like flips, like yeah, we're in yeah. Cirque du wow. Soleil. Yeah. And we're, we're just gone now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're marching to hold fast. Yeah, yeah so we keep moving. All right, all right. Um, so yeah, the, a day pretty much passes. Did Sight un- see all that happen, by the way? He's, sl- he's slowly <laughs> still back <laughs> off into the distance. I want him to tell tales of our adventure. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he, sees, he sees Raxan yeah. and, and Derek like, <laughs> like, just, like just, 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 just. and he's just got stars in his eyes. <laughs> Such so, heroes. So, do we arrive at hold fast? Uh, no, you have one day, nothing really happens. It's mm. nighttime, fire, I don't know. Um, Can we see Saite's little fire? Oh, yeah. so it's definitely been a day since he's done his thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would agree. Well, it's still not over. We're around the campfire now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's getting campfire. late. You guys have eaten. Dinner's done. Yeah, uh, Grimos used just to sleep with Chauncey. They're just he's <laughs> lying next to Chauncey. Shadowcock's passed out, kind of by herself. So now Grimo is the big spoon. I have a, a telescope and I'm li- writing a note. I found it in the town before. I'm building like a makeshift. Telescope. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I'm writing a note. Yeah. Okay. And I'm putting just a piece of paper up against the glass that says, Stop following us. Oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> so, he, 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 well, there's a note that says, Forsyte, a gift for you. And he goes, You know, so you can always keep an eye on us. And looks and it says, Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna walk up and sit down next to Shattercock. She's asleep. Ah, oh, just keep and creepier. Then I'll, I'll just stare at her and write in my laptop. I'll get inspired. Just come, just come on her feet. <laughs> oh, she gosh. wouldn't know. Shattercock's t- passed out, just totally right. gone. Won't wake her up. Decker's a gentleman, Bruce. All right. To the extent that uh, things will probably go very sour if you don't sleep with him soon. Um, I'm still telling Grimo the rest of Lord Cuckold. And now the sixth guy got in. This is like three weeks of just <laughs> hardcore. Like, <laughs> things, body parts got sore. Derek, Wait, where are you? I'm not, yeah, we're Der- yeah we're, Derek's, like, he's... It's almost like interpretive dance. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, kind of showcase. <laughs> Miri just interrupts with, uh, Boy, I wish I had some udders to milk. And please continue, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That should have woken Shattercock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you rang! I got two udders! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and she goes back to sleep. Decker almost loads up his... Like, you're awake, so he loads up his spreadsheet. By the time it's loaded, you're already asleep. But he turns around and goes, You know, I'm really nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, never mind. And he like makes a little mark on that one. 
You should find like a fedora in the bushes. <laughs> this will help. <laughs> uh, Derek sits down next to uh, next to Decker. He's trying to fix his his axe. He sits down. He goes. So you like her, don't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay though. I've got a system for this sort of thing. Yeah. What's your system? Oh, uh, it's you wouldn't probably wouldn't understand it, but it's uh, you see, it uh, it sort of reaches into women don't think the same as us, right? So what this does is it sort of uh, mansplaining guides guides their emotional state to want me as much as I want them. Listen, if you're that interested, you should just ask Grimo if you can have a ride. One on the horse? Yeah, aren't we talking about Chauncey? <laughs> I, walk, I walk over and sort of just typing on my listening. I, I have a <laughs> lit cigar and I, I offer up uh, some of Saite cigars. I, I, I walk up the Decker and I go... I, I overheard Nobody? your story, and it reminds me of a tale from my hometown. <laughs> uh, his name was Lord Trilby. He was a... Uh, <laughs> Derek, was a Derek is stretching himself out. <laughs> uh, he, was a, he was a stout lord. Uh, <laughs> and that second his eyebrows go up and he starts typing. Yeah. Then I go back to Grima and go... Oh. And now the eighth guy, he was a big one. I grew to sleep with Chauncey. I'm so telling you. I want you to dream of this. <laughs> Lord Cuckle didn't get to sleep, and neither do you. So do we, do we finish the night? Yeah, are we Lord Cuckle didn't finish. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't know if there was more to that story. It more. never ends. Yeah. It's still going <laughs> it's on. Still, they'll go yeah. forever. Yeah. 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 You left yeah. as it was still unfolding. Carrier pigeons are still updating me on what's going on. All right, yeah, next morning you guys wake up. I'm still telling Grima of the yeah. story. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Come on, let's go to Old Fest. Let's go. Here we go. All right, Grima I'll mounts his steed. The Again, stills? his stilts dragging in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Giving a big trail. That's okay. We kill everybody. This is how side taste following us. Oh, yeah. 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 Smells dead Grima horse. doesn't realize it, but there's a sign on the back of Chauncey that says, Kicketh me. No. <laughs> Little snicker. Yeah. Uh, will you guys pick out a marching order? Yeah, it'd probably be Grimo Chauncey. Does anybody want to mount Chauncey with Grimo? I think you're okay. I'm not sure Chauncey can handle anything. Okay. That's nice. When, uh, when uh, you guys are like getting into a line, whenever Shadowcock takes a step forward, Decker kind of steps. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go behind. Up. And then probably Miri. Yeah. And then uh, Derek and Raxan giggling. Hey. Is that still behind us too? Uh, he runs up and finds the device that Raxan left for him. Yeah. And then he he just kind of collapses to the ground and starts weeping. Oh. Or something. <laughs> I know. We, we hear crying when we yeah. whip him. Yeah. A, a <laughs> trap in the tree. It's a log on a swing. <laughs> Knocks him right out. Same thing the Ewoks made. <laughs> um, and he pulls the little piece that says fuck off and he kind of holds it up to him. Oh, oh that's nice. Mm. That's very really nice. Maybe he misinterpreted it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, also I wrote on poison ivy or the equivalent of this one. He was rubbing it all in his face. Yeah, there's another, another thing that says toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> so we're marching. How close are we to Holdfast? Right. Yeah, so um, it was about a two-day journey. So you started the second day. Mm -hmm. uh, a slow drizzle starts mid-morning, and after a few hours, slows to a misting. A low fog creeps in. You reach the edge of a small wood and stop at the tree line. You look out over the low rolling hills of southern Gael and see the holdfast miles in the distance. Southeast, you see a dust cloud rising out of the trees, and a mid-sized force of creatures slowly plods towards the holdfast. I would you say a mid-sized force of force creatures? Force of creatures. Okay, I, I, Grima takes like cover behind some bushes so we can wait and see who's approaching the holdfast. Decker will just say, oh fucking course. Of course we come to turn in our quest and there's some other bullshit going on. Take cover, take cover. Oh, they're, I mean, they're really far away, right? They're pretty far. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Shattercrack hi hides behind Chauncey. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> kick a rock. All I want to do is get some gold and a level and fuck me. We know we got to go kill all this bullshit. Damn hang, on, hang on, Decker, hang on. Let's, let's hide and let's see who these people are. Come oh, sure, fine. Yeah, no, it's not going to be another stupid fight. Let's do that. See, the, the group is moving in the distance pretty slowly. It's it's extremely far away at this point. You just kind of see a big mass of black moving across the moving horizon. Moving towards the whole path? Yeah. We should cut Chauncey well, and hide inside. <laughs> they, they haven't seen We're us like yet. Three miles away. <laughs> they're, they're really far this away. Is yet. Okay. I think we should, we should follow, but keep it stealthy, mm -hmm. approach undercover, 
and see what the situation is, who these people are, okay. what, these, what these things are, these creatures. Um, I agree with Greenwald. I move up, I'm just doing this with my hands, you know, <laughs> <laughs> looks dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing that with your with your hands and two arrows whiz past your head and dig into the tree right behind and you. And I go, oh, I Jesus. think they have archers. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you, you turn to look and you see three orcs uh, and two wolves kind of running out of the trees at you guys. Mm -hmm. Damn it! So um, And I go, I think I see wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, oh, we have Miriatus, the great wolf killer, in our midst. I've heard That's legends true. of him. Oh, yeah. Speaking of legends. <laughs> <laughs> Ten guys. <laughs> have I told you about Lord Assfuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lord Pegging. <laughs> <laughs> Reginald Prolapse. King DP. Lord Donkey Punch. Bagger Vance. <laughs> <laughs> what? Commodore Cream Pie. Thank you. Oh, God. All right, so we'll say uh, the tree line was kind of off in this direction. If you can put you guys over here somewhere. Uh, roll for initiative, please. You're talking Unless you uh, are trying to parlay with these guys. James? Ten. Yeah. Ah. Shattercock? Fourteen. You know, are you adding your modifier? Seventeen. Thirteen. Oh, oh, zero. zero. Decker? Oh, yeah. Sixteen. Rexon. Four. So yeah, they make a move at you actually since they surprised you all. Oh, bullshit. Uh -oh. He saw them with his binoculars. The arrows flew by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very perceptive I am. Oh boy. You so, all die. <laughs> the end. Both, both the archers took shots at you and missed. Oh. Um, and this dude chucks a javelin at Rexon. Cool, what a dick. He's um, all doing this. <laughs> <laughs> He's throwing a javelin. I think he has a javelin. <laughs> Does 14 hit you? Nope. No. Okay. So yeah, javelin soars over your shoulder. Damn straight. Grimo. So Grimo's gonna shoot his short bow at that same archer that shot at Roxanne. 16. Hits. Oh, so you're, you're firing at this guy, I think, because he just threw a javelin at Roxanne. Yeah, whoever, th whoever okay. threw it at Okay, like an old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Um, so then, 8. For damage. Cool. Are you gonna move around or anything? Yeah, he and Chauncey <laughs> are then going to use the uh, the hide action. Oh, I was gonna say, don't you have advantage hide. for how high you are? You're like <laughs> oh, yeah, stilts and a horse. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna use our cunning action to hide. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know the rules for how horses work or anything, so oh, we're just gonna pretend you're okay. moving. Okay. Well, technically, hit. Chauncey isn't really a horse. Mm. Anyway, you know, he's kind of just like a, a, a best friend, a, a oh. hero. Um, <laughs> So, and Tonsi also has like little like pieces of uh, foliage like on either side of him. Like that does nothing, but it's supposed to help him hide, but it doesn't really. Oh, okay. Yeah. What a useless <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> uh, Decker. All right. Um, so two archers, spearman. What are these two guys? Those are two wolves. Ah, okay. Then I'm gonna cast sleep in this area. Actually, let me double check the range on that bad boy. 90 feet. Thank you. There it is. You're correct. Uh, <laughs> shit, does that mean I'm... you could move? Yeah, well, I mean, 90 feet, that's well, well, 90 no, feet. No, you're fine. So, whatever, I'll cast sleep. Cool. Uh, and then it's, let's see here. Roll 5d8, uh, totals how many hit points are the creatures it can affect. That's correct. So, load me up with d8s, boys. Nope. Oh, right. For some reason I was going after the six. Sorry. No. Nope. I got it wrong. It's these guys. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Three. Oh There's boy! Seven there. <laughs> Two more. Seven. All sorts of seven. Numbers. Yeah, fifteen. Wait, does that hit or not? I don't know. We'll find no, it, out. it does. What was the total? Fifteen. 15. Okay. Um, and which? Where did you target sweet? at? I don't know. I don't know that word. Right over um, here. Like boom. So it. All right. Yeah, I think it's fifteen foot radius. So you'll get those two dudes. Okay. So yeah, this one, this one drops asleep. It just kind of falls backwards, weak need. And that one's just drowsy, or no, like, nothing happened. Like he shouldn't guy. drive home or anything. So is this this is this like high ground? Uh, that would actually be going down. Okay. Um, but you could probably hide down there if you were trying to. Everybody wants to hide. Yeah. The, the, the ground would be sloping that direction. Gotcha, gotcha. If you wanted to like dig your head underground, and just <laughs> you know, <laughs> run away like That's a big pussy. I guess I'll hide behind this tiny little shrub, it's just like coming up to here. They can see you. Brave warriors. <laughs> I'm a wizard, man. I'm supposed to run into battle. You are a wizard, man. That's right. <laughs> More like a wizard boy. Think? Yeah, Shattercock. I can finally use the ring of canine control. Whoa! So while wearing this ring, you can use an action to spend one charge to cast. Dominate monster on a beast that has canine slash wolven ancestry. So I'm gonna cast that. The save DC is 15. So please don't let him. I'm gonna cast it on this wolf here. Got it. Yes. All right. So I control that wolf. Cool. 
Uh, so c- can I use then my action to bring the wolf towards me? Is that a, is that okay? Well, you use your action to cast that spell. Okay, all right. Yeah. So on the monster's next turn, we'll say you can kind of tell it what you to it. do. You got it. Then Chauncey's, I'm done. Chauncey's scared of wolves. Just be mindful of that. I don't care. Are the wolves female or male? Uh, one of each. He grabbed nice. the he grabbed the female one. What's he getting that? Nice. I don't know. What's better? He got the female. Ask. Yeah. Yes. Well, he already fucked it, an orc to death. You guys, you guys are, which one was it? You guys are all orc. way off. Way. Are you gonna do something with that other oh, moves or yeah. anything? Are you okay. doing something with that other wolf? For the female, yeah. I, oh, okay, okay. Well, I have the female. Or no, did I capture the female? Yeah, you got the female. I captured the female. All right. See, Wait. I was. So the females on our team? Yeah. Yes. Well, that fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I have, a, I have a knife that does triple damage against females. Oh, sorry. Well, I mean, I didn't mean to. I just what cast a it on a weird wolf. weapon. I just yeah. cast so it on a wolf. He stole that he from uh, Grimo. Oh. I expected so it him. Really <laughs> hiding with a horse on Hey, <laughs> I was going to wait for him to say it. <laughs> hey, back, you cuck. <laughs> Adam, Adam, any of these guys can be made female. <laughs> oh, that's true. Him, with the right driving strike. I wonder if you Yeah, if I cut their dick off, do they be... I mean, do they get the balls off, too? Yeah. yeah, and then but then I have to sit them through, and you have to shove the balls in. Hours of therapy of like, <laughs> listen, this is. I know you have a lot of feelings inside. Yep. Maybe you were. I know you feel like you're a male, but maybe you identify yourself as a female. Shout out, yeah. And then I just stab him. My turn's done. Oh, it's oh, it's Mary, oh, Mary oh, turn. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna move as far left as I can. Maybe a little left of, of uh, Decker there. No, oh. I don't think I can move that fast. Oh. Lib tar. And I'm gonna try and like. <laughs> Charm and Move pacify that other wolf. Like it's I, wolf. yeah, like I grab like a, smacking your ass. some of my rations and I'm like, oh, you're trying to, f- oh, oh, okay. and I'm whistling at it and I'm gonna use all of my animal handling skill that I have and just try and not make him interested in attacking. Do you have intimidation or you said a plus in animal handling? Or yeah, anything? I have plus three oh. animal handling. All right, roll twenty. All right. 15. Good. You got him. <laughs> yes. So, so what are you trying to convince us? I'm just trying to make him like my friend and not interested in attacking us. So I'm okay. like kind of throwing him scraps of food and trying to like pet him and like so, yeah, it playing seems, with him. Instead of you know snarling at you, it seems to have put its attention towards the food ha. that you've got. It doesn't really move towards you, but kind of okay. starts yeah. to concentrate its attention on that food that you're offering it. I say, good boy, good boy. That would be the wolf's turn. So uh, yeah, Shattercock, what would you? Oh, the yellow one. Yeah, yeah um, sorry. So I just bring the wolf towards me. So okay. it's kind of like sits next to me and all right, it hangs out. Yeah. Could have turned it on that guy. Yeah, yeah, I will. Tech. I will. Yeah, it comes up to you and kind of <laughs> puts its body up against you, kind of like you know, Bender throws his oh. butt up on yeah, you. Yeah, nuzzles me. Yeah, tries to oh. you know get you to Make scratch it at it. Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's going after the horse. <laughs> oh, what happened on accident? Chauncey. Did you get to... <laughs> Chauncey has an appalled look on his face. <laughs> His mouth drops up. As much as a horse yeah. can make. <laughs> well, he's like the horse from Beauty and the Beast. That's like very emotive. Oh, no. okay. ah. yeah. So this wolf uh, oh, runs up to the little scraps of food that Miriam is offering him, just gobbles it up real quick, and then cuts its eyes at the horse, uh, <laughs> formerly known as Old Girl. Chauncey. <laughs> horse looks like a pile of food. Is that all it does? Yeah, it's you know it's drooling. Oh, okay. Uh, but then, uh, Derek. All right. Buddy. You want to brace this a pound? Yeah. What uh, do you right. want? Well, we can't. We're not allowed to talk about it. No, no, no that's it. it. You okay. know what they are? Yeah. Slamage and clash and slamage. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? All right. Slamage. Slam <laughs> 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 I don't know if that works. I'm not sure if that works. It kind of fizzled out. Damn it, Adam. I was gonna say slamage. He's all slamage, slamage. He said slamage. But the problem is, you always miss all of your attack rolls. So that's why I always giving you attack. Okay. All right. Well, we'll try it again later. We'll try that again later. I think we can do it as much as we want. I'm just gonna. I'm yeah, just Raxon's gonna turn is next. charge charge these bros. Okay. How far away are they? Um, probably a little bit further than you can get to in an entire turn. How far away are they? I don't know. Count the squares. No, you gotta count the squares. Just give me a, give me an eyeball. Fifty. Fifty feet. Eight. Nine times so, five, so it's forty-five, 45 feet. feet yeah. Forty-five feet, and I can run thirty. Okay. But I can go rage out, mm-hmm. and then I can dash as a bonus action. Done. So I'm there. So you got there. See? Which one? See, you don't know my turns. This one? <laughs> yeah, so I charge at this guy. Um, Orc Ripper in hand and Scimitar in the other. Okay. And then I'm going to slash at him. Oof. 17 plus no. 2 for proficiency. Yeah, that one hits. All right. Um, so have, I hit. have we been rolling once or twice for your dual weapons? I used to roll twice, but then you told me to start rolling once. Do it twice. It's more fun. If it's low, it's not fun. 11 plus... Two prof- proficiency. Yeah, got him. All right. Both of them. Okay. So uh, one is the orc ripper, which does uh, 
I roll 2d6 against an orc, right? Four. Five is nine. Do I add my strength? Mm -hmm. Twelve. And then you get some rage Plus damage, right? Plus two for rage damage. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fuck. And now I'm going to try and come down with the scimitar. Oh, no. Christ. Another four. Okay, yeah, you got him. Is you he wanna, dead? Yeah, describe your move. Nice. So, so, Make him a new woman. <laughs> so uh, we do braces of pound, and he goes, <laughs> and then, and then, and then Raxan goes, I thought you were gonna say, and then I, ah, and then, but then I go into a rage, mm. but I use the power of the eagle to get there. So oh, as I'm it. piercing through the battlefield, you just hear this screech <laughs> noise, <laughs> and the guy doesn't even see me. This orc doesn't even see me go from here to here. I just <gasps> literally, like. Transport to directly in front of him, and then I I bring my orc ripper up beneath his chin, and then lift his head up, basically split his lower jaw in half, and then I take the scimitar and I cut his head off. Oh, and sweet! Spiraling Brutal. into the air, yeah, it goes tumbling. Yeah, I get kind of excited. I'm like, ooh, head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. So yeah, I think Raxon, it's your turn <laughs> as, as you see that head go flying off. We can't slam from this far, huh? You can run over to me. <laughs> I should probably take care of. This wolf that's going after Miri, so I do a little javelin well, throw. He, I think oh. he's. I'm he's, feeding he's it. An, animal handling. Yeah, I want to murder. Well, it's it. eyeing oh. old hen. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta protect Chauncey. Oh, okay. I was, I'm gonna murder. Chauncey. I was, I was waiting for him to find out afterwards that he saved Chauncey <laughs> indirectly. <laughs> yeah, so I just throw my javelin. Cool. Um, yeah, it's really cool. At the wolf, Miri's feeding. I wanted to see what he was gonna do. I'll tell you what it's I'm fine. gonna do. It's fine. Gonna be fucking dead. Fifteen. Oh, it's boy. Nice and damage. That's a six plus three uh, piercing, so nine damage. Hey. Right as I was about to pet it. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just just through its head. <laughs> so the, the javelin flies and uh, digs into the side of the wolf, uh, completely immobilizing its left side. Oh, it it yes. kind of tumbles to the ground. Uh, it's it's breathing, it's alive, but it is really fucked. Man, it's making that sad dog sound. I look at Miri and I go, <laughs> gotcha, bud. And I just yeah. scowl. The wolf looks at Mary. It's like I wish you were my dad. Oh no! <laughs> I'm, so, I'm just smiling. Wolf. <laughs> oh oh man! Oh, so this orc guy turns around and starts running. Oh, oh he bails. Mm -hmm. Oh well. <laughs> this poor guy's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Grimo. So the monsters aren't doing anything. He ran. Uh, well, that oh, guy okay. ran, um, and that wolf is hurt. Uh, There's an invisible wall. He's fucked up. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Because I'm I'm hidden. Uh, after my disengage, or sorry, my cunning action of hide, I'm gonna shoot my short, short bow at that guy that's running away because I want to take him down so we can interrogate him and figure out what's asleep. going on. Oh, that guy's asleep? Do okay. what you gotta do. Then I'll shoot him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on stilt, so that's like two steps, really. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and, and I roll on advantage uh, for the sneak, it's a sneak attack since I'm hidden. So 14 is my first roll. And then 19, Ooh. 19 plus five for my short bow. So when I shoot the the arrow, Chauncey puts up his ears like a reticle. <laughs> oh, so wow. I'm like, nice. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like so how did yeah, that horse know to do that? Yeah, and, he, he, and he like Former points noise. his hoof like there. Oh, you know, like we're very in sync, Chauncey the arrow and I. Goes that directly way. through its ear. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, shoot, back in the head. I shoot the bow for. Uh, Three damage, or sorry, uh, sorry, seven damage. Then I do an extra d6. God. So eight, I guess. Well, yeah, the the arrow bolts connect in its back, and it starts to stumble wherever it is. He's here. You can barely see him. And I and then I pass down Chauncey a cigarette. And we both <laughs> puff and exhale in unison. <laughs> nice. Wow. You're uh, that horse. Decker. Uh, I'm gonna cast fire bolt on the runner. So <laughs> it's gonna run away. I'm just gonna murder him. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just range spell attack. Ha! Thirteen. That's on the work that hits. Oh, cool. Okay, you're a d10. Ten. Ten. Cool. That was firebolt. Yeah. All right. So yeah, your firebolt completely ruins that dude. If you have some cool move in mind. Excellent. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast it inside the hole that uh, Grimo's arrow opened up. <laughs> so this giant <laughs> firebolt will go inside, <laughs> and then it, oh. it'll seem like it missed and that it didn't do anything. But then his eyes will explode in fire. Oh, cool. Fire will shoot out oh, his ears. Shit. Oh, he should look back and laugh. Yeah, be like, ah, ah, ah. And then, <laughs> yeah, eyes explode out the mouth, <laughs> out his ass. His penis explodes off. Oh, Whoa! Oh, and then wow. he just, and then it's just, it's, it's not straight, even connected in any way. <laughs> it's just straight uh, Ark of the Covenant from there. <laughs> he just melts down into a pile of, of biological slag. Nice. We need one liner. One liner. Well, uh, shit. 
Uh, he, he pushes up his glasses. There's a little twinkle on the side. And he says, can't take the heat. You should f- fight us. <laughs> I like the idea of Decker pulling down his glasses to look cool and he just has terrible pink eye. Yeah. 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 Well, he's, he's always got like really bushy, unkempt eyebrows. So there's a little unibrow stubble in the middle. The one eye drifts a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, he's, he's just got like like really sparse eyelashes. Oh. Like it looks like they've been plucked, but they just don't grow Man. for some reason. And then he's really, really pale. So, and he has like a tan line around his sunglasses. <laughs> his mouth is all. Yeah, you guys have been in the sun a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Shadow Cock. So, the wolf is mine to t- kind of tell whatever, right? Yeah. This is dominate monster. So I'm just going to tell the wolf. The, the wolf goes on the wolf's turn, though. Well, I mean, if it's my monster. Okay, yeah. Can tell it what it's doing. Like, it's, it's, it's if, if you want to use your action to control them. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just basically going to send the wolf away. Okay. Over here, uh, to get out of the way of Raxon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You I'm going for this wolf. I just want to make sure you don't want to kill all the you wolves. Might get oh, I mean, if it's on our team, I'm not going to kill it while it's awake. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and since uh, since the guy was on your team, the wolf, and you just wanted it to run away, we'll call that your bonus action if you want to do something else. Oh um, no, I, I was just going to move closer to the. Guy I want to kill this wolf. It's fine. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You guys are weird. Myriadis. <laughs> Yeah, now that I feel really bad, this wolf's going to die. I just want to, like, put it out of its misery. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah, miss. yeah. He's, gonna miss. <laughs> no, he's, he's just going to step on its neck. Do it, Forgive me! And he leg. flaps his own toe. <laughs> yeah, that's really what I'm worried about. So, roll, right? For, yeah, yeah, what are, you, what are you swinging at it with? Uh, well, I kind of want to kneel down and swinging do, like, the, the sorry boy. And then I'm pointing at my axe. You need help? You want this? <laughs> just throws the axe. I guess my longsword. I don't have a, a knife or anything. So yeah, whatever. Just put a bag around it. Right, yeah, roll a twenty. Hold it. A heavy rock. <laughs> Three. Yeah. I missed. Oh, no. We just place it gingerly oh, and then lean no. on it. I can't do it. I feel too bad for it, so I, I miss intentionally. <laughs> oh, you break its leg, but it's still alive. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> no, can't breathe. Damn it! Yeah. Don't move. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, you're you're trembling so much just in in fear of having put out that poor creature that you know you don't connect. It tr- it kind of gets up on three legs. One of its legs was fucked up by that javelin, and it, it it it's able to make it a few feet. Oh no! It's trying to get away. It's kind of limping and falling and Rack getting up and falling behind it, <laughs> unzipping his pants. <laughs> I'm licking my lips right now. Oh, man. <laughs> Derek's turn, yeah. Yeah, Derek. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna. This guy's still asleep. I have 25 foot of rope. Can I just start tying him up? Sure. Hog tying him. Yeah, yeah. Cool. If I want to do that. Cool, done. I mean, do you, do you want to roll to see how good your knots are or anything? Do I need to? Yeah, let's, let's see. <laughs> Just for fun. Seventeen. Right, yeah. That guy's tied So up basically, a bit. basically he walks over to him, takes out his thing, and then just the rope goes down, and it's just a big like pig pen cloud. <laughs> and then, and then when it comes out, the guy is standing up, perfectly <laughs> tied with a beautiful bow oh. right on the back, <laughs> and then, and then Derek has the rope over his. His shoulder. Raxon. I want to murder this wolf. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Wolf, pull out my great axe and I swing. I'm so glad I sent my wolf the other way. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I look, I see it. <laughs> I didn't forget. Make note of the Give fact that. that he's always wearing his armor backwards. <laughs> Even his figure is wrong. <laughs> I didn't make this thing. <laughs> I mean, I've just been noticing that for the last like six I, episodes. I didn't make well, it that way. Sometimes it takes me out of a game. Just kill the wolf. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I roll to seven plus, what is it? My. Check proficiency. Yeah. Check proficiency. Yeah, that's what it is. You get five on it, I okay. think, right? Okay. So, so yeah, I think. It's, uh, no. 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 <laughs> Chop its tail off. Oh, Mary, give me your inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give the wolf my inspiration? <laughs> yeah, I think you're so caught up in in figuring out how you're gonna massacre the wolf that you just get distracted when you're swinging and swapping your armor around. <laughs> you gotta pull your arms in and like rotate it around. Yeah, that's fine. Grimo. So I am again going. Actually. <laughs> This is a spider. Catches. <laughs> Sorry. <go. laughs> oh, this is Professor Spider. <laughs> so that guy is just prone, or he's the wolf. This he's, guy's dead. That guy's dead. Yeah, dead. His okay. body he's exploded. Out. Pile of ash. His dick is around here. <laughs> shot up like a firework. It's just so, uh, spreading out fire. <laughs> Chauncey and I are gonna trot up to the orc that Derek is in front of. Derek. Derek. And Grimo's gonna uh, push his. Tilt on his stilt on the guy's windpipe. Oof. Try to make him conscious so they can interrogate him. Yeah, he, he pops awake. Okay, I'm gonna give you one opportunity to tell us what in the Jaya's name you are attacking us for, ambushing us. 
just these helpless travelers in the woods. Okay, so, so the orc uh, responds to you in orcish. It just, you know, grumbles something you can't make out unless you speak orcish. Shattercock? I call Shattercock. Shattercock, you know any orc there? Um, I only really know... Oh boy, I only really know, like, dragon language. Decker will be waving. I can speak orc. We don't know anyone that speaks orc. Decker, my man. No. <laughs> Are we still in combat? Yeah, that one wolf okay. is l- still limping away. Yeah, okay. Decker, could you come here for a second? Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right over, but because it, it can't move. Locked in place by the by the iron shackles of D&D combat system. Well, wolf. I guess I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm not going to kill that wolf. Well, it's not my turn either, so I can't kill the wolf. Are you, yeah, you disengage, I guess. Oh, wait, holding was the it, axe. whose turn is it? It's my turn. Greenland. Oh, okay, so it's my turn next. Yeah, so I'm not gonna do anything. I just interrogate him. I call, I call it to Decker. By game logic, I want to kill the wolf, but by by world logic, whatever, I just walk over there. It's a great opportunity. Hey, what's, what's Decker skill? Do? I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just fucking flame this stupid wolf <laughs> to death. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 15? Yep. All right. Hup. My old friend. That's another 10. Okay, yeah, that thing just. Poof. It's, yeah. <laughs> it turns into ash. I, uh, I activate my targeting, a little laser grid comes up, it goes doo, 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 <laughs> right on the... That is what you see. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on the broken leg, giant no, no. wolf. It's, it's, it's right on the it's anus. It's not moving at all. Oh. So, so then I, I do my triangulations with the wind and everything, and there's this like <laughs> tunnel that comes up, and then I target it perfectly, I hit enter, fireball, zooms perfectly right inside the ass, and then it just bakes in there a little bit, oh. and then you smell like... It smell like hamburgers. Yeah. But what we see is Decker standing above a dead wolf, mm-hmm. throwing matches down on him. <laughs> come in, come in, come in. The wolf dies of hunger. <laughs> now that you're disengaged from combat. Oh no, I haven't done describing it yet. God. So uh, <laughs> a pyre of flame shoots out both ends, uh, much like a Roman, ca- a double Roman candle, if you will. Oh. And then top and bottom, so it makes a really cool like little pattern, scorches the earth a little bit. Cool. And then he just, he just. He pops festively, and it makes a cool little <laughs> sound. So there's just like little or, little wolf bits everywhere, uh, and then yeah, just little little Jackson's just covered in wolf. Yeah, bits. well I'm just doing this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shawshank Redemption thing. And I scream no and fall face down. Oh, oh no. no, that's that's how it goes. All right, I'll toddle over to this this little feller. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Yeah. <laughs> I just did something real cool. Did you see that shit? So we're out of combat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you all get seventy-five experience. Oh, sweet. Neat. So I'm gonna load up. I'm gonna load up my uh, my Babblefish Orc translating app. You got one of those? I mean, my character speaks Orc, but that's oh. the way. I, that is the way I will uh, explain okay. it to you. I'll uh, I'll just like wave my hand, and then a little little like cyber table will pop up, and I'll put my laptop down on it and start typing, and then I'll just look up, like ready to translate. So let's talk to him. Yep. Yeah. Talk. Talk. Talk to. Decker, talk to an orc, please. Ask him why. The, what? Repeat what I said. Uh, why? Why are you attacking us? Why they ambushed us? Why are you attacking us? He <laughs> 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 goes. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> said, you know, fuck you. Oh yeah, I, 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 I push my my sword, my scimitar, into his back, oh. his lower back, oh. pretty sharply. Oh. Not stabbing, oh. but just prodding it into his back. Are you like trying to intimidate him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, rolls an intimidation check for me. Seven plus. Two, nine. Uh, yeah, he doesn't seem to be too intimidated uh, by you and uh, just spits. Hmm. All right, I'll try and intimidate him then. There you go. Uh, 19 plus 6, 25. Okay, yeah, how do you? How do um, you? you tell this stupid nerd what he wants to know! Stupid nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the work, I guess he doesn't have his arms, kind of falls backwards, scooting his legs, getting his butt, so he's kind of... Scooting away from you. What, what? What? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Or that sounds like. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't need to repeat it every time. You can just assume. Yeah. That. What? What was it though? Yeah. What, what are we asking? Why are you, why are oh. you attacking yeah, us? Yeah. Why are you attacking us? Oh, oh, you know, we're a scouting troop. We're trying to make sure no one spoils the surprise that our uh, army down there uh, is coming. So we were scouting around trying to find anybody that might have seen us and take them down. Why are you attacking Holdfast? Uh, you know, that's above my pay grade. Uh, I'm paid to fight and kill and track. And Who are you working for? Who's paying you? I, I, you know, I work for uh, my orc chief. What's his name? Um, Gerba. It's a her. <laughs> Bastard. Female Existing. orc chief. Wow. Like to meet her. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll like typing and I'll just look up. This is a grunt. I think he said everything he's gonna say. We can just kill him. Okay, well. Y- wow. you, you don't gotta kill me. What can you offer us? 
You you bring, came at us with along. arrows and wolves and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he doesn't know common. What's so your? He's, he's yeah, looking, yeah. He's I'll, looking I'll, at this guy. He's looking at you, but then I'm, at, I'm just saying things so that way he doesn't yeah. have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lop lop yeah. lop. Okay. lop. <laughs> you can just assume that I. Um, you know, I, I have nothing for you. I've got this shitty bow. Um, <laughs> it looks like you've you've stolen my wolf from me. Um, I've lost all my honor by being beaten by you guys. So you should probably just just finish me off. Oh, well, okay, okay. okay. Don't give him what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> of all the people. Decker will just take a dagger. I actually have a dagger. Oh. Never used it. Uh, he'll just take a dagger out and just poke it right in his throat. Okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird and weak when you're putting it in. You're trembling <laughs> a, little a little bit. bit. And it's, real, it's real slow, but then as oh. soon as it goes in, the blood just flows <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, no. I'll just stand there staring at it. it yeah, it loses its ability to, to sit up and just kind of hunches over. You feel like a man now? He reaches <laughs> down and just wrenches it out. Wipes it off on the grass. Okay. Cool. Sticks it back in his jacket. Yeah, it was metal. Grimo's been covering <laughs> Chauncey's eyes so he doesn't see these horrors. All right, so we, we know the army's coming, so should we go and help? We should probably... Warm. Do we hurry to the hold fast? Yeah, the implication here is that we're supposed to warn the city so they don't get overrun. Yeah, so Grimo's going to send his, his animal it. spirit familiar to go warn someone in the city. <laughs> I love the moment that just the quiet. Uh, okay, okay. There there you go. Go. The what's, what's your no. that's it. What's your animal spirit familiar? Where did this come um, from? It's it's a card that I have. It's a find familiar card that I got at, at some point in our adventure. Oh, um, so you choose from a bat, cat, crab, frog, hawk, lizard, octopus, owl, poisonous snake, fish. Oh. Da, 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 da. Um, crab. So, so Grimo is going to choose, he's going to have a hawk fly, but it's going to have the face of Chauncey. Oh, so, man. So it's like a, horrific. We're going to be missing a lot of teeth. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Morning, so, yeah, so <laughs> when, the, when, the familiar, when the familiar drops to zero hit points, it disappears. Um, but yeah, he's going to send that, that Chauncey hawk-like creature to warn someone in the city. Basically, like whoever, like the, the whoever is running the city. Okay, it's um, it's not really a city. It's really there's just a, like a tower on top of a hill okay, that has a, okay. a fort around it. But I'm, that's where you're sending. Yeah, he's gonna with what kind of message? A little note that says okay. like warning, army army coming. Uh, coming. Female leader. Uh, Gerba. <laughs> Gerba. Gerba. Gerba Mate, <laughs> on her way. Um, <laughs> Any other notes you want from there? Like art. How are you? Um, Emoji. He's gonna sign it like Grimo the hero. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. But, uh, he's gonna, and then he defers to the group. You know, I'm sending this note along. Is there anything else I should add to it? Tell him that we have uh, the Moon Dog Brothers. We've got heads. the Moon Dog Brothers. Heads. <laughs> and we want payment as He'd soon as we arrive. Now at right. the holdfast. Uh, extra cheese. Extra uh, cheese. <laughs> we'll consider this warning uh, bonus payment. Consider over, warning bonus payment. Okay. So you're just crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll expect bonus payments. Covered in oh, yeah. No, that, 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 that was from Myriad. Sure. Um, touches this and he says, fly, Chansey. Chansey. Oh, Chansey. No, Chansey's no. my horse and then oh. Chansey. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> he flies, but the note immediately drops. <laughs> oh, well, it flies the it wrong flies way. flies into power lines. <laughs> <laughs> so does it make it? So yeah, so Chansey takes off into the sky. Um, Chansey too. You know, you, d you lose it in the sun a little bit, but then you, you see something actually approaching you from the same exact oh, direction. Uh, so you see this creature flying through the sky super fast towards you, and it slows as it gets closer. And you actually recognize. Um, is it a bird? <laughs> the Koozie, the oh, little uh, yeah, demon fighter guy. Right. So um, he's flying on his little spork, and it, uh, <laughs> it, right. it hits the ground and digs in in kind of like this super smooth way. He just kind of walks off the end of it. Whoa, I, I was hoping to catch you guys. Uh, and Koozie's kind of like staring up in the sky. I'm gonna walk past Koozie and like start cyber analyzing his spork. Okay. <laughs> But he, you know, he's just kind of staring up in the sky. Amazing, huh? What? Why What's are you talking? Who's high? Yeah, <laughs> Why are you so high? you holding? <laughs> you must well, be yeah. talking oh, about. Yeah. Yes. You must be talking about the flight of Chansey, the great hero hawk, who has sent message to save the city. Anyways, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I, I guess I, I didn't quite realize you guys probably uh, couldn't see this. Uh, do you mind if I cast a little spell on you? Go nuts. Okay. And Cha Chauncey too. Chauncey has to see it as well. <laughs> okay. Whatever we see, okay. If you want to kill this horse, I'm okay with it. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, so he pulls a little little pouch out and pours some powder in his hand, um, kind of rubs it together, and also grabs a little straw. And uh, what does he say? Something he's like, so cool, yeah! And it blows the smoke in your face. Cool. Um, so you, you look off in the distance the way that uh, Chansey was flying, 
And uh, you see the, the holdfast up on its hill in the distance. Uh, the rolling hills and lush grasses melt away and you see a scorched, barren, craggy earth. The skies are red and a low thunder fills the air. A storm cloud passes overhead, blocking out the sun entirely. The clouds seem to be casting uh, like a magically dark shadow on you, like super, super black and dark. You can't see much at all. The, the clouds part and a giant chunk of rock kind of bursts through them. It's about 200 feet long and half as wide and floating about 200 feet up in the air. Uh, it's moving a few miles an hour also in the direction of the holdfast. And Kuzi goes, wow, you really don't see something like this like, like ever anymore. What the hell? Yeah, I don't, I don't. Oh, so, sorry. Um, so you guys are seeing through my eyes as I can always see my home dimension. I can't quite interact, but I can see what's going on there right now. So what's going on? <laughs> so, so the rock moves overhead, and once you're clear of the shadow, you actually get your first look at the fortress that's perched atop of it. The, fortress. The, the castle walls are black stone, and they look kind of wet. A huge spire rises above the stronghold on the end that's closest to you as it's moving away. Hmm. Uh, black flags dressed with simple white circle are floating from the or flying from the castle walls. Because he goes, battle castles are a real rare sight these days. You guys are real lucky to have seen one. We're going to have to fight that, aren't we? Oh, boy. I don't know about that. So what's going on? Why is a battle castle here? I, I couldn't tell you. It's amazing, though, isn't it? Sure. What does this have to do with the orc army? Oh, what's, what, what orc army? Can you not see our dimension? He's high. <laughs> yeah. I guess one of you maybe like, point in the direction. Yeah, yeah. There's a, you see the giant army going towards the whole fast? Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, I, I didn't see that. Sorry, I was distracted by the, the giant... Flying castle. Who's in that castle? I really don't know. I just it kind of came across it. You so, just found a the giant day, yeah. flying castle? Oh, I was actually looking for you guys, but this thing happens to be here. Why are we looking Why for are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, so I was looking for that general guy, and he, boy, is he hard to track down. I don't think he's on Jeeb anymore. Um, so, yeah, I need to go home um, and find a portal, but before I did that, I just kind of wanted to stop in. Uh, let you guys know that some real dark shit's going up in those mountains. All kinds of horrible creatures, demons and devils have been loosed upon on this uh, world. Yeah. So uh, you guys might want to do something about that or maybe get people together and tell them to run away because they are really going to screw up this place. Oh, we sent a shitty bird. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, wanted to let you guys know the serious danger uh, east of here uh, before I went home. We just came from the east. So there's a battle castle, an army up in the... Well, towards the holdfast, and then demons in the hills? It's like a choose-your-own-adventure choose novel. Can you bring us the map, Dan? Yeah, yeah. So the, the hills are... The so say you guys are, are around here. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, Army is approaching from this direction, and the giant castle just floated over your head, headed okay. in that direction. Wait, so where are the hills with the demons? Uh, east of here. So up, the, up in those oh, mountains, right and there's a there's a dark forest further east that uh, they seem to be emanating from. Is it like the Lobotan Hills? Is that so further, further than that. Oh, he's, he's like, like over you know, here, a couple hundred miles away. Oh, well, shit. I can so, yeah. see the place where I'm going to get paid. Yeah, and I can't see the place where the monsters are coming from. I think we should probably get paid. Yeah, I, I generally just spread the word, let people know they should run. Um, I'm I actually going to go. So <laughs> we're covered. We're so never going to get paid for this. Well, Koozie. We? Good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, always great to see you guys. Thanks for showing us that giant flying castle. That's cool. Love the spork. Yeah, I'm we gonna, gotta go get paid. You should do that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go sneak around up there, snoop around, see what I can find. Uh, let you guys know if it's something to worry about. Okay, but, sounds you know, good. Thought you'd like to see it. It's pretty yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's Thanks called a battle that. castle. I imagine that's probably something to worry about. Oh yeah, those things are dangerous. They're mm. they're a, a real horror. Do you know where it came from? You know, they're thousands of years old. Uh, giants used to use them. Uh, to wage war. Can it mess with us in this dimension? Mm. No, no, no. That is, that is in my uh, home world. All right, well, who cares? Uh, <laughs> I guess if we're lucky, we can get in there, get paid, get out before the stupid orc shit goes down. Yeah, we have to hurry. Yeah. All so right. yeah, your, your vision of the, the right castle county. starts to kind of fade away <laughs> as it travels in the distance. So yeah, I'm going to go catch up with that thing real quick. Uh, nice to see you guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. good to see you. Bojo! And he goes and hops on his little spork and takes <clears throat> off. I turn to the groom and go, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was the witch from earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> so should we go to the whole fast? Let's yeah, go. we should yeah, absolutely let's go. hurry to Run, the whole fast. Sprint. So how right. close were we to the whole fast from there? In like an hour. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> All right, well, let's move. Yeah. So uh, it's mid-afternoon, and uh, the mist that was forming has turned into a mild rain. Uh, you travel for about an hour, and you see the old broken watchtower up on the horizon. You're maybe a 10-minute walk from it. Um, you approach, and the small camp that used to be outside of the holdfast seems to be just abandoned completely. 
Uh, there's still a few tents, uh, you know, smoking fires and just rubbish around, but they're, they're not the people that used to be in this uh, camp. And uh, you approach the gates. What's outside? So this would be the gate. Oh, gotcha. Oh. So we're walking up? Yeah. Don't forget your wolf. No, yeah, no, I have not forgotten my wolf. What's your wolf's name? I named it Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl wolf. So what? So it's Chauncey. Oh, yeah, that's right, the old girl. I gave it a dick. All right, so we're, we're kind of walking Shut towards up, the gate. Uh, no, Any that. word from Chauncey? What? Um, how, like, how does it work? The thing deliver a message and come back to you? or? Mm, yeah, I mean, it sounds like I can have it do whatever until it it's... Eaten to zero hit points. Okay, and it just lives until then. Does it? Have yeah, a, it just lives until dry it's casting time is one hour. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you. Uh, I guess if you summon Chansey back, uh, he flies back and uh, lands on um, Chauncey's little head right in front of. Wait, you. which one? The horse or the wolf? <laughs> Chansey lies on. Uh, flies on Chauncey the horse. Okay. Wait, yeah, Chansey one. Chauncey one or Chauncey yeah. two? Yeah. <laughs> well, which one's which Chauncey one's one? one? It's interchangeable. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> third, well, Chauncey One is the official name, but the nickname is Chauncey Two. Let's, yeah. Whereas the other one is Chauncey oh, Two, nickname Chauncey. Let's Chauncey this, for short. Let's settle this right now. We'll take it to a vote. If you want Chauncey One, the horse, to be Chauncey One, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and <laughs> <No>. Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Say, uh, right, so I say Monday, uh, Wednesday, Friday, and half of the first part of Thursday. So okay, who want, we need to debate about which half, which what counts as a half. Last day. half of the first part. What if it's Got a solstice? It. What does Chauncey? Oh. What does Chauncey okay, so, say? So Chauncey, Chauncey lands. You notice the note is long, no longer attached to it. But it just hits the end of its hour oh, life yeah. cycle and starts to vanish if you have any last words for it. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does say I love you. You're a garbage yeah, The bird explodes. <laughs> you marry me. Thank you for the horse face. <laughs> it's face melt. <laughs> right. Every time. So that's it. It's dead. We don't know. So we don't know. The, 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 the note didn't. What did you we, say it, to it? Well, I said I love it. You said oh, okay. it. You said right. I said I love it. And then the bird exploded. And, yeah. And Jared's then we don't know if the note else. got anywhere. It didn't come back with the note, but we can we can hope. It, all right. Well, that was so. a tender moment. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shadowcock's going to run up to the gate and uh, kind of bang on the gate and see if anybody's there with the wolf. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're banging for a minute um, and you see a little head kind of poke poke around the corner looking through the gate and goes, Who's, who goes there? You little spine. <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys know about the orc army that's on the way to the whole fest? Who goes there? Poke it's us. Out. Do you know? That's on the way to the whole fest. Just answer the question. Perhaps no. this name we will strike a chord with you. Myriadus Oprobles, folk hero. <laughs> Never heard of him. Oh, <laughs> <no>. Shit. <laughs> Get lost, you bunch of scrubs. We were here like a week ago, two weeks ago, or a handful of days ago. Yeah. We were sent on a mission. We have the Moondog Brothers' heads. Sounds made up to me. Show them the heads. No, those are heads. Yes, the Moondog Brothers. And why should I care? Mary, give him the script or whatever. Oh Stupid yeah, quest. the note. Okay. We're on official business, ass. Let us in. <laughs> so I hand it to him. I'm like, what's his name no, here? What's the name of the general that we were He just... actually has the note. Sniller. He just Sniller. Aha. Yep. Where's he? Uh, so the guy takes your little paper and kind of looks it over. He goes, all right, hang on a second. And he, he kind of walks back. That's what I thought. Walks away. Bitch. <laughs> All right, so he disappears for a minute. We gotta hurry. Well, I don't know if you guys are having a little conversation. I mean, can we, can we see the five minutes? He's gone. Can oh, we okay. see the approaching orcs from here? Like, I'll, I'll kind of totter up on high ground and see if I can. Oh yeah. I don't know what direction they're coming from. Okay. Um, I I those prescription either. sunglasses. I, uh, well, if they didn't see him, wrap so hold fast didn't yes. see him. We probably. I uh, I huddle the group together, sans Grimo, and I go, okay, we got to figure this out. How the hell do we order this horse? <laughs> Primo's petting Chauncey, he's giving him a carrot. He's we're, doing we're like, all like this. Looking at the horse. Primo has a caricature sketch of he, he and Chauncey at the beach. <laughs> Wearing roller skates. Yeah. 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 yeah, Chauncey's in a tiny car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, the guy kind of runs out. He says, Stop. All right. So, sorry, sorry about this. Um, come on in. Um, let me go actually get somebody to help me raise this gate. He's he's back in a second. Raises what a the piece gate. Of shit. Yeah, I know. God damn it! <laughs> what a dumb <laughs> fucking thing. guard. Good job as a guard at this gate. How do I open the gate? Oh, where's the uh, gate go? No, where's the gate go? Oh, I'm Moondog Brothers. I don't know. <laughs> trying to I'm get a dumb piece work. of shit, and I'm gonna die alone. <laughs> I can't get it up sometimes. <laughs> I'm impotent. <laughs> Poop don't come out my right. butt right. This is gonna move a little slow. So he opens the gate, gets somebody to help him. Yeah, you guys walk in and actually see this place. When I walk place. past him, I give him a little. 
<laughs> but he doesn't he doesn't move at all. Super un- unintimidating though. Um, I think he, like his elbow <clears throat> pops when he does that. It's like, uh, <laughs> just dislocate your arm a little bit. Yeah. We'll this is in. the whole fast we started in, right? Yeah. So this is where you guys started. Yeah. Um, so you when you were here last, there were maybe like 60, 70 guys, um, and now maybe there's a a dozen at most. You don't even see twelve guys, but there's a few people um, kind of milling about. A few guys up on the parapets on the top. Uh, Sniller says he'll be with you guys just a minute. You guys want to come inside, take a seat? Or? Sure. Sure, yeah. Yep. Let's what do you it. Doing? We're in a rush. You got food? I got some food. Um, uh, how, like does, meat. Uh, how does dried beef and some rice sound? Sounds good. Chauncey's looking at his lips. <laughs> Parsley clips. And I said, I didn't want to meet your wife. Nice. <laughs> this is the ghost of Skittles. <laughs> Still it was weird. in you all along. Yeah, it's just the jokes aren't it's your skeleton. So he takes you uh, and sits you down in that little room with the, the table and chairs. Uh, you, should, are the wolves and horses allowed inside? Uh, yeah, uh, if you wouldn't mind leaving the wolf <laughs> and the horse outside. No. Done, done. I'm coming inside. What's your problem? <laughs> uh, excuse me. Chauncey's one of the family. He does not stay outside. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. My Chauncey will take care of your Chauncey. That's what Chauncey does when you say that. The two that. Chaunceys love each other. I ain't leaving Chauncey with the wolf. Chauncey's terrified of wolves. My Chauncey's really nice. I don't know, Shattercock. Um, Look at his face. And then Chauncey... <laughs> He's so sad. He I, uh, I show the guard a, a card that I have that says that it's um, Chauncey, the real Chauncey, the wolf, is... Um, <laughs> It, it's my support animal. And oh, it's it. a service animal. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I get really upset and anxiety if I don't have it with Do they me. allow this? Okay, he goes, he goes, have to. Fair enough, fair okay. enough. Oh, all right, all right. Um, but but the, the nasty horse stays up. Gotcha. And I go, good girl, good girl. Okay, well, I feel happy now. Grimo, uh, My problems aren't made up. <laughs> Grimo turns to Chauncey and he, he says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> man. Man's an old girl. And then he... he Kisses Chauncey and holds for a little too oh, long. Ugh, and, then he, and then he leaves him and he, like, you know, loops well, up his. Is there like reins. a window or something here where Chauncey can, like, see in? Chauncey, two. Um, <laughs> it's like yes. Mr. N. Okay, I, I go close yeah. that window. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chauncey. <laughs> Chauncey. There's a window right next to that one, and he kind of steps over and sticks his head through that. Okay, I'm putting bricks up. <laughs> you shove a brick in Chauncey has to hear the plan. All right, so what is the... All right, we're sitting here oh, yeah, You guys table. are sitting in that room for a few minutes. Arguing over a horse. <laughs> we, should, we should really hurry this up. I don't yeah. want to be here when this, this stupid agree. attack comes. I agree. Also, if you guys notice, it's a little suspicious. This place seems evacuated. Maybe they did get our note. This is kind of feeling like a trap. Yeah, I don't feel good about leaving Chauncey alone out there. I want to get no one asked. They got meat. All right, so um, Sniller busts in the room. Uh, he's uh, kind of a lithe elf, uh, long, kind of silvery white hair. Um, to say hot. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you was Grimo the hero? That's me. Oh, <laughs> Grimo, thank yeah. you so much for your warning note. Uh, we're kind of in dire straits here, but your warning of about an hour has given us time to prepare our walls Good and get ready for defense Happy of this castle. Help. You are aware that a force of about 40 orcs is headed right for us. Yeah, about that. We gotta, we gotta get our payment. Oh, yeah. Uh, what happened there? Would you mind telling me the story of, you know, I sent you guys on, a, what, which mission was I that? I throw which, the heads on the, the table. Moondog which brothers, one? kill the Moondog brothers, they escaped from yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah, prison break. Yeah. That's right. Man, that's been a real fucking disaster. Yep. So yeah, what'd you do? You got them? We got them. You throw know. them the heads. I throw them on the table. Yeah, they're oh, already there. Yeah, they are. How do I know, See, I got how a do I know chub. The, <laughs> these are the Moondog brothers? P- uh, pierced ear. And a scar over the eyes. Also, they said they were before we killed them. So these heads stink too, because they've been in that bag for what, yeah. like two weeks or something. Like a week. <laughs> Hold on one minute. He oh, uh, runs back to his room and comes back with a book that he's flipping through, trying to check his logs. I think he's getting very antsy. Oh, are you in a hurry there? Yes. Uh, why? Because we have to conclude our business, and get out before these orcs come and kill you guys. You're just gonna let them come and slaughter us? Yes. You're not gonna help. We we already helped. We did your stupid quest. And we warned you. Yeah, what are you still doing here? Very low. (laughs) I'm here to hold this hill. I guess I can get your payments. Yeah, Um, do that. All right, come. um, come. Oh, I I say, forgive my friend. Um, The least we could do is give you our finest warrior to leave behind, Derek, the the short and his uh, noble horse. We shall leave behind. Is that this one over here? Uh, That is a lie, as my papers will clearly tell you. I. 
am Grimo the hero. Light that on fire. Light that on fire. Light that on fire. Yeah. I also need you to, to give me Deckard, a full like, pardon, please. Snaps his hands and tries to <laughs> flick some fire at the, at the but note. It should be known that my deeds of heroism outweighed my acts of vulgarity. <laughs> so, uh, one pardon, please. <laughs> <laughs> he stares at you. He's, he's like, I don't have time to write a pardon right now. Or you have time to pay us, and we can go. All right, give me just a minute. Ah, damn it! He disappears again. He's buying time now. Fuck me. We're gonna get trapped in here, and we're gonna have to fight because the orcs are gonna want to kill us because we're here. Ah! It's like he shoves the table very ineffectively. Like, eh. It kind of compresses his own wrist a little bit. <laughs> so it goes, eh. All right, so uh, he comes back uh, with a, a little tiny box. You hear it jingling. Uh, and a couple of papers, ink quill, and he's he's writing hurriedly. It goes, okay, uh, that was... Does anyone remember what I owed them? Yes, 200 okay. gold. Each? For me. I don't know what you negotiated for. 200. So, uh, actually, my, my notes <laughs> 201. do say... <laughs> 300. I gave you 10% up front, so that. that is 180 gold, he hands to Eric. Uh, which one of you is Decker? That's me. 279 gold pieces was the remainder. Um, you paid him 279? Rax Yo. That's you. Um, he hands you 270 gold pieces. Gracias. Um, 270 for him, too? Um, Oprobles. That's the dwarf. Okay, uh, 90 gold pieces. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I knew he was getting shit on. <laughs> and uh, Shattercock and Grimo. Okay, and he's he's kind of like scribbling. I'll, I'll write out these pardons real quick. Dagger's gonna there be at the go. door, like waiting. There you go. Consider your service to this country and, uh, done. And so my carrots and apples for Chauncey. That was part of the agreement as well, I believe. We, we have no fresh fruit or vegetables here. Mm. We're in pretty bad shape. Decker's gonna like climb climb a staircase to get on top of the tower so he can see how close the stupid orcs are getting. Derek's but, eating a bowl of that rice. Is this horse meat? <laughs> Horses are favorite around here. Mm. Um, you don't you more so, we, we can sell one. <laughs> are you selling? Mm-hmm. Uh, that one you, that old ragged thing. Nay, you sir. Around? That that mare is a <laughs> fine, uh, pristine thing. Uh, racehorse it was once, and uh, I give you five well, gold for it. You sold. <laughs> <laughs> sell the horse? He hands you five gold because that meat will keep us a couple weeks. You're not paying five attention. Gold? They just sold Chauncey. What? Don't You're not fuck paying attention. Letter. <laughs> what? She's reading, an the, asshole. She's, she's reading the letter. Not, so yeah, not just sell him. Chauncey. Here. So when those those orcs lay siege to this tower, uh, that horse meat will keep us going for Chauncey. a good week. No. Speaking of which, yeah. I, thank I, you very much Cha for your business. Hey, hey, Chauncey cannot be sold. Chauncey is a free horse. <sighs> I, I, I go up to Grimm and go, okay. It's okay. I understand. I know your pain. I'll give you half the money. Here's um, one gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, I refuse to accept this. Okay, I'll keep it. It's fine. Captain, always a pleasure. Thank you very much for your time. Can, can you go again through the story of what happened with we the We killed dogs? the orcs and we got out of there. Found a where did you, where did you find how, them? How close are the orcs? Do I see them like... Oh, right yeah, you, you climbed up to the top of the yeah. tower. Um, yeah, they're out there. They're... Like here? They're here. Fuck. All right. No, all right. I'll fine. just, I'll barrel back in and be like, motherfuck! <laughs> I mean, you could probably still make a break for it. Say they're coming from Matt's direction. Okay. They're here. We got to go now. All right. I'm going. So I, I, Thanks very much. You, you realize time. You, you're leaving us here. I will. Yeah, we know. I will get on my knees and beg you all. It's a fortress. We need some help. Green That's what it's for. Home. We need some help. I've got like a dozen are guys. We, are we going to leave them here, Remo? I ain't leaving without Chauncey. That's my horse now, right? <laughs> that was its name? You call it whatever you, you want. You should name it Old Girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. Uh, well, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to say farewell. It was a pleasure doing business with you. What do you mean? Well, pleasure. I haven't left yet. Pleasure. Miri, see you in the next life. Uh, thanks very much, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, before you all totally disperse too much, uh, we'll give you another 300 XP Ooh. for finally finishing Ooh, the mission that you were that. given. And, and I think that should push you all to level yep. four. Yeah, oh, does it? Oh, sweet. Right on. 27.14. We can take care of that. Some point. So yeah, Sniller's on his knees. Uh, he's got uh, Shattercock's hands in his hands, and he's just please anything you can do to convince these you. these people to help out. We we are gonna get slaughtered here. Remo, are you stand? I ain't leaving without chance. Chauncey's. Instead of rolling. I can pay. He goes. I I can pay you. I go. Okay. Tucker, do you hear that? Six gold for what? the horse. <laughs> you hear that? He can pay. Oh, how, how much? much can you pay us? Yeah, how much? Oh boy, um, I'll pay you double what I did for the works. Sounds good. Let's do it. 
I'm going to need about four times that much because everyone else got paid more than me. <laughs> and I was the leader. Uh, uh, General, whatever your name is, Sniller. Grievous. Uh, 500 gold for each person that stays. Plus the, plus the oh, horse. I just bought that horse. That's going to feed us for like I'll two weeks. I'll give you five gold for the fucking horse. <laughs> 500 gold per person. I want 10 for the horse. Bad business. No, five. You're getting five. You just, <laughs> just bought the fucking horse. I got to make a profit. Uh, <laughs> uh, 500. Oh, I gotta go check the coffers. All right. All right. Military, never mind. You know, he, he, like, he starts to walk. He's like, never mind. Never mind. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. Five. Anything you want. All right. All right. Cool. All right. 500 each? Derek, are you gone? 500 each. Mm, yeah, you, you're out the door 500. there, right? 500. I saw like, Derek! Derek! 500 go. gold! 500 gold? <laughs> <laughs> 500 gold, you say? And Chauncey, Derek! <laughs> <laughs> you're so down. <laughs> I close the other window on the horse. All right, is that enough for everybody? Are we all staying here? Yeah, man. You should help. Yeah. Wise, That's a lot of money, I think too. We have to. Yeah. <laughs> At least we got money out of it. Can you pay, you pay us up front? Oh, boy. That's not going to happen. So I, don't, I don't think I've got that much here. We're not going anywhere. Right. Huh. But I don't have it here. We're gonna have to. Where do you have, have to it? call in some? Oh, in your other hold fast, I assume. Well, where do you have, Where do you have it, Sniller? <sighs> oh, uh, uh, we're, well, reinforcement should be here. I don't know. Sometime we sent out word uh, about an hour ago asking for help. <laughs> so as soon as breaks. any any other military forces arrive, they should have uh, some purse on them. Uh, until then, I could. Maybe do you half up front. Okay. Yep. All Deal. right. We're, yeah. we're good. Yeah. And, good. And you'll stay here and fight to the death. To hold this hill. We'll, we'll fight. fight. We're gonna yeah. fight. We will fight. Yeah, I mean, maybe you'll die. We might not. Well, I, I, I go up to Snower and I say, I need you to find my friend Saite. <laughs> <laughs> now? We need you now. If you can send word for a <laughs> more than ever. great warrior named Saite, he would serve as a fantastic meat shit warrior so that I, we can use. I only have 12 soldiers right now. Are you telling me this hero is such a badass he's worth sending one of my guys after? Two of you guys. <laughs> he's worth two of no, you men. No. <laughs> he only has one arm. <laughs> uh, if you have a, a spare pigeon, or crow, whatever this world has. Uh, it could fight better than Saite. <laughs> He'll stay so long, you'll be begging for him to leave. <laughs> uh, we have a horse that we can send word. Uh, it's, a, it's a messenger horse. Well, yeah. It's a messenger Oh, horse. wonderful. That The horse will surely carry the messenger twice it as It might fast. not make it out the door. <laughs> Is this the horse I just bought and then sold? Different horse, but same name. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I, I will get your payment. I'm eternally grateful for you guys staying here and helping us fend off this raid. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. All right, he disappears and comes back with your money. Um, kind of like, walks yeah. around, handing you your two fifty, and he actually 50. he ends with Miri and he goes, "I'm so sorry, ah. Mister <laughs> O'Probles, but I'm just a little short on your portion." <laughs> Not the only thing a little short, huh, Mary? Oh, no. Tough break, Mary. I, you will get, you will get <laughs> paid in full, but I can only give you 150 <laughs> right now. That's a bummer. Anyway, we That's got a almost 250. Fight. Can I like? I don't know. What do I want to do? <laughs> <laughs> you I just, sell him I just horse. take it and I'm fuming. I'm like, fine. Oh. Better make up for it later. Okay. We have um, to fight a bunch of shit anyway. So he's like, okay. Uh, if you all would give us a minute, uh, I'll gather us all in the courtyard and we'll cover a battle plan. I think these guys might attack. I don't know. Anytime. They're known for coming at night. I'm no captain of an army, but generally when you send a military force to a holdfast, you're planning on attacking. Yeah, if, but we really don't know what they want. Maybe they all just want to parlay. Okay. Yeah, maybe they sure. just want to chat. Sure. Yeah. It's party. It's a holiday after all. We were in some stupid village a couple days ago. That send a negotiating a horse. <laughs> <laughs> you have a negotiating horse. Absolutely. What do you think you bought? It sold. Ask me the things a horse can't do. It's a short list. <laughs> what can't it do? Exactly. Oh. Rumors rolling on the ground. Chauncey's looking in his face and he's laughing, Aww. laughing. Enjoy it while you can. That horse is gonna be <laughs> so dead. He took my skeleton away. I'm gonna go, <laughs> go back payback. up on the tower, looking around. Yeah, I'm gonna right up on the cool. wall. Because I think, yeah, they're coming from this direction. Yeah. Who's using the webcam on his laptop and zooming it way in? It webcam? It does not yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not that thin. He, he drew one on with a little Sharpie marker. What is it? It's like a Game Boy camera? It's uh, it's like a 1992 Apple II or something. Oof. So, yeah. Snow, when, is, when are they going to arrive? How, are they close or what? What's so, I, I think at this point it's a waiting game. So, well, we should take a rest so then we can level up. Do we have enough time to sleep? Uh, oh, you might want to enough time to know. read how to level up because I <laughs> really looked into it. I would say your piece with your friends. 
This oh. could be our last days on Earth. Oh, um, if it gets hot, just run. Just run away. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm paying you guys to stay here. Yep. I know. Right. Yeah, gave you that money you up got front. It. Yep. We're yes, gonna sir. stay here. Don't right. worry. We got it. Especially so, Chancy or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to Chancy. You might want to have. I know we've had our differences in the past, <laughs> but I really fucking hope you die. <laughs> <laughs> so you you might want to you know say your piece with your friends here. Get a few minutes of shut eye. It's um, an Apple PowerBook 180. <laughs> Oh Just you gosh. know. Oh, oh boy. God. No webcam. No, none. Absolutely. Not. I, I imagine the orcs will be here in the next couple hours. So ready yourselves. Hey, Grimo, come here. Grimo goes over to Derek. Yeah, and so we're near Chauncey. I know you love this stupid horse, so I can speak with animals if there's anything you want to say to Chauncey. Uh, uh, Derek. This is one of the greatest gifts that could ever be. Yeah, yeah, we don't even get all much about it. Me. Yeah. <laughs> could you ask Chauncey who his best friend is? All right, it's a it's a spell, but okay. it's a ritual, so it takes some time. Yeah, and I'm basically like eyes roll back into my head, and I have my hand on on the horse. Grimo wants to know who your best friend is. I, th- I think who's Chauncey? You Chauncey. You're Chauncey. What? You're Chauncey then. I'm Chauncey. Yeah, yeah. My best friend. It's Tansy, the hawk. He is brave and noble, and he saved us all. That hawk's dead. Uh, is there anything you want to say to Grimo? Who is Grimo? <laughs> and then, and then Derek's eyes roll out, and then, and then he kind of like does this with his hand because it's well, got Derek, all. Well, Derek, what did he say? Uh, Chauncey said, "You, yeah, you, <gasps> Grimo, you're." Of course, but of course, friend. Grimo yeah. and Chauncey, best yeah. friends forever. And Grimo, he like like hugs Chauncey, and then Chauncey rolls his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you want to have any conversations with Decker, I can speak with animals. <laughs> <laughs> would you also ask Chauncey if he would be willing to ride into battle with us? No, I can, I can only do that once in a while. Okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I'm already out. <laughs> uh, Decker's going to find Shattercock. He's been he's been working on some lines, uh-huh. so he's gonna just like roll up behind her. Ugh. Well, Shattercock's yeah. petting Cha- uh, Chauncey. Oh, okay. I guess. okay. Shattercock's petting Chauncey. Oh, gee, no, the other Chauncey. Chauncey. No, the oh, real sorry. Chauncey. <laughs> the real, oh, real okay. Chauncey. That bullshit the impersonator. Chauncey. <laughs> Shattercock's petting Chauncey and be like, Oh, he's so, he's so good. Walk up behind. He's so good. <laughs> Is he like uncomfortably behind her? Like, well, of course. He's just, but he doesn't know that. Yeah. So he'll like, Oops. Oh, oh boy. Boy. That's 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 actually, that's what happens. That's probably what happened. He shoots it through the wall. Knocks her in the back. She, I was gonna say, she has no idea you're there until you touch her or say. Yeah, of course. No. Let's go. Your ass is hot in that armor. What? Who? Huh? Decker, what did you just say to me? Uh, I said you're really beautiful. <laughs> uh, thank you. I looked down at his laptop. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> you like see him like pointing and reading, like mouthing words. I just want to be listening to this. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. He'll, he'll say, uh, yeah, uh, I usually hang out with hotter chicks, but I guess you'll do. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Why? Hotter chicks? Yeah. Like, like you crave my acceptance now. Because I said it. Yeah, uh, anyway. Uh, I'm really good at a lot of stuff. You wanna, you wanna see? Uh, I'm gonna start gaslighting. Alright, yeah, what are you good at? <laughs> Alright, hold on. And he like turns around. And then he loads up like a real, like a snake game. <laughs> He's just like holding it. He's like tapping buttons. It's really slow. It's really slow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go lay down with my Chauncey. What? What? Why? Hold. Do you want to keep talking? No, I don't. Why not? Why did you pretend like you were interested? <laughs> it's like getting I comfortably never, close. Decker, I never did. Hey, Decker. Decker yeah, you did. You Decker, were nice. Decker, we're friends. You and I. <sighs> we're friends. Mm. Okay. He, he like. Hey, Decker, come here. Come here. And then she shoves Decker right into her boobs and gives him a big hug. Decker. We're friends forever. <laughs> and then Chattercock lets him go. He stands there, no emotion, and then you see that thing that like, like he's clenching his jaw real hard. Oh yeah, so yeah little yeah. things pop out on the side of his head. <laughs> and then he snaps his laptop closed and just like scu- scuttles away. Oh, oh my gosh. And then you hear, <laughs> he like goes one room away, he's like, that bitch, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear, uh, yeah, uh, basically. Uh, and, and yelling. Yeah, and <laughs> stupid bitch, nice guy's been so far. Ten, only fuck you goes drunk. Yeah, so he's, he's like jacking off on, uh, I guess, the general's table right now. You said you loved me, you said you loved me. <laughs> <laughs> She let me on. She took advantage of you. Just like jacking up everywhere. Shattercock walks up to Miri and goes, "Miri, what the hell? 
Did you? Why? Why was he talking to me that way? I'm just like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> why? 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 Do you understand? Do you know what's going on with Decker? No, I, I think it's something to do with that portable shield he has. The thing's weird. All right. Okay. It's the only thing I could guess. Well, I'm gonna go lay down with my uh, with Chauncey. I like that Nira right. calls it a portable shield. Like every shield isn't portable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, what deployable? You can take a shield anyway. Uh, and portable, then Shadowcock goes and lays down with the wolf. Okay. I have uh, I've been issuing insults to Chauncey all night. Oh, yeah. Chauncey's here that <laughs> I've just already. fallen asleep into the hay. Are you fucking dumbass? <laughs> <laughs> piece of shit. Uh, Grima's gonna go up to Decker. You walk in on him. Yeah, I see him really upset. <laughs> Decker, what happened? Hands around ankles. Women are stupid. I don't lie to you. That's all they do. They just they just misdirect you and lie to you and take advantage of you. It's shitty. You just try to be nice to them and they just take advantage of you. I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of women. Does this have something to do with Shadow Cut? No. She says she's a bitch. Decker. Whatever. I don't care. I never care. She's a fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you, Decker, that maybe things like this take time? It took long enough. It was a whole day. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Jesus. Look, Decker, I f- one for one know that Shattercock has some feelings for you. <laughs> yeah. So I think you just gotta be nice to her. I was being nice. But for more than one day. What? I know, I know. It seems crazy to be nice to a woman for more than one day. <laughs> but trust me, trust me, Decker. Well, for how long, exactly? Two- Three days? Three days, okay. I think I could do that. Okay, I think you can too. Now pull okay. those pants up and let's go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Goes directly to Shattercock who's sleeping. She's asleep. Leans over. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Don't wake up. <laughs> and then like, he says, and he like looks back. No. Yeah, she wake? No. <laughs> One more time? No, okay. <laughs> Uh, Griba goes to, to sleep next to Chauncey. Chauncey, the original Chauncey, the horse. I'm Chauncey, the horse, the horse is outside. <laughs> yeah, yep. Chauncey, the original. Dumb, dumb, dumb shit, piece of fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Decker, What's what are you doing? Do? After Grimo left, I just sat down and just started looking out at the sky. I'm gonna like get on top of the tower. But on this side, you should have a like a so kind of like look over and then look back. You, you still have your laptop, right? Yeah. Do you have like a MIDI version of like a sad, oh like, yeah, 80s like breakup song? Yeah. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. How long? How long were we like? Could we be sleeping? So you've all gone to sleep now. Oh. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Good. Before that, I want to go out here and I'm just hang out with Derek for a second, and I go. <sighs> Three hundred? What they paid you <laughs> to start? <laughs> you no, know, I actually only got two hundred. So. Oh, yeah. Whatever you negotiated for me wasn't very good. And it was even worse for you. I didn't negotiate for you, though. I came here with you. You brought me. You had your own letter, though. Yeah, I know, but you brought me here as hired help. Conspiracy. <laughs> What's that this noise? This is coming up off the phone. Yeah, we can hear it. Like... <laughs> Do you hear something? Yeah, I don't know. It sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, the MIDI tune plays as the sun goes down over the horizon. Oh. You see... Uh, cut torch flames pop up in the direction of that raiding party. Um, and I think that's the end of season two. Ooh, it's oh, a oh. banger. And I think we're all just in our sleep. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dumb horse, you dumb piece of fucking horse. I fucking hate you. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Base first. Cool, right. that's it. All right. All right. Yeah. See you, you next season. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah so uh, we're probably doing season three of Twits and Crits. Uh, uh, we it, might. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. yeah, hopefully you guys can voice your support of the show yeah. wherever you'd like to do that on the internet. Become a first member. Oh, yeah, that's the best way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Become a first member. Or yell at people on Tumblr. Or uh, no. No, that doesn't first, help. That doesn't help? No, it doesn't help. What have I been doing? <laughs> Yelling at people <laughs> on Tumblr. <laughs> and? So I want to find out what happens in season three. Me too. too. All right. So yeah, please uh, continue to support the show and help us out, and we'll be back. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.